Sometimes even the greatest Pokemon trainers can make mistakes. It happened to me not too long ago. I was venturing through a new region. I was defeating Ben Saints left and right, vanquishing his Pokemon and sending them to the Shadow Realm. But then I got in over my head, against a foe that I had never seen before. A foe whose type and abilities and powers were unknown to my simple mind. And then it was I who was vanquished. I was defeated and left to rot in the ashes as that disgusting degenerate Benjamin of the Saint continued his journey without me. I prayed to the Pokemon God Julian every night, asking him for guidance. And he told me in this time of failure, in this time of great depression, there is only one answer. Playing a Pokemon game where all of the Pokemon are replaced with cute girls. Hello everybody, it's your old pal Monkey Jones playing Gen 3 Pokemon Nuzlocke, but we're not playing Ruby. We're not playing uh, Sapphire. We're not playing Emerald. Even though the title says Emerald because I had to trick retards who wouldn't click on something that didn't specifically say Pokemon Emerald. We're not playing an Emerald. We're playing Moemon Emerald. And you're probably thinking, Monkey, I don't know what thumbnails look like. I'm a blind human being who accidentally clicked on this video. What the fuck is Moemon? Well, I'll show you. <laughs> it's a hack of Pokemon Emerald that is exactly the same in every way, except all of the Pokemon sprites have been replaced with lolis wearing Pokemon costumes. <laughs> I, I have a 3DS capture card. I could have played Alpha Sapphire, Omega Ruby. <laughs> nope. <laughs> <laughs> this is the Gen 3 Pokemon game I wanted to play, <laughs> and here we are. <laughs> you know, after a crushing defeat against a goddamn, I don't even know what it's called, a, a Pikachu Maru ripoff fucker face? Is that, what, is that what that fairy bitch is called? Goddamn, and I wish I would have known he was a uh, goddamn fairy, but enough about living in the past. After that brutal defeat, sometimes you need a bunch of cute lowly girls to pick you up. I think uh, <laughs> Digibro's rubbing off on me and not in the same way like he did when I went to his house. <laughs> in a different way. <laughs> Speaking of cute girls, I'm gonna go ahead and play as the cute girl. We have a new name pool going. Um, I, I started a little video about it, but go ahead and just comment on every video because I'm not going to use the same pool all the time. When I need a new name, I'm just going to go to the most recent episode and pick a random comment from that. So, your best bet of getting on the show is just to comment on every episode. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, all the Pokemon nicknames come from the the fans. I, I just choose comments at random. Yeah, it's Mumkey. Here we go. Uh, the rules for this one, I'm going to do the same exact rules that I did for Pokemon Vietnamese Crystal. And if you don't recall that... <laughs> Uh, those rules are very, very difficult. It pretty much says, here's the basics. You know the basics of Nuzlocke. If you don't, you're a fucking retard. You can only catch the first thing you find in each round. If you don't, you're fucked. Pokemon faints, it's dead. Here's when we get to the fun stuff. I can only use an item if my opponent uses an item. I can only use the same number of Pokemon against the gym leader that they have. So if a gym leader has three Pokemon, I can only bring in three Pokemon to that gym uh, battle. And finally, all of my Pokemon's levels in that gym battle must be at least two levels lower than that gym leader's strongest Pokemon. So if a gym leader, the strongest Pokemon is level 10, I can only bring in level 8s and etc. Those are the basic rules. Um, if anything else comes up, I'll say them, but they're not coming to mind right now. And, oh, I, <laughs> I thought that the only thing that changed was the Pokemon sprites, but it looks like they also made the hometown flooded. Uh, I don't know, I've never played this before. All I know is that it has cute girls in it. Although I guess the Vigoroths 
that are helping us move aren't cute girls, although maybe when it turns around we'll see that it's a girl wearing a costume, but I doubt it. I guess they couldn't edit this part, they can only edit the battle sprites. Yeah, that doesn't look like a little girl to me. Let's see, I'm really good at coming up with creative jokes when I play these games. Like one time I, I made a funny balls joke because, um, because like Pokeballs. So I think when I'm setting the clock, I'll do another hilarious original joke and I'm going to set the clock to, um, let's see, four, let's see, four o'clock and then maybe like, um, four, 21. There we go. 421. <laughs> That's a really funny time if you think about it. Because four cut in half is two, and then two cut in half is one. 421, it's just like a, a constant decline. It's like all my YouTube videos, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> What the hell? Why is the bedroom so goddamn big? Of all the random shit to edit, why did they make this bedroom fucking huge? I don't get it. It's bigger than the whole fucking house. The second floor shouldn't be twice as big as the first. Look, it even looks smaller from here. I don't, I don't give a shit. Fuck it. Oh no, it's time to go roll the dice and get a new Pokémon. man. Is it true that everybody hates Gen 3? I thought the one that everybody hated was Gen 4 and then maybe like Gen 5, but uh, I've been watching a bunch of videos about Pokemon recently, and it seems like a lot of people shit on Gen 3, and I'm not sure why. Like, sure, there's like the water meme, but it's not that big of a deal until towards the end of the game. And some people don't like the Pokemon, and I I've heard that from even some of my friends, but I like, I like the Pokemon in this game. Some of my favorite Pokemon of all time are in this game. Motherfucking Spinda, he's a he's a top five contender for sure. I'm hoping I get a Spinda here. Anyway, I need to go find a goddamn dice so that we know which Pokemon I'm picking. All right, here's today's setup. Here's uh, my microphone with the thing in front of it. Uh, here's my screen that I'm looking at. Uh, here's my even though it's um even though it's 3 p.m. on a Friday, so I guess it's not that bad that it's Friday, but it's 3 p.m. I'm drinking a mixture of vodka and root beer. Uh, here's my controller that I'm playing with because everybody says the keyboard is too loud so I have been using this for a few Nuzlocks now. Anyway, here's the dice. So if it's 1 through 6 it'll be um, uh, Trico. 7 through 12 will be Torchic. Uh, 13 through 18 will be Mudkip and the 19 or 20 will be a reroll. Here we go, here we go, go for it. Oh well god! Um, which one's sticking up on top? I guess it's seven, right? Is, I mean, I guess six or seven, or seven or eight, it wouldn't matter. So that is the middle one, which was Torchic, I think. Which is fine. Uh, I like Torchic and Mudkip probably equally. <laughs> I don't like uh, Trico, so I'm fine with this one. All right, let's see what, oh. Oh my God. Oh, that, I thought I would like this, but that's kind of hideous. I'm gonna pick Torchic because I have to, but I wanna see what they all look like. Okay, that one is cuter than the Torchic one for sure. And that's probably the best one. So, as far as cute little lowly girls wearing costumes goes, uh, this one is by far the worst, but I guess I'll have to live with it. Uh, oh man, and Combuskin is really ugly. I like it as, uh, oh, Zigzagoon is adorable. <laughs> oh, it, uh, it looks like from the Pokemon, the fourth movie, the Latias and Latios girls, kind of has the same hairstyle going. But anyway, I'm guessing since Combuskin is gross on its own, the girl version will be fucking hideous too. Let's go ahead and scratch that beaver, if you know what I'm saying. I guess scratch that coon, which I think was a popular phrase back in the 1860s. <laughs> Monkey's back! <laughs> Did you miss me? Weed berry? Was that called a weed berry? And since when does this Zigzagoon have a berry? I don't know all the- if this shit has a whole bunch of different edits other than the girls, then I'm fucked. Because I have no idea what they would be. So, Monkey, you've heard blah 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 blah. Just let me nickname my Pokemon. Everybody's on the edge of their seats. They want to be the disgusting lowly of Torchic. Yeah, let's give it a nickname, I guess. Okay, I'll go to the hypothetically video, which I think the first few episodes the names will come from, and we'll see who gets to be my starter. And the winner is Jokey. Jokey, welcome. You're the first Pokemon in the. You know, let's, 
Let's go with lower. Why not? I'll smash whatever it says on YouTube. Welcome, Jokey, and I guess now I can read your comment, which said, Save us from the Jews, Monkey. You're our only hope. Well, now you're my only hope, Jokey, because I need you to help me catch some goddamn Pokemans. So obviously, Torchic is going to be shitty against Roxanne, the rock gym leader, the first gym leader. And typically, people with Torchic just train it up until it learns double kick or, or some shit. But obviously, I won't have that ability because I have to be under leveled for this battle. I need to look up and see um, Roxanne's levels and shit. So I'm going to do that real quick. Okay, according to this website, in Pokemon Emerald, Roxanne has three Pokemon, and the strongest one is a level 15 Nose Pass, which means I can have three Pokemon and train them all up to level 13. I'm going to double check on a different website to make sure that this is accurate, because I've made that mistake before. Okay, this looks like it's accurate, so I just have to hope and pray that this Pokemon Moemon shit has the same rules as that. Otherwise, I might just lose on the first gym battle, because I don't know what the fuck is going on. Man, normally I wouldn't give a shit about Zigzagoon, but just because that thing is so fucking cute, I want to catch it. It's great. What just like a, a change in how it looks can make you want or not want um, a, a Pokemon differently. Unfortunately, I don't have a Pokeball yet, so I can't catch the Zig Zigzagoon, but I'm guessing it's almost guaranteed that I'll have to catch one at some point, if not on this same route later on. If I can go all the way up to level 13, then I shouldn't be too worried about getting over-leveled right now. So I'm going to train Jokey up to maybe 6 or 7, so that the battle with Brendan, the rival, goes as smoothly as possible. Uh, but I don't want to get too strong, because as I've learned in, in previous Nuzlocks, when all of my Pokémon are too strong, it's very hard to catch new ones, because I keep killing them on accident. Oh! Oh, is that Puccina? Oh, she's mad. Oh, I like it. Oh, this is the best Pokemon game. It's so precious. What I like about this game for Nuzlocke is that there are a lot of very early catches, like right up here, Route 103. That's another new route. So I can catch something down in that one, and then I can catch something up here. And then I think when I go to the left, that might be a different route too. So that's like four Pokemon like, all right next to each other. It's great. Anyway, I'm, as you're about to see, I'm, I'm now level, as you're about to see, I'm now level 7. So I'm ready to fight that motherfucking, I guess the, he's going to have Mudkip, huh? Uh, I don't want to fight you. Oh boy, here we go. It's make or break time. Let's see if this Nuzlocke ends on episode 1. Episode 101. Yeah, how about a little battle? Let's do it. I'm in the camp of people who always thought that Brendan had white hair, which I think is cool as shit. But as it turns out, he's just wearing a white hat, and he has, I guess, brown hair underneath. Which is unfortunate. I really like the idea of him having full a full fucking head of white hair at the age of 10. Anyway, let's destroy this Mudkip. Mm, yeah, let's start off with a growl just to fuck him over. And then we'll scratch that beaver right out of here. Or I guess, scratch that... What is a Mudkip of... Is it a frog? I don't remember. Mud kip. I'm trying to figure out from the name. Mud is obviously mud. What the fuck's a kip? Got him. I'm having a brain fart. It's probably like a frog, right? I'll, I'll edit it out if I sound like an idiot. It's like a tadpole, right? I don't fucking know. There we go. Finish him off. We're done. 69 experience. That's perfect for... For... Two cute little lowly girls who were scratching each other's beaver, if you know what I'm saying. So as it turns out, I just looked it up, Mudkip is not based off of a frog. It's some weird-ass animal called Axolotl. I guess I'll put up a picture. I don't know what the fuck this thing is, but I guess it's an animal. Uh, so Axolotl fans, if you have a pet ax Axolotl, um, please let me know in the comments. And then go donate uh, $69 to my Patreon out of support of the Axolotl Fund. For every $69 donation to my Patreon, I will donate 50 cents to a wildlife reserve that takes care of axolotls. But it's definitely not a frog. So go ahead and um, erase that mean comment you were gonna leave. Wait, what? They replaced the jumping fences with picket fences? What in the fuck? 
Is this game just gonna be cruel the whole time for no reason? What the fuck? What? That's a bizarre change. Okay, now that we have five Pokeballs, the catching portion of the Nuzlocke has officially begun. So let's go find out if our first catch will be, I guess, Puccina? Is that how it's pronounced? I always thought it was like Pucciana, but maybe it's Puccina. Or Zigzagoon, or is it Zigzagoon? All these weird pronunciations that I don't know, because I don't think I watched this season of the anime. Alright, boys and girls, let's catch us a new Pokemon on Route 101! <laughs> I didn't even notice it was 101 until right now. Who's it gonna be? Who's it gonna be? Show me... Oh man, they're both really cute. They're both cute in their own way. Show me something! Here we go! And it's Puccina. Or Pucciana. However you want to pronounce it. I'm gonna pronounce it as mine. <laughs> as Stingy from <laughs> Lazy Town would. Uh, let's give it a scratch. Don't kill it, please. Okay. Another thing I've learned is that I have no reason to try to get everything down to the red when I'm trying to catch it. Especially a level 3 Puccina, why wouldn't I just throw a ball? Why wouldn't I just throw a ball? I bet it'll work no problem. And uh, when I try to get it down to the red, it's just going to die. It'd be a foolish endeavor. And this was a successful endeavor. Or an... No, A. <laughs> uh, I perplexed my words. Anyway, let's find out who's going to be. The most adorable Puccina in the world, holy shit. And the winner is Benjamin Quinlane. So I think I'll go with Quinlane, because that's actually kind of cool. At least cooler than Benjamin. Benjamin, I'm sure you know that Quinlane is a badass last name. Nope, no, what? Let's go with the lower. That's better. Or is it Quinlan? And Quinlan's not as cool as Quinlane, but I'll still take it. And his comment says, Please make me regret this. All right. Anything for you, buddy. Welcome to the team, Cutie Pie Quinlan. Why, why are there male Pokemon in this game? I just saw that it's a male. Shouldn't they all be female? Now, is this a, is this a trap lowly that I just caught? You would think that would make me uncomfortable, but now I'm just even more turned on. What the fuck, Wormple? Ooh, I didn't know there were Wormple over here. Look at that motherfucker. That thing's pretty cute, too. Alright, I'm gonna go catch the thing up north, and then if it's a new route over to the left, which I think it is, I'll catch something there. And then once I have four Pokemon, I'll train them all up to, like, I guess level eight. Just have a little training day to get everybody so that they're not going to die immediately. And let's see what I can catch up here. Route 103! I think there are... Are there Wingulls over here? I don't fucking know. Well, can't catch you. Show me... Growlith! Oh yeah, there's a Wingull, great. That is pretty great. Although Wingull, if you're going up against Roxanne, that's pretty tricky. Because you're strong against Roxanne, but Roxanne is also strong against you. I think. Does The water doesn't cancel out the rock, right? Like, it's still super effective when they use rock moves on you. I think. I, I'll look it up. I don't fucking care. Let's... Mm, level three. I, um, let's just throw a ball and see what happens. Maybe I'll, I'll use a scratch if I need to, but if I can just ball this sucker... Oh! Oh! Oh, water gun. That's not good. Eh, well, it's not bad either. I do want to catch this thing, so... Oh, I should have... Should have went to the Pokemon Center. That's a, a monkey mistake 101. Fuck it, go for the scratch, man. Don't kill it in one hit. Okay, good. And good. And now Growl, if I really needed to, I could probably hit it again. Maybe not. Doesn't matter. I'm going to go for the Pokeball. Oh, 
All right. All right, let's get a third name on the team to join Jokey and Quinlan. And the winner is Shidorax. Shidorax, that's kind of a weird, mysterious name for a an aqua bird. Welcome to the team, Shidorax. And your comment says... Ben Saint is fucking cool. Great. Great, I'm so glad that you got chosen to be on the fucking team. Let's go heal up before something bad happens. Alright, if it's 101 down there, 103 up here, I'm guessing this is 102. Right, okay, perfect. So we can catch one more thing, and... Ooh, if that's a trainer, I don't want to fight you, so leave me the fuck alone. I think they have, um, the thing that evolves into Ludicolo. Uh, but not Puccina, not catching that. I'll probably end up with just, like, a Zigzagoon, but that's okay, because it's cute as fuck. Ah, uh, nope, Puccina again. And it's Lotad. Yeah, that's what evolves into Ludicolo. It's Lotad. Oh, and it's actually a girl. I guess there are girls in this game. To join, I guess, yeah, I have three men so far. That's crazy. Let's go for a Scratch. Mm, the Growl makes me confident to use Scratch again, so I'm just going to do it. I need to go buy more Pokeballs. Okay. Okay, hopefully two Pokeballs is all I need to catch a Lotad. So, wow, that's two. Two water Pokemon so far. And this one is grass water, so I'm looking really good to fight Roxanne. Jokey, you're just going to hang out in the PC. I'm not going to bring you anywhere near that fight. Lotad was caught. Let's get our fourth name. What's the f a third fucking catch this episode? It just started. We're plowing through catching Pokemans. And then once we get past the next town, we're going to get catch something again. Although at that point, I'm guessing the only options will be Zigzagoon and Wurmple, but that's fine. I don't give a shit. I don't give a fucking shit. And the winner is Mr. Florida, which is an appropriate name for the first female on the team, is Mr. Florida. <laughs> Great. I don't even know if this is going to fit Florida. Uh, not all the way, unless I don't put in a space, maybe? Let's try it. There we go, a perfect fit. Welcome to the team, female Mr. Florida. And your comment says, I've entered in three of your Nuzlocke so far and haven't been chosen. Gosh darn it. Well, I appreciate that you're trying your own version of the No Cuss Challenge, but welcome to the team. You finally made it, buddy. We need to heal up, buy some Pokeballs, and then I'm going to spend the next, I guess, year <laughs> training all of these level 3 Pokemon up to level 8. Unlike in Sun and Moon, you don't have a shit ton of money to start off, so I guess I'll go with six Pokeballs for now, because I definitely need those potions and antidotes. Oh, and I have to go through that one forest, so I'm probably going to get paralyzed like a thousand times and poisoned 80 times. There's been debate that my no item rule should only apply to trainer battles, and that if I'm up against a wild Pokemon, then I should be able to use items if I want to. And that's the primary reason why I guess I lost in the last Nuzlocke, because I was up against, I guess, a totem Pokemon, which may maybe that counts more as a trainer battle. But anyway, like, I run into trouble all the time, where if I just use a potion against a wild Pokemon, it'd be fine. But I, I, I think it's unfair, so I guess I'll have a straw poll in the description. Should Monkey be allowed to use items against wild Pokemon? Personally, I say no. But uh, if more than 50% of you say yes, then I guess I will? I don't know. Eh, maybe. I'll, we'll, we'll see what happens. I'm gonna go train. Oh man. Things are not looking good for Mr. Florida so far, only knowing Astonish. No wonder why I said it was, it was so shitty to fight when I was catching it. It only knows fucking Astonish. <sighs> what level does Lotad learn a goddamn move? I'm guessing it'll learn Absorb first and then maybe Water Gun. Uh, I better learn that shit before level 13. Hey, there we go. Level 7, it learns Absorb. That'll be hopefully better than Astonish. I hope. Alright, and with that, I think that's enough training for now. Because I just realized I don't want to get too carried away with training. Because at this rate, just playing through the game, I'm going to accidentally get some of the guys I want to use up over 13 before the gym battle, and that's a bad idea. So, uh, this is good enough. This is a strong looking team to go fight all these trainers that are waiting up ahead. And with their training complete, it was time to continue the adventures of Team Lowly Squad. 
featuring cheerleader so-and-so, what's-her-face, and the ugly one. You ugly, you despicable, disgusting chicken nugget of a human being. I wish you were fucking dead. Okay, you're the first uh, trainer battle. Let's see what you got a motherfucking Wurmple, got a Puccina, probably got a Zigzagoon. I just want to see the new cute lonely Pokemans. So go ahead and send me something new. I don't want to see the same old shit. And Calvin's going to have, yep, Puccina. At least it's the cute one. At least it's the cutest of the three. Uh, while I'm thinking about it, I better switch the options. Get tech speed fast, battle scene on, battle style set. Because people like to bitch when I use it as shift, which I understand, I guess. Um, and, uh, frame. Let's get a cute pink one to celebrate the lolies. Mmm. Uh, oh, that's kind of cool. Uh, any pink ones? Uh, yeah, pink frilly. There we go. There we go. Perfect. <laughs> it's beautiful. Ooh, Taylor, That's a new one. Oh, I like Taylor. That's a good one, too. So earlier against the... Uh, Zigzagoon, it had a weed berry, so I'm curious if orange berry is now weed berry? No, it's two orange berries. What? Wait, smoked the- did you say smoked the two orange berries? What the fuck is this edit? Two pekka berries. Do you want to smoke the pekka berries? No question mark. I don't get this at all. So in my bag, are they still gonna say orange and pekka, or are they gonna say weed? Oh, okay, so P.E.K.K.A. is still P.E.K.K.A., but Orin becomes weed once it's in the bag. <sighs> Whatever. Oh, Shroomish, we haven't seen that before. That's kind of... Yeah, I don't know. Not feeling this one. Kind of chubby for my taste. Petalburg City. Which means, I don't think we can catch anything here, but when we go to the next route, we can catch something new, so let's go do that real quick. I'm pretty sure the only things are Zigzagoon and Wurmple, so I guess we'll see. Oh, oh, oh fuck you, man. Fine, I'll go do this stupid Wally -E bullshit first. Yeah, yeah, fuck off. <laughs> hey, Dad, it's me, your lowly daughter, off on a journey to kidnap lolies across the land and to force them into battles with one another. And I will become the lowly queen, and I will own all of the lowlies, and I will become the strongest lowly trainer in all of uh, Fantasia, <laughs> which is the fantasy world from Neverending Story. Because <laughs> only in Fantasia could a world full of cute lowlies exist. I guess we can. The only upside of this whole Wally -E bullshit is that we get to see what Ralts looks like. And man, if people want to fuck. Um, oh man, what is the Ralts thing? Uh. Fuck, what is it called? I was about to say Evanescence, but that is not close. A Gardevoir. <laughs> I don't know why I was thinking of Evanescence as the name of Gardevoir. But if people want to fuck Gardevoir as a Pokemon, I can only imagine uh, how how much they want to fuck her as a Loli. Uh, mm, that looks like... Looks like Nier from, from Death Note, kind of. Like if Nier was cosplaying as a girl with green hair, that's what that would be. So, as far as Ralts goes, wouldn't fuck Ralts. I'm gonna have to go ahead and pass on that. But we'll see what we think of Curlia and Gardevoir and maybe Gallade? Maybe, I don't know. I wonder how they turn Gallade, something that is so specifically a male, into a cute little lowly girl. Same thing with Mr. Mime. I need to find Mr. Mime. Is Mr. Mime even in fucking Pokemon Emerald? I need to see the sprite for lowly Mr. Mime right now. And for Snorlax too, shit. I don't want to look it up. I, I want it to be in the game. Okay, now that we're done with that bullshit, we can go catch a new Pokemon man. And as I was saying before I was rudely interrupted, it's probably... You motherfucker. Leave me alone, you NPC bullshit faggots. Oh my god, just let me go catch a Wurmple or a Zigzagoon. That's all I want to do. Yeah, you better be fucking sorry, you sunglasses wearing bitch. Route 104 looks new to me. Looks new to me. What are we gonna catch? Probably Wormpole, probably Zigzagoon, probably nothing but stuff I've already caught before. And it's Puccina, of course, like always. I was destined to have one, because it's the first thing I find on every goddamn route. 
I have a feeling this could take a while. <laughs> Show me Growlithe! Nope, nope, okay, well. Well, I guess I'll, I'll smash cut to 30 minutes later when I finally find something new. Oh, thank God. Okay, I guess we're getting Wurmple. And does Wurmple become Beauty Fly or Dust Ox? I don't remember. Are there two different little uh, Caterpillar Pokemon, or does Wurmple somehow become both? I have no idea. Uh, sorry, my Pokemon knowledge is not that up to date. As in, I just forgot. There's seven generations now. I can't remember shit from Gen 3. And that thing almost died. <laughs> but it was meant to be that it didn't, because now we're going to... Catch that motherfucker in a Pokeball! Smoke Wurmple every day. Oh, you know, that's just for Weedle. Go! Okay, easy catch. Let's see who gets to be Wurmple. And I guess by level 13 it would be fully evolved, but I definitely don't want to use that against Roxanne. And the winner is Loka Soret. Loka Soret. I think that'll all fit. And his comment says, My name, Jeff. Fucking great. Hilarious epic meme XD and since his name's all lowercase. I guess I'll just do it all lowercase Well, this is gonna be a perfect fit. It looks like that's a An adequately long name and it's another male so many trans so many trap Lolies on my team such a bizarre concept a trap loli, but that's not all folks We're about to go into the woods to catch something new again, and I don't feel like <laughs> training a goddamn wormple so I guess I'll place him at the front of the team and then switch him out. And hopefully he'll level up enough just by doing that. Oh, seed dust. That's a new one. Uh, I uh, I don't really like it. I don't really like it at all. Is seed dust the one that becomes Nuzleaf and then becomes Shiftry? N and Nuzleaf is the Pokemon for which Nuzlocke is named, if you didn't know that. Uh, here's a little history lesson for you. It all started back with the Nuzlocke comics. And uh, the one of the, the character used a Nuzleaf. I think he was doing... Ruby or Emerald or something. Let's see. We're going to switch to you. And in one of the scenes, or maybe a bunch of them, the Nuzleaf had the face of John Locke from uh, motherfucking Lost. So they nicknamed it Nuzlocke after the, the Nuzleaf that looks like John Locke. And then, naturally, that style of gameplay from the comic became known as the Nuzlocke. There you go. There's your Nuzlocke history lesson. If I fuck that up, I'm sorry. I know it's not... As great as your typical PCP three-hour lecture, <laughs> but there's there's your monkey lecture of the day, and I really need Jokey to fucking learn Ember Attack. Yeah, now learn Ember, you bitch. Do it. <sighs> really? In the new games, they start off with Ember because they know it's annoying as shit. What does he not learn it until level ten? Oh my God, Magikarp is great. Now that's a cute one. Fuck that C dot shit. Look at this magic carp. Looks like a little magic fairy pixie girl. More than a magic carp. I think we can take on magic carp, right? It's not gonna have any attacks other than splash. Let's just poison this bad boy. I guess no yeah, it's a bad boy. I was gonna change it to bad girl, but again, it's another male lowly. I don't understand. If I recall, the person right before the forest is a pretty tough trainer. I think this bitch has like a max revive or like a max potion or some shit. I'm gonna pick these weed berries first. Smoke to the t fucking stupid. We don't want to fuck around with this trainer, so I'm going to switch to somebody who can just knock him out. <sighs> Jokey, why don't you have Ember yet? God damn it. Okay, let's try. I think you have like what a level nine Zigzagoon and some bullshit potions but then when you beat her she gives you like a crap ton of money oh level seven zigzagoon that's not too bad well this isn't so bad so far but here comes what the hyper potion yeah 
full restore on a level 7 Zigzagoon, that's great. Oh! Oh, Meryl! I wish I would've got Meryl! The second coming of Digi, the Azu Meryl. That would've been way better than this Wurmple shit. Oh, that's too bad. I wish I would've got that. I got... I mean... <laughs> it would've uh, fit in great on my team of half-water Pokemon. But I guess that's what I did in... In, uh, Vietnamese Crystal, anyway. And it worked out just fine. I think if we get Mr. Florida up to level 13, which I don't think he evolves until like 15, so it'll be risky. But if he's up to level 13 and he has a berry on him and he has absorb, that might be pretty good against the rock gym. Just because I keep getting my health back every turn and I'm also super effective. I don't think grass or water resist rock. Maybe they do, I, I'm not sure. It'd be great if they did. But then they'd probably just use Tackle anyway. Anyway, hey, we're here in the woods. Let's get a new Pokemon. Um, probably a Shroomish. Uh, I don't know. Hey, there we go. It was a Shroomish. I knew it. Another thing that is good. Well, it's half good against Rock. It's also part Bug. I think it's Bug Grass, right? So it would have super effective moves, but it'd also be weak. <sighs> I'm going to end up boxing most of my team with all these bugs and shit. Go! Oh, and finally a female. Hey, there we go. Who gets to be female lowly shroomish? And the winner is Rebel Pixels, which I think is Tom Oliver of the PCP. Hey, you did it. Good job, buddy. You're a shitty fucking shroomish. Let's see if I can fit your name without a space. Probably not. Oh, well, there you go, Tommy boy. I guess you're just Rebel Pixel now. And soon you'll be boxed, because I don't want to use a goddamn shroomish. I don't recall it being any good. Anyway, here's what I like about Nuzlocking in this game, is that I've barely even started, and I have a full team of Pokemon. Whereas in Pokemon Moon, I only had two Pokemon for, what, like 18 episodes straight? So this is really nice. Even if half of them are garbage, that's the fun of a Nuzlocke. And having a full team makes it especially fun. So fuck Pokemon Moon, at least for doing Nuzlocke's. I haven't played it without doing a Nuzlocke yet. Hooray! It's our first evolution of the game! Who would have thought it would be a bug Pokemon that would evolve first? I, it's such a... just a strange circumstance. Hey, we get to see what it looks like! What is this, Cascoon? I think? I don't really know these bugs that well. Oh, oh, that... Oh, Silcoon. Oh, it's hiding like in a little dress. And I love that hair, that's adorable, that's perfect. I'm really into white hair. Like I was talking earlier when I thought that the boy character had white hair and I liked it. And now that <laughs> I guess that lowly Pokemon, I like the white hair on it. What can I say? I'm a white hair kind of boy. What is this? Oh, slack off. Oh my god, and it's wearing disgusting glasses like a fucking nerd. Oh, ew, it's like a... It's like if Monkey had, like, an afterbirth baby. It's just weird and gross. And, and I'm, I guess I'm glad I didn't get Slack off, although it probably would have been better than Shroomish. Maybe Shroomish is good when it evolves. I don't know. I never use bugs that much. <sighs> Boy, that's one weird-looking fuck. Yeah, something like a slack off would be pretty useless for a Nuzlocke when it has to waste every other turn slacking off. Which I'm, I'm pretty sure that's what it does, right? Does the whole line do it, or is it just uh, slay, slaking, slacking? I don't know. Yeah, they're loafing around. What a, what a shitty Pokemon! Oh no, it's the Devon Goods. They're being stolen by Team. Is it Team Magma or Team Aqua in that world? Oh, I guess it's Team Aqua now. But they both, they both fuck with you at some point in the game, right? Oh no, you, you help me, they want, they want to, they're pirates in the forest and they want to take my paper fight. Oh, level 9 Puccina, that might be a little high for my team. Shit, I've been uh, training everybody so equally that we're all kind of weak, we're all around level 8. But I'm sure we can take a level 8, or level 9 Puccina, if we all work together as friends. Especially if I throw a, a, one or two growls on it and then switch out. 
Go Quinn Lane! Or Quinn Lan, I still haven't decided. I think I like Quinn Lane better, but it's probably not pronounced that way. Uh, you might be one level higher, but you're also two growls lower, so nice try. Ooh, Hal. Do you have Hal? Why are you not using Hal? Oh, there you go. Oh boy, well, good thing I got you down by two. Hopefully, you don't catch up too fast. Oh god, it doesn't do shit. Oh man. Playing all these stat games over here. God damn it. Just don't use any more howls, I guess. Oh god damn it. Come on, Quinlan. You fuck. Okay, go. What, Rebel Pixel? Can you paralyze him somehow? You can't. But leave spores on contact, and he's gonna use tackle. So let's hope you can take one attack, and we can somehow paralyze him or put him to sleep or some shit. Uh, I think Shroomish looks better from the back. <laughs> like a lot of girls, you look better from the back. I guess we'll absorb. No, I don't know. I'm just hoping you can take one hit. Which, if he keeps using growl, you probably can't. But I want that spore effect. Oh come on, just fucking hit me! Wow, I'm really fast. Either Shroomish is fast or Puccina is slow as shit. Uh, fine, keep wasting it on Sand Attack. I don't give a fuck. It goes away once I switch out anyway. Rebel Pixels, you're doing okay. You're doing okay for yourself. Oh no, now he's plus one attack. So it's safe to say Rebel Pixels will die if you get hit? <sighs> fuck. So there goes that plan. Um, well, I guess we'll go to Jokey and hope that Jokey can finish him off since he's below half. Ah, God damn it with your sand attack! Ah, I could use Growl to get him back down, or I could just scratch him and hope I finish him off fast. Yeah, one more scratch and you're done. You wasted all your attacks on Growl and sand attack. Jokey, finish him off. There we go. Worried for nothing. Once again, the power of friendship, as Yu-Gi-Oh taught me when I was, what, six? The power of friendship prevails yet again. The heart of the cards. The heart of the lowly. <laughs> the power of lowlies is... Friendship is magic, is what I'm trying to say. And now that I have Rebel Pixels on my team, I really know that to be true. Yeah, fuck off. Oh, a great ball, good. I can use that to catch a zigzagoon. Running around at the speed of green. My name is Trek and I am so mean. They say ogres are a lot like onions, but if you ask me, I'll say I'll take the funions. Oh, that's Nincata. I don't like how that little girl's presenting her ass to me. That makes me uncomfortable. Oh, uh, Route 104 again. Oh, is it the same route I was on earlier, I think? So, which I think means I can't catch a new Pokemon. Can I look and see where I am? I don't think I can. No, I don't have a map or anything, but I think I've already caught something on Route 104. If not, I guess I'll avoid the grass for now and come back later to find out. But I'm, al I'm almost positive. Let's get some more weed berries. Yeah, man. I guess I did <laughs> set the clock to 421. Oh, man, we've got some difficult fights on this route, too. One of these guys is hard, and then on the bridge there's a double battle that we probably can't avoid since we have a party of six. Although, there is one trick. If I want to avoid the double battle bad enough, I can just put everything in the PC except for one thing, and then I can just walk past those girls. Um, but I don't think it'll be that hard if I use my level 9s. Let's switch to Shooter X. Okay, let's do it. Are you the one with the strong... Oh, you have a lot of money. So yeah, you're another rich bitch. Having my chips get laid by all the time by 70s chicks. I think that's how the song goes. Ooh, another level 7 zigzag. Zigzag. Um, let's... Hmm... You're not gonna have Roar, so let's go ahead and go for a Growl. And then maybe a Supersonic would be fun, too. We have so many people in our party, we can just fuck with you. Doesn't matter if you Growl me, bitch. My only attack is Water Gun. Oh, god damn it, this horse shit. 
<sighs> and then I bet even if I hit it, it's not going to hit itself in confusion anyway. Yeah, count those ducks. Hit yourself, hit yourself. Hey, LMAO! <laughs> it didn't do shit, I should have just been water gunning. Yeah, I should have just been water gunning the whole time, oh well. I had fun, and it hit itself twice, so it all worked out. Yeah, give me that money, boy. You didn't even get a chance to use your full restore shit. You were dead too fast. Rich boy Winston. Yeah, Winston sounds like the name of somebody who's filthy, stinking, rotten rich. Ooh, I'm not gonna fight you. I don't give a shit. <sighs> double battle time. Double battle time. Hmm. You know what? You can chill out, and you can max out. Relax all, cool and all. I'm gonna shoot some b-ball uh, outside of the school. Let's do it! Unless, can I fight one of them? Nope, we are twins, so we battle. Oh, great. Gonna need a shot of uh, Smirnoff for this one, boys, at 1.43 p.m. I'm almost... I'm always day drinking as I play Pokemon now. Look what you guys have done to me. Yeah, this doesn't look so bad. As long as they don't, for some reason, team up against Mr. Florida or something. Um, I guess... I guess Absorb on Lotad. And we still don't have Ember. Great. Still don't have Ember. Should have probably trained up to level 10 for that. Oh well, we're fine. I think Lotad will be dead next turn. Yeah, definitely. We're good. Let's see what they can do. Unless they flinch me. Ooh, and they got a crit. Ah, well, I'm glad I didn't hit you if you're using Bide, you goddamn ass. Okay. Oh, but if one of my attacks kills Lotad, then the other one's gonna automatically go to Seed Dot. And he's using Bide like a bitch. Fucking A. Well. Well, okay. Hopefully Mr. Florida's attack isn't so strong. <sighs> Shit. No, it's not very effective because it's a grass. Yeah, fuck you. Your bite isn't going to do goddamn shit. Fuck your bite. But it's still not going to be fun to fight against on the next turn. Um, Mr. Florida, you're done. I don't think you can do much against this seed dot. I guess uh, Astonish might not be bad. Mm, for now, we'll use stat moves to prevent your bullshit bide from doing any more damage. Oh no, who's it on? Uh oh, oh, of course they're going for Florida. Yeah, it didn't do a goddamn thing, get fucked. Now hopefully you will get fucked. Hopefully, for the first time in history, focus energy works and I get a critical hit. Hey, LMAO, it worked! That's never happened for me before, mostly because I never use focus energy, and we flinched you anyway. Uh, get double cucked. That's pretty good. Pretty good. Oh, now can we learn Ember, please? Please? There we go! What a happy ending to this battle! Finally. And we made it to Rustboro City, which means, again, we get to go to a new route and catch a new Pokemon. And we already have a full team. That's a shit ton of Pokemon to choose from. But we have to choose the three best ones to go fight Roxanne, which, oh man, that, that nose pass isn't easy even when I'm not doing a Nuzlocke. So if I'm restricted to three underleveled Pokemon, that might be... That might be a bit of a problem. That might be the mill tank of this game is that goddamn nose pass. Because I can't think of another single gym leader's Pokemon that is so annoying. At least this early on in the game. Um, are we strong enough to test the waters? If we can only go to 13, then I guess, yeah, we, we can probably get our water guys up a little bit more before we go fuck around in the gym. Ooh, Route 115, but I don't think there's any grass over here. No, just water. Super Potion's a good option for when I get to use an item in the battle. Because surely she's going to use like two or three potions on her goddamn nose pass. Or maybe even Geodude. 
So it'll be nice to have a super potion in my repertoire. Is that the word I like to uh, wrongly use? Anyway, Route 116. We gotta catch some cool shit here, I think. Maybe, possibly. Hopefully we've already caught all the boring garbage that's here. And we can actually catch something cool. Fingers crossed, I don't remember what all's here. Let's do it, let's do it. Give me motherfucking Growlithe. Oh, no, what is that? It's a Pumbloom! <laughs> wow, Pumbloom looks fucking terrified. It looks like a three-year-old who is being forced into a monster Halloween costume, and it, it she does not want to be in it. And she's fucking screaming. Ah, well, I guess we're catching a Pumbloom. I'm okay with that. I'm actually a pretty big fan of Explode. I think it goes Pumbloom, Loudred, and then Explode or something like that. And Explode is pretty good, if I recall. But I'm just... I'm biased towards normal type Pokemon, so maybe that's why I think that. Let's try to poison it. Ah, oh, hell yeah, dude. I'll switch out probably Rebel Pixels for a goddamn Pumbloom. That'd be great. Man, Uproar is pretty strong. Pretty strong for being level 6. But I guess I'm just a level 8 Lucasaurette, so who cares. Go. Jokey? I guess you can take the hits better than anybody. Damn, it does 6 against Jokey? It was doing 5 against my damn bug. Lucasaurette. Go. Ooh. You know what? Let's use a Great Ball just because I really like Pumbloom. And if you're wondering, why does he keep calling it a Pumbloom? Uh, you should just search Game Grumps Animated It's a Pumbloom. Back in the good old days when JonTron was on there. Hey, we caught it! We caught Pumbloom. Let's see who gets to be Pumbloom. Oh, I, I don't like that fucking lowly. Uh, I look forward to evolving this one. And the winner is Autistic Blog. And the comment, I think, is in German. Mumki nim meenin namen ik war ser efrut. I'm guessing namen means name, and meinen means mine. Uh, so, um, I know nothing about German, but I'm guessing this is Mumki, um, please mm, give me a name. Um, there will be, um, I, I, I don't know. And also, Autistic Blog isn't going to fit, so I guess I'll go with Autistic for my Pumbloom, who I actually want to use. Perfect. So every single episode, in the little corner, it'll say Autistic, which is perfect for a monkey video. Oh no, I'm spelling that wrong. Motherfucking Pumbloom, hell yeah. Alright, Rebel Pixels, I'm very sorry, but the great irony here is that, for the first time ever, you are being replaced with... Uh, autism. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Mr. Tom Oliver. I, I don't know you well enough to <laughs> to call you autistic over the airwaves. <laughs> but aren't we all, as Digi and friends would say, aren't we all on the spectrum? Ah, uh, Pum Bloom, you disgusting avatar with the <laughs> the terrible meme name. Welcome to my team, my lovely. Oh, my lovely autistic. But there's no time to train Autistic now. We need to decide which three I want to train up for the gym and just go do that. And I think it's going to be uh, Mr. Florida for sure. Mr. Florida is going to be the MVP. Probably Shitterax, although... Oh man, one good rock move and Shitterax is dead. Mm. And I don't... I shouldn't use Rebel Pixels because it's a bug, so it would also die pretty quick. So who has moves that can actually hurt a rock? Not Quinlane. Maybe Autistic? No, because they didn't do this the special split yet, right? So his his normal attacks would not be very effective. Because I guess they count as physical moves for some reason? I don't know. I don't know if that... I think that switch happens in Gen 4. So... This wouldn't be that great, unless maybe by level 13 it learns some other attacks, but I doubt it. Uh, this is a bug. This is... Oh, man, this isn't looking good. So, Mr. Florida is my best bet with... And then my second best bet is something that is weak to rock. Oh, God. I don't know. I guess I'll go train up Mr. Florida to 12 for now, I guess. 
Another Nuzlocke rule that I just remembered that I did in Crystal that I'm also going to do here is that in addition to only using the same number of Pokemon as the gym leader and being two levels lower, I also cannot use the same Pokemon in back-to-back -back gyms. I think that's um, very important for making it difficult. Which, oh man. So Shitterax here is my only bird Pokemon and the second gym is fighting, so it would be ideal to use him in the fighting gym. But it would also be ideal to use him against Roxanne. So that just makes this chess game in my head ever more complex. Anyway, I'll keep thinking about this as I train, but it's a lot to think about. You know, I think that Locus Arette, once you, were, you are fully evolved, you will be ideal for fighting against Brawly, the fighting gym. Unless he has, like, Rock Tomb or something, which he probably does. I'll look it up later. But for the most part, a flying bug Pokemon, <laughs> it's not going to take any shit from a punching attack. Okay, my two stars, Mr. Florida and Sheeterax, are both level 12. So I'm going to go fight the weaker people in the gym just to see how we're stacking up and seeing if we're killing them in one or two or probably maybe even three moves. Because Absorb's not that great of an attack. And I've been thinking about it, and I do want to bring Sheeterax into this gym just because... If I lose this gym battle, there is no Brawly fight to worry about, so I might as well worry about now before I worry about later. Additionally, I've been thinking, if these two can't take on this gym, then I'm kind of fucked regardless, and I'm probably going to lose no matter what, so the third thing I bring in doesn't really matter. And with that being said, I know for a fact I don't want to bring Quinlan or Autistic into the Brawly fight, because they're both weak to Brawly, so it'll probably be one of them two. I'm gonna train Autistic up to level 13 and see if he has any cool moves. He'll probably have like Supersonic or something, which I guess could be useful. So it'll probably end up being Mr. Florida, Sheeterax, and Autistic against Bitch Ass Roxanne. But first, let's see how we do. Let's see how we do. Geodude, oh my god. I kinda like that Geodude, but I also think it's kinda weird. But I do like the big frowny face, I like that a lot. Let's see how much Absorb does, I guess. Here we go. Here we go, Absorb him. Yada yada. Oh, pretty good. Not bad. I'm guessing against the actual Geodudes that Roxanne has, it will do a little over half. Mm -hmm. It'd be nice if... Yeah, no, yeah, that'll be nice, because then... I'll use Absorb, it'll do about half. She'll use Tackle, I'll lose like... 8 damage, then I'll use Absorb again, finish it off, and I'll get all my health back. So Mr. Florida might be able to do this all by himself. In which case, if I'm very confident confident in Mr. Florida, would it be better to sit Sheeterax out since I would like to use him against Brawly? I don't know. I'll keep fighting through this gym and see if Mr. Florida can do it maybe alone? But is this... Oh yeah, there's still two. Fuck it. Yay, level 13. Let's hope we don't accidentally go up to level 14, or else we're fucked. Nature Power? I don't actually know what Nature Power is. I think that's the move that does a certain amount of damage if you're holding a berry? Or something to that effect? Let's switch out so we don't get so much experience. Do Roxanne's Geodudes only know Tackle, or do they know Rock Throw as well? I guess I'll look that up too, because that's kind of important. If they don't know any rock moves, it'd be good to use Sheeterax against them, because then it's not worrisome that they'll be super effective against me. And then and then Mr. Florida can have a one-on-one -on -one battle against Nose Pass. But if I can find a way to not use Sheeterax in this fight, that'd be great too. Okay, I'm going to look up the team, Roxanne's team again, and then I'm going to go train up Autistic to level 13, I guess? And I'll figure some shit out. Shut the fuck up, you motorcycle bitch. Oh boy, so yeah, all three of her Pokemon, no rock attacks. Which is really shitty. Oh, and Nose Pass has an Orin Berry as well. Fucking shit. Oh man, okay. So, Sheeterax, I probably don't want to use you at all. Because 
any of these geodudes or nose past their fucking rock tomb or rock throw is gonna just fuck your shit. Mm. Which is fine because I want to save you for the next gym. But if I lose, there is no next gym. Jokey, I'm definitely not going to use you. I'm not going to use you. So that just leaves Florida, Quinlan, and Autistic. And maybe Rebel Pixels, even though... Fuck that. Uh, I guess I'll go train them and see what happens. Oh, oh. I'm sure I'm worried for nothing. I, I'm sure Mr. Florida can do the whole gym by himself. Probably. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe I'll I'll do um, some trickery. And I'll get him really close to leveling up. Because I, I have to enter the battle with everybody level 13. But that doesn't mean anything. As far as continuing to train him. So he could be one experience away from 13. Or from 14. I'll start the battle. He'll kill a Geodude. Go up to level 14. That'll give him a slight advantage, I guess. As opposed to otherwise. And, and personally, I don't think that's cheating. I think that's perfectly within the rules. And they're my fucking rules anyway. So I guess I'll go do that. And if I accidentally level him up above 13, then it's just game over. I guess it is kind of funny that a Pokemon named Autistic would look like that. And their attacks would be Uproar and Pound. <laughs> <laughs> if you've ever seen an autistic person in the wild, that's pretty much the two things they can do. Astonish. Perfect. That's the great move I needed to help me win. I, I'm coming to discover that <laughs> these two Pokemon have very shitty defenses, don't they? Defense 11. Defense 14. Defense for- oh god, all their defenses are shit. Or maybe- are these defenses okay for being this level? I don't think so. I think they're all pretty shit. Oh my god, okay. Well, his attack's pretty high, but that doesn't matter against a rock Pokemon. Uh, his attacks are pretty high too. No. Oh, the choices I make, the life I live. Is this all I have to give? Or don't I have a better offering to the world than these artistic Pokemon videos? I don't know. All that I do know is that I'm gonna get fucking killed by Roxanne. She's gonna get her rocks off right in my mouth. Bravo. Hey, hey! Quinlan learns Bite, which is a dark move, not considered a physical move, which means the rock Pokemon's super high special defense will not affect it. Which is good, that was the perfect timing for Quinlan to learn that, because we are now all maxed out on levels. So I guess we'll start talking about the strategy. And the basic strategy is, if Mr. Florida can't do it, then we're fucked. If Mr. Florida with Absorb, with a Weed Berry on him, and with a potential Super Potion, if he can't beat these three Rock Ground Pokemon, then we're pretty much fucked. And what I was planning on doing was have Mr. Florida take out the two Geodudes, and then when it came down to Nose Pass, I'd switch to Quinlan, and I'd use as many Sand Attacks as possible until, I guess, Quinlan died. But now that it knows Bite, maybe it might be better to just have him as a backup now that Bite will probably do a good amount of damage since it's a stab move and it's a special attack. Hmm. And I think that's basically going to be it. I'm going to give Quinlan and Mr. Florida their weed berries. I guess I can give everybody a weed berry. I've got a shit ton of them now. And we're, we're going to go do this thing and... Hopefully all my worrying, like usual, was for nothing, and that Mr. Florida is going to do this all by himself, which I feel like he will. 
but just in case I want to be prepared. All right, here we go. This is the moment of truth. Is Monkey making a million dollar mistake? Am I going to lose the entire Nuzlocke right now? Although maybe, maybe you guys voted that even if I die, I should use things in my PC. But even then, I don't think the things in my PC could beat this gym at level 13. I think I have the best configuration possible, other than also having um, whatever my Winkles named. But I really don't want to use that. So, Mr. Florida, you gotta be able to do this. You're gonna level up to 14 after the first Geodude, and you're never gonna be low in health because you're gonna keep absorbing and eating berries and shit. So here we go! Hello, I am Roxanne, the lowly gym leader. I look like a lowly. You can fuck me in the asshole. Give me your cummies. Go! Wow! Mm, oh man, I don't know. Did, is this hacked game? Does it have different rules for the gym? I hope it's the same Pokemon. Okay, level 12 Geo, dude. Looks looks normal to me. Ooh, I want to I want to see what lowly nose pass looks like. Okay, let's go ahead and. Turns out nature power isn't with the berry, it's, um, it's effect changes depending on where you are. But I didn't look and see what it does when you're indoors. Maybe it does nothing, I don't know. Let's go for absorb. That's the only, hopefully I can just keep hitting, uh, B, or A, I mean. And just keep absorbing this whole time. <sighs> that might do too much damage, because now when they hurt me, I'm, I don't have as much damage to heal up. Ah, oh, god damn it. And there goes my speed. Uh, okay, so she used an item. Perfect. Now I can use an item. And now I have plenty of health to get back, so thanks for doing that. Really, you using an item was kind of like me using an item, because I got to heal up from that, too. Well, not all the way. I didn't even think about Rock Tomb slowing Mr. Florida down, so I'll probably want to switch out at some point anyway to get his speed back up. Eh, uh, yeah, waste your fucking turn on defense, Curl. That's fine. Okay. One down, two to go. Mr. Florida had his speed cut in half. I guess had her speed cut in half. <laughs> so weird, Mr. being a female. And my health is is looking okay at level 14. Mm. Hell, maybe we'll... Yeah, now we, we probably won't hit quite level 15 after this one. Okay, I guess we're staying in without switching yet. Okay, let's go absorb. Oh, we're faster than Geo, dude. Maybe we'll be faster than Nose Pass. Although, we'll probably get hit with another Rock Tomb right now. Yeah, get that health back. Uh, oh, yeah, wasted on Defense Curl. I'm okay with that. I just have to hope that Nose Pass is very slow. Oh, two potions. You're a godsend, Roxanne. I guess now I get to use two items in addition to my two berries. I guess my three berries that everybody is holding. And you're dead. You're dead. It's Mr. Florida with low speed against Nose Pass, and I get to use two items. So hopefully I don't get just one hit killed. Oh my god, that's a very genius idea. Instead of having the Loli have a disgusting huge nose, just make it part of her shirt. I do like that, that's pretty good. And I like that hairstyle too. That's a good Loli right there. Mm, Mr. Florida, we're not quite level 15, but... <clears throat> okay. Would it hurt to switch out to somebody who can lower that thing's accuracy and shit? Just to fuck with it as much as we can? Or should we just go for the kill and hope that Absorb does over half? Which I bet it's going to do like a third. But I guess we we have potions to play around with, so let's see how fast we are and how much this does. Block. I can't escape now, you motherfucker. <sighs> God damn it. Oh! Oh, that sucks. That's painful. How long does the block last? Can I never switch out ever again? Is that what it did? In which case, fuck you. I'm growling your ass. If you're gonna use... Ugh, I'm gonna growl you so much, and then once I growl you to death, I'm gonna use an item, and then I'm gonna growl you again, and then I'm gonna use an item. Fuck you. If I'm staying in, then you're not hurting my ass. And I get two fucking potions, probably three, because your dumbass is probably going to use more. Go ahead and waste your turn on Harden, increasing your defense. It doesn't matter, I'm using special attacks. Now you have three growls down on you. Your attack's been cut in half by even more than half. I'm going to keep fucking going. Now it's going to be cut down to like a fucking third. Keep wasting your turns on goddamn Harden. I don't give a shit. 
Yeah, you, unless you get a crit, your attacks aren't gonna fucking hurt me. Fuck you. Fuck you. There's no way Mr. Florida is gonna lose this one. There's no way. There's no fucking way. You have five growls on you, and it's time to start absorbing again. And you wasted all of your turns on goddamn Harden. It doesn't matter that my absorb doesn't do shit. It doesn't matter. Because you can't do shit either. And I get my health back slowly, turn by turn. Look, you did three damage. Let's see, how much am I going to absorb if you did three damage? Hmm. See, I lost three, and now I gained three. Get fucked! You are doing literally nothing every single turn. All you're doing is waiting to die. How do you like that? I guess until I run out of absorbs. Um, yeah, but fuck it. Keep tackling me. You should be using your damn rock tomb, but you're not because you're fucking retarded. Instead, you're wasting your attacks on tackle, and I'll keep absorbing you, and I don't give a shit. And you've already used two potions. I don't know if you'll use another one. I don't really care, because I've got plenty of PP. Well, for now, at least I do. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we're fine. We got this. Mr. Florida has this in the bag. I'm glad I didn't use my goddamn uh, whatever that wingle shit is called. I already forgot again, even though... For most of you, it's like in the sidebar all the time. Yeah, because now I gotta use Wingle against a real enemy, Brawly. A real fucking opponent, unlike you and your bitch ass nose pass fuck. Yeah, I didn't even use my berry. That's embarrassing for you that I didn't even use my berry. Get fucked, you're out of luck because I found you here. Mr. Florida and Monkey, wipe the floor with Roxanne, no problems, uh, no issues. Did I even. I didn't even use a potion, did I? That's really embarrassing. I didn't even use a goddamn item against your ass. And you, you used two? You used two fucking items? Fuck you, Roxanne, you bitch. Fuck you. Yeah, give me that stone badge. Might as well get stoned with all these weed berries. And look, Mr. Florida's evolving. What a glorious ending to a glorious battle. I'm very hyped up because I was so worried about that battle and it ended up being nothing. What are we becoming now? I don't remember what this thing's called. Um, Mexican stereotype man? Ludi something? Ah, oh, what the fuck? Uh, Lombre, that's right. Um, I guess that's okay. I'm not, a, I'm not a huge fan of this one, but maybe it'll grow on me. Maybe it'll grow on me. I'm sure Ludicolo will be hilarious looking. <laughs> yeah, fuck you, Roxanne. We're done. We're done here. Let's go pick everybody up out of the PC. We gotta roll. Alright folks, two very important pieces of information have just come come into the monkey household, the monkey brain. First and foremost, and you're not going to believe this because it's very, very rare. It almost actually, this might be the first time it ever happened in the history of any of my YouTube channels, but monkey made a mistake. Monkey wrongly assumed that Shroomish was a bug Pokemon. As many of you likely, and this is this is future guessing here. This is me being a, a, a real soothsayer here. But I'm guessing most of you <laughs> informed me in the comments that Shroomish is not a bug, and it is in fact a grass Pokemon, and that its evolution Breloom is actually pretty good. So I've been uh, pretty racist against Shroomish for no reason. No, I want to withdraw. What am I fucking doing? And the other piece of information was that episode two launched today, and there was a poll on there. Um, I'm so sorry, Rebel Pixel. I was so I was so rude to you for no reason. Um, but hey, I think I think I'll I'll still keep you in the box for now, at least until I want to use Locusaret against Brawly, so I'm gonna keep him for now. But maybe if I don't have anything good after I beat Brawly, I'll get rid of Locusaret in favor of. Rebel Pixels. But the other piece of information was that in episode 2 I had a poll uh, should Monkey be allowed to use items against wild Pokemon and I very specifically said I will only do it if I get over 50% of the vote saying yes. And the poll right now, and I'm just going to go by the results right now because there's hundreds of votes in, is an astounding 55% say no. Monkey should not be allowed to use items against wild Pokemon, so I'm not going to. Anyway, right now we're going to go help uh, those Devon Goods people again, and also go into that cave to catch a new Pokemon, which I think it'll be Zubat? Or maybe a Geodude, maybe, I don't know. And I also need to look up and see Brawly's 
gym leader levels, the Pokemon levels, to know where I'm training, what level I'm training to next. And as of right now, my guesstimation is that Lucasaret and Shidorax will be competing in that gym. And yes, I know, not even three minutes ago I was doing the last gym, but it's never too early to start planning ahead for the next one. Oh, help me, I'm I'm retarded. Help, they stole my, my inhaler. Can't escape, fuck you. Oh, well I guess I'm lucky Taylor didn't try to do some peck bullshit. Oh, god damn it. <sighs> okay, we're switching out. Yeah, there's his peck. He's trying to get a critical hit peck on me, asshole. Let's see how you like Ember. Feel the burn, we're making some guy- Oh, fuck! Fuck! I didn't know that focus energy worked for more than one turn. Maybe it doesn't. No, it failed. How long do you stay focus energied? Forever? The rest of the match? Three turns? I don't know. I could look it up, but I'm sure somebody will tell me in the comments, as they always do. See, what did I just get comments about today? I fucked up something today. Maybe I was mispronouncing something. No, I said I said Gallade was in Gen 3, and I was wrong. Uh, Gallade, I guess, is introduced in Gen 4, so there you go. I'm feeling a little woozy right now because I was just working on my Bleach review, which I'm sure will be out weeks ago at this point. And I had a lot of, lot of very open Bleach bottles, had lots of Bleach inside of containers, lots of sniffing it, and now I got a bit of a... I don't know if it's a Bleach headache or a Bleach high. I don't really feel pain like a headache. It's more like, like I just had some edibles. You know what I'm saying? Like your your brain's all like, what the fuck? So that's kind of what I'm going through as I play Pokemon right now. Hey, there's a bird attack. Perfect. Pico, as in Boku no Pico. Oh, and I've also learned that it's not called a trap, lowly. It's called a Shoda, which I'm guessing that's what Pico from no Boku no Pico is. So I guess since we're playing the lowly version of Emerald, we can say that this is Tamatsu and I'm gonna go save Pico who got kidnapped, which I guess counts because it's like a little girl looking thing wearing a costume. But first we gotta, before we save Boku no Pico, we have to catch something in this cave. My guess is as good as yours. Is it a Zubat? Is it a Geodude? It won't be a Pumbloom because we've already caught one of those. It's going to be... Oh, nope, not a Pumbloom. Not today. Does Lucas Red evolve at level 10? Because if so, let's just fucking do it. I want to see Lowly Dustox. So I guess that since this is a boy, it would be Shoda Dustox. Oh boy, here we go. I am going to miss this version because I think it's awfully cute hiding in its little white dress. But let's see if Dustox is... Or maybe it's beautiful. I don't know. Let's see if it's any better. I'm not sure which one of it comes, actually. That's another thing I'm confused about. And, oh, it looks like Beautifly to me. Right? Yeah, it's Beautifly. You know what? That one's okay. That looks pretty good. It has two different colored eyes. Is one of those red and the other one's blue? Or is it blue and orange? I don't know, but I'd say it's A-OK. -okay. Absorb, what even? It's a... What type of Pokemon is this? It's Bug and... Is it still Poison? I don't know. Either way, it doesn't really need Harden. Although maybe I should have saved Harden for the fighting gym, but whatever. Let's see what this is. Is it grass? Is it bug flying? I know Dustox was going to be bug poison, which was ideal for the Brawly gym. Oh, bug flying. So yeah, it's still perfect for the Brawly gym. It'll have fighting moves. It'll do one-fourth damage to it. So I'm pretty happy with that. And I'll probably outspeed everything too. I just need to get like a good gust on here or something or maybe I'll just try to poison them I don't fucking know don't worry Pico monkeys coming Pico belongs with Tamatsu how dare you try to separate their perfect love it's the purest kind of love but be between a grown man and a very young boy who looks like a girl 
Let's fight. Hey, let's fucking fight. Let's do it. I'll beat you with Locus Arret, even though he's almost dead, so I'll beat you with somebody else. Oh, it's Team Aqua again. That must be the same guy from the woods. Yeah, I think he said that. With the goddamn Puccina. Pucciana. Nobody knows how it's pronounced. Big argument in the comments. Nobody fucking knows. Mmm, 15 health isn't quite enough. If he's gonna use a bite, I'm probably gonna die. So let's switch out to... Perhaps our own... Yeah, let's go to Quinlan. Quinlan, I don't fucking know. I still don't fucking know. It's been 18 episodes already. We still don't know what he's called. Sand attack. God damn you. How come his is on all fours, but when I'm using mine, it's standing on two feet? Let's go for a bite. Ah, God. Fucking damn it. No. If he starts getting some howls on there, we're going to actually lose some Pokemon. Oh, my God. This is the same shit that happened in the woods. Fuck me. Fuck me, man. Let's see if I can get a stand attack on him. No! I missed three in a row! Fuck! Okay, we're gonna switch out. We need some heavy guns. He's got two howls on him, which I do not like. <sighs> Who has the best defense? Probably Mr. Florida, because he's evolved into Lombre, and we also haven't used Lombre yet. So let's go Mr. Florida! The hero of the first gym. Let's see if he has what it takes. Let's see, uh, yeah, that's not so bad. If you used Bite, I'd be more worried. Let's go. Do we want to lower his attack, or let's just fuck him up? Let's see how much Absorb does. We'll get some health back anyway, so I'm not too worried about his 8 damage tackle. Oh yeah, you're done. You're done, son, as, as a popular monkey and or Aaron Hansen might say. Ah, come on, really? They must have buffed the fucking sand attack in this game to always work. Am I going to miss again? Okay, good. I was going to be pissed if I missed five in a row because of sand attack. Alright, finish him off. I should have used nature power to see what it does in the cave. Oh, well. You're dead. Give me back my Pico. Operation Pico Rescue Mission. Either this episode will be called that or called Bleach High. I'm not sure yet. Vote in the comments. What's the better episode name? Even though... <laughs> By the time you vote, it'll be far too late to <laughs> to name the episode that. But maybe I'll, I'll switch it post... Is it posthumously or uh, posthumously? Probably posthumously, but I think posthumously is better. Because it implies um, that their death is funny. Am I glad to see you're safe? Pico owes her life to you, her. Pico's a boy. You're not really Tamatsu. Oh, I guess you're Pico's grandpa. That makes more sense because you're an old man. Uh, fun fact about Boku no Pico, in case you actually care. That's actually not Pico's grandpa who he's working for. That's just some random dude that Pico is working for while wearing an apron. Uh, the grandpa is actually Tamatsu's either grandpa or father. I think it's Tamatsu's grandpa, which makes it even weirder that this old man has this weird Shota boy working for him. And then when his own adult grandson comes in to visit... He, he sets them up to, like, it's just, it's bizarre. I think it's better if it's Pico's grandpa, but I read up on the Wikipedia page, and according to that, it's not. Yeah, there you go. Here's your goods. Let's, let's fuck off. Yeah, give me that great ball. Now what, I have to go to the cutscene inside the, yep. Okay. Wait, did I ever, did I ever catch a Pokemon in that cave? What the fuck happened? I don't even remember. I'm, I think my bleach high is so intense, like, I can't remember what I did in that cave. No, I... I was so excited about evolving Locusaret that I completely forgot about catching something. So I guess I'll go back there and catch something. Jesus Christ. I am high. Get the fuck out of my way. Alright, we're back. Into Rusturf Tunnel. Let's see if we can find something to catch. And if not, maybe I'll have to wait until I get Rock Smash, and then I'll... Almost definitely get a Geodude in those rocks. Oh, let's see if it's another Pumbloom. Yep. Man, there's nothing but Pumblooms here. Maybe I have to give up. Okay, well, I I think I'm giving up for now. I've only found, like, a thousand Pumblooms. So I guess I don't catch anything in this cave for now. Unless I magically find something new as I'm trying to leave. 
And while I'm thinking about it, I guess now's a good time to look up and see the levels on Brawly's Pokemans. And, more importantly, to see if any of them have rock attacks. Because if they do, I'm just gonna box Locusaret and I guess maybe use Rebel Pixels? Maybe he'll evolve by then, and if not, maybe he'll be good enough anyway. Because Grass also is resistive, resisting to fire, I mean to fighting, I think. And I definitely don't want to use uh, my fucking Jokey because his fighting and fire attacks will be very important for Gym 3 because I can't use him in back-to-back -back gyms. And I want to use him to fight against the Magneton guy. What's his name? Watson? Oh, according to this, Brawly has three Pokemon in this game. I thought he only had two. He has Makuhita, Meditite, and Machop. Where can I see their attacks? Oh, this is very good news. It looks like their only attacks are fighting. All of them only have fighting attacks as far as damage dealing moves. So something like <laughs> like Lucasaret, where all of their attacks are now going to be one-fourth damage, that's going to be fucking beautiful. That's going to be perfect. And now that I know he has three, I can bring in three bad boys to fuck him over with. I'll bring in uh, Lucasaret, or Lucasaret. I'll bring in uh, Shitterax. For sure. And then whoever wants to come in as a third boy. Which probably none of these guys. Well, I, I can't use Florida, Quinn Lane, or Autistic. And I don't want to use Jokey. So it'll either be Rebel Pixels or something I catch in the cave? I only get two more catches, right? I gotta catch something in that cave that's on the Brawly Island. And then also I can fish there too? Which will probably be a Magikarp. And his highest level is 19. Which means I can go up to level 17. Uh, so I'm pretty good on that. Level 17. So even if I get a Magikarp, I can't make it a Gyarados. Um, hopefully Shroomish evolves by 17, but I doubt it. Anyway, that's all the information we need. Let's truck along. Let's go to Mr. The Pico Guy's house, and we can get us a, a boat trip to Brawly Island. Hooray! Oh, you don't want to fight, do you? If you want to fight, you're not going to like what happens. Oh, we're just going to register on our stupid thing. Okay, let's get going. I don't want to fight. Leave me alone. You're fine. Leave me alone. Go away. Fuck you. Fuck you and your small talk bullshit. Oh, no. Oh, I know. I did. Could I have said no? I accidentally just clicked yes because I wanted to leave. Fine, here we go. Monkey versus Brandon for his 18th trial to glory. Slug- Oh, what the fuck? Slugma looks like a little girl trapped in a lava lamp, I guess. Okay, well, Jokey, you're lower in level. Man, it's weird that my starter is my lowest level Pokemon right now. Let's go for a scratch. Yeah, oh, well, that's fine. If you're going to put somebody to sleep, it might as well be Jokey. Uh, yeah, you can just scratch him again. If he has a fire attack, it's not going to hurt Jokey. Yeah, wasting it on Yawn. It's a good thing I didn't switch out. That would have put something else to sleep. Who wants to fight Slugma? Probably motherfucking Shitterax. Shitterax is a Slugma killing expert, even though he's never done it before. This motherfucker only knows Yawn. Are you kidding me? That's your only attack? I'm gonna kill you before I even fall asleep with a water gun. Fuck you, Slugma. More like Smegma. <laughs> <laughs> Ew. Okay. Yeah, here we go. What do you have next? I already forgot. You, you chose the water one? Yeah, Mudkip. Oh man. Mudkip is so much cuter than goddamn Jokey. Two of us are asleep. That's fine. Because Mr. Florida... No, let's throw it to Lucasaret. Or Locusaret. Well, eh, if it's level 15, maybe not. But we have Absorb. We'll be fine. Yeah, oh, man, Water Gun might do something, though. Oh, 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 fuck you, Mudkip! So I heard you don't like Mudkips. They're fucking, they're fucking bitches getting their crits and shit. Okay, Mr. Florida, you're the... Right now, Mr. Florida is the MVP of the team. He's the goddamn savior. He's the king. He's the monarch. He's the best. So hopefully he can take down a damn Mudkip. Yeah, <laughs> one HP. Nice try. Should we see what nature power does, or just absorb? Eh, fuck it. We can play with our food. Oh, it just turns into swift? Yeah, that's fucking gross. Say, screw that. Oh, bide! Hmm, well, 
the bide took into effect after Swift. So I can waste my turn doing Growls, and I'll be fine. Because I... I mean, surely Absorb would kill it. But just to be safe, I don't want to do a shit ton of damage and then get hit by a giant bide. So even though... Even though Absorb will probably kill it, it's better safe than sorry. Yeah, unleash your energy, you stupid fuck. Let's go for the Absorb. Now if you use Bite, it won't matter, because I guarantee you're going to be dead in less than three turns. Ah, uh, yeah, so it's probably safest that I did not use Absorb. Yeah, I think we're done here, Mudkip. Go ahead and try to use Bite again. That'll be funny. Fuck him up, Mr. Florida. My female Mr. Florida. I saw that Mr. Florida has been commenting in the comments section, so... I'm glad you're still watching. It's always disappointing where somebody gets a name and then they never acknowledge it. Because then I assume, oh, they, they got their name in the name pool and then left. Never watched another episode, and that's bullshit. I want everybody who gets a name to comment and to, to just, you know, follow the, along in the story, in the comments. And be like, yo, look at me, I'm Mr. Florida. I'm, I'm chilling out, Max, not relaxing, all cool, and all shooting some people outside of the school. You know, wear your Pokemon as a badge of honor. My favorite, and I think... Al M9, from way back when, is one of the only people who have done this, is when somebody gets a name, and then they change their YouTube avatar to be a picture of that Pokemon. That's my favorite shit. And then it makes it way easier for the other viewers to recognize them down in the comments. But I mean, I'm, I'm not your fucking mom. I'm not going to force you to. I just think it's really cool. And I like it when people do that. There comes a time in every man's life where he must admit that he was wrong and he made a mistake. That time is now. Quinlan, you have been a formidable friend and ally on the team, but I don't want to use you against Brawly because you'll get fucking killed and also I can't use you against Brawly anyway, so I need to make room for a new competitor. Oh, Rebel Pixel, the shroomish, how foolish I've been, how foolish I've been, and how it has been pointed out in the comments time and time again. It's as if these morons don't understand that they can read the comments and see that other people have said the same thing that they're about to post, and yet, oh, you'd think, hmm, would that stop them from posting? No, no way. <laughs> Rebel Pixel, not only are you not a bug, but evidently your evolution is pretty good. And I want to use you against Brawly, so welcome to the team. And let's train you up and, and stuff. Although, I guess you don't evolve before the Brawly fight, if that's okay. That's okay, you don't need to, buddy. Yo, Boku no Pico, I'm here. Time to stop getting fucked in the ass. Yep, typical Tamatsu chasing Pico around, trying to fuck him in the ass. There's no stopping this guy. He just <laughs> he needs that Pico boy pussy and his insatiable desire, his insatiable appetite for that boy pussy is completely unquenched. He has to chase him around the house <laughs> like a rapist. Here we go. Yeah, uh, Mr. Tamatsu, I'm ready to go. Let's go to Brawley Island. Yeah, fuck this whole letter subplot shit. I'm just here to fight poking mans and get badges. You know, my dad's not going to be ready when I come in to Gym 5 with a bunch of fighting Pokemon. If I have goddamn motherfucking Breloom, the Rebel Pixel, and Combuskin, or maybe at... Will he be a Blaziken at that point? I don't know. Maybe. Those two fighting Pokemon up against his, his gay ass, loafing around normal Pokemon, they're not going to stand a chance. But evidently, a lot of people in the comments don't think I'll make it that far because they're saying the third fight with a rival, super tough, which I don't get. I don't recall it ever being that tough. I just recall it being just another rival battle. And it's not like I can only bring three Pokemon into that battle. So, I mean, if I have my full team of six, the rival's just fucked. He'll never beat me. 
Are you the guy with the fishing pole? Yeah, yeah, give me that shit. Now maybe I can catch two things fishing, because right now I'm in town. But if I go up north or maybe enough to the east, maybe I'll be on one of the routes, if not two different routes. Because right now we're in Brawley Town. But now we're in Route 107. Are there that many different things I can catch with an old rod, though? It might just be Magikarp. In which case, I'll catch the Magikarp in town with the hopes that maybe I can go surfing over there later to catch something better. Oh, fuck. Oh, there we go. There we go. Give me my Magikarp that I... <laughs> oh, yep. Hey, you know, I'm fine with that because I think Magikarp is just delightful in this game. I really like that sprite. Ooh, Rebel Pixel, you are not doing too good. Let's see how your Absorb does. Yeah, he's not going to have any attacks, so it's no big deal to have you out. And I guess you're the ultimate magic carp catching machine when you're level 5. Yeah, get fucked. Go! Oh, oh really? It's that low and a level 7 magic carp broke out? I don't want to waste a Great Ball on this fucker. Go again! Go! Yeah, that's what I fucking thought, Magikarp. Your bitch ass was begging me to tackle you and accidentally get a crit and kill you, you son of a bitch. Hey, let's see who gets to be the Magikarp. And the winner is Pulsai Blue, and his comment says, I bet Psy gets full torqued watching this Nuzlocke, also named Bull Me, you bitch. Yeah, Sai. I was actually talking with Sai on Discord, and we were both surprised that I'm playing a lowly game and I haven't referenced him once yet. So, Sai, here's your the first of many to come Sai jokes about how Sai um, is a is a closet cartoon pedophile. I guess it's not closet. He brags about it. Sai, the famous Sai, the guy from uh, Gangnam Style. He wants to fuck cartoon characters. Disgusting. What did? <laughs> Now, by the end of this series, I'm going to be in the same boat, I have a feeling. Uh, only Pulsai is going to fit, so I guess we just have Pulsai. Welcome to the box, Pulsai. I'm sure at some point I'll be in need of a Gyarados, but not yet. Fisherman Ned, if you just have a... Do you have a Magikarp? Oh, no, Tentacool. Oh, I don't think I've seen that yet. I like that. I like the blue hair. Kind of reminds me of Ray from that damn Evangelion shit. Well, we don't want to use you, Rebel Pixel. Route 106, maybe I can fish again? But I don't think there'll be anything other than magic carbs. With the old rod, at least. I'll give it a shot! Yeah, well, another magic carp. I guess it's good training for Rebel Pixel. Oh, hey! Tentacool, perfect! Perfect. I was just looking at one of you. Let's catch our own little Ray. Man, I hope Ray had blue hair. If I'm remembering wrong, I'm going to sound like a retard. Stun spore that bitch. Oh, God, no. Uh, don't get... Hey, we didn't get poisoned. Ah, oh, fucking God damn it. We'll give it another shot. Stun spore. Oh, man. This thing has more tricks than I do. Hit him. Oh, uh, well, okay, Rebel Pixel, you fucking tried. But I don't trust you. You're gonna get... You're gonna hit yourself in confusion, you're gonna get hit with Poison Sting, and then you're gonna get poisoned, and you're gonna die. So let's go ahead and take the safe route, and use... Uh... Ember... Waves of Grain? Maybe... Go, oh, Jockey! Ah, you're gonna get poisoned too, I bet. No, you didn't. Good. We're two for two on not getting poison. Let's go. Amber that bitch. Oh, <laughs> that did less than I was hoping. Uh, I was hoping it would do less than half, but not that much less than half. I guess I'll trust a scratch. Yeah, okay, good. Mm, do I trust another scratch? Or maybe just a couple embers? Because I want to get a lower, but not super low. All right, go Pokeball. I wasn't expecting to catch something else, so this is just a... Uh, just everything's coming up Millhouse over here. Oh, fucking... Go again! I'll run out of Pokeballs on your ass if I have to. 
I've got the ace in the hole of that great ball, so if, if you don't want to get caught, you're getting caught anyway, you goddamn tentacool son of a bitch. You cute little lowly fuck. I bet Sai wants to have a sigh after he fucks you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, f fuck it. I'll throw a goddamn grape ball. I don't give a shit. If this doesn't work, then I'm gonna ember your ass down to the red. Hey, there we go. Hey, LMAO. <laughs> One guy in the comments said, never say that again. So I think I'm going to add it to my, my vocab list. <laughs> I don't usually say it. I said it as a joke. But now, since it pisses off that one guy, it's gonna be my new catchphrase. Hey, Alameo! <laughs> yeah, we did it! And the winner is Danks McFanks, whose comment, oh, very astute, it says, Ernest Hemingway. Uh, is that all gonna fit? Let's see, that's, that's a lot of letters. Um, I'll try it, but maybe I'll just go for McFanks. Alright, welcome to the, welcome to the box, McFanks. And to be honest, I'd, hmm, I want to say I'd probably pick you over Gyarados, just because Gyarados is so played out in Nuzlocke, and everybody uses one. I just rewatched Pro Jared's, um, uh, it was his Pokemon Y Nuzlocke, and of course he has a Gyarados. Everybody uses a fucking Gyarados, but not good old Monkey Boy. But then again, I think everybody uses Tentacruel too, just because there's so many of them. So I guess if I have to choose, I don't know. I'll toss a coin. I'd say they're both equally good. One... No, no, Gyarados is actually kind of shit. Because water attacks are special in this game, and he has high normal attacks. So I probably would just pick Tentacruel over Gyarados. Fisherman Elliot wants to battle. Uh, he hates women, he thinks that life is cruel, and he has a magic carp. So who can blame him? Oh, of course, Elliot doesn't have any girls on his team, it's all boys. I know for a fact that this cave has Aeron and Makuhita, and since it's a cave, it probably also has Zubat. So of those three, I'm really hoping for an Aeron. Aeron, however that's pronounced, I have no idea how to pronounce anything. But I think it's the rarest one, in which case I would also like a Makuhita. I mean, Jesus served me pretty well in the last Nuzlocke, but it's still not that great. And Zubat's fine. So really, whatever I catch in this cave, I'm happy with. Maybe I can make it, because I think Aeron's are... Oh, shit. Well, let's see what we get. Uh oh. Oh, my God. Zubat is adorable. Oh, I love it when they're... Like, their bangs and their hair goes in front of their eyes. Oh, that's... That makes up for getting a Zubat, because that's just fucking adorable. Oh, uh, okay. Let's go for a Tackle Rebel Pixel. It's crazy how this game... Makes me want to use Pokemon I normally wouldn't really care about, just because they look cute. I've probably talked about this before, but goddamn. Oh, I forgot to buy more Pokeballs. I've only got two. Uh, go for the Absorb and, and then a Stun Spore. We can't fuck around when we have no Pokeballs. Come on, buddy, you can do it. It's fine. Nope, okay, never mind, you can't. <laughs> Rebel Pixel, you're a failure. Uh, uh, tackle... Ah, uh, okay. Okay, good enough for me. Good That's not a stun spore. We're not gonna go stunning and brave on his ass. But I guess we can go Pokeball on his ass. Go! We only get two shots of this, so you better fucking work. Hey, LMAO! <laughs> we did it! <laughs> Let's get a name for Zubat. And the winner is Terry Dactyl. That's a kind of cute name. And his comment says, Locust Red evolved into Nanners? Nyaners? I don't know how to... Uh, hey, let's, get... <laughs> let's put the name on there. Well, it's not all gonna fit. So I guess it'll be Terry Dact... Oh, we'll leave off the Y. Sorry, but that's all that'll fit. And to be fair, I've... I've already used... Zubats a couple times in my Nuzlocke, I think I did in Crystal, and I know I used it in Moon, so... Hopefully you stay in the box, Pterodactyl, but there's your name. Uh, hopefully I don't have to use you. We've had a pretty good bounty today, we caught three Pokemon when I thought we'd only get two. And now it's time, I mean there's nothing else to do, now it's time to train up. For the motherfucking gym, I'm going to double check, I'm pretty sure I'm training up to level 17.
almost positive, but I'll double check and get that training going. Alrighty, as I've said before, Brawly's Pokemon, he has three of them, highest is level 19 Makuhita, but the only damaging they moves that they have are all fighting. Locusaret has a one-fourth resistance, which means his attacks will do one-fourth of the damage, Shidorak Axe will resist it, and then Rebel Pixel will resist that shit too. So with this team of three, he's pretty much fucked, and just to be sure... The next gym is the electric one, and he has like Magneton and shit. And I'm pretty sure I won't want to use any of these. Uh, well, let's hope not. Let's hope that motherfucking, uh, what's his name? Torchic, Togi? <laughs> what's his fucking name? Let's hope he can take care of it. No, Jokey, that's what I meant. Yeah, I, I know your name, buddy. Yeah, my, yeah. <laughs> let's go train up. Oh, is that Makuhita? Oh, it's wearing like a little hat, like it's a little boxer girl. Like a seven-year-old girl who got into boxing. She's wearing a scarf too. Oh, that's pretty good. Got some, uh, she got some thick thighs, and I imagine a thick ass. Thick spelled C-H-I-C-C -C with spaces between all the letters. <laughs> yeah, Makuita's pretty good. Now I want to see Hariyama. I guess she'd be like just like a really fat chick. Yeah. Yeah. Leech Seed, I love that attack. You know what, I take it back. Shroomish is fine. If he has Leech Seed, then he's fine by me Seed. He's fine by Meech Seed. He's fine, he's okay. Locust Red is learning Gust, perfect. I needed a flying move for this gym. Otherwise, I was going to be tackling them all to death. Yeah, let's do it. Let's get rid of uh, bitch ass String Shot, fuck that. Alrighty, with everybody at level 15, I think it's time to go test the waters of the gym. Just as a precautionary measure to make sure I'm doing the right thing, which I am fairly confident that I am. I just, I'm really curious to see how Lucas Arret does against these fighting Pokemon, and I want to see how little damage they do against him. So we're going to go try out against those weak little trainers, and if I recall, this gym has a shit ton of them, right? Because you have to walk through a dark maze, and every turn there's another trainer waiting to fuck you over. But they're the ones who shall be fucked by my beautiful butterfly. I bet Sai would like that. Oh, yeah. Have I seen Machop yet? Or Meditite or any of those? I don't think so. Yeah, let's see what Meditite looks like. Oh, <laughs> Meditite just looks the same. They barely even changed anything. Yeah, Not impressed. That don't impress me. No, please kill me. Don't let me. No. I don't want to fall victim to Shania Twain's sick beats. Gustum, let's see how much that does. Most of it. It does most of it. That's good. And it wasted its attack on its gay-ass meditate shit. Finish him off. This'll be fine. I hope. I imagine once I'm level 17, Locust Red is going to one and two shot all of the gym leader's Pokemon. Oh no, two of them. Is this a double battle? I guess that's fine. Both of my, I guess all three of my guys are well equipped to do this shit. And you're probably going to be like level 12. Who do you have? Meditite and Machop. Okay. Okay, yeah, Machop, Machop looks like she's wearing a T-Rex costume or something. That's fine. I'm okay with Machop. I like that one a lot better than their lazy-ass Meditite. Do you have anything new, or is it the same old shit as yesterday? I've come here before inside the pouring rain. Oh, well, I guess it's new for this gym, but I've already seen that before. World spinning circles running around my brain. I always hoped that it would end this way, but it's my destiny to be the king of pain! Ooh, almost level 16. Sweet 16, Locusteret. Gonna get you a Maserati. I don't know what that is, but I think it's a car. <laughs> uh, gonna get you 
Uh, laid? Yeah, that'll be good. I'll call Sai. There you go, Sai. That's like 18 Sai jokes in the last couple episodes. Are you fucking happy? Is that everybody? Yeah, it looks like it. Okay, Brawly. Gonna get the rest of my guys all the way up to 17, and then you're dead, boy. You're gonna be deader than uh, Elliot Rogers' victims. Oh, well, no, I still got another guy. Yeah, Machop's pretty good. I'm really curious to see Machamp with four arms. To see, I, I mean, I guess it's just a costume, but I want to see the little girl with huge bulking muscles and four arms. Yeah, it's interesting because to start off the game, all of the Pokemon are pretty cute anyway because they're the early stages. So I want to see how they make the really big, bulky, scary ones cute. So this series will just keep getting more interesting as it goes on. Stun Spore. Let's get rid of Poison Sting. Yeah, we don't need that. Stun Spore is better. Oh, Mega Drain. Just in time, too. That's great. Hell yeah. Eh, 40. Whatever. Fuck Absorb. Or though, eh. Um. And I'll fuck Tackle, right? Yeah, because I don't want to lose all my power points. Fuck Tackle. Th Tackle's gay. Okay, we are all trained up and ready to go. But as I've been training, I have been thinking. And you're, you might think I'm crazy, but I am so overly confident in Locus Arete and Shadorax that I think... I mean, this, this gym is going to be way easier than the first one. By far, I imagine. So if these two can't do it, then I don't think we can do it. Like, there's no way these two would lose. And why I'm saying this is because... If Rebel Pixel really does become a good fighting Pokemon soon, I would like to have that on my team to fight against the Magneton Gym, just to have backup for my Jokey. So I think I'm going to replace Rebel Pixel with with some other fodder for now and just hope that I don't need a third Pokemon for this gym because it's it's going to be easy as shit. And just in case I want to use Rebel Pixel later on, I want to have that option, so we're going to do that. Let's see, uh, who wants to hang out in the gym? All right, uh, Terry Dactyl, this is your time to shine. I'm not going to waste three years to train you up to 17, so we just really need to hope and pray that we don't need you. Because it took long enough to train these ones. All right, Rebel Pixel, I'll see you later. We're coming for you, Brawly, and we're overconfident... And one of us is under-leveled. Let's see what you can motherfucking do, you brawly bitch. You buff, bodacious, boyhood, uh, bitch. Go! <laughs> Let's do it, brawly. I'm brawly. I'm gay. I'm a fag. I'm gay. I suck. All my Pokemon only have fighting moves because I'm a fucking idiot. Let's go. I sure do hope you don't have a Beautifly on your team or else I'd be completely fucked. Machop, more like my dead, more like my lady, more like Tip Fedora, more like Gust. Go! This is gonna do over half. I can feel it in my bones. Yep. Well, you're done, son. It's been fun, son. But that only did three, son. Uh, goodbye, son. Okay, one down. Locust Red, two to go. You've taken three damage from probably one of his strongest attacks on Machop. God, there's really nothing he can do. This is almost unfair. Meditite, you'd think, oh, maybe it'll have confusion. That would suck. Well, first of all, I'm a bug, so it wouldn't suck. Right? Whatever. And second of all, no. It only has motherfucking fighting moves and then, um, light screen and shit. So who gives a fuck? Fuck you. Get gusted, bitch. Yeah. Throw up your screen. Uh, it didn't even throw out the screen. Really? It would have helped you tremendously if you would... <laughs> double your defense, but I guess you're too stupid. Uh, well, maybe not. Super potion, that's fine. Now that you've used a potion, I can use a potion. And since you do so little damage to me, one of my super potions... Oh, and critical hit. I can't even finish my sentences I'm beating you so fast. Talk about humiliation. Goddamn, I do these games on one of the hardest modes I can imagine, and it's still too easy. Okay, Makuhita, let's hope you can do it. I'm gonna gust you. I'm not even gonna fuck around with the stun spore. Just going straight for the gust. And yeah, it does over half. You're done. Vital throw. Didn't do anything. Oh, he's got a citrus berry. God damn it. That did a lot. 
And I forgot that my heat is on, so I'm sorry if you can hear that, but we're almost done here anyway, so I'm not even gonna bother to turn it off. Fuck him up. One more turn, buddy. One more goddamn turn. Yeah, you better bulk up as much as you can. Finish him off, Locust Red, with a gust. Game over, Brawly. I'd say it's been fun. Oh, there comes a time in every man's life where he is wrong <laughs> and he must apologize for his mistakes. Is that a strategy? Keep bulking up and then use potions when you need to? Oh, does bulk up increase his defense? Mmm, that is... That's a troublesome idea, isn't it? Here's an even more troublesome idea. Motherfucking stun spore, bitch! Fuck you! You can't potion your way out of that shit. So if I have to switch out to Sheetorax, guess who's still paralyzed? That's you. Mm, what, how much is this gonna do? 50? Oh, that, 4? Oh, because reversal does more if I do damage first, right? Mmm... You know what? I've never used a potion. Let's do it right now, just to be safe. Since I can, I will. Where the hell are they? On the super potion. Let's do it. If you're gonna use motherfucking potions all the time, I will too. Get fucked. Yeah, and you're paralyzed. So now even if you use your reversal bullshit, it's not gonna kill me. Good, good, good. One more. Vital throw. What a waste of an attack. Alright, Locust Red, finish him off with Gust. This time I mean it. Game over, buddy. Well, Brawly, you had me on the ropes for not even a second. I was a little worried about your stupid bulk up shit, but it didn't even matter. Now we're level 18. Did we learn anything now? Not that it matters, because Locust Red, your work here is done. Sorry to say it, buddy, but it's time for retirement. You did everything I wanted you to do. I only got you and trained you up to fight this gym, and you did it. So it's time to, to box you up and and just like take out, throw you in the fridge, and then forget about you until it's time to throw it in the garbage. Got the knuckle badge from Brawly. Hooray. So let's go drop off Locusaret and get back a team of six. All right, Locusaret, thank you for your service. If I have to come back for you someday, then that means we are in deep trouble. So let's hope that I never have to see you again. And also, Bitch ass, uh, Terry Dactyl. Don't need you right now either. So thanks for filling up that spot. Well, I guess I don't know who I want to replace Locust Red on the team. We've got Sheeterax, Jokey, Florida, Autistic, Rebel Pixel. Who should be the number six spot? Should I go for Gyarados? Should I keep doing Quinlan? Even though I'm pretty sure Mighty Enna. No, no, you know what? I was about to say I'm pretty sure Mighty Enna is shit. But I guarantee I'd get a million comments. Monkey, Mariana is the, the third strongest dark Pokemon in the whole game. Yeah, well, I'm pretty sure it has shit defense. <sighs> but if these are my options, I guess I can go for the Gyarados. But that feels cheap and boring. And also, I'm about to go fight like an electric gym. So yeah, yeah, whatever. Fine, Quinlan, welcome back. That's fine. Sorry for almost saying you were shit, even though you probably are. I'll probably go catch something better on the next route and replace you, because I like everybody else. I really like everybody else. Especially Autistic. And Mr. Florida. These are my favorites so far. Don't tell the other Pokemon. But you two are my favorites, even though... I really hate your lowly avatars. Okay. Let's go, I guess, get Flash or something and go explore that... The gay ass cave. Alright people, I'm doing a bit of research ahead as I always do, just so I'm, I'm constantly thinking, which Pokemon do I want to use in the next gym? Oh, what should I do? And I wrongly thought that Watson's best Pokemon was his Magneton, but that's only true in Ruby and Sapphire as it turns out. 
in this game, Magneton is his second best. So I, I was planning on using a bunch of fighting Pokemon like Breloom and Combusken, and they would they would kick that they defeat the gym because they're strong against Steel and <laughs> well, <laughs> looks like that's that's not as true as it could have been. However, I, I do get to bring in four Pokemon. I thought I'd only get to bring three, so now I have four I get to play with. Unfortunately, I can only train to level 22 since his strongest is 24. And Shroomish evolves at level 23. <sighs> that is really shitty. But it gets worse. It just it just keeps getting worse. So let's take a look at the team. Oh, what do I have? Oh, okay. Weak to electric. It's going to be a Shroomish, so pretty much not that not very good for a gym battle. One level away from evolving. This uh, autistic might be my best bet. I don't know when that evolves, but hopefully, if it doesn't evolve before 22, then I'm I'm just fucked. This is is weak to electric. I think. I mean, it's water. This will be a Combuskin, so it's just like a solid Pokemon, but he's only strong against one thing. And then this. Which ones am I not allowed to use? Uh, it's been a while since I recorded the last episode. Which ones did I use? It was Shitarax and uh, the the fucking bug thing. Yeah, yeah, the, the two other things are in the PC, so that's no big deal. So pretty much if I want to win this gym, I have to catch some new Pokemon that are actually going to be good. Preferably a ground-type Pokemon, because pretty much everything I have is either weak or just not going to be very good. And I only have a couple catches, right? I can't catch anything else on this island. I get to catch something on the route between the... Uh, I don't know. I don't know. There's not a whole lot of catches, I don't think. Maybe there are. I hope so. I hope I catch some good shit, because right now, I will not have a team of four things that I'm confident in fighting Watson with. Oh good, Wismer evolves into Loudred at level 20, so at least I'll have something that's evolved. Right now I'm looking at Loudred and Combuskin. Uh, God, fuck. I think it's safe to, safe to say something will die. If not, just I'll lose the whole thing. <laughs> but just gotta keep trucking along, let's go through the cave. I actually don't remember where I get Flash, but I don't really care. I'm just gonna go through it without Flash. Wait, Granite Cave. Is this also Granite Cave up here? Yeah, fuck, God damn it! fuck you. Make it Granite Cave 2 or some shit. Oh, there's Aeron. Ah. Uh, she's like, she's like all snuggled up on the floor crawling. Uh, yeah, that's, that's okay. That's fine. I'll take that lowly. Oh, I guess it's a boy. Uh, what? Why didn't... Why wasn't Ember super effective? I thought he was steel. Is he steel and ground or something? I thought he was just pure steel. He must be steel, ground, and... No, I should just stop guessing. Every time I guess a type... Oh my god, Jokey, let's get you the fuck out of there. Every time I guess a type, I'm wrong. And then I don't find out for, like, three episodes, so people spend a whole week shitting on me in the comments. Oh look, it's Steven, hooray! I hope I have Blaziken at the end of the game, so I can use its, I guess, flamethrower on you, because you have all steel. And this is... there's a lot of implications going on here. It's implying not only that I will beat the next rival battle, but I'll beat the next gym, and I'll make it all the way to the end of Victory Road and, and the Elite Four. So that's my mission! Steven, you shall be Monkey's final trial to glory! And I swear I'll make it there and I'll defeat you! You'll, you're my new Ben Saint! Only you're actually competent at battling Pokemon! Okay! Alright, Tamatsu, take me away! Let's go to the next town, Slateport! I'll go catch some new Pokemans. Hopefully, I'll find like a Mudkip or a Groudon. Is it Groudon? Groudon? No, it's gotta be Groudon, right? Um, a uh, Hippo Down. Just need something that is big, bulky, and ground, please. I'm on a beach, it's a good start. Isn't there a free soft sand around here somewhere? I think. I know that there's a soft sand here somewhere, but I can't fucking find it. Oh, this bitch just gives it to you. I've been... 
clicking around for no reason. Okay, thank you. Now I really need a ground Pokemon. Uh oh, fuck you. Oh, oh god damn it. Alright, double battle. Let's hope it's nothing tough. They better both have like level 12 Pokemon. Oh, Chandler! Could this be any more of a Pokemon battle? Oh, we haven't seen Azuril yet. Well, that's pretty cute. Little Meryl looking Pokemon hopping on a ball, but damn jokey. Get out of the way, I want to see your big blue ball. Move. Move that damn... I'm gonna have to kill Jokey just to get that life bar out of the way. Oh, you got all water? That's perfect. I have Mr. Florida and Rebel Pixel. Good fucking luck. Talk about game over. Drain him? Oh, God, no. I just wanted to drain your big blue balls, but it's not working. It didn't do enough. Hopefully I'm <laughs> high enough level that there's no issue here, though. We'll just keep fucking... We'll keep draining your big blue ball as you real... Oh, I guess you're a girl. Oh, well. I still want your blue balls. Sucked. I'm gonna suck all the energy out of those. You know what? This joke brought to you by 13-year-old Mumkey. Coming up with all the best sexual references and puns. 13-year-old Mumkey, and now he's dead. Well, one down, three to go. Does that thing have just a really... a, a lot of HP? Or are we weak? Because you would think a Mega Drain and an Absorb from these Pokémon would be doing... like almost killing it in one hit. I don't get what's going on. It doesn't even say that it's super effective. I don't understand it. It's just water type, right? Or is that something that was changed in this edit? Am I going insane? Am I going insane? All these... Maybe Aaron is ground, but I... I know Azuril is... Is just pure water, right? Why is grass not super effective against Azuril? Are there edits in this game I don't know? Or am I just not thinking of something? I have to look it up. Oh, it's... Azuril is a pure normal type? What the fuck? What the fuck? Really? That's fucking retarded to me. I thought it was water. I don't... God damn, I don't know shit. Go ahead, bitch in the comments. I don't care. I guess I just don't know shit. Oh, Aeron is steel and rock. That makes sense. Not ground, he's rock. Alright, put your fucking pitchforks down. It's all in the same episode. If you commented about it, you didn't listen all the way through, you fucking idiot. Oh, nature power would do... Earthquake here, because we're on the sand. So it would be super effective against Tentacool, because he's poison. But Rebel Pixel doesn't want to get hit by that, so I guess we'll switch to... Shitterax, because he won't get hit by Earthquake. Is this gonna work? I hope so, that'll be fun. Go for it, Florida! Oh no, you're slower. Go for it, Florida! Florida's not famous for Earthquakes, is it? I wish it was. Yeah, it doesn't affect Cheaterax, bitch! I would bet you wish you could fly, mother... Fucker. Yeah, get fucked. There we go. Should have been doing that from the beginning. Oh, I have to fight a million people in here. I guess it'll be good training to <laughs> finally evolve Jokey. I don't think I've ever made it two gyms into a Pokemon game without my starter evolving. So this is a first. Goldine. Oh my god. That's a new one. It looks like she's wearing a little dress. Oh, and the dress matches her hair. Oh, and she's got a little horn. And then a little lowly is horny. <laughs> I bet Sai would find that just appalling. That she's wearing clothes. Oh, Quinlan, you haven't done shit for a while. That's... I don't even... Fuck, you'll, you'll probably be evolved by level 22, right? Is Mighty Anna gonna be worth using against an electric gym? Maybe, I don't fucking know. Uh, let's see how much you can do. Oh, yeah, that's good. Okay, you can beat Goldeen. Mm, well, maybe. Now that you're counting the ducks, I don't know, Quinlan. Oh, fuck you. Oh, that's a lot of damage to yourself, Quinlan. Is that evidence of a high attack stat or a really low defense? I don't fucking know. Go autistic. Go full-blown autist on this cute girl wearing a dress. Yeah, I, I imagine that's the face most autists would have when seeing a, a cute girl in public. Especially if she's horny, you know what I'm saying? Uproar, baby! Uproar is very risky because once I start it, it doesn't stop for like three turns. But I'm confident that I can beat Goldeen with it. 
Unless he gets a one-shot on me right now. I hope he doesn't know guillotine. Alright, I beat him. Give me my free shit. Yeah, I'm scorching hot. Five million degrees. I'm praying on my knees just to get a little breeze. Forget about bees. I got Q's on my head. And all the other letters take a cruise on my head. Bruce Lee's chillin' reading news on my head. And the moosiest punch in a bruise in my head. Hey! It's the battle tent. That's not a contest hall. I wanted to do a contest. What's a battle tent? Oh, is it like those three-on-three -three battles and stuff? Oh, no, go fuck yourself. I wanted to do contests and see if the little lolies would be up there, although I'm guessing it wouldn't be. I think the lowly sprites only appear in battle because they don't appear right here. But it'd be really funny if the lolies were actually in the contest, but I guess I, it's not an option, so fuck it. All right, I bought some great balls, and now before I go do all the stupid storyline shit with Team Aqua and all that, I want to go catch something, just so I can hopefully feel better about <laughs> about all my birds and water Pokemon. What's over here? You can get like a Plusle and a Minin. You can get Electric. Electric might be okay if he learns a good non-electric move. I don't know what else is over here. <sighs> here we go. Please, something I can use in this gym, please. Oh, what is it, a plusle? No, it's mining. <sighs> Fine. I don't even like the lowly of it. Oh, I'm sure everybody's gonna tell me mining's actually secretly the best Pokemon ever made because you could. Man, I don't know if it's gonna be very good, especially in this gym. I'll do research, I guess. Oh, I guess first we have to catch it. Go for an ember, Jokey. I mean, it wouldn't hurt to paralyze things, but I don't know if if you can paralyze all his electric Pokemon. I know some of them can't. Ah! Okay. God, I'm just so disappointed. How many other catches do I get? I guess once I, once I get to the next town, I can go to the west, and I can go to the north. I don't know if there's any grass in the north until I get rock... Rock smash, but I can go to the left and catch like one more thing. Ooh, okay, he's burned. Let's start chucking balls before he fucking dies. Oh god, yeah, I really needed balls, didn't I? Go great ball. Let's make mine in great again. Got him. Okay, I'm gonna find a name and then maybe I'll do some research and see if he's not worth replacing somebody on the team. <laughs> My guess is an educated no. And the winner is Janik Exalovich. <sighs> okay. Uh Ex Exilovich? I don't I don't know about that. It is a, f a funnier name than Janik though, and you you'll get to hear me try to pronounce that every time, so I guess I'll go with Exilovich. Alright Exilovich, welcome to the box for now. <sighs> Maybe, maybe you secretly learn Earthquake at level 22. I guess I'll, I'll go take a look. Okay, I looked it up, and other than, like, a mildly okay special defense, Minin only learns Spark at level 19, so it's not gonna have any fucking moves. So it's, it's just a, it's a waste. It's a fucking waste. <sighs> Let's go do all the plot stuff real quick. Yeah, here's, I got your thing, and you take it, and then I, and then I go to the museum, and I fight a guy, and, and then it's over. And then I kill myself. Wait, what? Go talk to Captain Stern. Alright, Team Aqua, it's time for you to finally evolve my Jokey. No. No. That's my money, and I need it now. It's my money, and I need it now! 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 You raised me up so I could stand on my
Captain Stern? More like I had a stern talk with my father after he caught me jerking off to my little pony hentai. More like I'm every member of the PCP. <laughs> More like... I hope this isn't a double battle. Okay, good. Carvana, that's a new one. Oh, she's like a like a punk girl. She again, she's got the little fins off of her head. It looks like she's kind of flying. That's less of a costume to me. It looks more like she has like an actual fang coming out of her mouth. I think she just might be a mutated homunculus or some shit. Oh, it's finally happening. Oh, he's learning Peck. Uh, he's not really a bird Pokemon, but Peck is certainly better than Scratch. Well. Uh, it will be if I'm super effective with it, but I don't need these ones. Fuck that. Fuck focus energy. Go fuck yourself. Let's evolve, baby! The next evolution in lowly technology. What will it be? Apple will present it. Here we go, baby! The moment we've all been waiting for. Jokey stops being a disgusting chicken nugget of human being and becomes a lowly, worth the love and attention of of us with our penises out, ready to jerk off with the lotion and with a handkerchief and... And what does it look like? We'll see that... There we go. I already like it ten times more than what it used to be. It looks like just one of the battle girls, but wearing a Combuskin costume. It's fine. It's adequate, it's fine, and it's learning double kick. That's what I like to see. Two new moves on the same level. Fuck Scratch. Oh, again? Fine. Fine, Combuskin can get... Her first moment in the lime- I guess his. His first moment in the limelight against Zubat. That'll be fine. Even though I'm paralyzed because I forgot- Hey! I really like the- this avatar from the back, the sprite. It looks much cuter when it's not jumping, kicking at you. There you go, the stupid side quest is over. I can move on to losing to the rival on the next route. No more of this stupid plot bullshit for me. No, sir, I'm a free woman with a bunch of unfree lowly slaves. Hey, wait, don't you have thief? Can you give me that motherfucking thief, baby? I imagine it's thief. Maybe I'll teach it to... to, uh, goddamn Pugina. 40 power? Eh. Well, I guess if I know that the opponent has a berry like a gym leader... It'd be cool to use Thief to steal the berry right off the bat. Quinlan probably wants to learn that. Even though Bite is so much better. Hal is really good, but... If Dark Attacks are really special like I think they are in this game, then Hal is kind of worthless. Sand Attack I want to keep because I have a feeling Quinlan is going to die by spamming Sand Attack until he gets killed. And that might be one of my strategies. Maybe even in the... In the gym battle that I'm so worried about. So fuck off tackle. Route 10, you really burned me. You fucked me over with that shitty mining, but to be fair, I don't think you really had anything other than Electrike. That was worth getting. And even Ele even Electrike wouldn't have been that good. Oh, who's this? You're gonna give me a... Oh, Professor Birch. Give me a Mudkip. I made a mistake. <laughs> Please. <laughs> Please, save me. I can't win without Marsh Tom. Oh, so many Pokenav things in a row. They really think I want to call all these people. Oh, fingers crossed that the route changes for no reason. Ah, oh, double battle. You know what? I can do a fucking double battle. Fuck you. We'll use Ju... Mmm... I'll start off this way, but then I'll switch out Autistic, because he needs... those sweet experience points. Maybe if I go to the left up here, the route will change. Maybe. And then I'll probably get a plus land of mine and it'll be perfect. The dream team. Oh, speaking of which, these little fucks. Fuck both of you. Weed berry. So if that one has a weed berry, maybe the other one does. In which case, I would like to utilize my new thief technique. <laughs> you might think that the berry is yours for the eating, but it's actually mine for the taking. When Quinlan uses his secret ninja technique, thief. He will steal your berry and you'll be left berry list. You'll be berry. You'll be very. You'll be very sad. <laughs> Fuck. Prepare for trouble. Make it double. Prepare for trouble. Make it double. They'll stop helping each other. They used to. They helped each other's hands. These two trainers are not communicating at all. 
Yeah, Quinlan, take that goddamn berry. Thief that shit. Yeah, get fucked. It actually worked. If only I needed it. Uh, should have attacked the other one. Could have killed him. Well, probably not killed him, but I could have taken his goddamn weed berry. Oh, well. Oh, I guess I didn't get a Pokemon in Slateport. But again, it's gonna be another goddamn water Pokemon. I need to either learn how to surf or get a better rod so I can actually get a good fucking... <sighs> Moment of truth. Are we gonna change the route when we go up here? Are we gonna change the route? Please? Yeah, Route 103? What's this one? Route 110, perfect. This is what I needed. I need to find some grass and kick some ass, baby. These cherry berries might be more useful than the weed berries in the next gym. If I give everybody this, I won't have to worry about getting paralyzed for the most part. So I think I'll hold on to those. Skitty, that's a new one. Oh, that's, that's the peak of being adorable. That's perfect. As if cat girls couldn't get any cuter, now it's a skitty. And it's a girl too. Well, I guess I'm glad I, I'm not catching that, but it would be nice to have it. Alright, it's the moment of truth. Are there going to be any grass patches on this route? Or am I going to explode in an autistic rage? Hmm, eh, yep. It, yeah, it's, it's just water. It's just water. Alright, yeah, just water. Wait, 103, I've already caught something on this route anyway. That's where I caught Wingle. On the other side of this, yeah, so I can't catch anything here anyway. God fucking damn it. It was all for naught. Alright, that was a big waste of time, and my spirits are as low as they've ever been, and now I'm pretty much right up to battling the rival, and evidently this battle is supposed to be pretty tough. But uh, my guys are looking pretty strong. I mean, I can only train to 22 for the next gym anyway, so I'm about where I should be, I think. Except for, like, maybe Quinlan. So I guess in my dour spirits, I'll go fight the rival and probably just lose the whole Nuzlocke because I'm so sad that I can't catch any fucking Pokemon that I want. What does he start off with in the battle? I don't know. But he's going to have the, the Marsh Tom, so I'll want to use Rebel Pixel against that. So I guess it'd be smart to start off with something like Sheetorax, maybe? I don't know what he starts off with, but I'm not going to look it up. Sheetorax, you can do it. Ooh, I hope his levels aren't too high. Well. You know what? It wouldn't be a fun Nuzlocke if I just... If I grind it up a million... Let's go! Do it! Let's fight! I'm ready! I, I'm ready, Freddy! Let's fight! It'll It's fight night! Brendan and Monkey! Monkey and Brendan! Brothers and sisters in arms, fighting to death with a lowly death squad. You say it'd be some kind of lowly squad. <laughs> Lombre, okay. So, yeah, Sheeterax is a good pick to start off with. Good job, Monkey, and we're good and level. I'm very confident this battle's gonna be easy as shit. Go wing attack. Fuck as shit. Pia! <laughs> no, you guys are right, yeah, this battle's really hard. I'm gonna lose. Oh man, oh, what a difficult battle. I can't believe I'm gonna lose so bad. Oh, I should always listen to the fans in the comments. They're so, they're so smart if you're using fucking Smegma against Cheaterax. Yeah, oh man. Oh, what are we gonna do, guys? We're so fucked. This has gotta be the hardest battle in the whole game. All those. Oh, oh. This has gotta be the hardest battle in the whole game. Like, I just. I don't know what to do. I can't take it. Oh, now he's down to his strongest Pokemon, and I still have my whole team! Oh! <laughs> Let's switch. Marsh Tomp, yeah. Eh, Marsh Tomp's okay. That really does look like a, just like a little girl wearing a costume, more so than most of the other ones. Marsh Tomp level 20, meet motherfucking Rubble Pixel level 18. Yeah, this is the first you've seen of him, because last time he fought, he was shamefully in the box. Ooh, bide. Yeah, nice try. Well, I guess if you're gonna bide, I'll go for the leech seed if you're gonna waste another turn. Ah, fuck you! Sunspore? Please? Come on, something has to work. I can't miss two in a row. That is uncalled for. That is not fair. Go for the fucking Mega Drain. Oh, no. If this... Oh, this better do over half. Oh, thank God. 
Now, watch what's gonna happen is I'm gonna miss again, and then he's gonna unleash energy, and Rebel Pixel's gonna be dead. Fucking hit him. Fucking hit him, please. Okay. You know what? Fine. It was a fine battle. Nothing bad happened. It was actually quite easy. So, yeah, there's your big climactic ending of this episode. I don't know. I don't fucking know. And welcome back to the first ever all-musical episode of Monkey's Nuzlocke. Except, of course, for this sentence and the one immediately preceding it. Mm -hmm. I'm Monkey Jones, gonna break your bones. I'm gay, I wanna fuck you that way. Hey, look, it's a guy on a bike in a fag with purple hair with some what the fuck is that Magnemite Loli doing over there? <laughs> that's what Magnemite Loli looks like. Okay, that's... That's just plain adorable. I I really like that one, although I, I expected this game to be more in the world of realism, and since this, this one is actually floating in midair, thanks to the, the great ICP power of magnets, how do they work, it's kind of breaking the realism for me. So far, this world could have just existed of people who, like little girls, dress up as Pokemon or whatever, but now that that one's actually floating, floating in midair, it kind of ruins it for me. Anyway, pretend that that was all lyrics to a song, because this is the singing episode. Oh, I'm feeling good in Mr. Rogers' neighborhood. <laughs> yep. I don't know what for Pokemon I'm gonna use against Watson. Watson, what a novel concept. Having the third gym leader use electric Pokemon. How did Game Freak think of that? It's never been done in a Pokemon game before. Hey, we're in Marvel City. It's so shitty. Look at these gay ass bikes. I bet they were made by... Kind-hearted old men who like to build bikes. <laughs> Let's get some new Pokemon. Is there any grass over here? Ah, uh, God. Uh, it's just water, isn't it? Fuck you. Fuck you. I guess first let's go to the Pokemon Center. Oh, God damn it, Wally. Fuck off, dude. I don't care. Okay, new route. Route 117. That's new in my book. Uh, daycare, that's not going to help me because I don't... <laughs> I need a good Pokemon. It doesn't matter what level it is. Oh god, what's over here? Fucking, uh, Skitty? Zigzagoon? Oh god damn it. Wha Which Pokemon game is it where... I think it's Pokemon Black and White, where right before the gym they have a bunch of wild Pokemon that are strong against that gym. Like before the second gym, which is normal, you can catch Throw and Sock. I wish they had something like that in this game. I want to get fucking gypped, ain't I? Here we go, fingers crossed, this is one of my last catches, if not my last. Oddish? Oddish! It's, uh, it's, uh, oh, what's the name of my Oddish from all the way back in the old day? Um, uh, it's on the tip of my tongue. It's like j Jazz, Jazz Mary, Jazz Mary! Jazz Mary the Oddish. That could be good against an electric gym, sure, why not? I'll just go in with a bunch of grass Pokemon, although my other grass Pokemon are also weak to electric. Let's go for, let's astonish him. It'll be the most astonishing attack he sees all day. Uh, this is the first time we see Oddish, and this is another very cute Loli. <laughs> like, I, it looks like it's wrapped up in a little blanket, and it has <laughs> some lettuce on its head, and it, its expression is that of, like, it's very happy and excited, and it's it's just a cute Loli. I'll give it a, it's a solid 8.5 out of 10. What can I say? Professional Loli connoisseur. I learned from the best. I learned from Digibro and Sai, and now I am entering the world of Lolis. I don't know if I want to use Pound. Mm, but I don't want to start chucking balls yet, because it still has a lot of experience. Go, Pound. Pound only does 20 power, right? Plus plus the stab bonus. Mm, careful. Okay, good. We'll do one more Pound, since he keeps using Absorb. 
Mmm. Okay, time to chuck that great ball to make Jazz Mary great again. Autistic's evasiveness, Phil. Go! Oh, yeah, I'm supposed to be singing. Go, motherfucking great ball, baby. Get caught in my ball, my blue balls. That as you Merrill is bouncing on. Hey, we got it. We got it. Surely it evolves into gloom by level 22, right? Or knowing my luck, it's gonna be like level 23. <sighs> weed Pokemon. I'll give it a fucking weed berry. Perfect. Oh boy. Oh, this is an unfortunate one. But this time the winner is Castle Toast M, the guy who comments on every single video I've ever made. He even went back through the back catalog, the catalog to comment on every single thing, just to post hashtag monkey168, an old meme from my Countdown to Suicide channel. So yeah, Castle, Castle Toast, you finally did it. You're the new Jazz Mary. Congratulations. Mm, this is not gonna fit. Castle Toast. Damn it, it's not gonna fit. Maybe I'll just go with Castle T, or should I try to very awkwardly fit Toast? Castle Toast? <laughs> I don't know, I guess. I'll just pronounce it as Castle Toast, because oh, why not? Welcome to the box, Castle Toast. Let's see when you evolve. Ah, oh, fuck. Oh, good news. Oddish evolves at level 21, so that's just in time. Just in time. If I had a son named Justin, I'd change my surname to Time, just in time. I once had a friend in high school who was actually named Justin Case. Oh my god, it's Doduo. Oh, it only has one bird head, and I guess the other head it counts as hers. I was wondering what um, Doug Tri or Do Dodrio would look like, because it has three heads, but this is kind of a hint that it, she just has like part of her costume is a little bird head. That's okay. Yeah, she's got like a little like shy, confused face and a <laughs> brown dress that looks like shit. It's a pretty good loli. I like that one too. Oh, I'm almost dead. Let's switch. Oh, fuck you. Oh, no. <laughs> Poor autistic. In my Vietnamese Crystal playthrough, my team was half water, and that worked out fine, but it seems like the theme of this one is going to be grass. I got grass, got grass, and now I'm getting oddish. My team's gonna be half grass. And as I've discussed, I think, in the Fire Red playthrough, it's widely regarded, grass type is, as being the worst, the weakest type. So it's kind of a ballsy idea to use a half grass team in my Nuzlocke, but I guess I'm just using the sixth best Pokemon I have at the moment. All right, Quinlan, hopefully this is the last I have to see of you. God damn it, you're so goddamn weak. But if I have to bring in four to the gym, you might have to be the fourth. Eh, maybe you evolve by then, though. Whatever, you can go hang out in the box for now. Be really nice if I could be cheap and use a Gyarados, but of course all this shit is fucking weak to electric. Welcome aboard, Castle Toast. I almost said Castle Tossed. Let's go, I guess, train you up and see if we can catch more Pokemon. Up here to the north! Route- Oh, god. Fucking damn it. I was in the middle of talking, you rude fucks. Don't interrupt me. Sandshrew and Roselia. Yeah, I've seen- I think I've seen Roselia before, but is new. It's kind of got like a- I feel like it's a, kind of a Sonic the Hedgehog rule, um... Oh god, what's the rule when you turn into a girl? Rule 63 or something? I don't know. I kind of get that vibe from it, even though it doesn't really look like it. I think it's just because the pointed ear kind of reminds me of Sonic's back being all pointy. Let's go for... Let's, let's fuck you over first. Fuck Roselia. Oh god, shit. Autistic, no. Sandshrew better fucking... Oh god. Don't attack Autistic with something good, please. Mm, ah, of course they attack him. Oh, oh god, if he would have got poisoned, he would have been he would have died. Thank god. Oh, autistic, okay, let's get you out of there, buddy. This is the closest anything's come to dying, I think. God damn it. Oh, I just realized that the seventh gym is a double battle. And I think they only have two Pokemon. So that might be the end of me with these rules. 
If I can only take in two Pokemon and it's a double battle. <sighs> Boy. That's gonna be really tricky. That's hard enough when you have a full team. But luckily it's it's like 18 gyms away, so by then I'll be dead. It won't even matter. Oh, uh, I don't see any grass up here. Oh, what's this? What is this? Oh, I can't catch Pokemon in here. Fuck you. I need some grass, please. I need to catch something. I don't want to fight all these goddamn trainers. Oh, of course, I need Rock Smash. And I don't get that until after I beat the gym. So there's one less catch. And I found out that Wismer Cave only has Wismers. So I think I'm all out of catches, actually. Am I? Can I get something? Isn't this the... Yeah. Yeah, do they have Pokemon here? Hello? Uh, I need a coin case. God, fuck. Uh. Oh, well, I don't really count this as, like, you shouldn't do this in a Nuzlocke anyway. You pick a Pokemon that you want and buy it. Kind of breaks the rules of Nuzlocke's in my mind, but god damn it, I need more Pokemon. I'm so fucked. I guess it's time to go fight Wally and his gay-ass Ralts. Ah, uncle! Is that his uncle Alex? Holy shit. Oh, no. Oh, no, don't... Get away from that man, he will do terrible things to you. On the floor of the kitchen, with with the doggy dishes full of bleach and ramen noodles that are uncooked. Yeah, fine, we'll battle. This should be easy peasy, bleachy squeezy. Oh, and how I missed you, near. You're so near and dear to my heart, now you're near and dear to my dead. Uproar that bitch. Do you even have confusion yet? Yeah, fuck him up. <laughs> Autistic caused an uproar. That's never gonna get old. It's pretty good. Oh, that yeah, he has confusion. Good. Yeah, well, nice try. It's been fun. So with that, I think I'm all out of things to do other than fight the gym. Because I can't go anywhere else without Rock Smash. Which, which means, I guess, it's training day? It's time to train everybody up to, like, level 20 or 21 and then go fight in the gym against all the little trainers. <sighs> God. Okay. So I guess these are all the Pokemon I'm going to have, and I need to decide which ones I'm going to use. Alright, Wismer, Autistic, I think I want to use you because you evolve at level 20. Jokey, I definitely want to use you. Shitterax, you're out. You're not even an option. Florida, you're not an option. Rebel Pixel, ah, god damn it! Would a, would an un unevolved Shroomish be better than a Mighty Yenna? I guess first I need to check and see what level Puccina evolves. I'm guessing it's 20. If it's not by 22, then I, I might just be stuck with Rebel Pixel. Fuck. Oh, he evolves at level 18. Okay, that's good news. And it's probably. It goes without saying that Mighty Anna will have better stats than Rebel Pixel, but Rebel Pixel has some cool tricks, like... Like, uh, Seed Suck. What's that fucking called? Leech Seed? <laughs> nah, it should be called Seed Suck from now on. Oh, no, Mighty Anna has some pretty good attack stat. Looks like he he improves a lot from Puccina. Oh, yeah, he, he pretty much doubles in power from Puccina, so... That'd be really good. I guess I'll check Shroomish... Because I, I definitely don't want to use Shroomish in the next gym, which is Fire. So, it's not like I need to save him for later. But if he's unevolved, how strong is he going to be? So here's the problem. Shroomish resists electricity because he's grass, but also his defense in general is... Well, his special defense is 60, but all his other stats are really low. Like, as far as base stats go, Mighty Anna is about 130 higher. But if Shroomish can resist electric, and all their electric attacks are going to be special, and his special defense is pretty high, and both of his defenses are pretty high, maybe it's better to use Shroomish just because he can resist it, and he has cool little tricks. I th yes, I think that's what I'm going to do. As crazy as that sounds, I'll bring an unevolved Shroomish in, and everything else here will be evolved at once. Yeah, this is going to be the configuration. This will be the team. That's... Oh man, it's crazy. It's the best part of this kind of Nuzlocke, is that I'm forced to use, like, an unevolved Shroomish in the gym. It's fucking nuts. 
But I guess next episode, we'll be fighting, in, it, it might be the last episode, who knows? It very well might be, because this gym is tough. I'm gonna go train, I got a lot of training to do, wish me luck. There's something really bizarre with the pixel art on Castle Toast. Look, what is that shit? It looks like Missing No is on the right-hand side of fucking Oddish here. I don't even understand what's going on. Uh, but I guess we'll get used to it. That They fucked up in the sprite art on this one, I think. Oh, Dust Ox is really nice. It looks like... What's the name of that, uh, the girl who fights with fans in Naruto? Ten Ten? That's kind of what they're doing here. Like, it, it's it's not really like a Dust Ox bug anymore, even though the fans she's holding are kind of like its wings. It's a very, very liberal interpretation of the character of that Pokemon. But, um, other than not matching Dust Ox, I think this one is also very cute. I feel like I'm just repeating myself in these lowly reviews, because all I can say is that they're very cute. What, can, I don't know, what else is there to say about it? Oh, Volbeat's a new one. And this one, eh, I'm actually not that crazy about this one. I don't really like Volbeat in the first place, and the Loli is not doing anything for me. Typically, when I see a Pokemon I don't usually care about, the Loli is so good that I think, oh, I have to catch that and use that. But this one, I don't know. I I don't like the, the blue and yellow striped shirt. It kind of reminds me of Ness from uh, Smash Bros. Uh, and then she's like wearing a black jacket. Eh, it's it's not that good. I'd give this one a solid 3 out of 10. Oh boy, is this it? Is Autistic going to evolve and we can get rid of this disgusting, screaming, crybaby loli? Oh, hell yeah, okay. Autistic is evolving, what, into Asperger's? Or <laughs> into cancer? Into dank memes? What could autism be evolving into? Oh god, what is it? What's it gonna look like? I don't know, I'm scared. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what? Oh, it's precious. Oh, it's perfect. I love it. That's amazing. I, I need more of that lowly. Come back, you autistic fuck. That is 1,000 times I improved upon from the original. Holy shit. The goddamn motorcycle outside ruining this moment of awe and inspiration at this wonderful lowly. I, I don't even know where to begin. It's just, it's um, it's amazing in every single conceivable way. Autistic is now officially my favorite Pokemon on the team. Oh my god. Ah, uh, Elumis is better than Volbeat by quite a bit. But eh, just because I don't like the bug in the first place, the, eh, the lowly's not doing a lot for me. It's not. There's a lot of lowly reviews in this episode that I promised would be the gym battle, so I hope you're enjoy enjoying it. I like the way Magnemite just fucking flips around like crazy when... It, it, it's really cute when it's a little lowly girl, uh, especially. But I don't understand, how are the magnets propelling her to float in midair? Because, as far as I know, a sandy beach is not magnetic, and also that's not how magnets work in the first place. Alright, it only took 30 years because I kept running into Wild Oddishes and Castle Toast cannot fight those, but we are finally fucking evolving and we can go try out the gym. Uh, I don't know what Gloom's gonna look like, it'll probably be a little gloomy emo girl, but that's okay as long as it doesn't have the fucked up pixels. Like Oddish does. Oh boy, what's it gonna be? Another lowly review! Oh my god. She looks like every sophomore in college who is like uh, a super liberal hipster kind of girl. Like she has the disgusting natty dreadlock hair and she's wearing a, a, a sweater that's way too big and like an ugly green vomit color and she's wearing like a, a retarded shit looking hat. And, and she's obviously really depressed because Donald Trump is president. So yeah, that's that's what I would imagine as the embodiment of lowly gloom. Anyway, 
we're all almost level 22, so before we accidentally overlevel, let's go test out the gym and see... We gotta see if these Pokemon are adept. Is that the right word? If, the, if they're qualified, if they're skilled at fighting electric Pokemon, because this... This might be the last episode for all I know. This just might be a disaster. I'm gonna heal up and then I guess we'll see how well they are at fighting. Oh God. Oh man, I'm really worried about this one. I'm not doing a double battle. Let's fight them one at a time, baby. What do you got? Like a Voltorb, a Magnemite, Meditite. Okay, I've seen that before. I've fought those before. That's not even electric, fuck you, wasting my time. Okay, let's see how we do against an actual electric Pokemon. Hopefully, maybe. Let's see, I'm hoping for like a Voltorb. Oh, electric, that's fine. Oh, I don't think I've seen that before. It's got like crazy Yu-Gi-Oh hair on a duck. <laughs> that doesn't look like a little electric dog. That's what electric's supposed to be, right? Looks more like a fucking duck with, with Super Saiyan hair. Let's see how well we can sleep patter our foes. Ooh, well. This reminds me, before the gym battle, I should give everybody the the paralyzed berry. Well, that that's fucking sucks. I guess that's what the berry's for. Ah, oh, that's gonna suck. Okay, go ahead and put them to sleep, buddy. I know you can do it. Good. So even if they get, like, a sonic boom off on me, I can put them to sleep for, like, three turns to get most of the health back, I imagine. I wish we had something better than absorb. Maybe 22 he'll learn Mega Drain, but I doubt it. God damn it! Oh, of course he wakes up after one turn, but I'm paralyzed for two fucking turns. But look, that didn't do a whole lot of damage. And now I'll get most of it back from, from Absorb, right? Yeah, I got all of it back. I don't even need to put him to sleep, I'll just keep absorbing his ass. Or maybe I should poison him, because that lasts forever. He can't wake up from that. Or can I... St this will be a good test. I don't know if I can stun um, an electric Pokemon. And that might be a dumb question, but I feel like some of them you can't. But since this is a grass move, maybe it's different. But, like, Pikachu can get paralyzed, right? Maybe it's just I've had a few bad encounters. No, yeah, you can paralyze electric Pokemon. That's fine. Good. So maybe I'll just fucking fight fire with fire. Or I guess electricity with electricity. Although, Sleep Powder is a lot more fun if it works for more than one turn. So many decisions and strategies to consider for this fight that I know I'm going to lose. I know I need to hold on to Jokey to fight Magneton, but otherwise it's just... It's just go for it. There's no real strategy in any of the other stuff. And it seems that Castle Toast is perfectly adept, if that's a word, at fighting these electric Pokemon. And, oh wow, he's really adept at leveling up too, because I don't want him to go up to level 23. So let's be careful with using you. There's Voltorb. Let's see how much an Absorb does on Voltorb. Shockwave. That's the attack that never misses, I think. Yeah, nice try. That doesn't do shit. Ah, God. And his are gonna be a much level, a much higher level, so it's not gonna do shit. I guess I'll rely on Rebel Pixels using shit like, uh... Like, uh, Succeed? Is that what I called it? Succeed might be pretty useful in this if I keep getting more health back every turn. Maybe Rebel Pixel, an unevolved Shroomish, can just, uh, sweep the whole gym by himself. Let's give him a shot. Ooh, let's see how much it does. We have a good special defense as far as I know. Yeah, it doesn't do shit. Nice try. That's the best you can do. Let's do a Succeed. Mm, charge. What's he boosting his special defense with that? I think. Maybe it just makes his next attack stronger. Doesn't matter, because you're leech seated, bitch. Give me all my health back. And then Rebel Pixel also has Mega Drain, so I get even more health back. So yeah, he's just a, a health sucking machine over here. Oh, and I can also paralyze him. I wish I had poison powder or sleep powder on him, but I guess. You know, you, you can't get everything. Mm, let's go for the Mega Drain. I don't need to paralyze him if Mega Drain will kill him in one or two hits. Spe oh, uh, oh, yeah, he charged up. That's why it did more. So what's the attack that boosts their special defense? I must be getting something confused. I don't know. 
Mm, yeah, Rebel Pixel, I think you're going to do pretty well in this fight. I can't really see you dying unless they break out like Explosion, which I think is Voltorb might know Explosion. <laughs> Ooh, that's not good. Okay, new Mumkey Hypothesis. Something is going to die from Explosion. Probably Rebel Pixel. Probably. Fuck. Because if I'm doing so little damage each turn, then I'll give him plenty of time while he's at low health to just explode on me. Now let's see how Autistic does. Gulpin? Oh, that kind of looks like Ralts too. Ah, oh, goddammit, Autistic. Yeah, Gulpin's weird. He's got like a bowl cut, a green bowl cut. He's wearing a, a black jumper with a yellow scarf. I think I knew a kid in high school who dressed like that. If Autistic knows Howl, which boosts his attack... God, he's so fucking cute dancing around. I love that Pokemon. It boosts his attack. So it might be a risky... Well, it's definitely a risky operation, but if I can put somebody to sleep and hope and pray that they sleep for a long time... And maybe even Leech Seed them too, so then Autistic will get the health while they're Leech Seeded. Switch to Autistic. Use a bunch of Howls until they wake up and then hit them with an uproar? Maybe I can just one-shot and kill everything with uproar. The only downside is if they're faster, which they're electric Pokemon, so they're mostly going to be faster, they can just hit me immediately, and he'll probably die in like two turns. <clears throat> but it's, it's not a bad strategy to one-shot a bunch of stuff. <sighs> but I guess Magneton would resist it, so it would be a waste. Hmm, let's fight. God, I'm just racking my brain trying to think of strategies and ways to get through this shit. Oh, your ugly ass Illumumi's fuck wearing a goddamn purple wig. Alright, buddy, all you gotta do is knock out Illumis in one hit and then not get killed by the next- Oh, what the fuck? Okay, I guess doubling my attack didn't- wasn't enough. Oh no, did I just kill Autistic? Oh god. What's he gonna send out? And can it do 20 damage to me in one turn? Oh okay, god, okay, can it do 23 damage to me in one turn? His attack went up by zero! What the fuck? <sighs> oh, Volbeat, don't let me die to this goddamn trench coat wearing Volbeat bullshit. Quick attack. Uh... Okay, Autistic, you've been up roaring long enough. Let's. You know what? Never mind, you're fine. <laughs> <laughs> Risky operation in the electric gym. Angelo, I want to talk to his mom. Okay, clearly that Hal strategy is shit because he's very slow. So if he's stuck doing uproar, he's just going to get killed. <sighs> okay, good. Practice. Let's see if, see if Autistic can be a Voltorb all by himself. I don't want to use uproar though. And Pound is so shitty. But Uproar, once I use it, I'm stuck. Maybe I shouldn't be using Autistic. Let's see how much a Pound does. Nah, fuck your Sonic Boom, I don't give a shit. Uh, so Pound is okay. Pound's fine. I'll just use Pound until I need to switch him out. Or maybe he can be the one to hopefully absorb the explosion from the Voltorb that I'm gonna fight. Hey, level 22, perfect, you're ready. And with that, we've beaten everybody in the gym, and I'm not feeling any more confident about the gym battle, so I'm gonna go train Rebel Pixel up to 22, and then just cross my fingers and hope to die. Ah. Well, in my mind, Headbutt is better than Absorb, because Absorb, even with the stab bonus, it does 30 power. Super effective, well, then it does 60. So Headbutt at 70 power is stronger than Absorb, even when it's super effective. So I think I'm gonna get rid of Absorb, and I guess learn Headbutt. Yeah. And really, 
If I if it's not super effective, then Headbutt is also stronger than Mega Drain, or whichever one I have. Probably Mega Drain, because Giga is much bigger than Mega. In which case, maybe I should use mm, Headbutt against the enemy and maybe flinch them. But then again, I do want to get my health back by using Mega Drain, so it's another mess right before I have to go fight. And now that everybody's 22, it, it's time for the gym battle. It's here we go. Who do I want to start off with? I was, I thought I wanted to start off with Autistic, but maybe I should just see how well Rebel Pixel can do. Cause his strategy of of succeeding and then Mega Draining and, and all that shit that might be pretty good. Mm, let's go for it, Rebel Pixel. I believe in you. I believe in you, in the you that believes in me, that believes in you, that believes in me, baby. Ah, god damn it. This is the most stressed I've been for a gym battle since, like, like, uh, the Dragonite, or the, the Dragon bitch, the Dragonair bitch in, uh, Crystal, what's her name? I don't know. Mm, okay, Watson, please don't enter the Nuzlocke, please. Do I have, I gotta give him the berries, I almost forgot. Oh, thank God I remembered. Yeah, all these are going to be useless. Don't want to use those. <sighs> okay. Do I want to give them this or Weedberry? Yeah. Weedberry only does 10. Fuck them. Fuck 10. They're going to keep trying to paralyze us. Okay, here we go. Here we go, boys. Get well equipped. This is our final hour. <clears throat> God. Okay. All four of them. In place. Let's go for it, baby. I no worries at all from Monkey. Monkey knows he can do it. <sighs> it's showtime. Is that the catchphrase of <laughs> the car from Cars? Does he say it's showtime? I don't know. I need to take a big swig of booze for this fucking Watson battle. God damn it. Goddamn happy laughing old man. You look like my dead grandpa. Fuck you. Okay, Voltorb, let's let's see how you can deal with the Leech Seed. Fuck you. Hmm. We can take that. It's not very effective. Just don't use Explosion, whatever you do. <laughs> oh, how the mighty have fallen, Voltorb. <laughs> Who's getting paralyzed now, you stupid bitch? Oh, I guess you forgot to give his, his Voltorb a paralyzed berry. I guess it was you. I, I was not expecting that, but I, that's another added bonus of Rebel Pixel. If you touch me, you'll probably get paralyzed. Fuck you. Now, I only have 10 Mega Drains, and I have pretty good health. So let's see how much a Headbutt does. Yeah. Don't even need to use Stun Spore. Oh, well, that didn't do shit. Hmm. Uh, don't paralyze me yet. God damn it. I wanted to save my berry. Oh, well. Yeah, eat your fucking berry, Rebel Pixel. That's fine. Since it's 4 on 4, really, you're only responsible for killing one thing, so if you get this Voltorb, I'll be very proud. But if you can do two things, that'd be very nice. But now that you're missing the berry, it might be difficult. Mm, let's go for the Mega Drain, I guess. Get all of our health back. Just in case he's planning on exploding. Mm, don't explode, please. Oh, there it is! Self-destruct! We're hanging there, buddy! Oh, we did it! We survived the self-destruct with a fucking shroomish. Oh, okay. Okay, now's the real question. Do I think we can survive one attack at 18 health? Because I want to use Leech Seed. And then switch. God damn it. God damn it. Fuck, okay. If he uses an electric attack, it won't be very effective. And we have high defense and and special defense. And if he uses like a tackle or a headbutt or something, he won't have the stab bonus. <sighs> yeah. I, fuck. I guess go for leech seed because we really need it. Oh, how? Okay, good. Thank God. Sure, he's boosting his attack. Let's. F I don't give a fuck as long as I'm not dead. Okay, we seated him. Let's switch out, Rebel Pixel. You did it. You did it. You did one thing. You killed one Pokemon. Well, it killed itself. You killed one thing, and now you seated another. That's fine. However, <laughs> now, see, I just got lucky, and now I'm trying to be risky again. If I use Mega Drain, I could get a good amount of health. 
Uh, I have 24 health, and he's howled once. But all of his electric attacks would be fucking... He doesn't have anything that's super effective, and all of his electric attacks would be special. So what's he howling for? To use tackle? I think I can do a Mega Drain, right? Shockwave? Yeah, he howled for no reason. Howl has nothing to do with Shockwave. Oh, critical hit. Wasn't expecting that. Well... Well, Rebel Pixel, you held on again. We survived a critical hit. Mm. Okay, how much did that do as a critical hit? I was at was I at 24 and I went down to 5, so like 19. So I think if he uses Shockwave again, which I think he will, as long as it's not a critical hit, I will survive it. So let's go Mega Drain again. Don't get a critical hit and I guarantee I'm alive. Right? <clears throat> yep, yep, it only does 9 damage. That's very good to know. So how much do we get back from both Mega Drain and... and, uh, Suck Seed, okay? So it does 9 damage, and we just got back a shit ton. Okay, so now, if it does 9 damage, if it gets a critical, it'll only do 18. We'll still be alive anyway. So I say fuck it, let's just stay in, baby. Oh yeah, I didn't even think you would use a potion. That's fine. It gives us more of an opportunity to keep getting our health back. All that potion... Oh, and now we get to use a potion, too! Maybe I should use my potion on Rebel Pixel right now so he can keep trucking along and just completely sweep this gym by himself. But we have so much health right now, I'll save that potion for when we really need it. Okay. I don't want to waste my turn on a stun spore. Let's just keep sucking him up. Because he just keeps using gay-ass shockwave that does 9 damage. Who cares? It doesn't even fucking matter. I get more than that back in my turn. So Rebel Pixel's fine. He'll probably send out Magneton next, which means I should probably switch to Jokey to use Ember. But I could probably get one Leech Seed out on him, and that'll make Jokey get the health back too when he's out there. And I always have a, a Super Potion waiting in the wings. Okay, that time he did 10, no big deal. Let's finish him off on this turn. I'm lagging my chances, Rebel Pixel, you guys were right. Even as a Shroomish, she's kicking so much ass. I think we can do this. We have two down. Now it's four on two. I got Magneton. Oh, that's adorable. That is fucking adorable. I love that. Now I want to get a Magneton just for that. If only it flipped around like the Magna might do. <sighs> Go for the seed. Sonic. Yeah, all I can do is Sonic Boom. Fuck him. Okay, good. We got the seeds on him. I doubt we're going to get 8 health back, but if we do, we could survive another Sonic Boom. No, okay. So Sonic Boom's going to kill us, and he's faster, which means I have no choice but to switch out to Jokey and still get my Leech Seed powers and Ember, that motherfucker, right in the ass. Ugh, whatever, I have a goddamn berry. Another wasted turn. Yeah, go ahead and eat your berry, Jokey, and suck up from the Suck Seed. Suck him up. Even though we don't need any health, but that's fine. So I guess I could have stayed in with, uh, with Oddish because he wasn't going to use Sonic Boom, but that, whatever, it doesn't fucking matter. Ooh, Double Kick would probably be better than Ember, right? Let's go for... No, but he probably has high defense. So much to consider, so much. Let's see how much Ember does. We have plenty of health to play around with. What's this going to do, like, 18? Oh, well... Well, it, it did quite a bit, but that's fine. We'll get some health back. Is he going to use a second potion right now? If he's going to, if he has a second potion, he would use it now. So I guess we can experiment and see how much Double Kick does. And this is, this is good. Now we get to use two super potions. Get fucked. Get fucked. Uh, yeah, it looks like Double Kick might be doing more than Ember did. Now suck him up. Suck up that health. Let's finish off Magneton, and then it'll be four on one against, what, his evolved Electrike, and I get two potions. This, this battle is fucking done. There's no way he can survive this. He might kill one thing, maybe, if I'm being dumb, but there's no way he wins. Monkey fucking did it again, folks. Send out your last pathetic Pokemon. Oh god, that Magneton is so cute. I can't get over it. Hey, Rebel Pixel went up to 23. That means he'll evolve at the, at the end of this battle, right? 
Oh, that'll be good. I gotta keep him alive, especially so he can evolve and I'll have Breloom. Oh, wow. Now that girl's pretty cute, too. I like that she doesn't have a mouth. And she's like pointing at me like, Motherfucker, you're going down. Well, joke's on you, Manek... Manectric... Manek... I don't know. You're going down first, bitch. Mm, should I switch? I don't want to use Growl because he's using electric attacks. Mm. I guess while Jokey has a lot of health, now would be a good time to use a potion on Rebel Pixel just in case I want to seed this motherfucker. I hope I have a super potion. I don't remember if I bought any. Oh, I have a soda pop. That's even better. Okay, I'm using one of my two potential potions on Rebel Pixel. So go ahead and hit me. Oh, how? Why do they keep boosting their attack? That's bizarre. Let's see how much a double kick does. Thunder wave. Well, I don't have a bear anymore, so I guess I'm fucked on that. Oh, and I'm confused too. I forgot about that. Oh, Jokey, come on. <sighs> Fine, we'll switch. He's not going to try to paralyze me again, so this is a good time to switch to Rebel Pixel. Probably waste his attack on some gay-ass electric shit that won't hurt me. Oh, why does he keep howling? What attack does he have? That benefits from howl. Leech seed him. Ah, Thunder Wave, God damn it! don't be paralyzed. If we can leech seed him, then all we have to do is wait. We can just keep switching out and, and stalling and we'll win, which we did. He has no way to get leech seed off of him, so all we have to do is survive for like, what? 12 turns or whatever the fuck? And we win no matter what. <clears throat> Should we paralyze him? We can go for it. Got three fucking howls. If he has a physical attack, then somebody's gonna get killed. God damn it! Come on, Rebel Pixel! Come on! Ah, and I bet next time I try, I'm gonna be paralyzed. Fuck. Fuck. Okay. And he's he has three howls on him. Fuck it. Go for hurting him. Oh, quick attack! Shit! Ah, and of course I'm fucking paralyzed. Okay, so he did all those howls just so he could use quick attack, but it didn't even do over half. So I'm still confident to stay out and use headbutt again. Oh, oh no! Mm, he was about to evolve. Of course they get a critical hit with three howls on. He was about to evolve into Breloom. God damn it. God fucking damn it. We'll never get to see what Breloom looks like. And everybody kept telling me, the, the whole, this whole fucking Nuzlocke has been about Rebel Pixel. And how he's not a bug. And how he's, Breloom's really good. And now that he's finally going to evolve, he gets killed by a goddamn critical hit from a quick attack. It's not fair. Now I know how Elliot Roger really felt. And we're not even out of the woods yet. If he keeps using Quick Attack, all these things might just get goddamn swept. Although he's, he still has Leech Seed, Suck Seed, and I still have one potion. God damn it, Rebel Pixel, why'd it have to be you? I finally learned to love you, and this is what happens. Fucking, at the end of the battle, he would have evolved. Uh, I was right to keep him in. He wasn't gonna die unless it just happened to be a critical hit. And of course it was. It always is. <sighs> Go Castle Toast. Fuck you. Fuck you. Give me that health that I don't need. God damn it. Go to sleep, bitch. You're f it's fucking nap time. Yeah, fuck you. <sighs> Goddamn Super Saiyan hair bitch. Get sucked. Yeah, well, you're gonna wake up on the first turn and get a, a quick attack critical hit on me, I bet. I wouldn't be fucking surprised. I wouldn't be fucking surprised at all with this bullshit. Yeah, suck his fucking dick. <sighs> Just goddamn die already. Oh, of course he has a berry. Citrus berry bullshit. And he's gonna use a potion too, I bet. <sighs> Fuck, I'm so pissed. I need another goddamn drink. This episode's gonna be 40 minutes long. Oh, yeah, use quick attack. Yeah, do get a fucking critical hit. I don't give a shit. Fuck you. That was a 
That's a pretty good shot. Alright, put him to sleep again, and he's gonna die from this suck seed. Guaranteed. <laughs> That's a pretty good rhyme. Yeah, keep quick attacking, bitch. Oh. <laughs> He fucking did it! He fucking did it! He keeps getting those crits! He... Oh my god! And I can't put him to sleep now! Oh my god, he keeps getting those fucking crits! Autistic! You're my favorite one! Oh no, why did I send out Autistic? He's my favorite! I don't want him to die especially! Oh my god, is a, is a critical hit quick attack gonna kill Autistic? Uproar is his strongest move, but if he uses a potion, I'll be stuck in uproar. So I guess go for pound and don't get fucking crit. Oh, that's how much it did without a crit? Oh, it doesn't matter. We won. It's over. It's over. Fuck you. Fuck. Oh my god, my two grass Pokemans got fucking killed. Oh, he's evolving after death. Oh, I guess we do get to see what he looks like. Since when did dead Pokemon evolve? Wow, this is the most bittersweet thing I've ever fucking seen, is watching my dead Pokemon evolve. Oh, oh and Breloom has giant fucking tits. Oh man. I could have had a Pokemon with long blonde hair, cute face, a nice little hat, and big, juicy fucking cherry tits. Th that's the saddest part of this whole fucking thing. And it wants to learn Mach Punch. You kinda got punched by giant tits. Are you fucking kidding me? Oh man. Or maybe those tits are its arms, but they look like tits to me, baby. It doesn't even fucking matter what I get rid of. He's fucking dead. Right, he's... <sighs> Fuck me. Oh boy, I got the Dynamo badge from Watson. Elementary, my dear Watson, you f fucking bitch, you old ass bitch. Put you in the goddamn retirement home. Got rule 34, what's that, shockwave? Most shocking thing is that you haven't died of a culinary heart attack, you old ass bitch. Fuck you. No, don't register in my Pokénav. I want you to fucking die. Oh, Rebel Pixel and Castle Toast. Oh, Castle Toast, how I barely knew ye. I guess you're not the new next coming of Jazz Mary, and you're certainly no Nup Tup. <sighs> Rebel Pixel, I'm so sorry. I'm sorry to both of you. Of course, the chick with big tits has 69 experience. It was so perfect in every way. Both of them killed by a quick attack crit. Well, that's the way the Nuzlocke goes. That's the way it goes. Terrible day for rain. But sir, it's not raining. Yes it is. Yes it is. It's raining. Fuck you. <clears throat> Rebel Pixel. Thus far, the series really did revolve around you. Like I said last time, it was just, it was always, Monkey, why are you misusing Rebel Pixel? Why don't you know what type it is? It's not a bug. And then it's Monkey learning to love that which he hated. And then learning about the beauty of seed suck and other various effects. And now that you're dead, you become an adorable loli with big boobs that are probably arms, but they look like boobs. And that's just the saddest thing about this. Goodbye, Rebel Pixel. We've certainly had our ups and downs. 
And I have Down Syndrome. <laughs> oh, but that's not all, folks. That's not all, folks. Castle Tossed, aka Castle Toast. Looks like you can't post hashtag Monkey168 anymore, because you're dead. Well, goodbye. It's been fun. Ah, <sighs> but fuck. Autistic, oh my god. We can't lose you. If we lose you, then I'll just kill myself. Fuck. Alright, we might have had some bad luck in that gym, but... I think there is brightness around the corner. All the dark clouds are about to go away and we're gonna hit the sun, baby. Because the next gym is the motherfucking fire gym. Are you fucking kidding me? Are you fucking kidding me? A fire gym? It'd be a shame if I had, I don't know, uh, Gyarados, Tentacruel, and Pelipper. Man, that would really suck for the fire. Oh, wait, I do. I have all of those things. And I also have Mr. Florida, but... Hey, he's a dual typing, so I don't know. Eh, it's a maybe. So there's good things around the corner. I think the next gym will be super easy. Uh, what level can we go to? We can go to... Okay, so there's four of them. Oh, we can go to level 27. Level 27, okay. So we're, we're a bit of a ways away for a lot of these. But just to get them trained up, I'm going to add them all to the party right now. So that they can... We can get them as high as they need to be. And then maybe I won't have to use any of them ever again. We're just going to use them for this one gym, and that's fine. So there's one more spot, and I guess, yeah, it would have to go to Mr. Florida out of all these. So here's the new team, baby! Oh, and plus, on the way there to the fire gym, we're going to fight a bunch of weak-ass, bitch-ass trainers. We're going to catch a shit ton of new Pokemon. There's like a million new catches on the way, which I'm really excited about. Going to hopefully get some cool shit. Hopefully I'm going to get a Spinda in that soot-covered area near the mountain. Uh, Spinda is one of my favorite Pokemon ever. So it would be amazing if I could have that. And I would add it to the team immediately. Man, if I could have Autistic and Spinda, maybe I'll just do like a, a full normal type team. Because no, normal type's my favorite, what can I say? Unfortunately, I don't think there's a Snorlax anywhere in here. But let's get going, let's... I don't think I'm even going to train these for now. I think I'll just put them at the front of the party so that they get automatic experience, and then as I catch things, maybe I'll get into a training state of mind. Oh, I guess I never got Rock Smash, so I should go do that. I think it's over at Wally's parents' house in, what, at Vanderoof Town or some shit? I hope so. Otherwise, I don't know. Hello? Hey, Wally, what's up, bitch? You got a Rock Smash for me? Okay, do you have Rock Smash, or am I just lost? My daughter's boyfriend is very driven. Ah, god damn it. Maybe it's back in the third gym town, I think in one of the southern houses. Mm, yeah, maybe it's in here. I don't remember. Do you have Rock Smash? Yeah, there we go. Rock Smash guy. Okay, a Rock Smash dude. That's fine. Now the real question is who will learn Rock Smash? And I don't know. Oh, it's a fighting move with 20 power. Um... Uh... I don't want to waste it on Jokey, but... Uh, why do it have to be three things I actually want to use? Why couldn't it be some fucking fodder shit? Um, I guess it's better than Peck. Because what, I'm going to use Peck on a bird Pokemon or a grass Pokemon? No, I would just use Ember, so fuck it. Fuck Peck. That's gay as hell. Okay, my worry now is that when I use Rock Smash, it's going to have like a Geodude pop out. And I think I can get better stuff on this route than a gay-ass Geodude. There's a chance that it won't. There's a good chance when I Rock Smash I won't do that, but... I think what I'm gonna do is go back to the Autistic Cave. Because you can Rock Smash there, and there might be a chance I can get a Geodude from doing Rock sma Smash there. Because I haven't caught anything there yet, it's only full of Wismer. So I'll give it a shot. Go, Jokey! Smash the rock and set the lovers free! Ah, uh, well, no Geodude that time. But maybe it's because I'm in a cutscene. Oh, what'd I get? Surf? 
Strength? Which one is that? Oh, strength, cool. That'll be really good for autistic. Hell yeah. Uh, hmm, tough one. What do we want to get rid of out of all these amazing moves? Uh, I guess pound out of these? Fuck. They're all shit. In their own way. Alright, baby. Monkey needs a new pair of Geodudes. Let's do it. Give me that motherfucking Geodude. Please. No, uh, well. Mr. Florida wants to learn Fake Out. That's an attack that I had a lot of fun with using against Ben. Uh, and I don't see why not. I don't see why not. Hmm. Yeah, I'd say Fake Out's better than Astonish because it guarantees the flinch. So... Let's see, what would Ghost be strong against? Like, Psychic? F fuck that. Although, it's probably better than Growl. I guess it's better to have the variety of having the Ghost move, because I'm never going to use Growl, so I'll just get rid of Growl for now. Okay, fingers crossed, everybody. Cross those motherfucking fingers. Instead of the Spirit Bomb where everybody puts up their hands, we're going to... Everybody, all 1,000 of you, cross your goddamn fingers, and please, Geodude, don't fuck me. Please don't fuck me with a gay-ass Geodude that I don't want. Please. Oh, oh, sweet salvation. Thank God we can catch like a, what, like a new male or some shit? I don't fucking know. Just anything but a Geodude. I'm so happy. I've had enough fucking Geodudes. All right, these folks want a double battle. I'll give it to them. Don't worry, you cameraman fuck. I've got my two best Pokemon at the front of the party. You don't even stand a chance. It's game over. Annihilation begins now. Go, McFanks and Bullseye. Yeah. Yeah, you guys didn't see that coming, did you? You're just fucked. All right, I think that Magnemite is more of a threat here, so... Yeah, you know what? I think Jokey can take him on his own. We'll use our new strength power on this little Wismer autistic bitch. And we'll double kick Magnemite. I'm guessing it's, uh, both of them are dead in the one attack. Yep, well, <laughs> double kick, more like single tick and kick, you know what I'm saying? Single tick. Yeah, you better level up. Is strength gonna do it? It's really strong. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. I'm telling you, autistic is gonna go all the way. All the fucking way. I can't wait to see, if this is how good Loudred looks, I want to see what Exploud looks like. I'm excited as all hell. Yeah, I'll give you an interview, sure. Yeah, let's see what I have to say. Oh, I gotta choose a word. Okay, um... What's the meanest thing I can say? Ah, uh, what the hell? Oh, uh, yeah, that's pretty good. I might wait. Lolling? Uh, like... <laughs> uh, I guess I am lolling. <laughs> yep. Or is that lolling? I don't, I don't even know what that fucking word is. But it looks like loli, so that's how I'm feeling today. <laughs> yeah. Alright, now's the time. Wait, no, what? What? Hold on. Route 111 is diff- Uh, is the sand Route 111? I don't know. Well, maybe- Can I not catch anything in Route 111? Because 112 is- I don't know. I'll, I'll figure it out fucking later. I think maybe- once I go through that cave, and I'm up north, past the desert, it's also Route 111 up there, so I can probably catch something when I get up there. So that's fine, we'll catch something here on Route 112! <sighs> Knowing my luck, it's gonna end up being a Geodude anyway. Alright, here we go. Here we go, fingers crossed, boys. And girl, I know there's at least one girl out there. Come on, hook me up with something good. I can't really think of what I would want. Other than, like, uh, Groudon? Oh, no, it's a new Mel. You know, I, I called it. Um, mm. Don't know if I like this one. <laughs> Looks like somebody vomited on its back, and that's why it's sad. <laughs> it's disgusting. <laughs> okay, well, hey, we need... Well, no, we don't need firepower. We have goddamn Jokey. Oh, well, let's fake him out. And then I think... Oh, wow, they did quite a bit. Uh, uh, astonished. Yeah, that won't do shit. Mr. Florida is good for catching stuff because his attacks, he has a lot of weak attacks on purpose. Mm, I, I, one more Astonish will be fine, right? Oh, of course it was a fucking crit! It's always a fucking crit. It's always a fucking crit. Whenever, every single time, like it absolutely should not be a crit, it is. Every fucking time. 
I don't know. I don't know. It, even when it's my own Pokemon using it, crits are always working against me in this fucking game. But that's fine. New Mel fucking sucks anyway. That's the one that evolves into a a goddamn uh, fire rock or fire ground or some shit. So it's double or yeah, double weak to water. Fuck that garbage. Horseshit Pokemon. I would have died in one hit anyway. <sighs> oh well. Nuzleaf! The Pokemon for which the whole game is based are the, the name of Nuzlocke is from. from I, I gave you that lesson like 100 episodes ago. Uh, Nuzleaf is pretty cute. <laughs> Got some uh, thick thighs. Yeah, looks like she's wearing uh, uh, <laughs> like thigh pads instead of shoulder pads. I don't know. Uh, no, it, it's fine. It, it, it's, a, it's a solid uh, 6.5 out of 10. But man, all these trainer Pokemon are pretty much matching me in level, so maybe I do need to train up. I don't know. It's only matching four of them, I guess. Okay, baby, let's try again in the cave. One time I was doing a randomizer nuzlocke of this game, and in th this fiery path, I found a, um... I found Rayquaza. Yeah, the, the the legendary dragon Pokemon for which Emerald's named, so... Fingers crossed for another Rayquaza. Let's do it, baby. Give me that Rayquaza. You know you want to. No, it's Smegma. My own Smegma. Hmm. Doesn't that also evolve into, like, a fire rock? What a shitty typing. God damn it. <sighs> but I'll give it a shot just in case, you know, who knows what'll happen. I almost want to nickname it Smegma just out of principle, but that'd be unfair to all the loyal fans out there. So whoever wins this Pokemon, just know that your honorary name is now Smegma, and you should probably change <laughs> your your YouTube icon to a picture of Smegma. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, you better flinch, bitch. Oh, no, I'm sleepy. Oh, don't. You, you can't poison me because I'm asleep, you stupid fuck. Fuck you. Oh, it's super effective. That's probably why he did it. Yeah, wake up. Please don't get a goddamn crit. I'm in the same exact position I was in last time. Where if I use a crit, it's probably gonna kill it. So fuck it. Let's, let's learn a lesson for once on this show and throw a great ball. And if it doesn't work, then I'm gonna go for an accidental crit, baby. No, nah, alright, yeah, it was fine. Almost killed it for no reason. Let's find out who gets to be Smegma. And the winner is Star Waste, whose comment says, Mighty Yenna would be a decent addition at this stage in the game, but its usefulness plateaus. Like Eradicate, you wouldn't want to use it later on. Or later in. Well, there you go. I stopped using Mighty Anna, so hope you're happy, Star Waste, aka Smegma. Star Waste, do you, it looks like you have a picture of like an anime girl. No, fuck that. Change your picture to Smegma right fucking now. I demand it. Oh, I want to do lowercase. All right, Star Waste, welcome to the box. Don't expect to get out anytime soon, unless you change your icon to a picture of Smegma. In which case, I will make you my best Pokemon. Uh, looks like we're back on a route. 112, I think it said, which means we can't catch anything here because we fucked up on the on the Numo. Well, that's okay, because I think once we get past all this shit, we'll be on Route 111 again, so we can catch something there. There we go, Route 111 again. Let's do it. Now we can catch something, and after all of this, it probably actually will be a Geodude. Maybe. Is there any fucking grass on this route? Are you fucking kidding me? There's no grass on this whole goddamn route, north or south? Well, I don't fucking know. Maybe the desert counts as Route 111, too. <sighs> Some bullshit. Oh, Whalmer, that's a new one. That's a new one. Uh, it's, I don't know, she's... I guess, like, the, the bottom part of Whalmer's body is, like, those, those lines of kind of cream color, so that's what she's wearing, and then she just has, like, a whale as a hat. Uh, so I, I guess that's the best they could do with a character. I imagined... They would just have, like, a really fat, plump girl with, uh, uh like, wearing blue. But, I, this is probably better. I don't know. Alright. Route 111 was a bust. Route 112 was a bust. The fiery path had some gay-ass magma bullshit. So let's make up for all of it. With one of my favorite Pokemon of all time, Goddamn Spinda. A Pokemon that I might like more 
than Growlithe. Yeah, I said it. I fucking said it. Here we go, Spinda. Come to me, oh my love. Oh my love, come to me. Come on. Yeah, don't be shy, Spinda. I know you're out there. I know that's you, that you're gonna... <laughs> yes, it's perfect. It just looks like a normal Spinda. <laughs> yes. Spinda, you shall be mine. <laughs> It really just looks like a normal Spinda. Like, a Spinda is just like a little bear with these funny eyes, and, like, this is pretty much the same shit. Who's gonna catch it? Mr. Florida, don't fuck me on this. Don't you goddamn do some normal bullshit and fuck me on this. Oh, I want it. I'm gonna have it, you motherfucker. Okay, Florida, go for the fake out. Let's see how much that does. Mmm, yeah, not, not a whole lot. So we can take... No, it's normal type, so I can't use Astonish. Ah, oh, fuck. Okay, um... Nature power. We're in, like, a... It wouldn't do Swift, would it? Because we're in, like, a soot place? Or maybe it would do Swift. Ah, oh, fuck me. Okay, uh... If I kill it, I'm gonna be so mad. I'm gonna be so mad. Let's try a Great Ball. God damn it. Okay, fingers crossed. Ah, fucking god damn it. Oh, I didn't know Psybeam, it's so good. Oh, I mean, it's not, like, great on this Pokemon, but it's just, like, I like that it has all this cool shit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there we fucking go. Finally, something good happens for me. Spinda itself isn't going to be that great for a Nuzlocke because its best attack is, again, like Autistic, it's Uproar, which is terrible to use because you're trapped using it. But I just fucking love it. I love it. It's up there with Esper as being some of my favorite cute Pokemon in general. Uh, even without being a lowly. I wonder what a, a lowly <laughs> Esper would look like. It'd probably just look like a girl in a... Oh, uh, I don't want to think about it. And the winner is Hail Zeon, who says, make me a lowly so I can jerk off to myself. Well, there you go. You got Spinda, Hail Zeon. That's, they, you can jerk off to Spinda all fucking day. It'll drive you crazy. That's how Spinda went crazy. It's got those crazy eyes because it, it spent a whole day jerking off and it lost its mind. All right, Hail Zeon, welcome to the box. But something tells me if you can learn strength, I'll probably pull you out sooner than later. And that's not even strategy. I think strategically it would be a poor decision to use Spinda, but I just, it's just for me. It's because I like it. Sometimes you just gotta do something cause you like it. Trapinch is a new one. There we go. She's got a, a nice weird... Uh, can girls have bull cuts or is that just a guy thing? Like a Mandark from Dexter. It looks like she has a, like a, a Russian bull cut and a bizarrely uh, fangy mouth, but those aren't teeth. Those That's just like the lips of her mouth in the <laughs> shape of fangs. Um, not a huge fan, I'm gonna have to say. I'd give Trapinch... <laughs> Like a, like a 4 out of 10. There you go. Oh man, I really am underleveled. If this trap pinch that a random trainer has is level 19, and half the shit on my team is... Over half the shit on my team is right around there, or much lower. I guess it doesn't help that two of my best Pokemon died in the last gym. But man, if that's level 19, where am I? Do I need to start grinding right now? Uh... I've got two things that are 24, and the next limit is 27, but I'm not using these two in that gym anyway. I can't. So if these are the four that I need to focus on, maybe I should actually just spend some time right now training them all up to like 20 and get Pulse Eye Evolved. 
Uh, maybe once I get to the next Pokemon Center, I'll figure out what I'm gonna do. Because also, I don't know if I really want to replace somebody with my new Spinda. So yeah, lots of stuff to consider. Oh god, leave me alone. Oh, I thought I was getting through it. Shit. I didn't heal anybody up. I don't know if I'm ready for a double battle. I guess if anything, I can just send in Jokey and Autistic. I'll probably have to <laughs> immediately. My two front Pokemon are my, uh... Oh my god, Skarmory, what the fuck? Uh, uh, she... Like, juxtaposed with Meryl, Meryl's like... Like a tiny, tiny little toddler, and then Skarmory is like... Oh my, she's like fucking six feet tall. And she's got that weird, um, belly fat that hangs over her crotch. You ever see, like, those really gross old people, like, going around on the hover rounds in Walmart? And you wonder how they go to the bathroom because their fat is, like, hanging down over their crotch all the way back to their asshole. Um, maybe I'm going too far, but gee, uh, this Garmory looks a little fat. Yeah, I'm, I'm body shaming, um, a pixelated, uh, Pokemon cartoon loli. <laughs> Okay, we'll go Autistic and Jokey. I think, th yeah, they can take them. No problem. We'll get some good experience out of this. Oh, shit. Oh, God, no, they're both super effective against Jokey. Oh, well, he wasted his attack on a rollout, and that didn't do shit to Autistic. Um, okay, you'll just hit Meryl, and you'll just... You'll Ember Skarmory. It's that easy. Uh, yeah, well, close enough. Even if he gets a critical hit, I think we'll be fine. And Meryl's down for the count. Oh, Swallow's a new one. Uh, I, I oddly like it. The wings are really weird and awkward. But I don't know, it, it's working for me. It's like, it looks more like a guardian angel kind of girl. But with the bird wings instead of angel wings. And I like the, the stripe of red hair that like kind of bangs um, an arrow down into her face. Uh, yeah. Yeah, it's pretty good. I'd give it an 8 out of 10. Somebody at home, you better be keeping track of all these scores that I'm giving. I want a full Google Doc or Excel sheet with all the different scores, and we'll see how they all stack up. Okay, if he... he's faster, I think, so if he uses one good, like, peck or wing attack on Jokey, Jokey's dead. So I have to switch him, but everybody else is going to die from a good attack as well. <sighs> Which is troubling. That's troubling, to say the least. Oh, oh man. This is actually kind of tricky. He only used quick attack last time, and it, it did a, a good amount. Which means if he does use a flying attack, Jokey is definitely dead. So I think I have to act as if something is going to die no matter what. And in that case, I would much rather have McFanks die instead of Jokey. But if he's going to just use Quick Attack again, maybe Pulseye could take it. I'll see who has the higher defense. Whoever has the higher defense, I'll send out. And it's probably going to be... Well, I guess I don't know. Um, defense 20. That's pretty good. Right? And McFinks will surely be lower, because he's only level 8. Yeah, yeah, his defense is half. So, Pulsai, you're going out, buddy. Hope you can take one quick attack. Yikes, okay. Autistic yet to do this. Oh, good, he attacked Autistic anyway, that's fine. Hmm... So maybe now he's he's got his eye on Pulsai, and he wants to finish off Pulsai. So now I'm back at the same scenario again. Um, all right, fuck it. Just, we'll, we'll go for broke. <laughs> Use Splash. Oh, good. He kept attacking Autistic. Perfect. Crisis averted. We did it again. And we got to see a swell-looking Swellow. I would not mind having that Swellow on my team. Hey, and now we're in Fall Aboard Town, which means it's time to figure out what we're doing, and I guess I'll go grind for about three years. Let's see what you can do. Even though it's entirely illogical that I would replace a water Pokemon with Hail Zeon when I'm about to fight 
a fire gym. Like I said in the last episode, it's not about logic. It's about love. It's the love for one of your favorite Pokemon. Even if its stats are shitty, and its best attack is Tackle. Let's see if it can learn Strength. Yeah, it can. Good. Yeah, Strength is great. So I'll just... I'm gonna keep Hail Z on. Fuck it. Sorry, McFinks. You you had one episode to shine, but I, I think I'm gonna go with my heart on this one. Maybe when I get to the gym, I'll just go waste time training up McFinks anyway. I don't know. I'll figure it out. But I'm not going to <laughs> box this until it's dead or until I go to a gym. And with that, I think it's time to go train. Hopefully get everybody up to 20. I think that's what I'm going to do for now. So the next time I see you, you'll probably be watching Pulsai evolve into a lowly Gyarados, which should promise to be pretty good, pretty cool. Yeah, that's a word. <sighs> Fucking finally. <sighs> for you guys, it's been like no time at all. For me, I've spent, <laughs> oh, well over an hour, maybe two, listen to an entire album of music doing this shit. Because training, training against Spindas is very difficult. They're very tough Pokemon, as it turns out. Uh... <laughs> what? Oh. Oh. Okay. <laughs> that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a blue penguin has a disgusting lobster tail coming out of its head. Okay, okay, <laughs> okay, Pulsai. If you insist. Huh. Okay. Well, I'm... Maybe, maybe I made a mistake not using the tentacool, because as it turns out, <laughs> I don't know if you know this, but uh, Mr. Florida does not have any water moves, so against the fire gym, his only attack will be fake out and astonish, <laughs> um, uh, and Gyarados has, as of right now, has no water moves. I don't know if it will learn any by level 27, and even if it does, its special attack stat is not very good. Ah, uh, god. So, I, maybe I'll just lean on Sheeterax a bit? Oh man, what am I doing to myself? I don't know. I don't fucking know. I guess once I get there, We'll see, we'll see who's still alive, and I'll, I'll probably waste three years training up Tentacool. <sighs> right now I'm gonna keep training up Spinda. Man, fighting all these Spindas to train is a bad idea, because Uproar is randomly strong, and things get really close to dying, and I have to go back to the Pokemon Center like every two fucking minutes. <clears throat> but it'll be easier now that I don't have to switch out so much to level up Pulsai. So, yeah, that's enough talking. I'll go finish training and then we'll move on to the next route and maybe catch something new. Okay, here's what the team looks like. I got a little carried away with Hail Zeon, but he's so special to me that I want to really guarantee that he's going to not only be good, but not die. So I got him up a little higher than 20. And now let's, I guess, go catch something new. Mr. Florida, you're good at that. Hopefully there's not anything important in this town that I'm missing. Because I'm kind of just skipping it. Is there something in this crater? Hey, Nugget! Route 114. I think the other one was 113, so we're good. Fossil Maniac. Um, I don't recall having a fossil. And if I did, I wouldn't even use it, so fuck it. I'm not even gonna look. I don't want to fight it. I just want to catch something. Look the other way. Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> okay. Okay. What is there to catch over here? Is there, um, like a Yan Goose or something? I don't remember. Maybe, uh, it's a Viper? Maybe shit. And it's not gonna be low, Tad. No, you're gonna be dead, Tad. Okay, this, um, 
This is Lotad slash Lombre number 10. I, I sincerely hope that's not the only thing over here. And that just seems bizarre. I specifically remember seeing, seeing Yangoose in this area before. Um, oh, 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 Nuzleaf! Yes. I say yes. Perfect. Monkey's doing a Nuzlocke with a Nuzleaf. It was destined in episode 3 of this series that this would happen. I have to do it. Because that becomes Shiftry. Is Shiftry is what? Is Shiftry Grass Dark? I should stop guessing because you guys are going to give me shit. But I, I do recall Shiftry being pretty good. If I'm remembering correctly, that Nuzleaf does become Shiftry. So let's hope I can catch this bad boy. Uh, I don't think I want to risk using a Swift. Let's see how much Absorb does. Once I get him into the orange, I'm going to start chucking Great Balls. <laughs> no matter how long that seems to take. Okay, that's... <laughs> I guess barely enough. I wonder if Nuzleaf would be a better grass Pokemon than Mr. Florida, since Mr. Florida doesn't have any water moves. Anyway, well, that, that doesn't matter right now. What matters is throwing a Great Ball and catching this sucker. Ah, fuck you. Fuck you, okay. We need a new strategy. Um... Only six more balls. Okay, go again. And if he pops right out, then I'll have to find some way to to get him lower. Uh, ooh, ah, okay. Clearly, clearly this isn't enough. Ah, yeah, thanks. We could use um a pulsei. Maybe a tackle would be safe. Oh God. Um. That looks better from the back. It looks like just a woman with long braided blue hair wearing a, a really large bulky blue jacket. And then also weird cat ears and shit going off the top. Uh, uh, oh god, this is scary. Uh, a dark type move would be special, so it wouldn't do very much. Let's go for it. Mmm, good. Oh, it's not very effective, so he must already be dark. So, uh, yeah, I was right. Fuck you guys in the comments. Go Great Ball. This is as low as you're going, Nuzleaf, so you better it better be good enough for you. Hey, there we go. We did it. All right, Nuzleaf. Very important Pokemon for a Nuzlocke. W without your namesake, this show wouldn't exist. I, I genuinely believe that. So let's go find you a name. And the winner is Neoki XS. Uh, okay. Let's uh, let's see how that's gonna look. Okay, Neoki as XS, and the comment just says delicious. So yeah, take that for what you will. Welcome to the box, Neoki XS. Since I'm preparing for the fire gym, there's not really any reason to get you out right now, but maybe someday I'll I want to use Shiftery because that sounds cool as shit. Um, I think Barbaroge is new. So, yeah, that, it doesn't even look like a fish. Other than, I guess, the, the, what are those called? Cat? Cat tails? No, cat whiskers or whatever the fuck, coming off the top with the hair. Otherwise, uh, I guess, like, the, the little skirt is supposed to look like, uh, the Barbaroach. I don't know. I don't really know that much about Barbaroach. Is it just a pure water type? Uh, I guess, um, what I'm trying to say is this lowly gets a, uh, Eh, it can have a 5.5 out of 10. Doesn't really leave any impression at all because it doesn't look like a Pokemon to me. Oh, Graveler's new. Okay. So Graveler's supposed to have four arms, um, but here they just look like really saggy old woman breasts coming out of the front of her shirt. And there's even like a little dot for the huge areolas. It's kind of disgusting. Uh, Graveler has like a cute head and, and, and kind of fun face. 
And I, I like the wacky hair, but I guess it being gray even furthers the idea that it's like an old woman with sa saggy tits. Yeah, yeah I, I don't know. <laughs> Ew. Meteor Falls, it's a new place. Which means we get to catch, like, a uh, Soul Rock or a Luna... Lunatone? I don't know, is that what that's called? I... I don't recall. I don't even know what's in here, probably a Zubat. But I already have one of those. Yep. Hey, thank god I caught that one before, now I can actually catch something cool. Okay, this was the... <laughs> 59th Zubat in a row. So I'm just going to move on, and if I accidentally find something, that's fine. But it seems as though that's not going to be the case. I really thought that there were soul rocks and shit in here, so maybe maybe I'll find them later. Or maybe right now. Maybe. Nope. You don't actually fight anybody right here, do you? I think you just... You read the plot of the game, <laughs> and then you move on, and then eventually you go up on top of the mountain and then you fight them. I think. I'm just gonna skip all this dialogue because I don't care. Hey, there we go, something new! Soul Rock! And she's... <laughs> doesn't look like a Soul Rock, she just looks like an adorable blonde girl with a, with a great fashion sense, baby. Like <laughs> those bright orange uh, weird jacket that like just branches out. I, I mean, I really like this as like a character design, not so much as a soul rock. I guess I don't remember what soul rock looks like. Maybe this looks like that. But I do like it, and I'm excited to catch it. I don't recall if things like soul rock were even any good. I need to go turn off the heat real quick. I'm pretty sure that the seventh gym uses soul rock and the moon one, <laughs> Lunatone, I don't know. So maybe they're good? Does that mean that they're psychic, I think? Are they psychic rock? I don't remember. All I know is I'm going to try to catch this bad boy. Oh, well, well that's probably a good thing. Yeah, flinch. Uh-oh, uh this might be dangerous. So in this cave, Nature Power does Shadow Ball. So if Soul Rock is psychic, it'll be super effective. But I don't think Mr. Florida would have the power to kill this. Mm, but would it be better just to go with a weak Absorb, which will also be super effective? I guess I'll do Absorb just to be safe, because uh, I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure Absorb won't kill it, whereas Shadow Ball is kind of iffy. Uh, well, if Absorb did that much, maybe Shadow Ball would have actually killed it. Let's do mm, one more Absorb. Yeah, this has to be Psychic Rock. If not, then I'm crazy. Okay, yeah, that's a little close. That looked like it might have been a crit, but I don't think so. Let's go for a great ball. Ooh, I hope this is easy to catch because I don't have a whole lot of balls. Monkey Jones does not have a lot of balls and it didn't even shake. Didn't even shake, okay. Hmm. Let's try it again. Let's just waste all of our balls and see what happens. Ah, fuck. Fuck. And I don't have a way to put it to sleep or anything, do I? I wish I still had Breloom. Ah, there we go! There we fucking go, we did it! We got Soul Rock. I'm gonna take a look at its stats, because if it's a rock, maybe I should use you in the in the fire gym, since most of my water Pokemon have no water attacks. Or maybe he'd also be good against a normal gym, because he would resist all their attacks and he probably has a good defense. I don't know. And the winner is Gold Star H Gamer, who says, The desert bitch is called Tamari. I guess that episode I was talking about Naruto characters? I don't remember. It was, it was probably like a week ago for you guys, but for me it was like a month maybe. <laughs> Not not quite that long, but it's been a while. Okay, so I guess I'll go with Gold Star H. I guess it's appropriate, you know, it's the Sun Pokemon and it's named Star. So, eh, it works out somehow. I'm good at finding sometimes arbitrary ways for the names to make sense. 
And we're back on Route 115, which I think we've... Yeah, we've been here before, right? At least at the bottom part, because this leads back to the first gym town, I think. Maybe I'm crazy. Let's... Let's battle through it. Oh, there's motherfucking Zangoose. Don't know why I couldn't find you on that other route. That thing's really big, right? It looks like that sprite is about twice the size of a normal one. It's bizarrely large. Um, yeah, it's just wearing the, the white dress with the Zangoose marking on it, and it's got some cool-ass anime hair going on, and a little purple claws. Uh, I'd say it's, it's pretty good. I'd say 7 out of 10 for Zangoose, even though it's a little big. Uh, you know, why is it so big? Oh, and Zviper too! Zviper is much better than Zangoose. Um, yeah. I'd say it's pretty good. Ooh, Autistic King in there. Okay, okay, we're good. Yeah, Zviper's pretty good. Well, it's about to die, so I can't look at it much longer, but... <laughs> I'd say it's better than Zangoose. I'll give it an 8 out of 10. There you go. That's my hot take. I had to go really quick with that one. Okay, Soul Rock. Let's take a look. I'm sorry. Gold Star H. Let's see what you can do. Not hit by ground attacks. That's pretty good. Rock Psychic, like I thought. Um, I guess I have no way of knowing if these stats are comparable to anything else. Yeah, I guess I can compare it to another level 28. So, Soul Rock has higher attack. Okay. Higher defense. Mm, lower special attack, but that's fine, I think. Well, no, because it uses psychic moves as well. So I guess this is mostly for using rock throw. Uh, higher special defense. And even higher speed. So maybe soul rock is good. Who would I replace on my team? I guess for this gym, if Mr. Florida doesn't get its act together and learn an attack better than fucking Absorb, uh, maybe I'll use Gold Star H instead. Maybe. Or maybe he'll just be our number four. I don't know. If Mr. Florida doesn't learn any attacks, then he's definitely out. Maybe I'll bring in Soul Rock and I'll get Tentacool trained up too. And we're almost there, we just have to go fight some, I guess, Team Aqua and Magma people. Okay, Mount Chimney, that's a new route, but I don't think there are any Pokemon on here. But I do think that we might not be strong enough to to fight the, the big boss. Mmm... I guess we'll see what happens. <laughs> I don't know. We'll see how we, we do against these grunts. Ah, oh, double battle. Fuck you. We're not doing that. Oh, he's an admin and he has four Pokemon. Okay. This will be a good test. A new Mel, that's easy. Shitterax can kill that with one water gun. You disgusting vomit covered freak. Puccina, that's easy. Just hit it with a wing attack because it has shitty defense. Zubat is also easy. I don't know why I was worried. Just because his name says admin. Because he fucking sucks. We'll have to approach shoppers and get them to help us with Oh, hey, everybody. I decided I was guy. too hungry to keep to playing. You. You so I'm eating lived. breakfast while oh, watching him practical jokers. Don't mind me. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> wow. <Water down. laughs> okay. Are you Archie or Maxie? I don't remember. Well, blah, blah, blah. A meteorite in the chimney, and we're gonna blow it on the ground on, and I'm a faggot. But a boo doo doo. Mm, oh, it's Maxie. I bet Shut the fuck up. Mighty Yenna, oh shit! Oh, that's been what I've been waiting to evolve to this whole time? Um, she kinda takes the cat girl thing a bit too seriously. 
I imagine if I went to any anime con, I would see somebody dressed exactly like that, but they would act in character the entire convention, and it would be uh, not only awkward, but cringeworthy, to say the least. So let's hit this fucker. Ooh, it's level 24, so maybe I am a little under-leveled, I don't know. Um, hit it with supersonic? Yeah, maybe that'll protect us a little bit. Yeah, okay, good. If, uh, if supersonic works even once, then it was worth using. So now I say wing attack, because I imagine its defense is lower- Ah, oh, fuck. Okay. Hey, good! So far, both your attacks have done nothing. Um, should we growl, or should we see what water gun does? Um, water gun? Surely his attack won't kill shooter axe in one hit. Okay, water gun does a lot more than a wing attack does. And he hit himself again. Good. This is good. We might get him with cheater axe. Okay. Now he gets to hit me. Mmm. -hmm. Wow. Okay. Okay, that was quite a bit. I was told Mighty Anna sucks shit, but maybe not. We can finish it off with a water gun. But if we miss, then we're dead. <sighs> Go for it, Shooter X. You can do it. Oh, fuck you. No, that's fine. I could use a potion now, too. But this doesn't help me. Because I know that his bite does a lot of damage. Okay. Okay, boys. Let's... <sighs> let's Pokemon go to the Pulsei. Pulsei can probably take your fucking bite attack pretty well. I wish Intimidate mattered, but lowering his attack, as I just remembered, doesn't mean anything when he's using special attacks, like Bite. So go for the Strength. My strongest <laughs> strongest attack on Pulsai is a fucking Strength. Mm, okay. Ignore the accuracy loss and finish him off. Okay, that's one down. Good job, everybody. One down. Is it two to go? Does he have three? Yeah. Two to go. Okay. Zubat, that'll be much easier. Fuck Zubat. We'll strength... strength that bitch. Hmm. Uh, Pulsai, I think you can do it. Ah, oh, now I gotta use two potions. He's making it way too easy for me. Yeah, be confused. Okay. Okay. Um... Try, try again. Hey, there we go. There we go. That's what the doctor ordered. Your attacks mean nothing to me. Alright, two down, one to go. Let's see who it's gonna be. Camerupt. Oh my god. She looks identical to... The Firefox starter from Gen 6, I don't remember what it's called. I don't even know what the starter's called. Because every time I play those games, I give them nicknames, so I I couldn't be damned to tell you what they're called. Um, He's double weak to water. I'm guessing he'll have a rock attack, in which case Pulsai is dead. Mmm, fuck. Fuck, ah. Uh, okay, he's double weak to water, but my water guy is all fucked up. My water guy is also weak to him because he uses rock attacks. Well, unless the water counters that. Oh, uh, shit. Mm, uh, autistic, do you want to give it a go? Let's see how much he does to you, maybe? Oh my god. A tackle, critical hit, did half of my health. <sighs> okay. Okay, so anything that gets a stab bonus will kill me. <sighs> Jokey, I didn't want to use you, but... Uh, drastic times call for drastic measures. Yeah, use a fire attack, you fucking idiot. And just because, you know what, I'm going to kill you with Jokey. Double kick you. You're dead. You rock, you're dead. It's over. Oh. oh. What? Is... Camerupt isn't rock? 
Mate, oh, he must be ground. Is that it? I'm fucking looking this up. He must be fire ground. Y yet again, Monkey doesn't know the types of the enemy Pokemon. Or really, his own Pokemon. He doesn't know any fucking Pokemon. Oh, it's fire ground. Which means if it knows a ground attack, Jokey's fucking dead. Jokey's fucking dead. <sighs> Fuck. But he didn't use one yet. So maybe he doesn't? Oh, it's not worth the risk, man. Uh. Well, if he's not using rock attacks, maybe I can send Pulsai back out to take a hit, and then I can heal Pulsai up, and then I'll heal up Shitarax. If he does use a ground attack, it won't hit Pulsai. If he uses Ember, it won't hurt Pulsai. And if he uses Tackle, I don't think Pulsai gives a fuck. Yeah, and I'll lower his attack too. Why not? Yeah, nice fucking try. He was going for the kill. He was going to kill Jokey. This is the best move I've made all game. I just saved Jokey's life and dodged the attack. Which means we should now... You, we get to use two potions. So I'll use one Soda Pop on pull side just so that he can stay out here and take easy hits yeah the only attack he can use is tackle maybe i should just strength let's use strength and see how much it does fuck him i lowered his attack and all he has is tackle uh yeah we don't need to heal up shooter axe and play with fire we can just hit him with strength pull side killed all three of your pokemon even a gyarados with no stab moves is better than your whole team and he's like three levels lower too Oh, hey, there you go. We narrowly saved Jokey's life, and uh, we won. We did it. But let's go have a real battle at the gym. Uh, Jagged Pass is a new route in my book, baby! Let's, I guess, catch something. Oh, if that guy wants to fight, I'll switch my Pokemon. Um... I think they fucked up, because Baltoy looks exactly the same. Is, is there a difference? It looks like the sprite might be bigger than usual, maybe. Um... I, I guess, as far as lolis go, Baltoy is going to be my first 1 out of 10. Absolute failure. What the fuck were you thinking? That's just... It's not even... It's just a ball toy, right? Somebody put up a picture of a ball toy. I guess I will. <laughs> it just looks like a normal one, doesn't it? I don't see anything lowly about this shit. Alright, I think this is the last new catch we're going to have for a while, so let's make it good, baby! Uh, oh no, okay, I guess it'll be new mail because I fucked up my last new mail catch. Okay, fine. Let's not fuck this one up, I guess. Alright, great ball, go catch that disgusting, vomit covered, sad, gross yellow, like 3 out of 10 lowly. Eh, yep, there we go, okay. Last catch for a while, because I don't think there's anything in the next town, and then we go straight to our dad's gym. So, really, this might be the last catch of the game, because as far as I'm concerned, I'm not going to beat Norman, the fifth gym leader. So, yeah, who gets to be the last Pokemon we ever catch? Oh, perfect. This is perfect, because this is a shitty, dumb Pokemon, and the winner <laughs> is Jumpkey's Minecraft Expedition. Who says, autism usually evolves into monkey. Well, guess what, Jumkey, you piece of shit. <laughs> you get to be a fucking Numel. So go fuck yourself, you disgusting, uh, uh, clone-ass bitch. Jumkey, fucking gross. Yeah, take that, Jumkey. You're, you're gonna be a boxed Numel. That's how little I think of you. Hey, we did it! Shitteract is evolving. We get to see what Loli Pelipper looks like. Just in time for the gym, too. Level 25. So we get two more levels. Whoa, looks like it's walking. Looks like it's step taking a big old step forward. What is this shit? And it's... 
Uh, oh my god, she's winking and putting her hand up like she's a navigator on a ship. She's a regular Nami, whatever Nami's last name is. Um, yeah, I'm gonna have to go ahead and give this a very solid 8.5 out of 10. Uh, yeah, yeah, I like it. It looks like just like a, like a high school girl, but she's wearing all the, the colors of Pelipper. And then also the hair is really reminiscent of Pelipper. And then you got that, you know, that cute, you know, cocky smile attitude with the, with the salute, whatever the fuck. I like it. I'll take it. Welcome to the team, lowly Pelipper. Uh, yeah, we can get rid of Growl for Protect. I'm sure there's some shenanigans I can pull with Protect. Route 112, which I think we've already been on, this is where we didn't catch Numel. Do you want to fight? What the fuck are you doing? Ah, uh, shut up. And now we're in... Lava Ridge Town! Where we're going to fight here at this gym. I guess now, now we're really ready to decide what team we want to use and to grind them all up. Um, I can get an egg here. And I think maybe I will. Because why not? Fuck it. I don't remember what the egg is. I think it, maybe it's, um, Mwaba Fit? Why not? Is it why not? Wait, where do I get the egg? Is it over? It must be down there at the hot spring, or at the, at the sand thing. Um, I, I don't think I'll use whatever the Pokemon is, but it's just a good opportunity to, to see a new Loli, I guess. So that's why I'm taking the egg. Uh, anyway, for now, my strategy is going to be I'm going to train Florida up to 27 because that's the max for this gym. And if Florida does not have any water moves by 27, uh, he's fucking out. I'm going to throw him in the PC and we'll probably train up uh, Gold, Gold Star H instead. So yeah, that's what I'm going to go do. I'm going to go train Florida for about three years. Mr. Florida is trying to learn Fury Swipes. <sighs> really? Okay. That's the best move you're gonna learn, buddy? Fury Swipes? Okay. 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 Let's get rid of Astonish. You don't want to learn Water Gun, or... I guess just Water Gun. <laughs> A water Pulse? No. Fury Swipes, okay. No, that's fine. That's fine, buddy. I'm, I'm sure in the next two levels you'll learn, you'll learn something good. Okay, level 27. Moment of truth, Mr. Florida. And nothing. Nothing. Wow. How the mighty have fallen. Mr. Florida used to be a force to be reckoned with. He used to be the best on the team. And look at him now. Look at that move pool. It's disgusting. It's so sad. If this was a Donald Trump uh, tweet, it would just say sad. So I guess I'm going to go back to the Pokemon Center and regroup and figure out what to do. Mr. Florida, clearly you are out. You go into the box. Pulsai, I, I guess I'll keep you even though you're not going to have any water moves by 27, but I... I guess you're strong enough as it is, and you'll resist all the fire attacks. Hail Zeon, I love having you, but you're gonna go into storage for a while. Shidorax, you will definitely be used. You'll probably be the best that I have for the gym. Uh, Autistic, you can go chill out. And that means we need to pull out two. And I guess after neglecting McFanks, my punishment is now I have to train him up from level 8 all the way to level 27. And then Soul Rock 2, Gold Star H. Why not? Why not? I don't see why not. Let's do it. So, yeah, we're going to withdraw those two. And I will see you all later because I'm going to go grind and grind and motherfucking grind. I think I'll grind them all to 25 for now. So then when I go battle all the people in the gym, they won't get over leveled. So. I'm gonna put on some some sick tunes. Maybe I'll watch some more Impractical Jokers, and I'll get this grinding done. Okay, everybody. It took three millennium millennia. 
It took three millennia, but they're finally all level 25. I am emotionally drained. I am physically drained. I am psychologically drained from all that training. Uh, I no longer want to even look at a Pokemon game, but the show must go on. Um, as you can see, the egg evolved into Why Not, which I guess we can look at that lowly. Yeah, so, you know, she she looks like Miku, right? Is that the name of that that dancer, singer, Miku, or some shit? She kind of looks like Miku. Um, you can see that it doesn't have a nickname because I, in the middle of training, I didn't feel like pulling up the name pool. So, we'll go to the name raider's house later on and give it a name. But uh, for now, we'll just throw it into the PC. Now that everybody's 25, we can go challenge the trainers at the gym. See what they got going on. See if we are going to stand a chance. Oh, I guess I'll show you the results of the Pokemon because it's actually kind of dire and sad. In some ways. Uh, Tentacool didn't learn a water attack until level 25. And that's why that's why it took so long because McFanks had no good attacks. And I had to just keep switching to train him. So let's take a look. Um, so yeah, we've got Bubble Beam. That'll be pretty good. We've got, this only has Water Gun, so it's like, eh, Sheeterax, you could do better, but maybe it'll learn something in the next two levels. Uh, Gyarados learned Dragon Rage, which is guaranteed to kill everything in either two or three hits at this stage, so that's pretty much as good as a Water Attack, I guess. And finally, Soul Rock um, learned, like, Psy Wave and Fire Spin and shit, uh, but Rock Throw is what we're going to focus on for now with the Fire Gym. Anyway, let's go, let's go test the waters. In this case, literally test the waters because we're testing out some water Pokemon. And see how we do. New mail, okay good. Uh, a kind of high level fire Pokemon, so let's see how Bubble Beam does. Fuck him up. I'm, I'm hoping for a one hit kill, baby. Yeah, good. Good, maybe it's okay that McFangs isn't going to evolve. I found out that he doesn't evolve until level 30. So, <laughs> I mean, I guess I'm fucked on that, but he seems to be doing okay as a tentacle. Kindler Core. Oh, Kindler Coal. Kecleon! Top Keck. Top fucking Keck. That's a new one. Uh, yeah. Yeah, no, I, I get it. <laughs> I'm kind of running out of descriptions for these. He's like, oh yeah, yeah, I get it. It looks like a Kecleon, sure. <laughs> well, what else do you want from me? I don't know. Uh, McFanks can take out Numel, and Sheeterax can hit Kecleon with a wing attack. Hey, there we go. Okay, so we made it all the way through the gym, and McFanks, as a tentacool, pretty much killed every single thing in one hit with Bubble Beam. So I'm actually feeling more confident now. I think we've got this one in the bag. I think. And the best part is, other than Shaderax, I don't really care a whole lot about these other Pokemon. So, I mean, like, if, it, if I have to sacrifice something, it's not going to break my heart for McFangs to die. Gold Star H, I, I'm leaning more towards liking and wanting to maybe use. But like, if Pulsar and McFanks go away, you know, it's like, eh, eh. Just gonna go train everybody up to 27, and we're gonna demolish this gym. I'm looking at the the gym leader's Pokemon right now, and she starts off with Numel, which knows Magnitude, which is a ground type move. So I think, so ground would be strong against McFanks because he's poison. So it'd be good to start with anything else, because the rest of these all resist ground. Or they can't get be affected by ground, is what I should say, because they all levitate. Slash, are, um, are bird Pokemon, or flying Pokemon. So, I think I'll start off with Gold H, or Gold Star H, to kill Numel. And then, does anybody else... Everybody else just has fire attacks, pretty much. Yeah, so there's no rock attacks they have to worry about for Pulsai or anything. So that's what I'll do. I'll start off with Gold Star. That'll be the strategy. Start off with Gold Star. And then just, after Numel's gone, just f fuck shit up. 
doesn't matter who does what or no rhyme or reason, just fucking do it. Alright folks, I'm back with the training complete, but believe it or not, I've had a change of heart. I guess a train change of strategy, it's not really a change of heart. I'm so confident that Goldstar, McFinks, and Shaderax have what it takes to defeat this gym leader that I think I'm going to box Pulsai. Because first of all, Pulsai doesn't have any water moves. Uh, he's basically here just to resist and be backup. And I'm thinking ahead to the the next gym, the fifth gym, which is arguably one of the toughest in the whole game. Maybe actually is the toughest. And other than Jokey, I don't know what I'm going to use against that gym, so I want to keep my options open. And a Gyarados with good defense and a shit ton of Dragon Rages seems like it might be helpful. I don't know, so just to keep my options open. And because Pulsai, I don't think we need you anyway, I'm going to throw Pulsai in the box and just pull out some random shit uh, to bring to the gym with us. That'll be as backup, but I'm not going to waste my time tra training it up because I don't think we'll even use it. Um, hmm. Who to use? I guess it wouldn't hurt to grab Mr. Florida since I'm probably not using him in the next gym anyway. And he is all leveled up to 27. I doubt he learns some super mega move in the next two levels. So yeah, Mr. Florida, you made it back. Welcome back to the team. Oops. Oops. What the fuck? Yeah, withdraw. Do we have any burn berries? Yes, we have four. Perfect. Okay, let's give everybody a rost berry so that we don't have to put up with burn bullshit. Okay. Alright, you fire bitch. Monkey has been quoted saying that fire gyms are a joke. And uh, it would be very embarrassing if I lost to you. So, go easy on me. Let's make it easy. Go! Puny trainer, how good to see you've made it here. I have been entrusted with the... No, wait. I am Flannery. Oh, her name's Flannery. More like... Um, uh, mannery, cause holy shit, look at, look at that big old dick. I wanna suck that, that dick. Go! I'm gonna put the, I'm gonna put out the flames of your, of your hard cock with my water Pokemon. But first, we're gonna start off with a little buddy I like to call Gold Star H. You're thinking, oh, I wanted to use Magnitude. Well, good fucking luck. It might be super effective against me, but I float in midair, bitch. So let's go for the rock throw. Yeah, fuck him up. One hit kill, Gold Star, you can do it. Ah, well, that's good enough. Because with that amount of damage, they're not going to want to use a potion. So we can finish you off. Yeah, okay. We did it. One down, three to go. Easy peasy. Maybe Gold Star can do the whole gym by himself. Who knows? He's certainly a golden star in my book. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Slugma, more like... Nah, I don't want to say it. Because if I say it... Then I have to put it in that picture of Digi, and I'm getting sick of doing that edit, so I'm, I'm gonna refrain this time. <laughs> oh my god, okay, two down, two to go. Gold Star, you've got it. All this training just to have one Pokemon sweep the whole thing. Camerupt. Yeah, yeah, that's... We, we've seen this, that one. I said it looked like the fox. The, the fox wizard bitch. No, the fox witch. Um... Yeah, Rock Throw is still super effective, so I guess go for it. Uh, okay, that was a nice crit. And your best attack is Tackle. I think Gold Star H has this whole thing on his own. Is that going to finish you off? Nope. But you'll use a potion now, which means I got to use a potion. Wow, Gold Star, you're fucking doing it. You're sweeping the whole gym. I'm so proud. Maybe you will become a permanent member of the team. I think we have some open spots. Probably. And you're pretty good as far as I'm concerned. I've never actually used, um, whatever you're called. 
uh, Sun Sunstone Man. I've never actually used it in um, in my other gameplays or when I play on my own off of YouTube. I, so I'm pleasantly surprised. That's what I'm trying to say. Pleasantly surprised. Overheat. That's not going to do shit. Ah. Uh, Oh, God, if I would've got burned, I'd be dead. Oh, yeah, because the sun's out. Well, I guess I got a little cocky for my own good. Okay. Let's, um... Heal up. You used a potion, so I could use a potion. I'm a little out of it. I'm, I'm dog-tired, everybody, in case you can't tell from all that training. I'm dog-tired. So I think after this battle, I'm going to take a little, a little nappy-poo. Uh, Hyper Potion, okay. Let's heal your ass up before he overheats again. Or before she overheats again. Okay, good. Now I gotta use another potion as well. So we're all tied up. And I think, since you used your overheat, didn't that lower your special attack or something? So now I shouldn't have to worry about that kind of bullshit again. I don't think. Yeah, you're back to using Tackle. Nice. The sunlight needs to go away, though. That's getting annoying. Um... Nah, fuck it. Rock throw. Yeah. A fire spin wouldn't do shit at first, but then I think it's a set amount of damage for the remaining turns. I think it does like an automatic 10% every turn or something. I'm pretty sure. Oh well, doesn't matter. Camera up, you're dead. Do we have any more rock throws? Four. Let's finish him off with confusion. Yeah, I get him. Or get her. Okay, good. Gold star, you did it. Three down, one to go. I think you can... Ooh, and we're level 28, so we're even higher than we should be, which is good. Torkoal. Ooh. Ooh, that's a new one. I, I like that it's, it's flaming magma rocks, or just like a dress. It's pretty good. I do like that. I'll give that one an 8 out of 10. There you go, Torkoal. 8 out of 10. Let's see how easy it is to beat. So, if I'm not mistaken, that is rock fire instead of fire ground. But since it's fire, will rock throw still be super effective? I think so. Yeah, okay. Body slam. Is that the best you can do? They didn't even burn me. I put all those rost berries on for no reason. Um, let's see if fire spin does damage every turn like I think it does. Yeah, it didn't do anything. But will it keep it up? Yeah, the vortex. How much will that do? Overheat. Shit. The sun's out. Is it gonna kill me? Don't kill me. Please don't kill me. Oh. Oh. God damn it. I spent the whole battle talking about how much I love Gold Star Age. Oh, God. Well, he made a noble, noble sacrifice, because now that Torkoal has used one overheat, his special attack is just fucked for the rest of the match. Mm, man. I mean, I, uh, I don't know. I'm guessing that would have killed anybody. If it, if it was not very effective and it did that much, because surely Gold Star has um, a defense that's comparable to everybody else. Oh, why couldn't it have been McFanks? Fuck, Gold Star, I thought you were gonna do it, buddy. McFanks, that's. Oh, and since the sunlight is strong, my water attacks are gonna do half damage. Maybe this gym is trickier than I thought it was. Go for the bubble beam, more faster at least. <sighs> Man. Hey, yeah, that's a crit? Fuck. And it's double super effective and that's a crit? The sunlight bullshit. Oh, McFanks. Oh, finish him off. Oh, thank God. Ah, oh, damn it. Well, we won, everybody. We can't be too sad. We did win. We lost... <laughs> We lost the Pokemon who I have, in my sleepy stupor, just bragged about being cool for the last 10 minutes. And then it died. <laughs> uh, well, every time I get a Pokemon that I learn to love, it dies. Maybe my strategy from now on should be to just openly hate everything. 
and then nothing will die because I don't have an attachment to it. Man, I'm sleepy. I'm so fucking sleepy. Give me that... Yeah, give me that shit. And the next gym is right around the corner. The next gym will probably be the next episode. I just have to figure out what my strategy will be. Maybe maybe I'll go chug down some uh, some caffeine and I'll come to the gym right now. Yeah, I gotta do some cutscenes shit, don't I? Oh, thanks. Yeah, what's up? My my favorite Pokemon, Gold Star H, is dead, but you know, no, no big deal. Oh, go goggles! I can go in the desert and finally catch something over on that route. I think, unless the desert's its own route. Yeah, let's go get us a, a ground poking man. Sure, I'm gonna go take a fucking nap. I'll see you guys later. Wait, no, no, never mind. We're gonna do a funeral, funeral for a son. Uh, I think since this is a uh, lowly Nuzlocke, it would be appropriate if I sang a song from the great Trevor Moore. You are my child bride. I am your father groom. You give me everything. You just can't leave your roof. <laughs> Gold Star H, thanks for tagging along the last couple episodes. You turned out to be really fucking cool and good. And you're a top tier lowly, first of all. Uh, unfortunately, man, that sunny day and that overheat was just... It was too much heat. We had to get out of that kitchen. So, man, yeah, thanks for thanks for chumming along. And you, you pretty much won that whole gym for us. So your sacrifice was not in vain. <sighs> You'll always be a gold star in my heart. Goodbye. And I, I don't want to think about what I'm gonna use next. I need to I need to get the fuck off the computer. All right, folks. I hope you're ready for the big Norman episode, aka the finale of Pokemon Moemon Emerald Nuzlocke. Now we can use any four Pokemon that we find here in the box, because all the ones in the party right now are the ones from the previous gym battle. Here's Norman. He's got a level 31 Slaking, which means we can train everybody up to 29. Now let's see what kind of attacks he has. Spinda. Uh, believe it or not, guys, I don't know if I've said this on the show. I actually kind of like Spinda. I think it's pretty good. Um, I, I, I just really like it. Let's see, looks like we're mostly looking at, other than Spinda, we're looking at normal attacks, kind of dark attack. Um, a normal attacks, and then he's got a fighting attack. Mm, God damn it. Okay, let's see what we have. Uh, so, let's see. No. 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 Probably. Um. We could do a Spinda off. Maybe I'll start off with Spinda, take on his Spinda. Um, yes, definitely. We're gonna use you for your double kick. And, uh. And hopefully that'll be enough. Uh, no, 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 and unfortunately, probably yes. Fuck, 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 fuck. I'm all out of good Pokemon. <laughs> it's like, ah, oh, man. I don't really have anything that's, because normal, it's normal type, so you'd want to use fighting. But the only fighting I have is Jokey. Uh, do I have a strategy? Do I have a fucking strategy? Because Slay King, man, it's just so strong. It'll kill anything in, like, one hit. It just knocks shit the fuck out. I need to think of, like, an actual intelligent strategy to do this shit. But nothing is coming to mind with what I have. Okay. Let's just plan out the fights. So Spinda takes on Spinda. They're both... Mine will be level 29, so mine will just use strength, knock his ass out. Maybe he'll use a potion, maybe not, who knows. That'll open us up to use a potion. Vigoroth. Mm, Vigoroth will probably fuck up Spinder pretty quick. In which case, maybe we switch to... So we use an probably autistic, jokey, Halzeon, and Pulsai. I kind of want to save Pulsai for the Slay King and just fire off as many 
Dragon Rages as I can until Pulsai dies. Because I don't care if Pulsai dies. I don't I don't want to use Pulsai long term. I, I saved him just to use Dragon Rage in this gym. So that being said, maybe by the time Vigoroth comes out, it would be a good time to use Jokey. And then Jokey can just double kick uh, Vigoroth and Lanoon. And then when Slay King comes out, send out Pulsai, fire off all those Dragon Rages until he dies. Maybe we win, maybe Pulsai loses, in which case we just switch out to our other guys and hope and pray for the best. Man, Belly Drum. Belly Drum on Lanoon is very scary. If he gets off a of Belly Drum and he's faster, it's game over. I just have to hit him hard with that double kick before he can Belly Drum all the way. Okay, that's the strategy. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna pull out these four, train them all up to level. Whatever the fuck. And there you go, that's what we're gonna do. That's that's what we're gonna do. Whether it's smart or not, I don't know. Oh, I guess now that I think about it, I shouldn't train everybody up to 29 because I have to go fight everybody in the gym. So after this one, after I beat this Machop, we're going to go straight to the gym and test the waters before we train all the way up. Hello, hello. I guess we'll fight everybody because I don't want to go really far away to train everybody up. Oh, yeah. I guess autistic's low. Uh... Oh, fuck. Hail Zeon wants to learn Hypnosis, that's a pretty good move. Especially for trying to catch Pokemon. Ah, uh, what should we get rid of? Fucking... Um... Yeah, Uproar, you can go. We don't need Uproar. That's fine. Hail Zeon wants to learn Dizzy Punch, which I think... So what I... Oh, Stab Bonus, 70 power move that may confuse the foe. So almost as good as strength, and it confuses them. I think I like that. Um, I definitely like it more than faint attack. Even though faint attack always hits. Um, but I think psychic will be more, more valuable. So we'll get rid of faint attack for dizzy punch. I might use dizzy punch instead of strength in the gym, just because, you know, why not? Why not confuse their ass? All right, with that, everybody's level 27. Uh, the max is 29, so I don't want to get them too high before I go test the waters of the gym. And I have a monkey prediction for you guys. The last two gyms, the theme has been everything that monkey loves is going to die. And because Autistic and Hail Zeon are my two favorite Pokemon that I have right now, I've got a good feeling they're both going to die. If not, just I lose the whole Nuzlocke and everybody dies. But uh, let's, uh, let's get going to the gym and give it a shot. Accuracy room, okay. Yeah, this is the gym where every room has its own stupid gimmick. And they waste their first turn using like X attack and X accuracy and all that shit. Which is annoying and boring and gay. Del Caddy, oh, that's a new one. <laughs> My first thought was that she has Yu-Gi-Oh hair. Even though maybe it's not quite that, but... Uh, it doesn't look like it's an evolved Pokemon. Delcaddy is supposed to be a, like a big version of Skitty. It just looks like a, a little girl with giant Yu-Gi-Oh purple hair. Let's see how much a strength does. Yeah. I just noticed that Autistic has Howl, which... In, oh, I guess he didn't use X accuracy. Oh, I guess because Shockwave never misses anyway. Uh, maybe I'll try to pull out my Risky Maneuver from the Electric Gym. And I can put things to sleep. Goddamn motorcycle outside. Put things to sleep with... With, uh, Spinda. And then Howl Autistic up. Which I think I learned is a bad strategy and don't try it. <laughs> so I don't know why I am I'm thinking about it. Wigglytuff. I think that's a new one too. Uh, it's another one where I just want to say, yeah, I get it. <laughs> yeah. It's, uh, yeah, yeah, I get it. That's a Wigglytuff, all right, sure. 
uh, doesn't leave any impression, good or bad, give it a 5 out of 10, I don't really care. Not a, not a fan of those giant green eyes myself. Let's go for it. Oh god, how much is that gonna do? Oh, okay. Maybe autistic isn't the best choice for this gym, but what else do I fucking have? Hey, there's my my guardian angel swallow again. That one that I liked. Let's see if this Pokemon kicks my ass too. So far, every fucking trainer is kicking my ass, and I'm almost on the brink of death every time. <sighs> so, if Norman is three times stronger than these trainers, which he is, I just, I have really bad feelings about this gym. Every single fucking Pokemon I fight, I have to go heal up afterwards because I'm almost dead. Uh, go hail Zeon. Let's see. If one attack does over half your health, then I think I just have to surrender. I think I'm done. Oh, Hyper Potion. Fuck you. Fine, let's see if Hail Zeon can pull off some cool tricks, baby. There's baby again. Okay. Ooh, how much is this gonna do? Uh, ah, fuck, that's gonna piss me off. Go for Dizzy Punch. No, get killed by a crit. Yeah. Confuse his fucking ass. Oh, I didn't confuse him. Okay, <laughs> well. I guess we go to Pulsai. If a level 26 Swallow takes my whole team, I think I'm just done. This gym is way too tough. Oh. Oh. Do I have anybody else who has Intimidate? Because I could just keep switching back and forth between them to bring the enemy down to zero. Zero attack power. But I don't think I do. I think Gyarados might be my only Intimidator. Unless... Mightyena? Could Mightyena do that? I... Huh. Do I want to go train up Puchina to use Double Intimidate? I think. And it's especially fun when Slaking every other turn has to loft around. Um... Let's go see if my Puchina would learn Intimidate. Or does it already have it? Maybe it already has it. I don't remember. I'll take a look. Oh, it has run away. Does it keep that when it evolves? I'll look on Bulbapedia. Mightyena either has Intimidate or Quick Feet. And it evolves at level 18, so maybe I will go evolve him real quick just to see. Just to see. All right, here we go. We already know what Mardiana looks like. What in the fuck? Sounds like a tornado siren outside. We already know what Mardiana looks like, and we know that I like it. But do we know if it has Intimidate? That's what we're about to find out. Yeah. Okay. That was this one the the autistic awkward girl at a convention. Anyway, let's see if it has Intimidate, and if it does. This might be a whole new ball game. Intimidate. Okay. I don't know if you guys can hear those sirens outside, so hopefully you can't. Wow, it's really going. Is that a tornado? I'm gonna go fucking look. Okay, I don't know what all those sirens and shit are. But I guess it doesn't matter because I'm gonna waste the next three years training again. The real question is, who do I replace on the team with Mighty Anna? It'll either be Autistic or Hail Zeon. So let's take a look at who has the better stats. 40 attack, 48 attack. 40 defense, 33 defense, fuck. Okay. Um, the rest of it doesn't really matter. <sighs> Man, I guess since Hail Zeon has higher defense and higher speed, it's probably better to use him, even though he has a slightly lower attack. Okay. So strategy will be... Spinda takes on... Spinda takes on Spinda. Then Jokey... Motherfucking Jokey... Takes on... Uh, he double kicks Vigoroth and Lenoon to death, hopefully. Hopefully that's what happens. And then when Slay King comes out, we keep double switching, baby. We go Mighty Anna. We go... Uh, Pulsai. Back and forth keep intimidating him to get his attack power down to nothing 
Of course, if he gets a critical hit, then he gets all his attack power back anyway, and we're dead. So, <laughs> I mean, but that, that's, that's going to happen regardless. So we keep switching back and forth. Hopefully by this point we have some potions saved up that we can use. And then once we get him down to, like, <laughs> no attack at all, I guess that's when I start firing off those dragon rages. I think that's a logical strategy. And the best part is, the best part of the whole thing is that Quinlan and Pulsai are entirely expendable to me. I don't care if either of them die. I actually wish that Quinlan was dead because I hate him so much. So I think we have a good strategy. Now I just need to waste three years training Quinlan up to level 27. And we're golden. And we're fucking golden. Okay. Okay, we have the new team already. So we're gonna continue fighting through the gym. I guess I don't probably want to use Quinlan at the front. We'll continue fighting through the gym. And after we beat them all, we'll make sure everybody's 29. And then finally... Finally, we'll fight that fucking gym leader, our goddamn dad, Norman. Stormin' Norman. The one-hit KO room. Mmm, um... Not looking forward to this one, boys. Uh, who's at the front? Jokey? Okay. Uh, well... Uh, I hope they don't actually mean it that it's a one-hit KO room. I hope, hopefully... Jokey's double kick is a one-hit KO. Who the hell are you using? Vigoroth. Okay, well. Jokey is expecting to fight a Vigoroth of equal level, I think. So if, if we can't beat it now, why would we be able to beat it later? Go for the double kick. Oh god, here it comes. Uh, no, that wasn't one-hit KO. You're a fucking liar. Mmm, uh, oh, hey, I got the crit. But now if he gets a crit, Jokey is dead. <laughs> Do I think he's using a potion? Is that worth the risk? Either he uses a potion and then I should stay in, or he uses Slash again, gets a crit, and Jokey's dead. I guess better safe than sorry. We'll go to Pulsai. Even if you get a crit on Pulsai, you're not killing him. Yeah, lower that attack. Okay, he used the potion anyway. It's all good. Uh, let's let's see if Dragon Rage does over half. I don't want to play your games today, boy. Nah, fuck him up. Shit. Focus energy. Focus energy plus slash. Here it comes. Here it fucking comes. Okay. Strength. Finish him off. We have to finish him off. Ah, fuck. Bye, Pulsai. <laughs> no, d even a crit wouldn't have done shit. Get fucked. Wow, Pulsai has really good defense. Maybe I should use him for more than just the Intimidate strategy, because he's kicking ass. He's really good. Hmm, Jokey wants to bulk up. Hey, okay. Boost attack and defense. That could be useful. I think that would be useful. Fuck off Growl. Yeah. Because we need our defense boosted for sure. Maybe Spinda can put something to sleep. But I'm not going to rely on that too much. Maybe I'll use Spinda to bait him into using a potion with his Spinda. And then I can bulk up, and then before I die, I can use my my potion. Okay. Okay. Let's go heal up. No, we got to train up. we got to get everybody up to 29. So I guess I'll run all the way back to the Mount Chimney and do that. And then we're gonna do this thing, and we're gonna lose the whole thing. Okay, everybody, we're finally there. After what seems like months of training and replanning and retraining, we finally have the team all trained up. We got the strategy all ready. Let's let's throw some berries on those bad boys. Actually, no, no berry for you, Quinlan, because you have thief. So let's 
I'm even evolving the strategy right now. You're going to use Thief to steal Slay King's Citrus Berry at some point. So get the, give me that. Whatever that is. Rost Berry bullshit. Unfortunately, I don't have any really good berries. Hopefully I have the Weed Berries. Yeah, okay, I got plenty of Weed Berries. The rest of these don't really do shit. No. We'll give everybody a Weed Berry. Except for Quinlan. And now we'll be as ready as we can possibly be to go lose. Hail Zeon will defeat his Spinda because we have strength. And then maybe we'll get lucky and put uh, Vigoroth to sleep. But maybe Vigoroth... Does Vigoroth have the thing where he can't sleep? I need to look. Vigoroth. Yeah, he has Vital Spirit, so never mind. We can't put him to sleep. I spoke too soon. Shit, come back. Yeah. Okay, so we can't put Vigor off to sleep, so that kind of ruins the bulk up strategy, actually. Yeah, it sure does. Okay. Okay, constantly evolving. Just like my Pokemon, just like my sexuality, my strategy is constantly evolving. We can put Spenda to sleep, but if it uses Uproar, then it will wake up. <sighs> Fuck you, fuck you. God damn it. Oh god, I know this is the end. I feel it. I know there's no way to... <sighs> fuck. Maybe I'll have to use the int Intimidate strategy earlier than I thought. Maybe I can use it against other things as well. <sighs> I've gotta go fucking go for it. Uh, I don't even want to look. I got my eyes closed. <clears throat> yeah. Okay, Dad, let's, let's go. Oh, this is intense. I don't want this to be the end of the series. There's so many lolies to uncover, to uh, to explore, to love. Spinda. Hey, I got one of those. Okay, hail Zeon. This should be easy. We can take this one on. Maybe use Dizzy Punch. Yeah. Fuck him up. Let's confuse his ass. Okay, didn't do half and it didn't confuse. Uh, okay. Okay, that's fine. Now, strength isn't going to finish it off, but it will make him use a potion, so let's do that. Use your fucking potion, dude. Yeah, okay, eat your berry, buddy. Now, if he's asleep and uses uproar, does that wake him up? Or does he have to already be using it to prevent sleep? Because I know he's going to use a potion, so if I could use hypnosis now, I could switch out to Jokey and get my, my bulk ups going. But if he's just going to wake up automatically from uproar, there's kind of no point. But he, eh, it's worth a try. Use your fucking potion. Now we get to use a potion. Unfortunately, I don't have any more hyper potions, so we're stuck with shitty ones. Okay, he's asleep. Now, as long as Uproar doesn't automatically wake him up, maybe we can get something going here. And we got that potion out of him. That's what we wanted to do. Go, Jokey. Even if he wakes up, it's not like Uproar is going to do a whole lot of damage to you. Okay, he's still fast asleep. This is good. Yeah, no vital spirit on your ass. We'll use Bulk Up. Let's see, I think if we get like four off, that'll be just double kick will kill everybody. Yeah, he's still sleeping. This is perfect. It's working out just fine. We're getting our defense really high too. And all of their attacks, pretty much all of their attacks, are physical. So if my defense is high, the only thing they can do is get a crit. And they're still sleeping. They're still sleeping. Okay. Sleep one more turn. Sleep one more turn. Oh my god! Um, I'm kind of shaking. I'm so nervous. Now, I wanted to keep bulking up until until I needed to use a potion. But that's just going to waste a turn anyway. So now that I have three, my defense is plus three, my attack's plus three. Let's go for the fucking kill. Spinda, you're dead. You're fucking done. Yeah, it only took one kick for my double kick. I have all four of my guys. Everybody is at max power... No, no, Hail Zeon probably took a, a bit of damage. He's at half power. But Jokey is all powered up. Oh, Vigoroth. I haven't seen that yet. She's got, like, a little red mohawk. And she's very angry and fierce. I like it. Jokey, you gotta be faster, right? Double kick him. No, he's faster. Oh, I didn't do shit because our defense is so high. And you're dead. Okay. Okay, Jokey, I think we can do this. As long as they don't get crits on us, we can do this. Because a crit would ignore my boosted defense. Oh my god, Lanoon is adorable. 
they they took that long ferret body and and turned it in, into like uh, brunette Rapunzel hair. It's very silky and, and I like that one. I'd give that one 8.5 out of 10. It's top tier. And now it's gonna be dead tier. Double kick that motherfucker. Oh god, stop it. Stop it with that shit. Okay. So what does this mean? Does this mean... Do I go ahead with the intimidate strategy to get his attack down? What the fuck? <laughs> you smug fucking bitch. <laughs> oh man, that's... <laughs> your blonde hair doesn't match the, your disgusting ape body. But the question is, do I just... Do I just take my advantage and run with it? Or do I start doing the intimidate strategy? I... I think I've got this. I think I've got this with Jokey. Yawn. Uh... Okay. This double kick might just finish him off. It might be over right now. No. No, not quite. And now we're gonna be put to sleep. Put to sleep. Okay. Do I really- Oh, I guess we can't use Thief now. <sighs> well, I don't think he can kill me. With my boosted defense. And I do get to use one item, so maybe I'll use an Awakening instead of a Potion to wake me up when I fall asleep. Because if I switch out, I lose all my boosted stats. So go for it. Loafing around. We can just finish him off right now. Just do that. Oh. <laughs> we did it. Nobody fucking died. We only needed two Pokemon. Bulk up did it. That's all you needed to do. Put somebody to sleep, bulk up, win. That's it. It was so fucking easy. All that fucking... I spent like three or four hours grinding and strategizing for this shit, and I fucking won with, with no issues at all. It was just easy peasy. Fucking hell. Wow, okay. I thought it was over. I thought that was the last episode, but it's not. <sighs> okay. TM42, what's that? Uh, that's the one that is stronger if you're, like, burned or whatever the hell. Or poison paralyzed or burned, yeah. Wowee. Boy, that was... It was super intense, even though I had the upper hand the entire time. He didn't get any lucky slash crits on me. He didn't get his his uh, belly drum off. And his goddamn Slay King was just a little smug bitch and got blown the fuck out. Oh, what's this cutscene now? What are we doing? What are we doing? I wasn't paying attention. I was too busy uh, lavishing in, in the luxury of safety. Monkey, please excuse us for dragging you here this way. Oh, is this when you give me Surf? Yeah, just give me Surf. Oh, I should go to the desert and catch a Pokemon in the desert. I forgot all about that. Yay, HMO3, Surf, I assume. Ah, oh, boy, okay, nobody died. Nobody died. Everybody's alive. Let's... Let's go regroup our team. You know, tell them all the, all the Pokemon in the PC the good news. We'll decide... <laughs> wow. Did I train... Quinlan up for no fucking reason. I spent over an hour on his ass. Just to, I guess I can use the intimidate strategy later on, since I still have Pulsai and... Oh man, my mind's just going a million places at once. Let's let's figure out what team we want to use and, and get a move on. Alright, Hail Zeon, I'm keeping you. Jokey, keeping you. Quinlan, you gotta go. <laughs> Pulsai, no thanks. Let's get back, Autistic. We'll get back. Uh, Cedarax for sure. Man, it's been a while since we had the whole team together. The whole the whole gang's coming back together. It's great. Um, I, uh, Mr. Florida, man, you're disappointing me, but whatever. And then who else? No. Who am I forgetting? Isn't there a... Oh, no, I guess they all died <laughs> at the fire gym, didn't they? <laughs> huh, so I guess I don't really have um, a strong sixth. And really, 
Mr. If Mr. Florida doesn't pick up the pace, I don't really have a strong fourth either. Okay, okay, who do I want? I've already got a bunch of grass. Well, I guess I, I have one grass, but it's not that great. So maybe I want to use Nioki XS. Uh, definitely no. Um, I already have fire, so fuck off. Uh, no. Uh, uh, I, I, I have enough water. It's tough. It's tough. There's not really anything that stands out to me. I guess I'll take Neoki XS. Fine. <sighs> Gotta make up for my shitty grass Pokemon. Okay. This is the new team, ladies and gentlemen. The new team. Unless I find a Trapinch when I go to the desert and I train up to get a Flygon. Yeah, here's what we're looking at for now. Let's uh, heal up and go to the desert, catch some shit, and then surf on over and see what waits next. I think next is the flying gym. <laughs> and uh, so, good thing we can't use Jokey, huh? Didn't even think ahead. That we can't use Jokey or... Or Hail Zeon. But that's probably fine. Okay, we'll figure it out later. I'm I'm done. <laughs> I'll, I'll talk to you guys next time. Well, everybody, as it turns out, we are completely fucked. We're completely fucked. I thought that Norman, the fifth gym, was going to be the the really tough one that we would have to overcome great obstacles to defeat. But now, <laughs> I just looked up the next gym, and it, we're, we're fucking done. There's no way. She has five Pokemon. The level cap is 31, which is only two higher than the previous level cap. So in other words, I can train up most of my Pokemon like another two levels, or else they're going to be too high. So that's just fucked. Um, I don't have anything that is strong against flying, let alone fucking Altaria with her, her goddamn earthquake and shit. That, that, that thing is hard to beat in a normal run. I remember losing to this gym all the time. I mean, it's, it's a positive that I get to bring in five things, but I don't know what I would bring in. Uh, my only electric Pokemon is Minin, so I guess uh, whatever that fucking guy's name is, Exclagljovic, Excl whatever <laughs> your weird-ass name. So Minin, I guess you'll get a, you'll get a play. Um, rock Pokemon. My one rock Pokemon is dead. The, uh, the star, star dude, Sun Man. <sighs> don't have any ice Pokemon. So, I mean, thankfully I get a bunch more catches on the way there, but I don't get to train my Pokemon up. Like, I, I, I guess I can use these and get them over leveled because they can't be in this gym anyway because they were in the previous gym. But let, let's take a look and see what's in the box and based on what I have right now, what could I possibly use to fight this flying gym? Yeah, so, Exilovich, I guess you're gonna get your time to shine. I read that when you're level, I can go to 31, when you're level 31 you'll have Spark, which it's not a terrible move, and you'll have really good speed, so maybe you'll take out, you'll probably take out Swablu, I could probably take out Swablu with Exilovich, whatever his bitch ass name is. Star Waste, motherfucking Smegma. I guess, so this would evolve into a rock Pokemon, right? So I could probably use Smegma, right? I think. Um, I'm probably not going to use you. Um, uh, man, I don't know. I don't know. It's a rough one. It's rough. Maybe I'll use these two and, and hopefully we'll catch more cool shit on the way there. Because right now... I'm not liking my prospects. I guess now that I can surf, isn't there an electrical plant I can go to? 
south of Watson's Town. And also I can go catch something in the desert. So I guess I'll go, go do all that stuff. And we'll keep our fingers crossed that we get some good stuff. Oh, Mr. Florida can learn Surf. So finally, our grass water Pokemon will have a water move. And it's the best water move of all times. So that's perfect. Okay, yeah, fuck, uh... Uh, uh Fury Swipes? Get out of here. <laughs> so our best grass move is still Absorb. But our best water move, our only water move, is now Surf. There we go. And we'll give this to Sheetorax as well. Oh yeah, Watson, he's gonna tell me to go to the electric plant, right? You got a lot of zip, okay. Yeah. Yeah, sector, blah blah blah. Generator, perfect. Maybe I'll catch uh, a Magnemite, maybe? And then I can get it in one of those those Magnetons. And there's three of them all together, I really like that one. Fingers crossed for for our own new sheepover, a new magnet. New Maville, looks new to me. Oh, is it? Door's locked. Yeah, use the key. There we go. Perfect. Okay, um, who's the best to catch? Probably Hale Zeon, because he has hypnosis. So let's get his health back up. Now here's a unique problem that I've never really faced in a Nuzlocke before. Is that... Oh god, here comes a Pokemon. What's it gonna be? What's it gonna be? Magnemite, perfect. What level? Oh, thank god. Okay, I was gonna say that... There's some high level shit in here, and I could have found something that <laughs> its level was too high for the level cap. So like if this Magnemite would have been level 32, I would have been fucked. I couldn't have used it anyway. But thank god, there we go, level 24. I barely even have to train that thing. Let's let's hope we catch it. Don't fuck this up, monkey. Do not fuck this up. Hypnosis. We need this for the next gym. We desperately need it. Okay, well, he status affected me, and I missed him. So let's try again. Some people wondering what happened to the sonic boom sound effect. Uh, Mumkey got lazy is what happened to it. Um, strength won't do anything to, right? It's not very effective, right? Please? Okay, good. Even a crit won't kill it, so let's do another strength. And then if it's still asleep, we can start chucking some balls. Okay. Okay, let's hope. Uh, can't do a repeat ball. Let's go for Great Ball. Come on, we need a motherfucking magnet. Super dope-ass cute little magnet girl floating in midair. Gonna evolve into three of them. Hell yeah, we did it. Hell yeah. Okay, this might be what saves us. We gotta bring in not only a Minin to the bird gym, which, you know, Minin, one of the best Pokemon of all time, but also a Magnemite. Hopefully it evolves into Magneton by level 31. Uh, already, I'm liking my chances. I was very bummed out at the beginning of this, but we we did it. Let's find a nickname. And the winner is Sir Kale Lander, who says, My hope dies a little bit every two days. Hey, me too, buddy. My, my hope's dying every day. Uh, I guess we'll do Kale Lander. All right, Kale Lander, welcome to the box for now, but I think Neoki XS will probably get replaced with you. Don't know why I decided to train up a grass Pokemon when I'm going to the flying gym next. So let's get Kale Lander on the team. Do I dare check out this? Oh God, how strong is this shit in here? Is it gonna kill me? Oh, okay, what is it, what is it gonna be? Just another Magnemite. I'm pretty sure that there's Magnetons in here and that they have like magnet pulse, so you can't escape. So if you find one, you're pretty much automatically dead. So I'm actually gonna get the hell out of here. All right, Neoki XS, it's been fun. It's been fun having you for, I guess, less than one episode. <laughs> but we're gonna, we're gonna store you now, buddy. And yeah, Kale Lander, let's do it. We need you. We need you desperately. Shit, I was, I keep forgetting how to do this shit. Yeah, fucking yeah. There we go. <laughs> But that's not all, folks. Now we're going to the desert to catch a, a Trapinch? I don't know. Hopefully it's a Trapinch. That'd be cool as shit. And we still haven't caught anything on this route, so maybe we can mine these rocks to get Geodude now that I know there's no other choice. And a Graveler wouldn't be terrible to bring in to a flying gym. Let's try it. Give me that Geodude. 
No. Give me that Geo Dude. No. Oh, is this part of the route? The desert's not its own place. Okay, so I guess I'm glad I didn't find a Geo Dude. What are we getting? Ball toy? That lazy fucking ball toy who just, it's not even a lowly, it's just its own thing. But uh, I know you're gonna correct me when I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure this is just a rock type Pokemon. I don't remember if Ball Toy evolves, and I want to look it up because I'm too curious to not. And also, we're gonna catch it. Oh, it's a ground psychic Pokemon, and it evolves into Claydol. Claydol, however you want to pronounce that, at level 36. So it won't be evolved in time. But, I mean. Uh, does it levitate? Yeah, it levitates. So it can dodge that earthquake bullshit off of, um, off of Altaria. So at least we have something who can avoid that. It doesn't resist flying or anything like that, though. Um, and it won't be evolved. But, I mean, we're catching it anyway, so I don't know why I'm looking all this shit up. Oh, God, its stats are terrible. Oh, I'm sure Claydol has way better stats, but right now this thing is is garbage. Go for Hypnosis. I really wanted Trapinch. Maybe Trapinch isn't even here, I don't know. I think it is. Go for Strength. That'll probably kill it, because it has no defense. Oh, <laughs> perfect. Okay. That was, that was exactly what I planned. Yep. <laughs> that wasn't a risky maneuver at all. Uh, this guy's not even worth a great ball. Let's throw a Pokeball at him. Fuck him. Fuck this non lowly unevolved piece of shit. C crappy stats. Probably gay attacks. Yeah. Okay, let's see who gets to be Ball Toy. Probably a dog. There's a dog called Ball Toy, right? I don't remember. And the winner is Wild Card, who says, Smegma is one of my favorite Pokemon. Hey, there you go. Well, <laughs> maybe he'll be in the next gym. Who knows? Wild card, like an, a regular Charlie Day. I guess Baltoy is a bit of a wild card, because right now he's shit, but maybe someday he won't be. Welcome to the box, wild card, and don't expect to get out anytime soon. But we're not done yet, folks. You thought, oh, oh, that's all the that's all the spring cleaning monkey was gonna do. But we still have to go get a nickname for our why not. That's right, you forgot. Even though it was also earlier in this episode I looked at him. But before we go to the name raider, is there, is there like a desert palace or something here where we can catch something? Oh, there's my fucking Trapinch. Great. But maybe there's like a little building in the desert where I can go catch Trapinch anyway. I do not remember. Um, yeah, well, I'm not doing that bullshit. I don't see any sort of building, so I guess I'll just move on. Uh, is coughing new? I don't remember seeing coughing before, so maybe. Um, it's, uh, it's fine. <laughs> it's kind of gross. The head's okay, the body is like, ugh. So I'd, I'd give it like a 5 out of 10. It's half good. Oh, that's the move tutor. Where's the name raider? Okay, never mind. I thought this was the name raider. I, maybe it's not until one of the later towns. I must have fucked that one up. Okay, never mind. I guess we are getting, we're done getting nicknames for now. Um, but no, we gotta go catch some stuff, because we're, we're going to new routes. There's like a million new names to get. Why not? Or uh, why not? We'll just have to wait not. Uh, uh, what? That wasn't there before, was it? What? The fuck? This wasn't... No, oh, it was disappearing. What? Uh, Mirage Tower, is that why it's called that? Does it disappear? I don't care. It's a new place to me. Give me a trapinch. Give me a fucking trapinch. It worked. Somehow there's, there's a place. No. No. Ah. I got Sandshrewd. I don't want Sandshrewd. God damn it. I wanted trapinch. I wanted a dragon. A dragon. Mm, well, I guess I'll catch it. Don't want a goddamn... Yellow Sonic the Hedgehog bullshit. It'll probably die. I'll do Psybeam. Strength will kill it. 
Maybe, I don't, maybe side beam will kill it. Ah, uh, well, <laughs> fucking god damn it. What the fuck ever? What the fuck ever? I wasn't gonna use it, I don't think. I think that's everything I want to do. So now we can actually go catch something over here on Route 118. Because we haven't fished here or anything, so when we surf, we'll get a new Pokemon. Do we need another water Pokemon? No. <laughs> we sure don't. Wait. Is there grass on the other side of this? Because if I don't have to get a water Pokemon, I don't want to. Oh god, okay. Come on, buddy. We can, we can make it. We can make it. Yeah, okay. Okay, good. Maybe we'll find some grass and we won't have to catch a water Pokemon. Ah, fuck you, Steven. Go away. Hey, same route. Same route. We're catching something in the grass. Screw the water. I don't need another tentacool or whatever the hell. Kecleon? Is that... Yep, it's Kecleon. I thought that those didn't show up until after the sixth the gym town. Because you have to... Then you have to use the thing to see the invisible Kecleon and stuff. Uh, well, we're not using Exilovich to catch it. Let's go... Uh, Hail Zeon. Okay, let's put him to sleep. And the, oh god damn it, hail Zeon. Oh no, these fury swipes. I got a bad feeling about them. You're gonna get like five crits in a row. Oh god, he's halfway down. I want to put him to sleep. If I miss and he gets another big fury swipes, hail Zeon's dead. And I do not want that. So put him to fucking sleep. God damn it. Oh, okay, here it comes. Here it comes. Here it comes. Sorry, Hail Zeon, you couldn't fucking do it. Uh, we'll paralyze him with... With Kaelander? He has paralyzed, right? Yeah, nice try Fury swiping him. He doesn't give a shit. Go, yeah, go for Thunder Wave. Ah, god damn it, stop it. Uh, yeah, you can't do anything to hurt him. Thunder Wave his ass. I don't even know if... Kecleon's good. I mean, it has like that dumb gimmick where if you hit it, it becomes that type. Um, but bird doesn't resist bird, so or flying doesn't resist flying, so it doesn't really matter in this circumstance. Let's go for Thundershock. And then Sonic Boom. Oh, <laughs> that did nothing. Surely Sonic Boom will do more. Yeah, that's what I want to see. And the good thing about Sonic Boom is that it, it can never be a critical hit. So it'll be really good for catching stuff. Kalander might be my new catcher. He can he can paralyze him and he can Sonic Boom him. Well, sometimes he can Sonic Boom him. And now he's gonna now he's almost dead, so never mind. He's a bad catcher. Okay, let's <laughs> switch again. Kecleon must be pretty good if I have to switch a thousand times to catch him. I don't know if I have any weak attacks that I can actually hit him with, so maybe I just have to start chucking balls at this point. Ugh, yikes. Autistic, you need to work on your defense. <laughs> Shit. Uh, we're switching again. We're switching again. Wow, five, and one of them was a crit. Good job, fucking Kecleon, you stupid asshole. Okay, we're gonna... The whole team will fight him. I don't care. The whole goddamn team will fight him. Maybe he's great. It seems he's, that he's great. He's beaten my whole team while he's paralyzed. He's he's the best Pokemon who ever lived. He's sweeping the entire Monkey Loli squad. Ugh, come on, I'm not using any of these on him. Well, he's electric type, so Rock Smash wouldn't be super effective. Let's try a ball. Let's not be too risky here. Let's try a Great Ball. See if it even shakes. If it doesn't shake, I'll try a Rock Smash. Hey, there you go. There you go. Crisis averted. We did it. Let's find out who gets to be top Kecleon. And the winner is Ayanil Sinhababu, who says, Hey, yo, monkey. I want to go Ayanil or Sinhababu. 
Sinhababu is just insane, so I think I have to go with that. Welcome to the box. Kekleon, Top Kek, Leon, <laughs> Sinhababu. I mean, I don't think you're good, but you almost swept my whole team, so maybe, maybe you are good. Maybe you're worth looking into. I don't know. I've never used a Kecleon. That's the magic of a Nuzlocke. You get to use shit you've never fucking caught before. And is this a new route? It might be a new route to the right, and then another one up to the north. So I'm just catching stuff all day today. Oh, I need to go heal up. I'm just gonna go do that. Okay... Yeah, Route 123 looks new to me. Let's hope that there's Pokemon over here. There's gotta be- uh, God, there's so many- Yeah, I don't want to fight anybody. Where's the grass? No. God damn it. Looks like there's no grass, so never mind. I'll just steal all their berries and leave. Route 119. I think I can catch Tropius here, that giant flying grass banana monster. Uh, I don't know what else is over here, but we're about to find out. Not Kecleon, don't give me Kecleon. Uh, Lanoon. Uh, oh, okay, I guess. Lanoon can be good if it has extreme speed and belly drum. I doubt that this is, I mean, maybe it can learn those in this generation. Probably already missed the opportunity to. Um, but I do really like this silky, long-haired Loli. I think I've reviewed it before and said that. So on a Loli level, I'm glad to potentially have it, but... I guess Tropius is kind of shitty anyway, so maybe it's for the best. Ah, oh, god damn it. Okay, maybe it is good if it has a stab bonus headbutt and it flinches my ass. God damn it, Kaylander, you son of a bitch. Okay, we've got him really low, about as low as we can go. And he's paralyzed, so let's go for a great ball again. We're catching a shit ton of stuff. Should be easy peasy, I don't see this one popping out. Okay, there we go. Let's get another name. Everybody who commented on episode 14, you had, a. Uh, he had ample opportunity so far to get a name, because these are all coming from episode 14. And the winner is Shira Yuki, who says, You should be using the Fiery Ballsack Pokemon out of principle. Uh, I guess. And also, you spelled principle wrong, but, I mean, who am I to judge? Uh, I think that'll all fit. Let's try it. Okay, Shira Yuki. If I can do some... some belly drum shenanigans with you, that'd be really cool. But otherwise, I... I don't really see you leaving the box, but I'll, I'll go investigate, see what's up. Well, <laughs> looks like it doesn't learn Belly Drum until level 53. So, in other words, you're fucking useless to me. Disgusting. And to think I was considering training up my Zigzagoon and for the first time ever, having two of the same Pokemon in a Nuzlocke, because you can't do that since I caught Zigzagoon and Lanoon, I could evolve my Zigzagoon and then have two Lanoons, and if they both had Belly Drum, that would just be all kinds of fun shenanigans with a quick attack and extreme speed. But it looks like it's not going to happen. So, Shira Yuki, you can enjoy your time in the box. Let's, you know what, let's look and see. Let's look at some stuff about Star Waste. I don't know. Maybe we'll pull him out. Well, never mind. Doesn't become a cargo until level 38, a.k.a. useless. Nice try. Uh... N Numel, maybe? Numel evolves at level 33. Another useless Pokemon. At least for this gym. Kecleon? I know you don't evolve, but let's see what your stats look like. Kecleon has really good special defense, but normal defense leaves something to be desired. Which means all these catches aren't gonna help me. At least I got the Magnemite. 
that's probably the most important one. Although Magnemite, Magneton gets hurt by Earthquake and it will die from Earthquake. God, I hope it, surely it evolves by level 31, right? I think it evolves at like 28. Okay, it evolves at level 30, which means it'll evolve just in time for the gym. So maybe, maybe, just just ballparking right now. We still have a couple catches left, I think. Maybe Exilovich will take on Swablu. Then for Tropius, Tropius, we would want to use our own flying Pokemon. Um... Sheetorax, I guess, maybe? It wouldn't hurt to bring Sheetorax and use Wing Attack to take out Tropius. Uh, Pelipper, we would want to use another electric Pokemon, so maybe that's when we bring out Magnemite. Skarmory, that's... that's its own thing. <laughs> that's gonna be fun. Uh... God, I don't know. Maybe... maybe then... I, I don't know. And then... For Alt Altaria, Al Altaria, I, I have no idea. I have no idea. An ice move would be really nice if I can find one. Uh, well, we got some time. We got some time before this gym. We'll, maybe we'll find uh, Obama Snow or some shit. No, Obama Snow would be bad because he's part grass. I don't know. We'll figure it out. 2,000 years later. Oh my god, everybody, everybody, we're back, we're back, shut up knob, I'm in the middle of talking, we're back from a, you know how in um, those shitty animes like Naruto and One Piece, they always got like, like a time skip, like oh man, we're such an original show, let's have a three year time skip to see, so let's see what the characters are up to in three years, well th this is that point in this anime, uh, this Nuzlocke anime. Because it's been two full weeks since I last recorded this. I don't even, I don't have any idea what the fuck's going on. I, okay, Xylovich is, okay, I guess I trained everybody up or something. I didn't even remember what Pokemon I had. Um, I spent the last two weeks down in the south, my boy. Boy, I was in the south. I went down to North Carolina to scout out where I'm moving to and all that shit. To go hang out with Digi. And now I'm back home and I'm all out of episodes. I'm dog tired. Um, I'm kind of miserable, my head hurts, but unlike the Ben Saints and the size of the world, I don't want to uh, just, you know, go forever without updating. I like to upload these episodes on time. So even though I have no idea what's going on and I feel very sick, I need a new episode for tomorrow because I'm all out of episodes. So uh, yeah, the show must go on. I'm going to figure out what the hell's happening and we're going we're gonna to win some Pokemon Man today. Okay, looks like our, our level limit is uh, 31, I forgot. 31. And I also I saw a bunch of comments saying I should go back to the power plant. Because after you complete the power plant, you get Thunderbolt or something. And we need we need some strong electric attacks to fight this, this god-awful flying gym. So I guess... Oh, man, I don't know. It's going to be scary. That, that place is super tough. Let's see. Well, we can only go to 31. We can't use Halzeon anyway, so hmm. and we can't use Jokey anyway. So let's let's let Hel Jokey can have some fun. He can do it, cause the see Gym Seven. Um, Gym Seven has a lot of rock and ground, so I probably won't use Jokey anyway. So I think we're safe to over level Jokey all we want, cause in the eighth gym is water. So as far as I'm concerned, Jokey isn't going to be used in another gym, ever. Like we're gonna save his ass for the Elite Four at this point. So, who cares if we overlevel Jokey? Let's... He can go and, um, flame on. Get your flame on. And kill a bunch of Magnemites and shit. And now that I say that, I'm almost certain that Jokey will die in this power plant. It's just, it's bound to happen. He's gonna get exploded by a Voltorb. Or... Sonic boomed to death. Here we go, here's Voltorb. Yeah, let's see if we can if we can knock it out with like a double kick, then I have no worries. Just just fucking go for it. Oh, of course it's faster. Naturally, why would Voltorb be slower than my evolved six levels higher Pokemon? Ah, uh, well, that wasn't quite killing it. Hopefully he doesn't want to explode. 
Okay. Hopefully, I have a lot of potions. I guess I should have bought them. Oh, fuck. Yeah, this is gonna be potion central, just using paralyzed heals and lemonades left and right, trying to get through this uh, mess. Oh, I did it. That's all I needed to do? Okay. All I found were Voltorbs, and they were pretty easy. Oh, they're, okay, that's the first Magnemite. Right when I say I've only found Voltorbs, a Magnemite shows up. I wish it would have been nothing but Magnemite. I bet I can kill these suckers in one hit. Yeah, that would have been way easier than risking all these Voltorbs. I'm all out of Paralyze uh, heals at this point. Okay, let's go get Thunderbolt, and I, then I guess teach it to Exilovich? I hope he can learn it. Thunderstone. Oh shit, in this game, you can only use TMs once. Which means, <laughs> if I waste Thunderbolt on Exilovich, and he just dies in one hit against Swablu, which is what he's gonna do, uh, it was all for not. It's all for nothing. Where's my escape rope? I guess we'll see who can learn it. Hey, you fat fuck. Give me my TM. TM24. Okay, who can learn TM24? Thunderbolt. 95 power, that's really good. Oh, and I have Shockwave too. Did I try to teach that yet? Let's see. Um, so he's able... Oh yeah, uh, uh, Kai... Kyle Lander. I, I think Ky he said in the comments just to call him Kai, but I'll probably forget, so I'll probably call him uh, Kyle Lander forever. Hmm, Kyle Lander obviously is going to have higher special attack, right? They're both 25, so let's take a look. Maybe I'll give the stronger one Thunderbolt and the weaker one Shockwave, but I don't know. We'll figure it out. One of them is getting Thunderbolt. Okay, his special attack is 43, his special attack is 49, so yeah, Kaylander definitely deserves it more. And he only has Thundershock, whereas you have Spark. Ugh. Well, yeah, let's let's give this to Kaylander. And with that done, we can continue on the journey. I think we're going to the Weather Institute now, where I'm pretty sure I get the... What, what's it called? Weatherman? The little weather Pokemon man? They give it to me for free? And you guys know my policy. I don't really like using Pokemon that are just handed over like that. So it's debatable whether or not I'll actually use it, even though everybody's like, Oh, Monkey, uh, Cast Form, Cast Form's the best thing ever. You can you can use Hail and then Ice ice Ball to kill all the birds. I'm like, eh. But it, I didn't catch it Nuzlocke-y, you know? It's like Nuzlocke's supposed to be random catches and shit. And they just hand that over. At least the starter Pokemon is randomized, because I have a 1 in 3 chance, but with that, it's just like a gift. The only time I think I've used it, a gift Pokemon, was in the yellow Nuzlocke, and I even that I regretted a little bit. Oh my god. You got so many Picos, it's like a dream come true. It's all I ever wanted. <laughs> it's a house full of Picos. I guess now would be as good a time as any to address some of the concerns I've seen popping up a million times in the comments. Uh, the big one is, Monkey, why are the episodes so short? 12 minutes, what the fuck? And I, I see where you're coming from, because back in the day, all the episodes, like of the other Nuzlocke's, were closer to like 15, 16, 17 minutes, sometimes even like over 20. And the only reason why in this series they've been shorter is because, well, one, I've been trying to make every episode between 12 and 15 minutes because I think that's a, it's a good length. But also it was because I knew I was going on this two-week trip and I didn't want to stop having episodes. So I kind of had no choice but to make some of them shorter just so that we wouldn't go two weeks without episodes. Uh, so I think it was a, it was a fair compromise to in order to give you constant episodes to make some of them like 11, 12 minutes. Spark? Eh, we don't need fucking Spark, we just got Thunderbolt. But it's better than Thundershock, so I guess I'll replace it. 
God, how do I, I've, I've used Magnemite so many times in these Nuzlocks and I can never remember when it evolves. Hopefully, because I'm training up to 31, hopefully it becomes a Magneton by, by 31, right? I guess I'll take a look, my famous catchphrase. Oh, fuck. Uh, God, I've got a bad feeling about Autistic. I don't know. With that defense, I don't know how long he's gonna last. He's been riding on the seat of his pants, brother, as a famous King Critic once said. Well, hopefully when he evolves into Exploud, everything will be okay. Oh, oh, what a sad sight to see. That's a lot of slurry S's in one... Statement. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take that one out. Oh, it evolves into Magneton at level 30. Perfect. F just in fucking time. This gem will be a piece of cake. Okay, we're at the Weather Institute. Let's use the beds to heal up, I think. Because we need to heal up. There we go. And then fight a bunch of these grunt douche fucks. And get our cast form that maybe I'll use. Maybe, maybe I won't. It feels cheap, in my opinion. I don't know. Carvana, perfect. You are the perfect specimen to be sacrificed by the mighty Exilovich. He was very excited in the comments to see that he was now on the team. I think he posted 10 comments on that <laughs> that one video. So yeah, hey, look, he's doing great. He's doing... Oh, well. I thought rough skin only affected you if you used a physical attack. Huh. Yeah, you think you're so tough? What are you, like the executive? You're like one of the bosses? Well, you're nothing. But you're not- you're fucking nothing, you- you ragged- ragdo wearing, uh, survivor buff, uh, big red hair bitch. You got Carvana, it's nothing compared to the power of Exilovich. Probably the strongest Pokemon in the game, I think- like- it, Mining in this game is way too OP, and I, I think Game Freak, like, they should have adjusted its levels a little bit, because it's just not fair. Like, as soon as you catch a Mining, it's pretty much game over. It's almost an automatic victory. It's almost impossible to fuck it up if you get a Mining. Like, how could you possibly lose? Uh, so just because I want to go easy on you, I'm going to go ahead and switch him out real quick for Kaolander and Thunderbolt. Let's give it a shot. Bite. Uh, not very effective. Good choice, monkey. Let's go for Thunderbolt. Oh, fuck your confusion. Okay. Just hit him. We'll be fine. You got it. Don't count those ducks. Don't give a fucks about those ducks. Right? Nope. Nah, you give a fucks about those ducks. Oh, okay. Th uh, Thunderbolt. We gotta do it. He's not gonna get a crit. Even if you hit yourself, we're fine, but you're not going to hit yourself, Kylan. Okay. Okay, well, <laughs> I guess, um, you know what, Jokey, fuck it. You can do it. Just double kick him. He'll be done. One kick is all we need. His defense is garbage and we're super effective. Yeah, nice bite, bitch. Let's go. Okay, maybe two kicks. Hey, we did it. Let's get a cast form and, uh, I guess get it a nickname. Hmm, quick attack. Not that great. Man, our best fire attack is still Ember at level 32. That is horseshit. I guess when we evolve, we get Blaze Kick, which is kind of cool. I don't want to lose Bulk Up. I do want to lose Rock Smash, but I probably can't. Nope. So, quick attack. Sorry, you're going to have to go. Oh, thanks. Thanks to you, we're safe. It might be an odd way of thanking you, but thank this pumpkin man. Monkey received cast form, a controversial figure in the Monkey Nuzlocke lore. Do you want to give a nickname? Okay. Let's see who gets to be the maybe won't get used cast form. And the winner is Turks, T-U-R-X, who says, you got a lot of zip with the little smiley face. Hey, thanks, Turks. You got a lot of weather now, I suppose. I don't know if that's uh, equal to zip or not. Welcome to the box, Turks. We'll see if if I'm gonna comp out and use you, or if I'm gonna uh, abuse you, you know what I'm saying? Okay, I don't think that there are a lot of routes left between here and the next gym town. In fact, there might not be any at all. 
I know that there's one immediately after, so maybe I'll catch like an Absol there, which would be kind of cool. But let's let's scurry on over. I'm tired of this in between gyms bullshit. I want to go fight the gym already. That's what we're all waiting for. Oh wait, no, I gotta fight the rival, don't I? Oh god, let's go heal up. Oh, there's a rival battle right up here, and then I I think he gives me fly, maybe. I I don't know. Oh man, what's he gonna have? This might be tough. I have no idea. I'm going into it blind, pretty much. <sighs> Should I use the PC to get different Pokemon? Pokemans? <sighs> uh, nah. Well, no. No, Xylovich is so tough, he can take him on all by himself, I bet. Fuck it. Let's go. It's a battle versus the rival. Monkey versus his destiny. Only three? I scoff at thee. More words that rhyme with three. Okay, Lombre. So, you're water, grass. So, Spark's not a terrible move, but you are quite a few levels higher. But I doubt... You'll be strong enough to knock me out in one hit, so let's paralyze your ass. Ah, oh, fuck you and your fake out bullshit. That's my move only. Okay, you're paralyzed. I seem to be struck by you. I want to make you move because you're standing still. If your body matches what your eyes can do, you probably move right through me on me, me on my way to you. Oh, fuck. Fucking crit. Okay, well, we paralyzed you, so that's enough, Xylovich. You did it. Let's switch out to Sheetorax. Yes. Sheetorax with a wing attack. And you'll be paralyzed, right? No. Another swift, who cares? Yeah, nice try. Yeah, what, seven damage? Fuck you. Use a wing attack, finish him off. Man, how high are his levels? He's 29 on his Lombre, that's higher than a lot of my shit, isn't it? But his only attack is swift, so who cares? Finish him off. What you got next, Smegma? Or is Smegma going to be evolved into, uh, I guess, Smegma, Smegmok? Like, because he's part rock? Uh, I shouldn't do these when I'm tired, but I have no choice. No, he's still Smegma. Hey, I think I have a Smegma down now, don't I? Let's go ahead and surf that Smegma. I need to stop saying that. I'm going to have to upload this tomorrow. I don't have time to edit in that disgusting picture of Digi. <laughs> when I say disgusting, but that's just like a normal picture. <laughs> I'm still sick. I'm st I got sick at Digi's house. I was screaming all night, and it like destroyed my throat. And then I, I think I got an infection from sleeping in his house. Um, Marsh Tomp. Okay, let's uh, let's supersonic. Why not? He doesn't have anything that can hurt Sheetorax. Sheetorax still remains the ultimate rival killing machine. Mm. Even if he does that again and gets a crit, I think I'm okay. Yeah, confuse his ass. Hit yourself, bitch. I always hit myself. Let's see you do it. Yeah, get fucked. Fuck you. Wing attack. Fuck you. I probably should switch, just to be safe. Hit yourself again and so I can switch. Yeah, good. Fuck you. Perfect. I'm saying fuck a lot, ain't I? I need to start the no-cuss challenge again. Um... Uh, Hail Zeon, you got this one, my friend. That's the F word I should be using as friend. Pokemon's all about friendship and how magical it is. Mmm. Okay. Okay. Finish him off. Finish him off, please. Oh, uh, okay. Hail Zeon, you. Oh, fuck. Uh, friend. Oh, friend. Oh, friend. Okay. Is he gonna heal up? I don't know. I don't trust him. Because he lowered my speed. I don't trust his ass. Uh, uh, autistic, go. My, you're going to heal up, and then I'm going to be in a world of trouble. No, you didn't. Oh, he killed himself. Okay. I am down to clown with suicide. I always have been, always will be. What do you know? Why would the AI use takedown when it has one HP left? I don't know. This is what we're up against, folks. Hey, and there's Fly. We can teach that to Sheetorax. Okay, now we can hightail it to the gym. I'm tired of wasting time with this garbage. 
Oh, Fly only does 70 power? I thought it was stronger than that. Well, Cedarax, you're the only one. Hmm, I don't want to get rid of Wing Attack. Because it has so much PP. Um, eh. Supersonic is helpful, I guess, sometimes, but... Ah. Uh, it has really low accuracy, so I guess I'll get rid of Supersonic. It's not that great anyway. Okay, maybe we should figure out what the team is going to be. Because I don't think I'm catching much else before the gym. We can use five Pokemon, uh, but not Jokey and not Hail Zeon. Now, <clears throat> it might be a good idea to use Star Waste because it's strong against fl this... Uh, what's her fucking name? Yeah, Star Waste would be good because its fire attacks will be good against both uh, Tropius and Skarmory, and then if it learns good rock attacks, it'll be good too. So I think we'll switch you in. Well, let's withdraw... well, okay. We don't need... I think I'll, I'll give Hail Zeon a break, because we can't use him, and he's less likely to die than... Uh, Jokey is the stronger one, so I'm gonna put Hail Zeon away for now. And we will get out Star Waste. Withdraw. So does that give us our team of five? We've got Exilevich to take on Swablu. That's one and done. Kalander is number two. He can take on anybody, pretty much. Uh, I guess I, I probably don't want to use Autistic. Sheetorax I'll probably use, and Star Waste I'll probably use. So that's four. I need one more. Maybe Autistic. I'll keep him here for now. And I guess I'll figure it out the fifth spot for sure once I get to the town. And really, we need to stop wasting time. Let's scurry on over. Maybe catch some more Pokémon Man on the way. Hey, we made it. We made it to Fortree City. Let's heal up and go catch an Absol, I think. And the, unfortunately, we got screwed over when we caught our uh, Kecleon in the, a few episodes ago. Because you get a Kecleon encounter in this town, which is the only Pokémon you can catch in this town. So in other words, we... We, we could have got something else, and we got fucked over. We, we're getting Kecleon no matter what, and now we're, it's being forced down our throats. Like feminism, or, or black rights, just these terrible things forced down our throats on a daily basis. Hey, Route 120, let's catch something new. Well, who's the best for catching something new? Mm, uh, Exilevich, you'll be fine, you can paralyze him. Fingers crossed for... Absol, maybe? Uh, no, we can't catch you. We already had an Oddish. I think Absol might be the only thing left. Oh, Meryl! Okay. I guess we haven't caught Meryl. Yeah, we'll take a Digi 2.0. That's probably better than Absol anyway. If we can catch it, let's go for a Thunder Wave. And I have a good feeling that Quick Attack won't do very much, so let's go for that. Spark will definitely kill it. Wow, oh wow. No, I was right, Quick Attack doesn't do shit. Fuck. Uh, well, uh, I, let's keep getting it down to the yellow, I guess. Surely it'll have, like, rollout, and I'll just get screwed. Oh good, a crit, perfect. Yeah, there's that rollout, I knew it was coming. How much is that gonna do, initially? Only five, so the next one will probably be like 12. <sighs> Good, paralyzed, perfect. Let's throw a ball. Do we need more balls? No, we don't. Go, great ball. Alright, let's see who gets to be Meryl. Will Meryl be used in the gym? I don't know. I probably have something better in the box, probably. Let's take a look and see what name we get. And the winner is McAfee Nix, who says, No, Trapinch! So I guess he was sad that I didn't catch Trapinch. Uh, let's do it. McAfee Nix. And we've got just the right number of letters. Okay, McAfee Nix. Let's see if you can live up to the legacy of Digi from the the Vietnamese Crystal game through uh, gameplay. Maybe we'll get you out of the box. I don't know. I think... 
I think now I just have to get the the scope thing to make it so I can see Kecleon, and then we'll be ready for the gym. We can train up and go check it out. I think I get it from talking to Steven here. Hi, Mimki, I'm a huge faggot. Fuck me, I'm Steven, I'm gay. I'm fucking gay, fuck you. Fuck me. Yeah, Devin scope, let's do it. Do I have to fight it now? Whatever, I don't give a shit. Mumkey versus Kecleon for his eighth trial to glory. Top Kecleon, let's do it. Level 30. Let's uh, paralyze him. How much is that going to do to poor little Exilovich? Uh, not a whole lot. Okay. Let's spark him. Man, lots of people with big dicks outside today being loud as fuck. Oh, that didn't do anything. But he's paralyzed. Let's switch out. Um, yeah, Jokey, you can do it. I don't care. Oh boy, Kecleon's dead. Now give me my scope so I can go fight another bitch-ass Kecleon. And then select the participants of the gym battle. And then train them. And then fight the gym. And, and then rinse and repeat two more times. You guys know the deal. Okay, Kecleon, let's fight. You got lucky. You almost had to be on my team if it wasn't for me finding that other Kecleon. Oh, wait, he fled? I thought you had to fight him. What the fuck? Uh, what? Okay, whatever. I don't, I don't even give a shit. I, I guess it's okay that we caught that other Kecleon before. I thought you had to fight this one. Okay. Well, now that that's taken care of, let's figure out which five Pokemon we want to use, and I'll go train them up to level, I guess, 30 before I test the waters of the gym. So we definitely want to get rid of you, and we want to get rid of you. Um, for sure going to use Xylovich and uh, Kalander and probably Starwaste. Not so sure about Sheetorax. So let's store him just in case. We got two open spots. Who wants to go up against this gym? Uh, let's look at the moves. Now the real fear here is obviously Altaria, her dragon flying Pokemon. And that's a good reason to use uh, Turks because... Oh yeah, I didn't even acknowledge it's lowly. It just looks so much like the original, I guess. I wonder if when it transforms into the different elements, if the lowly also looks different. Probably, I'd imagine. But it can use ice attacks, which would be really good against the dragon flying Altaria. I'd probably finish it off in like one hit. So I can see why they want me to. I've also seen a lot of stuff about using why not, but... I don't want to train it up from level 5. Like, I get what Wobbuffet is. I've used one before. It killed poor Brunswick. What a tragic tale. So Altaria has Earthquake. Earthquake's the main thing I'm worried about. Don't really care too much. I mean, I guess Dragon Dance is annoying too. Ah, <sighs> fuck. Who would be good? Because these are all the Pokemon I have. Do I really want to use Turks? <sighs> I, I, uh, I don't know. I don't know. If I use Sheetorax, it will be able to easily dodge Earthquake because it's unaffected by it. So that might be a good participant for this war. And then he can just keep using Fly and maybe like Protect or something against Altaria. But if I'm using Fly, it can just use Dragon Dance and then fuck my shit. Uh, I can also get Jumpkey. Fucking Jumpkey. I can get him all trained up too. Mmm, but, ugh. Oh, I don't know. Should I just, just say fuck it and use Turks anyway? Even though I don't want to. It, it's only for one gym, and maybe I won't even need him. Okay. Fine. And Sheetorax. No, wait, what's the next gym? Maybe I want to save Sheetorax for the next one. 
The next one is like the rock people. Uh, yeah, we don't need to use Shader Axe for that. Because he... <sighs> I'm so confused. Next one is Psychic. So I want to save stuff like Quinlan and Neoki XS for that one. So I guess I'll, I can pull out Shader Axe for this one. Why not? If I want to use water so bad, I can just use like... Uh, McCaff Phoenix and uh, McFanks maybe. No, not against Psychic. Okay, this is gonna be it. I'm done deciding. I'm way too sleepy to think today, so I'm gonna go train all these guys up to 30. And then we're gonna go challenge the gym. Yeah, that's what we're gonna do. Shouldn't take too long, except for Star Waste. More like Star Wasted Time. Oh, never mind. Slugma doesn't evolve until 38. I should have looked that up. <sighs> Fuck. God damn it. Uh, I don't know. I don't know what to do. Who wants to go fight the, f the flying gym? Anybody? Any volunteers here? Uh, Shiria Yuki, you want to do it? That'd be fun. No? Oh, Numel evolves at level 33, so he's also useless. Great. <sighs> Maybe I will have to use Why Not? I mean, I don't see Why Not. Uh, Chiara Yuki, come on, I don't give a fuck. Man, I give so little fucks at this point. I just, I want to be trained up so I can go fight. Two thousand years later. Holy shit, everybody, we're back! I am sorry that I was on hiatus for a little bit. Sorry that the last uh, few episodes haven't been this. It was that shit I recorded with Digi. But I was in the middle of moving, and it was, it was all busy, and I just, I ran out of episodes and didn't have time to record more. But now I'm all moved in, and evidently this is the team I chose before the move. Uh, I, I thought I had uh, Smegma on my team, but I guess I switched that for some reason. I don't remember why, but I'm just going to go with it. I'm going to train all these fuckers up to 31, and then no more dilly-dallying. We're going to go do the gym right fucking now. Just give me a second to finish training. Oh boy, here we go. Kaolander is evolving, which means I'm done training for the gym, mostly because I don't want to over-level when I fight all the little gym lackeys. So now that Kaolander's evolving, we're going to be ready to go test the waters of the gym with our team of expendable Pokemon. There we go. Finally, that, that adorable Loli of the three Lolis all, I guess, hugging each other? What the fuck is going on? I don't know. So let's take a look at the team. So as far as, expen as expendability goes, Shedorax is somebody who I want to keep. So, Shedrax, not expendable. Kaylander, eh, m maybe. Maybe, I mean, Magneton, I've used it so many times, I don't really care if it survives. And then Exilovich, obviously, is not expendable. Exilovich is possibly the most important Pokemon I've ever had. It's certainly the strongest I've ever had. But then we got shit like Turks, which you're probably thinking, Monkey, Turks is utter shit. Uh, and you're right. From grinding, I know that you're right. So if Turks gets killed by Altaria's Earthquake in one hit, eh, it's, it's not gonna hurt my feelings. I'll be sad that I don't get to attack it with an Ice Attack that'll do times four damage. But really, I mean, if he dies, it's like, okay, I guess Shidorax will take care of it. And then Shirayuki. I saw in the comments he changed his icon, which is, I always like to see that. Uh, and it's not that bad of a Pokemon, but really, it if it dies, it's like, ah, oh, well... You know. So this is the closest thing to the Expendables movie that you'll ever see. A team of mostly Expendable Pokemon. Let's go heal up, and then I'll take on those fags at the gym, and then we'll fight the gym. And by the way, welcome to the finale <laughs> of uh, whatever this series is. Alright, let's go through these puzzles. Xylovich, this is your moment to shine. Let's prove once and for all why you are the greatest Pokemon ever made. Exilovich versus the first Jim Lackey in his, I guess, first trial to glory. Oh, oh, start off with a fucking Skarmory. I guess that'll be good practice since I have to fight a Skarmory anyway. Let's see if Exilovich can take on a Skarmory. Oh, I forgot that we only have Spark. Uh, start off with, uh, ooh, Charm would be good because that lowers its attack. You can't really hurt Exilovich if you get charmed, bitch, and it looks like I'm faster. Exilovich is already doing great. He's super fast, and you have no attack power. 
And Swift is normal, which means I think it's a physical attacker, so Charm actually fucked it up quite a bit. Let's paralyze it too. Exilevich has too many tricks up his sleeve. He's the best Pokemon on the team. I guess she, because it's a girl. I I I'm faster than you. I can paralyze you. I can weaken your fucking bird attacks with Charm. And now I can spark you and it'll be super effective. Unironically, maybe Exilevich is really good. Look at that shit, it did over half. Exilevich is taking on a Skarmory higher level all by himself. That's crazy. Holy shit. Maybe, maybe I'm becoming uh, an Exilevich evangelist over here. Maybe I'll start singing the praises of Minen unironically, which of course, that's what I've been doing the whole time. I, I would never ironically say that Minen is a good Pokemon. That's crazy. Let's heal you up. I think maybe, maybe he can take on th this whole gym by himself. I won't even need anybody else. Where's the fucking potions? Okay, Exilevich. Oh shit, double battle. Fucking god damn it. Exilevich, you can do it again, buddy. I believe in you. Does does Charm work on both of their Pokemon? You think it would because it's an auditory attack, right? I think so they would both hear. Oh, they have six Pokemon each. Fuck you. Have I seen Swablu before? I don't remember, but I... I feel like I haven't seen Swablu before. Forgive me if I have before, but here's my lowly uh, rating. Uh, it's pretty good. It kind of looks like Ray from uh, that anime that everybody pretends to like, wearing some sort of weird cotton dress. I'd, that's a pretty good lowly. I'll give it a 7 out of 10. Exilovich, oh, you're going to get fucked. Let's go ahead and um, double team Swablu. No, no, let's use strength. It's way stronger. Oh, so Shiryuki is faster than Exilovich. That's pretty good. Finish him off! Yeah! If we just double team all of their Pokemon, it'll only take five more turns to finish off this double battle. What are you gonna do, Doduo? Try attack against two. Oh, okay, that's fine. Shiryuki can take it better than Exilovich would. Ah, oh, fuck. That did quite a bit. Mm. Let's take out Doduo. That seems dangerous. Maybe Shiryuki can finish him off. Nope, not quite. Swablu's not gonna do shit. Tropius. Hey, that's another thing I'll have to fight. More good practice. Okay, Exilovich, let's see how your spark does against Tropius. And I guess Shiryuki will finish off Swablu? Yeah. Yeah, there he goes. Exilovich, kill that Tropius with one hit, even though... It's going to be neutral effective instead of super effective. Another Swablu? What a shitty trainer. His partner has all the cool shit. Ah, oh, that didn't do anything. Oh, no. Is that hitting both of us? Ah, oh, fuck. Oh, okay. Uh, that didn't do shit. Tropius sucks cock. Tropius is really bad, evidently. Okay, you can take on Swablu, and we'll hit Tropius with strength. Since neither one of them have an attack that can hurt us. Yeah, get fucked. I don't know why I wanted a Tropius. It's actually really shitty. It just looks cool and has a cool typing, but otherwise it's fucking garbage. Let's knock out Doduo first. Oh, Powder Snow hits both of them. That's good news. Okay. Let's see how much this does against Doduo. All of it. Perfect. Good job, Exilovich. Now let's see how much Turks' shitty Powder Snow does. Oh yeah, send it. Good. Send it out now. Ah, Pelipper, fuck you. You'll get sparked and be dead. This better do a lot, Turks. I got a lot riding on you to take on a fucking dragon. It doesn't do shit. It does nothing. I'm so fucked. I might as well switch out Turks for Smegma right now. Oh, I'm so fucked. Uh, I guess Powder Snow again. Oh, okay. Finish him off. Pelipper can't take a spark. Yeah, no way. You're done. Wow. I am I have renewed confidence. Maybe we do have what it takes. If Exilevich can actually take on, like, the first half of the gym all by himself, then all the other stragglers on the team can uh, team up against Altaria, and maybe we'll be okay. Hmm. Although the second thing she sends out will be Tropius, and Exilevich probably doesn't want to take on Tropius. Uh, well, I speak of the devil, and he shall appear. Ah, fuck. 
That's not gonna be very effective because I'm ice, right? Oh, why? Why? I thought ice resisted grass. Now I'm too scared to even use powder snow now because he's gonna use fucking bullshit again. <sighs> Turks, why? Why have you forsaken me? My guess goes Shirayuki. I guess. Yeah, he was gonna kill me. Oh man. My is suddenly doing well. Oh my god, what is this Tropius? All the other Tropius. Oh, what the fuck? God damn it! This fucking Tropius bitch! Fuck you! Oh! Fuck! Oh, I'm sorry, Shirayuki. Fuck! As if I d didn't know what to use in the first place, now I have even less options. Oh, we were so close to the battle, too. God fucking... Uh, I guess use a bird attack, since you're fucking grass. God damn it. Oh, that sucks, cock. And we're getting hailed on, that's fine. Whatever. Oh man, maybe I should use Sheeter Axe against Tropius. Uh, I use Fly. Fuck you. God damn it. Finish him off, please. Please don't let this Tropius have infinite defense. Why is this one so much stronger than the other ones? Oh my god. Wow, this is insane. Uh, <laughs> okay, wing attack him. Finish him off. Okay, well, I, I had renewed confidence, and now it has been squashed by just a fucking Tropius that's too strong. Too strong of a dong. Charge. Charge. Charges power to boost the electric move next used or whatever. Why would I want to do that? Why wouldn't I just use spark two times in a row? Why would I ever charge? That doesn't make sense to me. Unless it makes you three times stronger, but I doubt it. Yeah, stop learning charge. <sighs> well, I guess it's time to go have a funeral and replace Shirayuki. Hey, weather ball. Hopefully that'll be better than powder snow. Oh, uh, well, barely, but yeah, it is. <laughs> so I... Whatever... Weather ball works with hail, sunny day, and rain dance. But after this gym, I'm never using Turks again. Which means we might as well get rid of rain dance, because I want to keep... Powder snow, just in case, you know, I'm, a, I'm in a situation where I don't have time to hail. So fuck Rain Dance. We only need this to last for one battle. And now I have no choice. I can't replace Turks because now I'm I'm down a Pokemon. I guess I will end up using Smug Smegma after all. Maybe I should call it Smugma. That's more akin to Digi. Oh, God, how many more do I have to fight? God damn it. Oh, that was that was the last one. Great. Okay, let's get out of here and I guess go train up a new team. How do we fucking get through this? <sighs> Flannery, you bitch. I'll be right back with, I guess, a different team. All level 31. I'm not looking forward to this one. to come to the oh he's holding an ultra ball um um <laughs> real quick before your funeral buddy we're gonna <laughs> gonna steal some shit from your body great he had the pickup effect and i wasn't even using it ah uh, shara yuki tragic tragic so much potential i guess i could still use you because i have a zigzagoon that i can just train up but 
I don't know, that's a lot of training. Okay, well, I didn't think I'd have a funeral before the gym battle. Uh, sure, yuki has been fun. I guess I had you for two or three episodes. Go ahead and change your avatar on YouTube to a grave, because <laughs> you're dead. <laughs> Goodbye, buddy. Goodbye. And now I, I guess I use smegma, because I have nothing else. Uh, uh, no. McAfee Nix could probably learn an ice attack, but I don't have any ice TMs. Somebody said that there's like a pirate ship on a route that I can go get an ice TM, but I'm pretty sure you have to know dive to get through all of it. Um, I don't want to train up from level 15. I'll just, I'll just say fuck it and get McAfee Nix. And teach him like surf or something strong. Okay, this will be the team. I'm gonna train them all up to 31, then we'll do a strategy talk, and then we'll actually fight it. Here we go. Oh shit, Marrow's evolving! I wasn't ready. I didn't expect it, but here we go! I just went up one level, so I guess it should have evolved a long time ago. So now we have Azu Marrow! Hey, look at that! As far as I'm concerned, that's a new Loli. I don't remember seeing that before. Doesn't look all that different from the old Marrow. Hey, that's pretty good! Now, I think that just upped our chances of winning, because now it's going to have a lot more HP, it's going to be stronger. Yeah, that's a, that's a fair Loli. I mean, I, I don't love it, I don't hate it. It also kind of looks like Ray. I, I think anything with blue hair and a girl body, I'm going to say it looks like Ray. Um, yeah, it, it's like another 7 out of 10, it's fine. Even though it has some thick fat. <laughs> Which, who likes a girl with thick fat, am I right, boys? <laughs> yeah, got him. Fuck you, fatties! How dare you try to belong? <laughs> okay, it feels like it's taken years to get to this point, but we finally have a team that is ready to go fight the sixth gym. Here's the big strategy talk. The first thing she sends out is Swablu. Exilevich is going to take care of that, no problem. Next, she's going to send out Tropius. Sheetorax will use Wing Attack and Fly to take that out. Then... Then I don't know if she'll send out Pelipper next or not, but she also has Pelipper, Skarmory, and Altaria. So for Pelipper, it'd be best to go back to either Xylovich or to use Kaolander. Maybe, maybe go, eh, I guess either way it doesn't matter. So Xylovich and Kaolander will take on Skarmory and Pelipper, and then Altaria, that's the big bad boss. That's who I suspect we'll need everybody for. Once she sends out Altaria, we'll try to use Turks. We'll use hail and then get killed by one earthquake. Uh, and so after that, let's see. Altaria only has, as far as I can tell, physical attacks. Is ground physical in Gen 3? I don't know. I, and I, I think dragon might be too. I don't know. But I know for a fact that flying is. And why I'm asking is because if all of Altaria's attacks are physical... Maybe Xylovich can use a few charms on it to lower its attack down to nothing, and then it won't even be an issue at all. We can just kill it with everything. So I, I think I think that's a, a workable strategy for now. So let's get going. Let's go finally, after all this time, fight this fucking gym. Hello, Winona. If that is your real name, you don't know who I am, but I know all about you. Yes, it, it is true that I am just a mere challenger in your gym. But what you're not aware of is the fact that I am not here alone. I am accompanied... ...by a god. I hope you're fucking ready, you bitch, because you might not know me now, but you're not going to forget me later. Here we go. Exilevich versus Winona. Uh, <laughs> I was going to say round one, but it's the only round there's going to be. Either we win or lose. Here we go. Monkey versus Winona for his sixth trial to glory. Swablu, Exilevich, you've got this. This is what you were built for. You were born for you were born and destined to fight Swablu on this day and to finish it off with a spark attack. Here we go. Exilevich, fuck it up. You're faster, you're stronger, you're better. Good enough. Two thirds of the way down. Uh yeah, fuck you. Why would you do that? Exilevich doesn't give a shit. What, you trying to paralyze my ass? I don't give a fuck. Exactly, but you did it. You lived up to what you were born to do. You killed Swablu, but we're not quite done with it yet. Because as it turns out, you're the god of Pokemon Emerald, and I think you're going to do a lot more. What? She went straight to Altaria? 
Oh, fuck! That was not in the game plan! Hmm. Well, that makes it easier for me now. I don't have to waste my time switching. Since I already have my strongest Pokemon, I might as well take it on. No, oh, Altaria lowly has a lot of shit going on. It's got, like, a cloud skirt and, like, weird fishtail and... Um, but it, it, it's pretty cute. I'd say this is a solid 8.5 out of 10 as far as lolis go. Well, shit. I mean, if you're gonna send out Altaria, I'm gonna fucking paralyze it. Nice try, you stupid bitch. Your best Pokemon is now just completely fucked. Earthquake. Oh, well, I... I, mm, I should've saw that coming. Oh, oh, no! <laughs> no! <laughs> <laughs> no! <laughs> I was so gung-ho about paralyzing it, I didn't even consider that it would attack me! <laughs> no! God damn it! I didn't even think! I didn't even think! I was so confident! <laughs> uh, well, I guess uh, paralyzing and charm both would have been pretty good. I, I uh. Okay, Turks, it's up to you, buddy. My best Pokemon. Once we take care of Altaria, I think we win the game. But we gotta hope that things are still alive to fight the other guys. Um, we're faster now that he's paralyzed, so go for the hail. Go for the fucking hail. If we can survive one attack, maybe Weather Ball... We'll have what it takes, but I I don't know if we'll survive. Ah, uh, no, Dragon Breath won't do very much. Yeah, we're fine. I was hoping that she wouldn't use Earthquake, and she didn't. And we're faster, so let's Weather Ball this bitch. Times for effectiveness, if I recall correctly. Do it. Knock her out. Knock her out. What do you got? <laughs> Fuck you! Turks did it! Turks fucking did it! It was a crit, but I'm sure that doesn't matter, baby. Hell yeah! Hell yeah! Oh, what's that? What's that? I'm, I'm still ice? And you still have all flying Pokemon? Oh, that really fucking sucks for you, you bitch! Oh, oh you got buffeted by hail? That sucks. Hey, guess who has Weather Ball attack? Go! Turks, fuck him up. Prove your worth on the team, Turks. Eh, yeah, well. You can't win them all. <laughs> wow, this has been a battle of highs and lows so far. <laughs> Keep going, buddy. You know what? We should use Sunny Day and then Weather Ball Fire Attack. That'd be pretty good for a Skarmory. I guess once Hail ends, which probably in a couple turns. Although, if Skarmory's dead, I might as well use Hail again. Turks, buddy, you are the definition of expendable, baby. You're staying in until either you're dead or the other team is dead. I don't give a fuck. Bring it on. What do you got? Well, yeah, there you go. It's been fun, Turks. You fucking did it. You killed almost two Pokemon. You killed Altaria, which is all I wanted you for. And now, I mean, I <laughs> I still have the two that are the best. So I think I'm doing pretty good. Um, who's going to be the fastest to just take this thing out? Probably none of them. I want to use Sheetorax to take on Tropius. But maybe she'll send that out next. So let's go for Sheetorax. Skarmory's probably faster than Sheetorax. But, oh, the hail stopped, just in time. And let's go for... Uh, oh, she's gonna use a potion, I bet. So let's go for Surf. Okay, yeah, she used her Hyper Potion. Thank God we took out Altaria before she could use a potion on it. That would have been annoying as fuck. Okay, Surf that bitch. Yeah, it does about half. That's good. And we're faster, too. That's good to know. And we can use a potion whenever we want. Yeah, you're done. You're done, son. Send out Tropius. No, she will probably be too scared to send out Tropius. Do it anyway. You know, yeah, she is, because she thinks she's super effective. She's not, but guess who, it, guess who is? Me. Fly. That Tropius isn't even as strong as the one that killed Shirayuki. Oh, Sunny Day? Why is it using Sunny Day? To weaken my water attacks? What? Who cares? Oh, it has Solar Beam, that's why. Well, <laughs> nice try, buddy. Guess who knows how to fly? Wait, so does that mean it's faster than me? Mmm, evidently, when it's sunny day, Tropius gets faster because it used two attacks in a row while I was up in the air. Um, protect? Yeah, 
Yeah, let's see your solar beam hit me when I'm protecting, bitch. Yeah, nice try. Well, that was useless, but I just wanted to do it anyway. Okay, if we know that you're going to use solar beam, do I want to leave in Sheeter Axe? Or would it be smarter to switch into Kalander? The Kalander wouldn't be super effective like Sheeter Axe would be. I just have to hope that a neutral effective solar beam isn't... With sunny day out, too. Uh, is it going to kill... Sheeter Axe? Now, Sunny Day only boosts fire attack, so Solar Beam shouldn't be any stronger. It just goes in one turn. So let's go for Wing Attack. Oh, you switched it up. You thought I was gonna protect again? I don't know. Uh, are you gonna use another potion? Maybe. Go. Yeah, okay, so now we get to use two potions. I'm just hoping that she doesn't get me low enough that a Solar Beam knocks me out. Maybe I should use Fly to waste the Sunny Day... Oh, yeah, Sunlight Faded. Good. So she's going to waste a turn doing that, so I'll just Wing Attack again. Yeah. Is she going to... Synthesis? Oh, fuck you. Tropy... Oh. God damn it, I hate Tropius. It's so shitty when you use it, but when anybody else does, it's like a god. Well, if I'm doing half damage with Wing Attack, and you're doing half... Revival with Synthesis. I think we're stuck in a little Mexican standoff. I guess Fly is out of the question, because Fly just gives you the opportunity to get your health all the way back up. Oh, god damn it! now, even a oh, fucking... This is not going the way I wanted it to go. I hate Tropius so much. It might be my new least favorite Pokemon ever. Even if the Loli is cute as shit. Fuck you. I can't do much against this thing, because it keeps healing. <sighs> What's it called? A War of Attrition? I'm just making that up, but it sounds like it's smart. God damn it, it's healing up more than I'm doing damage. I have no choice but to keep doing this and hope that it wastes its turn on Sunny Day or something. God damn it, stop! How much PP do you have, you lowly bitch? Come on. Come on. Ugh, I'm getting my health a little low. But I don't have to worry until she uses Sunny Day, in which case I'll I'll use one of my potions. Oh, I forgot to buy more. I guess I have Hyper Potions. Should have bought more. Mm, I need, like, a Lucky Crit. Oh, uh, what? She's charging up Solar Beam? Why? I'm faster. Right? I could use Protect just to be safe. But I'm pretty sure I'm faster and can take this thing out right now. Yeah, why would you... What a shitty time to use Solar Beam, you idiot! <laughs> Fucking moron! Okay, what do you have left? Two more things? No, one more thing! Pelipper? Oh, boy! <laughs> sure would be a shame if I... I don't know, had a Kale Lander on my team to take out Pelipper with one Thunderbolt. It's been fun. It sure has been fun, Winona Ryder, with your bullshit Tropius and your, your god-killing powers. My poor Pokémon man's got killed by your bullshit. Yeah, go ahead and use Protect again. See what happens. I dare you. Oh. Oh, you didn't want to? That's too bad. Oh, what's that? You're dead? Oh, that'd be pretty sad. Oh, I'm sorry. Was I times four effective Thunderbolt? Hey, guess what? Winona Ryder? You thought this wa was gonna be the last episode? You're wrong. It's not. Monkey wins again. Monkey wins the Feather Badge, even though... Some of his dearest friends had to die. <laughs> oh no. Just end this shit so I can go have the saddest funeral of all time. I have a feeling somebody in the comment section is going to be devastated by this turn of events. I don't know who, but I have a feeling somebody will be. No, I don't want to register this bitch. The only thing I want to register her on is uh, some sort of holocaust list or something, like the Jews. Well... Well, what is there to say? You know, it, I, I got super lucky that I just so happened to find the strongest Pokemon in the game on a random route, and I was miraculously able to catch it. And it it, it led the team, it led the charge, it, it did what it needed to do, but unfortunately, dear Xylovich the Minin, you just, <laughs> you, you got fucked by an unlucky earthquake attack. Nobody could have seen it coming. Surely nobody will blame me for this devastating downfall. Because, I mean, how could I have predicted <laughs> that the one move that I was worried about for the last 
five episodes, who could have predicted that she would have such an attack in her arsenal? <laughs> Certainly not me. Exilovich, you... you have been... Um, in, invaluable, and I know that sounds like I'm saying something bad, but invaluable is evidently a good thing, because it means you're like... You're, you're so valuable that you can't put a price on it. You know, what's up with the word invaluable? It always sounds like it'd be a negative, I don't know. Exilovich, this long-winded rant is my way of saying goodbye. I love you. Somehow I grew to love a mine, and you know, it shocks me as well. Um, but we should all agree that your death was not my fault. Goodbye, my friend. But that's not all. Turks, come on down. You're the next, next contestant on The Funeral is Dead. Uh, Turks, fuck you. I don't give a shit. Okay, let's let's get the team back. I'll, I'll do it next episode because this one's long and I, I'm, I don't care. Alright, famalam, we did it. We survived the sixth gym. Nobody thought we could do it but me. And now it's already time to plan for the next gym, because we need to change out our party. Uh, clearly, we can't use any of these in the next gym, but that's okay. Let's take a look at what the gym is. So it's the double battle psychic gym, and a lot of people keep saying, Oh, Monkey, just take in a whole team of dark Pokemon, and then you'll be fine. I'm like, okay. I mean, except for Earthquake... And, well, I guess, I guess this can't hurt me. Uh, this can't hurt me either. Uh, so yeah, it looks like if I bring in Dark Pokemon, the only attacks they can use on me are gonna be, like, Earthquake and f fucking non-stab Solar Beam and Flamethrower. Okay, I don't give a shit. So let's see what kind of Dark Pokemon we have in our, our Reservoir? Repertoire? I don't fucking remember what word to use. I think we'll keep Shitterax for now, just because he's a he's a cool boy. Oh, also, looks like we're training up to level 40, so we've got like 10 levels to go for most things. So that'll be fun. Let's see, um... Yeah, McAfee, Nyx, you can go. Uh, maybe we'll keep both of these, I don't know. Okay, we probably want Jokey for sure, so let's get Jokey back. Maybe we'll use him, maybe not. Uh, I mean... He can certainly double kick those rocks, but they're psychic, so I don't know if I want to use him. I so said we need dark Pokemon, so Quinlan maybe? We want to use Neoki XS for sure, because Shiftry would be great. That'd be a great Pokemon in general. So that gives us two more. Uh, I don't think I can survive without Hail Zeon. And I, I really love Autistic. I know I want to use dark Pokemon. But maybe, maybe for the time being, we'll we'll bring Autistic, and then right before the gym, we'll train up Quinlan. Probably okay, because I want to use stuff that I like while I'm traveling around. So here we go. Let's take a look at the new party. We've got Kalander. Uh, do I really want to use another Magneton? Maybe I should switch him out for Quinlan. But he's really strong. I do want strong stuff while I'm traveling around. And, I mean, training, it is annoying, but I can just do it later. So let's, uh, we got Kaolander, Shiderax, Jokey, Neoki XS, Hail Zeon, and Autistic. The greatest Pokemon team you've ever seen. We're gonna switch Neoki XS to the front. I'll, I'll probably go train him up a bit, and we'll get him up to, like, level 30, I guess. So already, I, I just came back, and I'm already fucking grinding. So, uh, <laughs> I'll, I'll talk to you guys when I'm done grinding. Maybe he'll evolve. In the middle of grinding. I don't I don't think I need a leaf stone. Oh boy, I sure am tired of training my fucking Pokemon. So yeah, I know I said level 30, but I think I think uh, level PAR is probably good enough for Neoki XS. I think <laughs> PAR is a high enough level. So we're gonna go ahead and keep going. 
I think we've got a bunch of catches to do. I need to go hit up the mart, buy some more items, more potions. Um, I think I'm good on Pokeballs, but maybe if I can buy Ultra Balls, it wouldn't hurt to buy some of those with all of my poke dollars. And then a bunch of you fuckers are gonna get some names today, I think. I hope so. Where's the fucking mart? There it is. Oh yeah, Ultra Balls, perfect. Uh, in bag I have one. Let's, um... We got lots of money. Let's just buy a shit ton. I don't see why not. And we need some potions. Um, I, I guess hyper potions. I don't fucking care. Fuck it, we got the money. What else are we gonna buy? Route 120, we've already caught something here. Our, yeah, we caught Meryl here, so we have to wait till the next route. To catch something new. Oh, Natu, I think, is a new one. Okay, so yeah, I see what they did. It's just like, a, it was like a little circle bird thing, so they made it like the tiniest. That, that might be the smallest lowly we've seen so far. It's really tiny. It kind of reminds me of Ralts in a way. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't want to rate it because, because clearly this lowly is three years old, so I would feel weird sexualizing it. Like, maybe if it was seven years old, then maybe... <laughs> This is the this is the mental gymnastics that like Digi and Sai and all them go through. It's like, well, three three is clearly too young to be sexualized, but maybe if she was seven, then I would feel comfortable putting. Uh, I'm not gonna finish that sentence because you fuckers are gonna take it out of context. Uh, let's kill this lowly. I give it a I'll give it a three out of ten since it's fucking three years old. Yeah. Oh, three year old gets battered around by a giant autistic man. Well, I ran back to see if it was a different route down here so I could catch a new Pokemon, but it looks like this is still the same route. Uh, so we're kind of shit out of luck on new Pokemon for now. And I really don't want to battle all those people, so I think I'm going to skip them. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm just really not in the mood. Oh my god, there's Absol! There's Absol! I wanted to catch you! Oh, I love white hair. If we've learned anything in this series, it's that I love white hair. Oh, and she's got like a big old fluffy mane and... I, Absol is cool as shit, guys. You might think it's an edgelord because it has a stupid blade on its head, but I think it looks cool. It's This Absol lowly pulls off being cool and cute all at the same time. It's double trouble coming at you straight from the wild patch of grass. I give this lowly... Uh, this one can have... Uh, 8 out of 10. Sure, 8 out of 10. That's pretty fair. Let's see how it fights. Fake out. Yeah, my favorite attack. My favorite attack on Neoki XS. I really wish we had, like, a grass attack. They're all normal. Neoki, what's your problem? Man, I, I wish I could be catching this Absol right now. We need dark Pokemon for the next gym. So it would have been really nice, but of course, of course, this entirely different area is still the same route as the previous one. Of course it is. Way to go, Game Freak, cucking me again. Oh, Surskid, I think that's new. It looks like it's just a, a normal little girl that's wearing a Surskid hat. Uh, not a huge fan. I don't really care about Surskid in the first place. So, yeah, and it, it's way too small. Like, the, the, the last one when I said it was like, it looked like a three-year-old. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll give you a, a, a three out of ten. One for every year of your age. New route. New route as far as I can tell. What's this? 120, 121. Good. Finally, we can catch something new. Uh, well, let's avoid these fucking idiots. Okay. Okay, after the downfall of everybody's favorite Pokemon hero, Xylovich, we need a new best Pokemon for the team. Let's find it right here. Fingers crossed, something as good as mine, and let's get a Plusle. Oh. Whoa. I was not ex I forgot Shuppet's over here. Shuppet, if I recall, is complete shit, but I really like that design. I, if you can't tell, I, I like the emo. I like the edgies and the emos, and this is certainly like a creepy, weird, floating emo girl. Uh, yeah, I like it, but it, it's not like extravagant and great. I just like the concept of it more than the execution, so I'd give this like a 6.5 out of 10. Let's try to catch it. Well, not with you, because we only have normal attacks. So let's switch over to... Mmm, lots of normal attacks up in here. Kalander, you can do it. 
I bet if if Donald Trump was <laughs> if Donald oh no don't curse yourself that's sad if Donald Trump was a Pokemon trainer and he used this Pokemon and somebody would say oh hey Mr. Trump you gotta shep it he would say no shep it no shep it you're the shep it well that's because he'd rather have a puppet as president of no the United puppet. States no puppet and it's pretty clear you're the puppet it's pretty this is the the quality quality comedic content you can expect from the Monkeys Gaming Expedition channel. <laughs> no shuppet. You're the shuppet. I'm gonna fuck you guys. I'm gonna throw that clip and get fucked. I don't care. Well, that's because he'd rather have a puppet as president of no the United puppet. States. No puppet. And it's pretty clear. You're the puppet. It's pre okay, he's paralyzed and he's at half health. So let's chuck a, an ultra ball at him. It has to work. I guarantee it. Fingers crossed. Here we go. I think we gotta catch more ghost Pokemon soon as well. I think there's a, a ghost thing coming. Oh yeah, there we go. Motherfucking Shuppet. No Shuppet. You're the Shuppet. Let's find out who gets to be Shuppet. And then I'll tell you, you're the Shuppet. You're the pup. It's and the winner is Kalkiku? Kalkachu? Kalkaku? I don't know. But he says, I'm waiting for you, Monkey Jones. Catch me and we will rule Hoenn as Pokemon and trainer. Hey! Perfect, uh, Kalkakiu. You're the Shuppet. <laughs> no Shuppet, you're the Shuppet. I was looking for a new best Pokemon to replace Exilovich, and it seems that Kalkakiu is up to the task. So maybe, maybe this will be the first run in the history of a Pokemon Let's Play where a Shuppet not only gets used, but is actually good. But probably not. Welcome to the box. Oh, I forgot. Before I go to the next gym, I have to go through a, a shit ton of Team Magma and Team Aqua shit, don't I? This is the part of the game I usually get stuck at because there's like, they have Whalmers that are blocking the path and you have to figure out where to go and I, I don't remember if there's any like clear hints. You have to like go fight people on uh, Ghost Mountain and shit. So that's probably why the next gym is level 40 cap is because I got a shit ton of stuff to do before I get there. Uh, in which case, hey, it, this is still Route 121, right? So we probably can't catch anything in the water, but we can go down here to the Ghost Mountain and catch one or two things, I think. Hey, Route 122, what do you know? Let's catch a water Pokemon. Yeah, hopefully, I think this is Mount Pyre. Hopefully Mount Pyre isn't part of Route 122. Is there even a water Pokemon we don't have? Nope, we have Tentacool, can't catch that. Hmm, is there grass? Oh, well, never mind. <laughs> Unless it's another tentacle. Yeah, but of course it is. Level 29? Fuck. I wish I would have caught a level 29 tentacle. Uh, Route 123. Still no grass. Wait, yeah, have we... Have we caught something on Route 123 before? Because I feel like we're backtracking, but... I think this is where I went over... I, you go over and there's like a fence in the way, so you can't catch anything. I have a good feeling. I'm gonna catch whatever I find just in case. Yeah, well, no, not Mighty Anna, never mind. I'm almost positive I haven't caught anything on this route yet, but it looks like there might not be anything new as it is. Yeah, it looks like this is the route I was thinking of, which means if we find something new here, we're gonna catch it. Fingers crossed, folks. Let's hope that there's an Absol over here. Maybe there's a Pterodactyl, or nope. No, nah, maybe it's a Wingle. <laughs> Not quite as good as Pterodactyl. Uh, of course, of course. The, the one potentially new thing is something we just caught. <sighs> well, I can't fight you. Look, man, I guess I have to give up. I doubt that there's more than four things over here. Maybe I should look it up. Ah, god damn it. Looks like over here I can catch uh, Oddish, Gloom, 5% uh, chance of Gloom, so maybe I'll be s No, I've already had a Gloom, right? Or did Oddish die before it became a Gloom? I don't remember. Uh, Puccina, Mightyena, can't catch those. Wingle, Kecleon, and Shop it. Fucking great. Great. Although... It looks like I can surf over here. Yeah, yeah, if I, I... I can surf over here. There's water right next to me. What can I get if I surf? Uh, Tentacool, Wingle, Pelipper. 
If I have a good rod, I can catch a whalemer. That's, yeah, I have a good rod, don't I? If I have a good rod, then I'm guaranteed a whalemer right here. Let's take a look. Yeah, good rod. Okay, boys. Looks like we're going to be fishing a while because it's not a high catch rate. Oh, wait. What? What the fuck? These, the rocks are in the way. How am I supposed to, uh, how am I supposed to get to the water? Hello? Game? Why does it say I can get, I can surf on this route when there's no fucking water? Where's the water? I don't see no fucking water. I've been cucked again. Never ending cuck. That's my life story. I guess we'll try to catch a Wilmer on Route 122. Maybe. Let's go for it. Surely there's also stuff over here if you use the good rod. Other than Tentacool and... Nope. <laughs> Looks like not even a Nibble. I didn't even know Nibble was a Pokemon, but evidently it is and there isn't even one over here. Oh, here we go, here we go! Something new! Fingers crossed for a Wailmer. Nope. Nope, I've already caught Magikarp. Can't be you. Oh, what the fuck? That's bullshit. It, it didn't get away. I hit the button. Wh How the fuck are they? They keep getting away from me. I'm hitting it. Okay, if this one isn't Whalemer, then I give up because I've been here too long. Okay, well, well, I guess we're having great luck with catching today, folks. Everything I find, a great catch. Except for Shuppet. Shuppet's my new best friend. Otherwise, it's been a shitty day so far. Let's go catch something on Mount Pyre. Probably like a Ghastly. Hey, yeah. Ooh, here we go. Mount Pyre. What are we going to get? Shuppet? Yep. <laughs> of course. Why did I have to catch a Shuppet on the other route when it's all I can find on these later routes? Should have caught something else on that route, but I don't know. Maybe they only had Shuppets. Who knows? Oh, these people want to battle. I don't want to battle. I just want to catch something that's not a Shuppet. Oh, god damn it. We can still go outside of Mount Pyre, and um, surely there's something out there that's not a Shuppet. Oh, this is also considered Mount Pyre. Okay, so... Uh, I, I'm glad I came out here then. And didn't get cucked in there with something dumb. Maybe I'll get something cool out here. Uh, <laughs> I spoke too soon. Oh, hey! What's that? Vulpix? Okay. Uh, l wow, looks like... Uh, <laughs> I mean, it's, it's very foxy. If that's what they were going for, they did it. Uh, I, I don't particularly like this. I, I don't find it especially cute compared to the other ones. Uh, honest opinion, I'd probably give it a 5 out of 10. Maybe closer to 4.5. But we're catching it. It's going on the team. Unfortunately, I'm all out of fakeouts. Uh, nature power? What nature power will I have out here in the fog? Oh, Stunspore. Hey, that's good. That's fine. I'll take that. We're catching a Vulpix today, boys. Even though we already have a Jokey, which is arguably a better fire Pokemon, but that's okay. At least it's not Wingle or Shuppet. Let's go... Hail Zeon. Uh, side beam, because we won't have the stab bonus, so it won't do that much. Yeah, there we go. And you're confused. Good. Now, I want to use one more side beam. Let's see if you hurt yourself. Okay, good. Oh, you're going to burn me. That's good. Yeah, it's, it's always good to burn stuff. Cut their attack power in half. Let's see if I dare to use side beam again. Don't get a crit, and then we'll be able to catch it. Okay, even if you hurt yourself, we'll be in the good ballpark to hit. Okay, good. We're fine. We're fine. As long as the ball works, uh, we'll be fine. If it doesn't work, you just have to not hit yourself again. We'll go with an Ultra Ball. I don't see why not. Go catch the Volpix that we probably won't use, even though I've never used Ninetales before. That sounds kind of cool. Hey, we caught Volpix. Let's see who gets to be Volpix today. And the winner is Stan on Fire. Hey, appropriate name, Fire Pokemon, who says, 
Fucking Xyphone Pikachu. Well, may he rest in peace. May he rest in peace. Yeah, I think stand on fire will all fit. It looks like you want to do lowercase. Okay, welcome to the box. Stand on fire. Let's see if you ever get out. Now we can't catch anything on this round because we already caught Shup it on Route 121. So we just gotta make it our make our way to the next town somehow. Get through all this maze battling faggot bullshit. God damn it! God damn it! Look the other way. Ah damn it! Okay, we made it to Lily Cove, which means we have to figure out what the hell is going on with. Team Magma and Team Aqua? Uh, this part always confuses me. I'm probably gonna have to look up a guide. I don't know... Am I supposed to go to the... Go to the submarine first? Do I go to Mount Pyre first? I, I don't know even how to trigger the events. But I am almost certain that I do have a rival battle up here at the Mart. So let's go do that. Ooh, there he is. There, that son of a bitch is. He wants to fucking fight. He'll get a fight. Oh, I'm, I'm ready. I'm gonna pound him. In, I'm gonna paint the walls of this of this shopping center with the blood of his Pokemon and and his green blood because his Pokemon Emerald and everything is green. Yeah, it's been a while. Yeah, let's let's battle. Let's do it, Brandon. I'm not scared. I've got Neoki XS on my team. I I don't have. I don't have Exilovich to beat your ass with, but I do have... Oh, Tropius! God damn it! You... I bet you knew that I hate Tropius, and that's why you put it in your... your stupid party. I was about to say deck, but that's Yu-Gi-Oh, not Pokemon. Oh, okay. Okay, we, Neoki, you can take him on. Use strength. Use your non-stab strength. Uh, I didn't do shit. But you're not gonna do shit either, because that's not very effective. Right? Right... Strength him again. We have to get revenge on this Tropius for all of the terrible things that Tropiuses of the past have done to us. And I know that Tropius is the plural of Tropius and that Tropius is doesn't make sense, but I said it anyway because I think the other way sounds fucking stupid. Oh, that's gonna do a lot. Yeah, well, it didn't do a whole lot, but... Oh, Niyoki, I think you have what it takes to beat Tropius. I think he's gonna... He only has one turn left. Hopefully. Mm, yeah. Oh. We can do it. Come on, Ioki, hit him. Finish him off. This is, yeah, vengeance against all the Tropius of the world. I fucking hate them. Those dicks, they killed my shit. They killed my Shiera Yuki. Ooh, faint attack. About time we learn an actual dark move. Yeah, I'd say let's learn it. And it never misses. We'll get rid of... Um... S heightens a special attack. Hey, that's interesting. Because dark is special. So we'll get rid of nature power for now. Maybe we want to use growth later on. I don't know. All I know is I, I wish Neoki XS would evolve already. Who do you have now, buddy? Smegma? Fuck your smegma bullshit. We can beat that with... Sheetorax. Yeah, <laughs> if you ever get... If you have a problem with smegma, all you need is a little water to clean it up. <laughs> I know somebody who learned that the hard way. Insert picture of Digipro here. <laughs> surf him up. Or, yeah, surf's up. S smug... Sm smugma? Yeah, I got him. Who's next? If I recall, your whole team is weak to cheater axe. So I'm just gonna keep him out. Yeah, Ludicolo. Oh, what the hell? Oh, I... <laughs> I completely forgot that I have, I have uh, my own. I can I can evolve to Ludicolo at this point. He must. Oh yeah, I guess he evolves at level thirty. Maybe I should bring Mr. Florida back out for a spin. I, I forgot that I had him. That's kind of embarrassing. Uh, is Ludicolo good? Maybe. And the Loli is great. That's a that's a fun loving Loli right there. I'd give that a solid eight point five out of ten. 
That alone makes me want to go get Mr. Florida out of the PC. Maybe I'll look at the stats and see if he's any better than the stuff I have on my team. Let's wing attack and hopefully finish it off. Alright, what do you have now? Marsh Tomp? It's, it's surely not Swampert yet. Although maybe, but I doubt it. Yeah, Marsh Tomp. Yeah, still a gross, gross lowly. Let's use a fly. See how much a fly does. Ah, uh, well, I guess it does a fair enough amount, considering that <laughs> she's using attacks. Or I guess he, since both the trainer and the Pokemon are guys, he's using attacks that also hurt himself. But we don't need to use Shinarax for this. We can switch to... Autistic! Autistic, you better evolve soon, buddy. I, I don't think you evolve until 40. Now, fingers crossed that you'll hold on for eight more levels. We've somehow... Oh, my God! Wow, right when I'm about to fucking talk about how we gotta miraculously keep our little autistic child alive until adulthood, and then that shit happens. Okay, well, <laughs> at least you didn't die. Hail Zeon? Maybe we should trade Autistic for Mr. Florida. Maybe Ludicolo's better than an Autistic child who gets full. Oh, god damn this thing. That's not even with stab bonus either. Okay, let's go for strength. Yeah, let's finish him off. This has to finish him. Oh, god damn it. No! No, 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 no. Okay. Lowered my speed, so I'm gonna switch again. Lots of close calls today. Too many close calls. I guess I go back to Sheeterax? Go ahead and use Takedown to kill yourself. I don't care. I hope you do. I hope you use Takedown. Yeah, you fucking moron. Yeah. Oh, that didn't... Really? That was the recoil? Literally nothing? Kill him with Surf. Hopefully it actually does damage. Yeah, fuck you. Fuck your whole team. But thanks for, for reminding me that I have Mr. Florida waiting in the wings. Because I completely forgot. It's been a while. When was the last time Mr. Florida was useful? Like, the first gym and that's it? And ever since he's been just a burden? <laughs> but maybe Ludicolo won't be. Oh yeah, Fly. I forgot that we could do that. Is there anything worth buying here? I don't think so. Maybe there's like a TM I could buy. Okay, so we have... We have Light Screen and Reflect here, mm, but I don't know who would use that. Like, I don't, I don't really have anybody who like has that kind of strategy going. Uh, okay, so we have like what Fire Blast, probably Thunderbolt. I wish I could buy a Thunderbolt and give it to Exilovich. What a pity. We got some uh, Blizzard probably, and I think this is Hyper Beam. So a bunch of stuff I don't care about. Although, I'll buy Hyper Beam just because once Autistic evolves into Exploud, that's a pretty fucking powerful Hyper Beam right there. Pretty fucking strong. <laughs> it just, the, the shitty part is having to charge up after you use it. Move Deleter's House. Mmm, yeah. I think I'll need you later. Because... Mm, Jokey does not still need to know Rock Smash. Maybe I can give that to somebody else. Because he's gonna... Well, no, because Jokey has nothing but shit moves, right? Like a... Mm, no, actually, I should get rid of Rock Smash. Let's get rid of Rock Smash and let somebody else learn that. Okay, so now when he learns Blaze Kick, it'll just jump right in. And the, I mean, I don't want Ember, but... I, <laughs> I, I don't want Rock Smash even more. Let's figure out what these Aqua Faggots are doing. Oh, and we can probably catch a Pokemon with the Good Rod, too. What the hell? What is this? Sleep Talk? Lily Cove City! Which means we're technically in the city, so we can catch a Pokemon here, and then also once we get into the route of water. Although I doubt there'll be two different water Pokemon for us to catch. Or even one! I doubt they'll even be one! Just give me a Whalmer that I'm not gonna use, please. I want something new. Such bad luck with finding new Pokémon lately. Oh, fuck you! 
Level 27 magic card. Oh, I don't give a shit. Hey, move these Whalmers out of the way. Move them. And I can't go up here yet. This is... I, wait. Yeah, I can go in there, but there's going to be guys blocking the way. Maybe they give me a hint of where I'm supposed to go. Aqua Hideout. I doubt that there's any Pokemon in here. No, probably not. Okay, where am I supposed to go? What do you want with Team Aqua? Our boss isn't here. Blah, blah, blah. Where did he go? Ugh, God, fuck you. Oh, okay, good. Mount Pyre, good. So, the only way to trigger that is by talking to these guys. So, I'm doing everything I need to do. I need to return to Mount Pyre. I hope that's how you pronounce it. And fight a bunch of grunts and then something with like an orb? Like a blue orb or something? I don't remember. But let's go do it. Oh, looks like Shift, re Shift re evolves from Nuzleaf from a Leaf Stone. Which now begs the question, where do I get a Leaf Stone? That should be my next priority. I don't want to be using gay-ass Nuzleaf all day. No, fuck off. Where's the Leaf Stone? Fucking website. Shut up. Shut up. Route 119 has a Leaf Stone? That should be around here. But where on Route 119? At the southernmost tip of the Middle River. Okay, so we know where to get the Leaf Stone. Now we have to figure out what's the best level to evolve Nuzleaf. Uh, looks like I already learned the only dark attack he's gonna learn, so let's... He's, 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 it's probably the best time right now, to be honest. Let's see, what the fuck does Shiftry learn? Anything? Ah, uh, he doesn't fucking learn a thing! Shiftry fucking sucks! Even... It's a dark Pokemon that learns no dark attacks? Except for faint attack? What am I supposed to do with that? Oh... Uh, Whatever, fuck it. I guess Fain Attack will have to do. I'll go get the Leaf Stone and we'll evolve him right now. I don't get it. Oh, is that the Safari Zone? I forgot that was there. I guess I'll go and catch something there too. After I get this Shiftry. And that must be it right there. There we go, okay. We can now evolve into a shitty fucking Shiftry. Can some... Is there something I don't know about this shift tree that makes it so good? Like, do I have a dark TM I can teach it that'll be, like, so great? Do I- where did my thief go? I'm- oh, I wasted thief on Quinlan a long time ago, I think. Yeah, there's like- there's not even a dark TM. I don't- th oh, fuck. Stupid! It's dumb and gay! Dumb and gay! There's- there's useless poking man! Here we go. Yeah, let's evolve him. Let's get our shift tree. I guess we get to see what the shift tree lowly looks like. Dun 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 dun. Looks promising. I'm expecting something wild. Uh. Okay. You know what? So it's got the long, flowing white hair, which I love. It looks like. It's, it, it, this is, it might, might be a stretch, but you know when the Dark Knight Rises, when Bane has like that chest, the kind of backpack straps thing on? It looks like she's wearing the same thing that Bane was wearing. Uh, she's holding little leave things in her hand and standing on like those Japanese sandals with baggy pants. Uh, I, I like this one. It looks like a, a high elf, it, like from uh, some of that Lord of the Rings shit. But it's got a lot of cool shit going on. I'd give it a solid 8.5 out of 10. There you go. Have we had any 10 out of 10s? I don't think so. I don't think anything's been higher than 8.5. But, I mean, as far as it goes, this is up there with the best ones that I've seen so far. I just wish it knew attacks. I'm sure the stats are way better now, but it doesn't know any fucking attacks. Grass and dark, and it learns no grass moves. And it certainly doesn't have any good dark moves. This is total bullshit. I'll look through my TMs and see what it can learn, because it's not going to learn anything on its own. What am I supposed to go learn? teach it Bullet Seed? What a great fucking move. Steel Wing. Don't care. I don't even have any Grass TMs either. 
Oh good, you can learn Rock Smash. I needed a new Rock Smasher. Got this great Shiftery. Great, cute, beautiful Loli. Probably great stats. I'm gonna teach it Rock Smash. Uh, I don't want to lose Fake Out, though. In Growth, is it really... Am I ever gonna be in a position where I can use three Growths so then I can Faint Attack shit to death? Maybe. Maybe in the Double Battle. Uh, if they focus on the other thing, I can start growthing. And I don't need Rock Smash right this second, so I'll hold off. I'll hold off for now and, and leave my options open. And I forgot I had Fly. Why did I run all the way here? I could have flown half the way. Let's fly back. And now we can go to the... To the uh, Safari Zone before we go fight all the guys on Mount Pyre. Will there be anything new in the Safari Zone? I doubt it. <laughs> Find out this time on Monkey's Gaming Expedition. 500 bucks? Why the Pokeblock case? Oh, wha Fuck you! I hate it. I hate all this stupid bullshit. I'm just gonna go fight at Mount Pyre. I don't give a shit. Fuck the Safari Zone. Fuck this whole game. Fuck that lowly! If you're Psy, go f if you <laughs> if your name is Psy or Digi, bro, go fuck that lowly. <laughs> they better be up here. I better not be wasting my time looking for Team Aqua. They're not up here, really? Oh, thank God! Thank fucking God! Okay, looks like I only have to fight two or three grunts, and then maybe fight the boss. I don't know. Let's do it! I want to get through all this. This storyline bullshit, so I can go have my double battle with the psychic rocks. Hey, Carvania. Which is Carvania the one that's part dark? Maybe I need to catch one of those too. I will say, Nioki XS looks pretty elegant and cool in the like right now in the battle. I am just really disappointed that Shiftry doesn't learn any attacks. Oh god, there's a double battle coming up. Maybe I'll do research and see if I can find a TM of a dark move that is good. But I think Thief might be my best bet, and I already wasted that one. Alright, I beat all your boring grunts. Uh, are you Archie or Maxi? Okay, you're Archie. Do I gotta fight Archie? I don't think so. I think I just watched this cutscene about... Yeah, he's pulling out. Great. I wish my parents would have pulled out nine months before I was born. That I wouldn't be going through this stupid storyline bullshit. Yeah. Yeah, give me that orb. Or emblem. Shut up. So where do I go now? I, was I supposed to pay attention? Okay. Uh, where do I go? No, fuck you, old man. I think I'm supposed to go to where the submarine is, so I'm just gonna go there. Fly to, um, this one. Please be in here. No. No. <sighs> okay, maybe now I'm supposed to go back to where the cave was. Over by the Whalmer. And then after I go through that, then I'm supposed to come here. I hope. I have no idea. I have no idea. Maybe I'm not supposed to come here until way later. All the, all the Team Aqua Magma stuff in this game is just like a mess in my head. And I... I've done it like over 50 times in my life, and I always forget what to do. So hopefully I'm supposed to go in here. Oh, why? I said, what? Yeah, where might the hideout be? At Ma Wait, Mount Chip. 
Oh, okay. So that's why it's confusing, because there's a secret hideout at Mount Chimney that you can, like, only access if you walk in a certain spot, I think? So I guess we'll go do that, but first I want to... I want to train up Hale, Zeon, and Autistic a little bit, because they're getting low, so I'm going to do that for a while. Alright, so I just wasted a shit ton of time training up Hale, Zeon, and Autistic, and now I'm having a change of heart because... Because... If the next gym truly is Psychic, which I believe it is, wouldn't it be smarter to not only use Dark Pokemon, but also to use Ghost Pokemon? Like... Shop it! No shop it. No shop it. You're the shop it. As president of no the United puppet. States. No puppet. And it's pretty clear. You're the puppet. It's That's goddamn right. You're the fucking shop it. So let's get shop it on the team. I don't see why not. He probably evolves by level 40. I would have to assume. So yeah, let's, uh, let's move him. But who do we replace? That's the question. It's either going to be Hale Zeon or Autistic. And I think because Autistic will be evolving soon, and we do want to see what that Loli looks like, uh, I think Hale Zeon's gonna have to, to take the bench for now, but that's okay. That's fine. Yeah, we'll drop you off here, and I guess go train him. But also, I should go get that thingy, so I can, I can go into the Safari Zone. Uh, uh... Oh, God. Oh, God. Lady at the reception counter, huh? This bitch? Yeah, I need a Poke Block case. Yeah, here we go. Now, do I have to make Poke Blocks in order to go to the Safari Zone, or do I just need the case? I'm assuming that the blocks will make it easier to catch them. But I really don't want to. Ah, uh, fuck it. Well, fine. We'll see what happens. Yeah. I don't- I don't have any idea- I haven't done this in over 10 years, no joke, because I just never do this shit. Starting up the berry blender? Okay, which one do I not care about? <laughs> Fucking weed berry. Um... Fuck it, take my- take a block berry, you bitch. There you go, let's see what this makes. Now I, am I supposed to hit a button? Is this a game? Hey, is this gonna be a good berry with all that different weird looking shit? I'm guessing it's like a tar hill where I gotta hit it. Yeah, right when it goes over my thing. Uh, everybody else sucks but me. Yeah, well, okay, I guess I'm not that great. Yeah, uh, fuck you. Uh, uh, gotta make a good fucking Pokeblock thing so I can catch, I guess, some... Ah, fuck! Oh god, it goes crazy! It goes fucking nuts! Oh, fuck! Uh, did I win? Do I win? My fourth place! Fuck! How did they all get so many perfects? That's bullshit. Lassie didn't miss a single one? I don't believe that. What, did she just not go sometimes? Or did I hit the button too many times? I don't know, do I get a thing? The level 11 in the field is 19? Out of what? That means nothing to me. I don't give a shit, fuck you. Okay, well, I, <laughs> I don't know what happened, but I'm gonna go... Catch something now, I guess. Ooh, do we have any attacks? I I think I can get Shadow Ball at the top of the Ghost Tower. So I guess that is also going on our to-do list. We have a lot of shit to do in these next couple episodes. Uh, let's see how much night. Sh I guess I mean I don't have to see how much it does. I know it's going to do 26. All right, you motherfuckers, you better let me in this time. I got the stupid block. Yeah, five, five hundred fucking dollars, whatever, I don't give a shit. First thing we find, we're catching, doesn't matter what it is. Uh, knowing my luck and Safari Zone rules, I'm probably not gonna catch it. I'll probably hit it with a rock and it'll get all mad, or it won't want to eat my shit that I gave it. Am I supposed to put the Poke Block in there? I don't know. All I know is that better Pokemon are probably deeper into the Safari Zone, so I need to find a new area. Fuck this area, it's probably full of gay shit. Well, okay. <laughs> Okay, fuck you guys. Is there a different area? Uh, okay, this is also Safari Zone. Looks like a swampy kind of area. I don't really... Do I need a water Pokemon? Uh, what, do I have a bike? No, I, I never got a bike, did I? Okay, fuck it. We'll just get something over here. Hopefully it's something new and rare and cool and good and fun on a bun and great 
And, uh, do, do, duo. Okay. Well, shit! Fuck it! I was clicking too fast. Okay, let's catch it. Let's catch it. Get lucky. Oh, okay, it's gonna run away. Okay. Wait. Go near? Instead of bait and rock, it's go near and pokey block? What the fuck? Okay, I, I guess eat my one indigo block. Go for it. I hope you like it. I hope you don't run away like a bitch. Completely ignored. And now it's watching carefully. Fuck it, I'm, I'm throwing balls all day. I don't give a shit. I'm throwing balls. Uh, going closer, I don't see how that's gonna help a damn thing. Yeah, there we go. Doduo was caught. Wasn't my first choice, but maybe it's not that bad. I think in a pinch, a, a do trio could have some pretty good attack stat, and probably some good speed too. Let's find a nickname. And the winner is Ketsen, who says, Maiden finally dead. Yeah, thanks for the, the cold, hard reminder of the brutality of life, and how those who you love are going to leave you painfully in a deadly way. All right, Ketson, welcome to the box. We'll see if your talents are needed later on. But mostly, this is a big waste of time. All right, now I suppose just to power up our good friend Kalkaku. Kalkachu? I don't know. We can battle all the trainers in the ghost tower, get some good training there, get Shadow Ball, give it to him, and then we'll go find where Team Magma is? I already forgot where they're supposed to be. Shepard, okay. Aw, oh, shit. I thought it was just single. I didn't want a double battle. I guess that's fine. It's double double experience for Kalkachu. But hopefully they don't have a bunch of scary shit. Okay, only two. That's fine. Rhyhorn and Spoink. Oh, shit. The Rhyhorn's new. And Rhyhorn is fucking top tier immediately. Spoink might be new, too. So this is like, a, this is like the first double review we've ever had, I think. But goddamn, Rhyhorn stole the show. I love that design. It, she looks like some, like a magician master with the, with a great horn hair thing going on. It, it's it's phenomenal. It's fun. It's great. Um, I'm gonna give it the monkey patented 8.5 out of 10. Maybe closer to a nine. Maybe uh, do I like it that much to make it the best yet? I don't know. I just think it's really cool. Maybe I'm just drunk because I have been drinking. Spoink. Yeah, I get it. I, I, I like the emo aesthetic of the, the dark clothes and shit, but, uh, you know, it's fine. It's whatever. I'd give Spoink a 6 out of 10. Um, Kalkachu, uh, I mean, uh, uh, attack? I think we can finish up. No, if we both attack Rhyhorn, we can finish it off. So let's double team Rhyhorn. And uh, yeah, surely we'll be faster. Uh, uh-oh. Oh, and that's going on Kalkachu. I don't like the sound of that. I don't like the sound of that. Come on, Kalkachu. Prove your worth. Beat him up. Use your attack power. Yay! This is the dream team. The best duo you've ever seen. Kalkachu and Jokey. Fucking up Rhyhorns left and right. They don't even get attacks. They just die. Okay, now we can double... Yeah, this is fine. This is a fine double battle. I take back... My angst. My earlier angst. It's all good. Well, oh, fuck! What the fuck? Does Spoink have the world's greatest special defense? What the fuck was that? And now we're both confused. Oh, fuck this battle. <laughs> fuck you, Spoink. I give you a 6 out of 10? No, now it's 5.5. .5. Fuck you. Go, whoever's keeping track, go change my score. Hariyama! That's another new one, right? That must be. There, there's too many colors going on. So it, it immediately kind of looks like how the new um, God Mode, um, uh, Super Saiyan God Mode stuff, like, they got, like, weird color schemes going on, like, uh, Resurrection of F, when Frieza comes back alive, and you've got, like, weird gold on him and shit. The color scheme is supposed to look cool, I think, but I think it looks tacky and retarded. And that's my first instinct when I see this Hariyama, is there's too many different colors, and it's just fucking gay and dumb, and I'd give this Hariyama... A 3.5 out of 10. Kinda gross. Kinda gross. Let's see if it has any attacks that can hit me. I guess it doesn't matter because I only have two nightshades. So I'm just gonna switch. Oh, Wobbuffet looks new. I, I, sure, do ho I sure hope it doesn't have a shadow tag because I'm all out of PP. <laughs> I wanna switch. 
Mm, fingers crossed. I'll do my review if I can switch. Oh, wow, but fit is not fun. It's not fun in any sense of the word. Fuck. Okay. You know what? This is fine. We can use Curse, which will cut our life in half, but then it'll do damage to him every turn. And Wobbuffet doesn't know any damaging moves, so he cannot hurt us. I guess she. So, fingers crossed that this works, and Calcachu doesn't somehow die. Anyway, Wobbuffet lowly uh, looks fine. Um, five, six out of ten. <laughs> it's fine, I don't care. Alright, it, it can't hurt us, so I guess we just fuck around with random attacks until it dies. I wish we could speed this up. This sure is slow. Okay, this should be the last turn. We just have to hope that it doesn't have Destiny Bond, which means if it dies, we also die. Because I'm not ready to say bye to Kalkachu yet. That'd be some bullshit. That would be some bullshit. Come on. Come on. We gotta survive. Mirror Coat. Good. Is the curse gonna finish it off? Oh, god damn it. When it has this low of HP, it's really gonna use its Destiny Bond bullshit if it has it. <sighs> okay. Okay, this could be the end of Kalkachu. Wobbuffet is a bitch, no matter what. No matter what, Wobbuffet is always a bitch to fight against. Come on, please be cool. Safeguard. Thank god. Hopefully you don't have another fucking Wobbuffet, because if you do, we're fucked. Kalkaju is dead. What do you have next, you bitch? Hey, level 30, we did it. Hooray. What do you have next? Not to. Fine, perfect. Let's switch the hell out. We survived. A close encounter with the Wobbuffet kind. Oh, Kadabra's new. She's got two new things that we haven't seen before. Kadabra is really silly, as always. Uh, Kadabra is a, a funny enough idea for Pokemon, but now it's like a little girl with a stern face holding a spoon with some dumbass Indian star dot on her forehead. Uh, it, yeah, it's it it serves its purpose. It's it's fine. Uh, I don't have a score for this one. It's it's ambiguous, and now it's dead. Goodbye, Sableye. That <laughs> I don't like that one at all. I don't like those gross nerd glasses that they put on it. Like it, well, because Sableye has like those diamond glasses or diamond eyes. I mean, right? Uh, I don't really like what what their interpretation of it was. I like the rest of it, but maybe drop the glasses and it'll be better. Oh, fuck me. Okay, we are remarkably close to Jokey evolving into Blaziken. And we're faced with a Wobbuffet that probably has Shadow Tag, which means we can't escape. <sighs> okay, here's what we do. It's easy, it can't hurt us. We use six bulk ups and then we use one double kick. It won't be very effective, but hopefully with six bulk ups that'll be enough to kill it. That's the only thing I can think of to do that will guarantee, hopefully, that we don't get fucked. So that's the strategy. We're gonna try it. We'll see what happens. We're getting, uh, we're getting awfully lucky and unlucky with these Wobbuffets, because at least the thing I send out has some sort of weird strategy to work around Wobbuffets' retarded rules. All right, that's the last one. He's, he keeps using Destiny Bond, which is scaring me, but I think I'm faster. So let's go for the double kick. Hopefully this finishes him off. Go. Oh my god, it didn't do shit! Is he gonna use counter? Oh, mirror coat, thank god. If you would use counter, Jokey would be dead. Mirror coat only works for special attacks. Finish them the fuck off. This is bullshit. It's bullshit that the max attack boosted Jokey only does that much, but it's fine. We got lucky that he didn't use counter. That would have fucked us so bad. And now we're about to evolve. Let's just grind up for a second and evolve before before something terrible happens. Wait, what's this? Oh, yeah, that's fine. Hey, there we go. After all this time, after what, 30 fucking episodes, we get to see what lowly Blaziken looks like? Who would have thought that Jokey would make it this far? And he'll probably make it all the way. 
I don't think Jokey will be in the next two gyms, so he's probably guaranteed to go to the Elite Four. What is this motherfucking Loli gonna be? Oh, buddy. Oh, she looks pissed. She looks motherfucking pissed. You know what? That's pretty damn good. It's pretty damn good. I bet it looks better than fucking Swampert would have looked like. <laughs> She's like wearing a, you know, fuzzy belt with uh, these these uh, flaming yoga pants and the stupid fucking fox ears that that girls wear at those cons. But you know what? With with the stern face and all this f crazy fun shit going on, I'd say that's a top tier lowly. Eight eight out of ten for sure. And we learned Blaze Kick. Good. I'm very happy with my the state of my Jokey right now. And there's Shadow Ball. We did it. A happy ending to this climb up the Wobbuffet Tower. Let's teach that right now before we forget. All right. With that, I think our chores are complete, and we can finally go figure out what Team Magma is doing. Although I do want to get these items. What's this? Lax Incense. What does that do? Slightly lowers the foe's accuracy. I don't see why not. Doesn't hurt to give it to somebody. Um, sure, take it, buddy. All right, let's go find the. Is it Team Magma or Team Aqua? I already forgot. Let's go find out where they're hiding. No, I want to fucking fly. God damn it. Okay, the team magma hideout is somewhere around here. I don't remember how to get it open. It's like you gotta it'll open up in one of these rocks and one of these walls when I walk in front of it. Somehow, I don't remember. I really don't remember. It, surely it's like over here. No, how do I? What the fuck do I do? What? Is it over here? How do you do this shit? Oh, oh, oh! I d oh, cause I have the emblem. That's how. Okay, yeah, there we go. Secret hideout away. Gonna blow him up. Ooh, magma hideout. We gotta catch a new Pokemon here. I didn't even think about that. Hey, if there's anything new, I'll take a a rock or something. I don't know, a Torkoal. Uh, uh, oh my God, we haven't caught a Geo dude yet. We haven't got our token Geo dude. That's crazy. We we go through Geo dudes like water in these Nuzlocks. I need to check my audio level. All right, well I'm guessing it has a lot more than 30 experience, so let's go for the Nightshade. Kalkachu, you might be pretty good at catching shit, since I know always how much you're going to do. Uh, oh, I didn't even consider that you might get killed, though. Um... <laughs> what a fucking bummer. We climbed that whole goddamn tower just to get him his fucking Shadow Ball, only for him to die immediately. That is horseshit. That's fucking insane. That's fucking insane. <sighs> Like, God, I'm sure once it evolved, it would have been good to fight against the gym. <sighs> what do I fucking use now? God damn it. That whole arc was for nothing. You're the shuppet, etc. Epic memes, bullshit. Fucking stomp him. I don't give a shit if you kill him. Fucking stomp his ass. Fuck this Geodude bullshit. Oh! God damn you! I 
I don't know what just happened. <laughs> oh god, I need a drink. Okay. Okay. Magma Hideout, that's how you want to fucking play it. I didn't just lose two Pokemon, I lost three. The two that got killed, plus the Geodude I didn't get a catch. Fucking self-destruct, I hate it so much. We'll, we'll never get to see what Exploud looks like. I bought that fucking Hyper Beam just for him. So many TMs got... For, for specifically for things that just oh I guess I'm dead in one hit that's fine I guess, oh that's fine I, I it's fine you can die whatever I didn't fucking want you on the team I didn't I didn't you weren't my favorite Pokemon I didn't want to take to take you all away you can just fucking die it's fine no let's take shit off their bodies first God damn it that's an unprecedented fucking. Never before have I lost two Pokemon to some <laughs> random ass wild Pokemon. I don't even want to do this. I. Oh my god. Okay, Calcachu. You know, you got that great Donald Trump puppet meme. I was so excited to use you. I wanted to evolve you to take on the next gym. But of course, you can't handle an eight fucking magnitude bullshit. Fuck. Now here's a hard one. Goddamn autistic. Look, that's my that's my favorite goddamn loli uh, avatar of all of all of them. It's the best one. It's probably five levels away from seeing what Exploded look like. But then we get ex exploded, get exploded to not see Exploded. Bullshit. God, I autistic. I love you so much. You've been like one of the main characters for so long. This is not a just death at all. Goodbye, buddy. I'm gonna miss you probably the most out of everybody who has died. <sighs> Great. Great. Let's see. Who, who am I gonna fucking replace on the team now? No, fuck that shit. Okay, Halzeon. Come on back, buddy. Come on back. We might as well get Quinlan, too, since we need him for the gym. You know, you might as well put all the things we need in harm's way so that they fucking die. I don't see why I wouldn't do that. That's genius. Oh, great. Great. Since I don't have a bike, I gotta go all the way around, too. This is the best day of my fucking life. This is my favorite episode so far. I'm just having a jolly old gay old time. I'm like the Flintstones up in here. We'll have a gay old time. It's bullshit. I guess note to self, if you find a wild Geodude, either kill it in one hit or run the fuck away. Yeah, there goes our catch. Oh, does anybody know strength? No, they don't, because Autistic knew strength, right? Oh, good. Thank God Neoki XS knows it, too. His isn't stabbed, though, but that's fine. Oh, great. It's my favorite Pokemon. Geodude. Oh, Kalander. Oh, you're the perfect match to fight him. Good thing he used magnitude. Oh, why couldn't I have got a Torkoal instead? I, w I would have loved to catch a Torkoal. Way more than I would have loved to have everything I love pulled from my, from my hands as it dies. Oh man, which way do I go? Which way do I go? I don't know. I don't know. Don't give me choices. I'm too distraught to make choices today. Oh, there's too many ways to go. There's way too many. I guess, uh... Are these both guys... Are, are they just guarding this little item over here? Or is this the right way to go? Oh, Max Elixir. Great. That'll be good when I want to get more PP for my Shadow Ball attack. I'm not supposed to do anything with this, am I? No, of course not. Oh, great. Ooh, this looks like the right way. Yeah, I don't. This looks like I'm going the right way, probably. Oh God damn it! It was just for an item. Oh, rare candy, amazing. What a waste of fucking time. 
Alright, now I think I am going the right way, and I should almost be there. I think after I fight a couple more guys, I'll be to wherever the fuck I'm going. Am I supposed to fight Maxi or somebody? I don't even know what this is leading to. I think it leads to... Awakening Groudon or something? Oh, maybe there is no submarine in this one. Maybe that's just in Sapphire? I have no idea. Oh shit, that did a lot. Will this finish it off? Hell yeah! Nioki's the shit. He's gonna do great in the gym. Even if he doesn't have a ghost friend to help him out. Max Revive? What do I look like? A guy who would cheat in a Nuzlocke? <laughs> Hey, we made it! I don't have to fight Maxi, do I? I <laughs> if I do, I should have healed up my Pokemon a little bit more. Oh, it's orb time! To wake up the sleeping Groudon. Is it Groudon or Groundon? I think it's Groudon. I've also heard uh, heard Groudon? In the movie, don't they say Groudon? Uh, I, I don't know. I guess I don't trust uh, English voice actors more than anybody. Hey, look, it's me. I'm the guy. You don't want to fight- Ah, oh, fuck! Okay, Monkey versus Maxi. I should have seen this one coming. I should have healed up my Pokemon more. Uh, I'm mostly low on all my best PP moves. Like Fake Out and Surf. Uh, and I guess on health. But we'll see how we do. Okay, we got one Fake Out, so that's I guess all we need. Uh, that didn't do shit. Let's switch. Nioki, you're fine, but I don't trust you out there right now. Who? Yeah, you. Yeah, you'll be good. You're super effective against Mighty Anna. Oh man, he's got high levels. I should have, should have been ready for this battle. Scary face. More like, um, Larry's mace. Larry sells mace out of a, out of a warehouse on uh, Applia Street. Um, do we dare bulk up and just? No, because our only physical move is Double Kick, and I'll probably want to use Blaze Kick. Um, but it boosts our defense, so let's go for it. Swagger? Oh, fuck you. God damn it. No, god damn it. If my attack is that boosted, I'm going to be too scared to use a physical attack. Because then I'll hit myself and do a shit ton of damage. Oh, I hit myself before. Oh, that did a lot. No, that did a lot. Let's see, 40... So if I hit myself again, it'll do, it'll do another 40. Plus, if he hits me, that'll it'll probably be enough to knock me out. Okay, who wants to fight him? Anybody? Any takers? Kalander, I guess? Uh, I gotta play it safe. I can't lose Jokey. Of all the things here, I really can't lose Jokey. I can't fuck around. And he's going for a powerful attack anyway. Um, uh, Thunderbolt? God, he, well, he missed twice. I don't think Takedown would do a whole lot to Kalander anyway. Thunderbolt him. This is only his first guy. Hey, yeah, paralyze him. Good, now we're faster. We'll finish him off with an another Thunderbolt. Oh, he withdrew. For a, a ground-type Pokemon, I bet. God damn it, wasting my turn. Fuck. Okay, well, we need to switch out again. Now would be a good time for Surf, if I have any Surfs left, which I don't think I do. He's, eh, I guess no matter what he goes for, it's not going to be very effective if it's ground, uh, or, yeah, ground, good. And if he uses fire, that's not going to be very effective. Great, no more surfs, I fucked myself on that one. Let's go for fly, just so we know what attack he's going for. And we can do some massive damage. Amnesia. That'll boost his special defense, right? So he must think I'm going for water. Well, joke's on you, buddy. <laughs> I'm all out of water. I'm a dry bird. Yeah, keep using Amnesia, that's fine. I'm using physical attacks anyway. Um, so I guess it wouldn't hurt to keep using Fly. Because he can boost his special defense all he fucking wants. I don't give a shit. Oh, he's got Rock Slide. That's not good. Oh, that could do some damage to Sheeterax. Okay, hang in there, buddy. We'll get you out of there. We'll get you out of there. God damn it. This fucking battle. I should have came more prepared. But what could I do? I just went through... But uh, all these magma grunts and shit. What, was I going to run all the way back to the Pokemon Center? I think not, good sir. I think not. 
Ah, oh, God. Whoever I switch to is going to get hit. Now, he thinks I'm key. He's going to use... Okay, he's going to use Rock Slide, so I don't want to go to Jokey. Who wants to get hit by Rock Slide? Nobody. <laughs> Probably nobody. Mmm, Neoki. No, because if he uses fire, Neoki's dead. I think Hail Zeon's the best bet, which is a terrible thing to say. You never want to be in that situation where Hail Zeon's your best bet. Oh, good, he used a super potion. Now I get to use a potion. Maybe I should. Maybe I should. On who? Who wants potioned up? Jokey, probably? It wouldn't hurt. Or should I try to put this fucker to sleep? I'll go for the sleep, and if he falls asleep, I'll heal up. And if not, then <laughs> I'll heal up later. Go for the sleep! Yeah, we fucking got him! Damn you, camera upped. Alright, let's heal up Jokey. And... Yeah, that's what we'll do. I can't think of who else I would heal up, unless I want to use one of those, uh... Those pee-pee up things on... Surf. I don't usually use those anyway, so it wouldn't hurt to use it. That'd be funny. The one time I use it is in the middle of a battle. Let's see if I have one. What are they called? Max Elixir? Okay. Those are hard to come by, though. I think we'll just go with the Hyper Potion on <sighs> Jokey. Fine. That's what we're doing. Are you going to wake up right away? Yep, of course he is. Oh, earthquake. Earthquake. Stab Earthquake on Hail Zeon. Oh, good job, buddy. You did it. You held on. He's going to go for Earthquake again, which is kind of sh fucking shitty. It's so shitty. And that's going to be super effective against Jokey as well, which isn't good. If I switch to Cheater Axe, um, maybe he won't go for Earthquake again. Since I'm almost dead, maybe he'll switch it up. But almost any of his attacks aren't going to be good for Jokey. But god damn it, it... Uh, god, I fucking hate this. I'm faster. So can I put him to sleep again? I fucking hope I can. Oh, we did it! Oh, man. Let's hope he stays asleep longer this time, huh, folks? Okay, Hail Zeon, you're dead as soon as he wakes up, so we're gonna switch to Jokey. And, oh, God, I hope he stays asleep. Please don't wake up immediately twice. Please. Okay, good. Now we... Do we bulk up? Yes. Yes, we do. We get that attack and defense up. That's we we sure fucking do. That's what we do. Stay asleep. Okay, he woke up. Earthquake. That won't do as much because I bulked up, right? I have to assume. Oh, okay. Oh, what a nightmare. This is a fucking nightmare. This is terrible. I bulked up. Might as well use it. Double kick him. Okay. Good job, Jokey. Good job, Jokey. Good job, Jokey. Good job, Jokey. <sighs> Good job, buddy. Good job, Jokey. 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 <sighs> Mighty Yenna again. Paralyzed Mighty Yenna. Lowered my attack. But I go first. There's no use in risking Hail Zeon. Go Neoki Excess. Oh, another potion. Brilliant. 
Great move. Oh, I forgot I'm all out of fake outs. Go for strength. <sighs> okay, good. He's paralyzed. Go for strength again. Scary face. How about go fuck yourself? Yes, beat Harsley Felkes, who's paralyzed, you fucking idiot. <sighs> what the fuck? I thought that's all he had. I thought I was fucking done. Oh, it's not over. I thought we were done. What a game we're playing. What a fun fucking game. Go Kalander. We gotta use another potion. I thought he was done. I thought that was all of his Pokemon. How did that get fucked up? <laughs> confused. 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 Five levels higher. I'm gonna be an idiot if he gets killed, so I need to use... Uh, full restore. Full restore. There we go. To heal up 23 points and a confusion. What attack are you gonna do? Bite. Oh, God. Okay, good. Good. If that's the best he can do, we'll finish him off with a thunderbolt. Unless we're confused. It's the luck of the draw today, buddy boy. Will Kyle Lander be confused? Find out this time on Pokemon Nuzlocke. Of course he was. <laughs> Hooray! The nightmare continues. <laughs> no, the nightmare doesn't end. <laughs> Here we go. Here we go again. Here it comes. Holy <laughs> hooray! Hooray! <laughs> the nightmare continues. Flinch him! Flinch him! You can do it, Crobat! Flinch him! Oh, hit yourself in confusion, buddy! You can fucking... Oh, thank God. Fucking thank God. <sighs> Yeah, level up. Fucking Maxi. I should have. I should have ran back to the Pokemon Center. Man, Sheetorax using Surf would have taken care of that thing immediately. God, fucking damn it! Get me the fuck out of here. Oh, great! Can I use it to? fucking kill myself yeah you know what i think we should just rename noose to be escape rope i think that's a much funnier name i've probably made that joke elsewhere before take me home oh buddy oh god damn it i'm not in the mood i'm not in the mood <sighs> Who would have guessed we'd be doing this again so soon? Jokey. I am delighted that we were able to find out what the Blazing Cannoli looked like. <laughs> but we spent so little time with it that it was barely worth it. You're my starter. I've had you from the beginning. You've been a staple of the team non-stop from the beginning. And I was hoping you could just hang out, max out, relax all cool and all, until the Elite Four, where then you could just stomp them all with your cool blaze kick and shit. But of course not. Of course we get cucked by myself by running gung-ho into a battle that I guess we weren't ready for. Jokey, I'm sorry. There's too much death lately. I didn't think it would ever happen to you. Rest in peace. Which means I, uh, I guess we do need a new fire Pokemon. Do we want Smegma? Or Jumpkey? Or Stan on Fire? Or maybe Mr. Florida? I don't know. 
Um, you know, I think Mr. Florida will be good for the eighth gym because it's water, so he can absorb them with grass attacks while while not taking much damage. So I'm gonna leave him safe in the box for now. And I guess. Uh, I don't even know if I can get a Firestone. I think I need one for Volpix. Welcome, Jump Key. Maybe. I'll, I'll look up and see which one has the best stats. All right, for the most part, it looks like looks like Camerupt is the better deal. So I guess welcome to the team, Jump Key. As disgusting as it is to say that. Oh, God, that magma hideout was just the worst. It was it was an absolute disaster. Look at this fucking team. This poor fucking team. It's sad that Quinlan is now one of my best Pokemon. Well, okay. I guess we move on. We're getting ever closer to that double battle. That's probably going to end us. So the pain and suffering is only just getting started, folks. You thought it was good so far. You, you ain't seen nothing yet. I suppose I, I should go train up Jump Key for some reason. But if I'm not going to use him in the next two gyms, should I even trade him up? I don't know. I don't care. I fucking hate this game. After the devastating loss of Kalkaku, Autism, and Jokey, our brave adventurer Mumkey turned to the bottle in order to drown his sorrows. <coughs> Little did he know that drinking while doing a Nuzlocke was a surefire way to get Fucked in the ass. Okay, folks, I'm gonna... <sighs> I'm gonna train up Quinlan and Jump Key. So I guess I'll uh, start blasting some, uh, some transatlantic music. Some Arion, some Dream Theater. Just start, start blasting some music on my phone while I spend three years grinding. So I guess I'll see you with an update once I do that. Uh, get used to this, because this, the drinking, it's not going to slow down. Oh boy, we did it! After three millennia of grinding up the jump key boy, the jump key moans, he who shall break thine bones. Finally, this boy is evolving. I think we've seen this lowly before, I don't recall. Oh yeah, of course! Of course, it's the Asuka Firefox um, wizard bitch. Hey, there we go. That's Yeah, we got camera up now. Trying to learn Rock Slide. Great move. Genuinely great move. Stab bonus. Uh, I taught it the overheat TM that we got from the Flannery Gym? I don't remember. And it's been very useful in these uh, grinding battles. Let's see, well, Magnitude isn't stab bonus, so we don't really need that. And Ember might be shitty, but the only fire attack we have shouldn't be overheat. So I think, I think Magnitude is easy to get rid of in this situation. Goodbye, Magnitude. And we'll get rid of you for a stab bonus rock slide. Hell yeah. Okay, let's go heal up and keep on fucking grinding for years. Alright folks, this should be enough grinding. We've got Quinlan up to 38, we got Jump Key to 36. Everybody else around there. 
So I say it's high time we go we go beat up fucking Team Magma up in that cave that I keep going back to. And then hopefully sooner than later we can finally go to that psychic gym double battle that will end the series once and for all. I'm I'm waiting for it as much as you are. I hope it happens sooner than later. I can't wait. I can't fucking What? It's still blocked? Oh, now we go to the submarine. This sh this fucking horseshit never ends. What a shitty subplot. What a fucking garbage game. Oh, hey, go to go to the Mount Pyre. Now go to the Mount Chimney. <laughs> now go to the submarine store. Fuck you. Fuck Team Magma. Fuck Team Aqua. Fuck Monkey Jones in the ass. With the big purple dildo. That's what I have to say. Okay, submarine sandwich boy. Oh boy, here we go. Yeah, blah blah blah. I'm a very stern talker. Let's have a stern conversation about masturbation, son. Can you please, if you're gonna do it while we're home, while mom and dad are home, can you at least shut the door and not be so loud about it? And for God's sake, if you're gonna watch pornography, at least put in headphones. We don't want to hear that shit through the Bluetooth speakers. I don't want to know that my 14-year-old son, Mumkey Jones, is into scat porn. I didn't need to hear that, but now the whole family knows. Grandma was over visiting. She was down in the dining room, eating a biscuit, drinking some tea. And the next thing we know, the Bluetooth speakers start playing this crazy scat porn. We hear all sorts of crazy women moaning and fart sounds and what can only be described as, as uh, poop being used as lubricant for somebody's penis. It was, it was distasteful. It was probably, it didn't taste probably very good, cause shit, as far as I know, doesn't have a good flavor. I tried your mother's shit one time, and it was not that great. It was fine, probably three out of ten at best, but I wouldn't recommend it. If it was, if it was served to me on a plate at a restaurant, I wouldn't, I wouldn't return to that restaurant. I would say, you know what? This chef, he did not do his best. This shit, subpar, not the greatest. Hey, maybe now we can finally go into this fucking stupid cave after all this horrible lore bullshit. What kind of, it's supposed to be a fun-filled game. Who, who includes lore into something that's supposed to be innocent and fun? Only some sort of weird autist, I say. Uh, oh, choice is this one. Uh, okay, yeah, right choice. Now we got, hey, another elixir. Sure do wish I would've used that on Sheeterax last episode. That would've saved me a lot of pain and suffering. Sure would've. Oh, fucking this bullshit. Okay, um, you. Ugh, okay. Okay, okay, George. Okay, Tim. Hey, we, we did it? Maybe? Okay, okay, buddy. What the fuck? Okay, far. God, no! I meant to go to the far left. My control. Oh, this is horseshit.mpeg. I'm gonna fuck myself in the ass. Goddamn sirens outside. Don't they know it's 10:46 p.m.? I don't want to hear that shit. Hey, hey, this isn't where I want to be, but I think I get the... Oh, fuck you. I think the Master Ball's over here somewhere. Wait a second, I haven't caught anything here. Which means I'm supposed to catch this electrode. Technically, yeah. Okay, I guess we're catching... Oh, it's gonna fucking explode! I'm not falling for your tricks again, buddy boy. Kylander doesn't give a shit about your explosions. Go ahead and explode. See what happens. He's a steel type. He'll absorb that damage. Sonic boom. All right, buddy. Let's see if we can thunder wave his ass. Yeah, he's gonna sonic boom us so low that the explosion will actually kill us. That's not good. <sighs> Fuck. Okay, I can't lose Kylander. We need to look at defenses. Okay, that defense is shit. That defense is pretty good. Uh, the shit, shit, shit. Okay, do I really want to send out Sheeterax against an electric Pokemon? Am I assuming that Electrode has no electric attacks? I know that he has Sonic Boom and he probably has Explosion, but I don't know. 
I don't trust it. I don't trust it at all. I guess we just go for the Ultra Ball and cross our fingers, even though it's not gonna fucking work. I hope it works, because otherwise I, I suspect something bad is going to happen. Oh, uh, well, okay. Oh, uh, yeah, there's his electric attack. The good thing we didn't go to Sheeterax. Kaylander needs to get the hell out of there. Yeah, he sure does. Okay. Well, if he wants to use electric attacks, we'll go to my buddy Jump Key. He's good at, at stopping those from doing damage. I'm just scared of explosion because I know it's coming. Screech. Okay, he has Screech. Um, some ground shit. And Sonic Boom. The other thing must be explosion, right? Let's go for an Ember. Ember Waves of Grain. If we can get him... One more Ember should do it where we can use an Ultra Ball. But if he explodes and Jumpkey dies, I might just quit the Nuzlocke. Oh good, he's a retard. Perfect. Yeah, go Ultra Ball this time. This better work. That's a uh, Try spinning, that's a good trick. What the fuck? Inexcusable, Electro. Not even one shake. What the fuck? Very rude, first of all. All right, that's cooking with Grandma. There we go. We caught Electrode. That's our catch for this Team Magma Aqua Hideout. Give a nickname, sure. Let's see who the lucky Electrode is today. And the winner is Sanitary Casual, who says best girl died. Oh no. So I guess we'll just go with Sanitary. So Sanitary the Electrode. Uh, he has an explosive personality, and he's so clean that you might say he's berries and cream. Berries and cream, berries and cream, I'm a little lad who loves drinking my sorrows away. Shit. Fuck. I spilled on my controller, and when I tried to say shit, it spilled out of my mouth all over my... <laughs> all over me. <laughs> oh, there's more electrodes, aren't there? Alright, one of you is probably a Master Ball, right? Well, I guess not you. But that's okay. Now that I'm not trying to catch you, I'm not afraid to kill you. Electrode, you're going down. Go Jump Key. Let's show off your new power. Jump Key, use Overheat to blow his ass the fuck up. You thought Explosion was bad? Just wait till you see Overheat, my friend. It's game over. Hell yeah! Hell yeah! Jumpy Moans is gonna overheat. Yeah, that's a wrap. Yeah, what, what's next? Master Ball, there we go, that's all we need. Although, is this another electrode? No, Nugget, cool. Okay, well that was a waste of time, I guess. I don't, I mean, I don't really need a Master Ball. I mean, kind of, I don't know. Let's get back to reality. Oh, there goes gravity. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Double battle, okay, well. Well, we do need some double battle practice. Um, who's gonna be in that? These two, Neoki XS and Quinlan, they need some double battle practice. We'll give it to them. Here we go, fingers crossed. I mean, they're not up against psychic Pokemon, so it's not nearly the same effect. But, you know, we need some double battle practice, you know? There, that's a practice. Oh, fuck. It doesn't matter, he's dead. One down, three to go. Too easy. You thought that Jokey and... and... uh... Calcachu were the dream team? No way. Quinlan and the... oh, well. Kaylander and Neoki XS. That's the real dream team. Aw, oh, yeah. How much of this shit is there? Just keeps going. Oh, what do you want, dude? Hey, there's a submarine. Uh, I'm a cut above the grunts you've seen so far. I'm not stalling for time. I'm here to pulverize you. For some reason, I think he's lying about the, his power level. I don't think it's even... Oh, well. Maybe it is close to 9,000. He looks kind of tough. Mighty Anna. It'd be a shame if I had a Quinlan. Here we go. It's the Battle of the Mighty Annas. Uh, I intimidate it. Yep, we intimidate each other. Not that it matters, because I'm only using special attacks. So let's bite him. It'll be a battle of the bites. Well, <laughs> let's see what he does. 
Nothing. He just slows me down. Who cares? Oh, swagger. That'll be annoying. If I'm confused, then I might as well just switch out so I'm not always hitting myself. Hooray! Quinlan's the... He's the smartest Pokemon I got. Uh, Kaylander, you got this. We need to get you up anyway, Kaylander. Why are you so underleveled? You're supposed to be the best one. Finish him off with the Thunderbolt. Goodbye, Mariana. It's been fun. Or not. Oh, god damn it. Of course he has a fucking potion. And I tried to use Spark. Let's see if I hit myself. Great. Every All my Pokemon are dumb. Always hitting themselves. And Oh, I use Spark again. I guess I'm dumb too. Oh, it's a whole team of fucking retards over here. You know, did you guys know that back in the day, there's a euphemism for getting drunk called um, being retarded? And you know that song, let's get it started and ha. Huh? God damn it, Kale Andrew, you fucking idiot. Yeah, get roared. That song, let's get it started and ha. Huh? Let's get it started in here. You might not know it if you're like a little baby. But the actual lyrics are, let's get retarded in ha. Huh? Let's get retarded in here. Because retarded meant you get super drunk. But now it's like, no, you, god damn it, everybody's fucking retarded. God damn it. You fucking idiot. But now it's like, no, retarded, you just mean to say. The new, the, the innocent version of retarded is to say, uh, everybody's a fucking idiot. God damn it, Jumpkey, fuck you. I'm trying to tell a, a story about the word retarded, and you just keep, everybody, that, what's that, six turns in a row I hit myself? My whole party's full of fucking idiots. It's pissing me off. Nyoki, god damn it. Fucking hit him. Stupid shit. Now you'll never know what I was gonna say about how the word retarded changed culturally. Oh, God damn it, Mighty Anna, just die! How come my Mighty Anna is horse shit garbage <coughs> and the computer has a good one? I'm so tired of Swagger. Thank God you missed. Finish him off. What else does he have? Another Mighty Anna. More like a Weaky Anna because he's not so mighty to me. Except for when he killed half my team. Golbat? Holy shit, that's a new Loli. We haven't seen that one. That's a fun little, you know, little Dracula vampire thing floating around on the bat wings with little vampire teeth. And uh, it's like, ah, I suck your blood. But she's like doing it all like silly. That's a good one. I like that one. I'll give it a 6.5 out of 10. That's a fair score. Let's hit it with faint attack. Oh, wait, no, I forgot I'm grass. God damn it. Fucking goddammit, I- why am I playing this drunk? I'm so stupid. Alright, let's switch to, um... Uh, not Kalander. I guess Hail Zeon, you'll have to take care of this one. Prove your worth. You're supposed to be good. Can you take a wing attack? Yeah, you sure can. Uh, side beam should be super effective, just do that. Yeah, fuck him up. Finish him off, Halzeon. Oh, well. That's fine. I didn't want to win anyway. Oh, Halzeon is always left with like 13 HP. I don't trust it. Even though it seems like I'm faster, I don't trust it. We'll go to Sheetorax. He's the king of not dying. He's been alive for every episode. He's never died. He's He certainly knows how to stay alive. Finish him off with the wing attack. We're not going to waste all of our surfs this time, buddy. Yeah, you get killed. Mumkey wins. What's next? What's next? What's next? Hey, it's a... Uh, okay, the submarine ran away. So uh, do I win? Is it over? Am I done? Can I go f fight the fucking gym now? So sick of this shit. Let me go home. What? Is this the exit? Oh, thank God. Okay, we're finally done, folks. Let's go to that island and fight the double battle that'll end the series. Been waiting patiently for it for a millennia now.
All right, we did it. We're finally free. Route 124 looks new to me. Although I think I already got all the water Pokemon, man. So unless some oh, double battle, unless something new pops up, I don't think I'll be catching any new Pokemon anytime soon. I hope I do, but I doubt it. Uh, okay. Isn't the the big meme of Gen 3 that there's too much water? I guess they're not technically wrong. I mean, I just got in the water and there's already too much of it. Hunter's house? What does he want? Hunter from Spyro 2 and 3? The cheetah dude? Looks like him. The diving treasure hunter? I'm the awesome dude who makes deep sea dives to tre treasures? I don't give a shit. Of course I don't have any fucking tre Fuck you. Enjoy your life of solidarity and isolation on this little... Ocean Island, you faggot. Fu Who even fucking built a house in the middle of an island? You stupid dick. Oh, is this the town? Moss Deep City. I made it. Hey, folks, we made it. We did it. If I use the old super rod, do I get to catch a whalemer here? Maybe. We can catch it with the master ball. Oh, yeah, I got it selected. Oh, I'm fishing. For a child of God, I'm going fishing. For a child of God, oh Lord, prepare me to be a sanctuary. I'm going fishing. How does it keep fucking getting away? How drunk am I? I'm hitting the button. I'm going bullshit. I call fucking bullshit. I hit that but I'm going fishing. <laughs> fucking bullshit. God damn it. I'm hitting the fucking button. What do you want me to do? Bullshit. Give me Whalemer. Hey, we did it. We finally did it. We finally get to catch a Whalemer. That we don't need or want. Level 14. I don't like the sound of that. I don't like the sound of that at all. Um, I guess, uh, we'll, uh, paralyze it? I don't, I can't hurt a level 14 Pokemon. That's redonkulous. We can paralyze it, but we can't hit it. What attack would I even use? Uh, Thunder Wave him, and then I guess we'll throw the Master Ball? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> what else would I do? Water Gun. Man, Sheeterax is going to end up with four HMs on him, because in this game you got to learn Dive and Waterfall. That's really stupid. Because who else is going to learn all that shit? Okay, Ultra Ball, go. Catch us at level 14 Whelmer that we will n never use. That means never. Hey, Whelmer was caught. Cool beans. Let's see who gets to be Whelmer. And the winner is Elucidary, uh, who says, How much PP do you have, you lowly bitch? Hmm. Hey, good job quoting exactly what I said. You did it. That's a great comment, Elucidary. I'll celebrate your great achievement and commentary on YouTube by leaving you in the PC and never getting you out. That'll be fun. Okay, we're in Moss Deep City, which means, you know, let's heal up. And let's, uh, let's plan out what we're gonna do for this gym. I think that's pretty important. <laughs> Is there anything in the PC I would want to use for this gym? I don't think so. I think... I don't even remember what I used in the last gym, so I don't even know what I'm allowed to use. Let's see, I am gonna want to use four. Uh, Quinlan for sure. Neoki XS for sure. Nothing else is for sure. Uh, and I think I can't use Kalander. I need to look up and see what team I used in the flying jump. It's been so long, I don't even rem remember what I did. Let's see. Um, when, okay, this episode. <sighs> yeah, fucking stupid YouTube. I wanted to see the video, not the page about the video. Um, okay. So I can't use Cheaterax or Kalander or McAfeny Nix. That's fine. Okay, so I and where's, where's the team? Uh, okay, so we 
Fuck. Fuck. If that's what they start off with, um... God, I, I feel like I'm so fucked. Three out of four of them are rock and ground, so I want to use water, but I think I'm all out of water, Pokemon. Um, well, let's, uh, let's switch some stuff in the box and see what we got going on here. Okay, we got the two that we're going to use for sure, Quinlan and Neoki XS. Let's see who else we have, and keep in mind that the next gym is water. Okay, so we can't use you. We, we might want some water here, but we can't use you... Maybe we can train up McFanks, or... No, probably not McFanks, because they're psychic. Maybe we can train up this faggot? Probably not. We could probably use Pulseye, even though his water attacks won't be very effective. But there's really no reason not to use Pulseye. I mean, he's just like a power player. And see, nothing else is really strong against psychic, but do we have anything that's strong against rock? Or even bird? Um... Nothing's coming to mind. Nothing's coming to mind. I don't want to use Jump Key because they have like Earthquake and Rock Throw and shit. And that'll kill Jump Key immediately, which is not what I want to do. I, I think just to be safe, I'll pull out Pulsai for now, even though it feels cheap, but fuck it. Um, hmm. Um, Ketson would dodge the earthquake but he wouldn't do well against the rock attacks mr florida i might want to use but i do want to save him for the eighth gym however if i lose this battle there is no eighth gym um uh god damn it i don't know there's not enough shit here to choose from so, I, I mean, Hail Zeon wouldn't even have any attacks that are strong against them. I mean, I really got some slim pickings here today. Do I go with this? Is Whalmer good? I'll, I'll look it up. Alright, it looks like Whalmer has a lot of HP, and he'll be a Whale Lord by level 40, which is the level cap, so I'll have Whale Lord for sure. But, the problem is that he has really shitty defense. Like, really shitty defense. But maybe the high HP makes up for it? Um, I don't, I don't really have much of a choice, do I? I guess those are the four I'm using. I guess those are the four I'm using. Okay, so... I'm, I'm too drunk to, to think rationally. I'm just gonna train all these guys up to 40. Or, no, I'll train them all up to 38, and then go test the waters of the gym. And then, uh, and then we'll do the gym battle, and that'll be that. You know, desperate times. Call for desperate monkeys. Good news, everyone. It only took the entirety of my lifetime, of my lifespan, Waxo Haxor Corporation. But hey, we look, everybody's 38, which means... We gotta go fight all of the f f faggots in the gym. Where the hell is this gym? I don't even know. But we're gonna fight all the little grunty homeless men. I wasn't gonna say something else. Is it? No, I don't care about space. I don't care about your Deoxys. I don't care about your Rayquaza. I wanna go fight all the little dudes so then after I beat them I can go up to level 40 and we'll. F there's the gym. We'll fight the gym leaders. Plural. What the hell? Okay. Let's do it. Let's see if Quinlan has what it takes to, to fight the first guy. If he doesn't, then we might as well give up now. Because... Uh, we might as well give up now. Curlia. Okay. Yeah, that's that sure is a lowly. Look at Quinlan. There's your psychic Pokemon. Go ahead and give it a bite attack and let's see what happens. Perfect. That's exactly what I wanted to see. Let's keep that streak going. Let's keep doing that. If we can keep that up, this gym isn't gonna know what hit it. What the hell is this shit? What? God damn it. Stupid bullshit. Kadabra again. Okay, Kadabra has very bad physical defense. I don't remember the special defense, but we'll see if bite is, is what we need. Recover, you idiot. Why would you use that? 
when you're faster. Uh, well... Close enough. Close enough. Hopefully, the gym leader's Pokemon doesn't have super high special defense. Double battle, huh? Okay, let's do a practice double battle with Quinlan and Neoki XS. Let's just use so many attacks, they don't even know what's going on. It'll be very important to use Neoki XS's fake out because I want to. The thing, the gym leader's Pokemon that has Earthquake, I definitely want to fake him out so I can double team him and hopefully, hopefully knock him out before we get Earthquake. Oh my god, Giraffe Rig, that's a new Loli. Uh, certainly ugly. That's a terrible costume. It, it, uh, one might say it's a hideous costume. But Giraffe Rig's not that great of a design to begin with, so I guess you did the best you could with the design. I'll give you a 5 out of 10, Giraffe Rig. We'll go ahead and we'll practice double teaming on you. So we'll fake out Giraffe Rig. And we'll also bite him. Hopefully that'll get him pretty damn low. And if we're faster, we can finish him off before he'll even get one attack off. Nightshade, not too worried about that. Only did 36 damage. Okay, good. Giraffe Rig's done. Now we can double team Xatu. Good strategy, Mumkey. You're doing it. We'll bite you. And we'll faint attack ya. Yeah. Let's see if how many of us are faster. Neoki Excess has super high attack, right? Uh, well, yeah, it looks pretty good to me. Nightshade again? That's fine, I don't care. We can take it. Finish him off, Quinlan. This is good practice. Good double battling practice against these psychic freaks. Oh, I'm so sick of Wobbuffet. <sighs> okay. Let's, let's go for the fake out strategy. Maybe we can knock him out before he does anything, but I doubt it. I don't think we'll have enough attack power to beat him right now. God damn it. Wobbuffet and Kadabra is a really good pairing. I don't like it at all. I don't like this at all. This is going to end very badly, especially if he has Shadow Tag, so we're, we're both trapped. Recover. Fine. If Kadabra's going to waste his moves, that's fine by me. Oh, thank God. That's the luckiest crit I've ever seen. Thank God for Quinlan's crits. Oh, that was great. Let's finish off Kadabra. God damn, I can't even imagine what horrors awaited us if we didn't get that critical hit. And he's dead. Hey, this is a pretty good duo if I say so myself. What? The fuck? What the fuck? I don't understand this shit at all. What? Oh, I guess I gotta go to the left now. Okay. Ah, oh, God. Whatever, I don't know what's going on in this gym. And that's right, so this will probably lead me to the gym. Yep, there they are. Okay, well, we... We demolished all those little fucks. So I guess now we just train everybody up to 40, and we we go to battle, we go to war. Okay, I, I have a renewed confidence. We, we beat everybody pretty easily with that fake out bite combo. So I guess that'll be the initial strategy in the gym battle. So let's Oh boy, Alucitary is evolving. How on earth will they turn the the biggest Pokemon of any Pokemon generation into a lowly? It doesn't look like it's that big to me. It looks like it's just like a taller version of what we saw before. Oh my god, that lowly has a beard. She has a beard and she's crossing her arms. Okay, it's not as fat as I was hoping, but it sure is something. That, that, that sure is some kind of lowly. 
Well, hey, I mean, that's pretty good. I think I like it. I'd give that a 7 out of 10. I don't see why not. That's a fun loli. It's, it's probably not actually a beard. It's probably just like it's a, a thick neck sweater, turtleneck sweater, all the way up to her nose. Well, that's fine. Anyway, with the evolution of Alucidatary, looks like we're all up to level 40, which means it's time to end the game. It's time to end the game. Let's go heal up and go through that stupid gym puzzle box shit. And uh, we're gonna we're gonna do a strategy talk, and then we'll uh, we'll fight the gym. <sighs> okay, here we go. Here we go. Here we fucking go. Double battle gym. Okay, here's the strategy talk. No, not whale lord stats. Okay, so if they start off with clay doll and Zatu, Zatu doesn't worry me because I'm starting off with two dark Pokemon. Uh, two dark Pokemon, and by that I mean... I'm gonna start off with Quinlan and Neoki XS. Yeah, don't want to fuck that up. So we start off with two dark Pokemon. Zatu, no problem. Psychic, not gonna hurt me. Confused Ray will be annoying, and we'll probably deal with that, but for the most part, Zatu's not a big worry as far as killing me. Claydol, on the other hand, Earthquake, I guarantee Earthquake is gonna qu kill a motherfucking Quinlan. Quinlan is weak as shit as far as defense goes. So the initial strategy will be to use to use fake out on Claydol to flinch him and then double team him with that that bite attack. He'll probably survive those two attacks naturally. But if we're faster, which I think we might be, then we can take out Claydol on the next turn. That's one down, three to go. Uh, Lunatone, that's not gonna hurt my dark guys if they're still out there. Uh, and really, that's that's the main strategy for now. I think you, you can only really plan for the beginning. You can't plan for the whole thing. So yeah, that's what we're going to do. We're going to double team on Clay Dole and get him the fuck out of there. And we're going to hope that we win. <laughs> that's it. We can throw some berries onto everybody. Let's see, what kind of shit are they going to do to us? Heals Confusion. You know, yeah, let's give that. Why not? Quinlan's already holding something, that's fine. What's he holding? I don't know. Yeah, you try to confuse my boys, since you're... Because this Zatu won't be able to hurt me, so he'll probably try to do that shit. Let's see, what do you got? Spell tag? I don't care about that. We'll give you both the confusion berry, so that Zatu is double useless against you. For now. And then the other two, we can, I guess, give a weed berry to? Ooh, that was, that's a pretty good berry. We should get more of those. Okay, we'll give the other two a weed berry, just so that we get that little extra bonus heal that we wouldn't normally get. And otherwise, we have a bunch of hyper potions waiting in the wings for when they use those items that I know they're going to use. And that's enough talking, let's do it. Hee hee hee, were you surprised? Were you surprised? There's two gym leaders, there's two... Oh, yeah, okay, so they say the same shit. What a fun gimmick. Fun gimmick. My gimmick is that I drink a lot, and I'm clinically depressed. Is that a funny gimmick? Oh my god, Clay Doll is great. I love Clay Doll. I think both of these are new. I don't think we've seen Zatu. Zatu's fine, it just looks like Zatu. But Clay Doll, that's a very goth, emo-looking design. And then the Clay Doll hat is fun, I love it. I'll give that one an 8 out of 10, that's super fun. Anyway... Let's go back to the strategy. We're gonna bite motherfucking Clay Doll, and we're gonna fake him out. Let's let's see what happens. Okay, fake him out. So he's gonna flinch. He can't use his earthquake. That he, oh, that didn't do very much. Zatsu's using Calm Mind, which is fine because it's not gonna hurt either one of these Pokemon. Okay, Clay Doll is faster than Quinlan for sure. So we have to hope that Neoki XS can finish it off with a faint attack. You know what? Just, I'm gonna I'm gonna use Bite on Claydol, because if Faint Attack kills Claydol, then Quinlan's Bite will automatically go to something else, and that's fine. Zanti uses Sunny Day. Yeah, that's a sign that you don't have any attacks that can hurt me. Faint Attack Claydol, finish him off so we don't get Earthquaked, because I definitely don't want that. Perfect. There we go. We avoided the Earthquake that I've been so worried about. One down, three to go. 
We just gotta keep double teaming these guys with our dark moves and we should be okay. Except now that it's sunny days out. Uh, sunny days out and this thing knows flamethrower. Which is very bad news for Neoki XS. Very, very bad news. That did a lot of damage. Okay. Soul Rock. Soul Rock. Is Soul Rock fire type? No, it's not. Okay, Soul Rock's not fire type, so it's not gonna have the stab bonus. But damn, that that sun boosted flamethrower is gonna fuck up Neoki XS very badly. So I guess Quinlan will attack Soul Rock. Zatu is going to assume that it can't hurt me with Psychic, so it's going to use another retarded move. So I'll switch Neoki XS out for... for Pulsai. Go ahead and use Flamethrower on Pulsai. See what happens. He's not going to give a shit. Yeah, and you get intimidated, which doesn't really matter because you're not using physical moves. Let's go. Yeah, yeah, Zatu, I don't give a shit about you. You can do all your stupid bullshit all you want. Once I kill all your friends, Zatu, you'll be powerless. Yeah, I, I knew you were going to use Flamethrower on, on that one. Nice try, buddy. I switched out. Here comes the bite. Ah, okay, so you're going to use a potion, which is fine. Waste your turn on a potion, and then I'll double-team Soul Rock. Here we go. Two bites. How do you like that? How do you like them apples? Yeah. Go ahead. So now we can use a Hyper Potion too, which I suspect maybe we'll want to at some point. Ooh, now Zatu's all gung-ho about using Psychic. Mmm, that did quite a bit. That did quite a bit. And that did not do enough at all. Hopefully Quinlan... Uh, not enough. Not enough. Okay, we're gonna switch out Pulsai. Yeah, well, even with that berry, we're gonna have to switch out Pulsai. Unless we just want to heal him up. We can just heal him up, that's fine. I'll use Bite on Soul Rock to finish it off, unless they use another potion, which I suspect they might. And we will use a Hyper Potion to heal up Pulsai so that he doesn't die. How's that sound? Uh, there we go. Yeah, let's heal up my buddy Pulsai, so when you use another Psychic Attack, he'll be okay. Yeah, okay, yeah, use another potion. I don't give a fuck. Now I gotta use another potion. Quinlan, attack! Oh, whatever. Don't get a crit, is all I'm thinking. Uh, that's fine, I can use another hyper potion. Because Quinlan is gonna finish off Soul Rock next turn. And that's fine. That's fine and dandy. If I can kill everything except for Zatu, then I automatically win. Because Zatu can't hurt my dark Pokemon. So that's great. Quinlan, finish off Soul Rock with a bite. And I'll use another Hyper Potion since I can to heal up Pulsai. We'll just keep doing the same old shit as yesterday. Here we go. Don't get a crit. Don't get a crit. Hang on, Pulsai. You did it. Ooh, did not see that coming. Quinlan hasn't been attacked yet. Hey, didn't even do half. Soul Rock is dead. That's their best thing. Now send out your third... Or, I know, it'd be your fourth. Send out your fourth pathetic Pokemon, Lunatone. Oh, man, Lunatone's great. I really like that design. That's great. Um, real quick, I'll, I'll give it an 8 out of 10 also. I think it's fun. I like it. I think it's cute. <sighs> okay, Quinlan. Luckily, you're expendable. <laughs> so, let's go for the bite. And we can't use another potion. Which means Zatu's Psychic would kill Pulsai. So I guess once and for all we should switch him out. Because I think we're slower. We'll go to Elushitary. Sure. We just got to kill Lunatone. That's the goal. We got to double team on Lunatone. And then we'll switch out to get all dark Pokemon. And Zatu won't know what to do. Oh my god. That did way too much. <laughs> did an unnecessary amount of damage. Okay, Quinlan. Man, Quinlan is slow as shit, and that didn't do very much. Yeah, heal up your 10 HP, buddy. That's fine. Even though Zatu's about to kill you with Psychic, and I did all that training for nothing. All that training for nothing. Here we go. Um, Go for the Water Pulse, even though you're probably going to die. 
Yeah, that's the end of that's the end of him. I spent forever training him just so he could come out and die. That's fine. See ya, Lucia Terry Doe. Um Yeah, replace him with Pulse Cypher now. We just need to kill Lunatone. That's all we need to do. I don't think they're gonna use a third potion. So we should be good. We should be good. Oh god, no, I didn't see that coming. Oh fuck. Pulse is barely hanging in there. I should have switched to to Niyoki XS, because that psychic wouldn't have hurt him. I sh well, shoulda, coulda, woulda, huh? Citrus Berry, fuck you. Okay, Quinlan, you're staying in. You're still staying in, I guess. Ah, uh, Pulsei, I don't want to sacrifice you. I'm probably going to use Psychic on you anyway, so we'll switch to Niyoki XS so that they waste their turn. If they're both using, like, some sort of psychic attack, then th they're gonna waste both of their attacks. Yeah, it doesn't affect them. Nice try. Nice fucking try! They both try to attack... Try to attack Pulsei, and both of their attacks fucking failed. That's great. That was a genius move on the part of Monkey Jones. Oh, and guess who gets a new fake out? Me. I do. Looks like you just lost. Because now Lunatone doesn't get to attack, and Zatu has no attacks that can hurt me. I think I just won the game. Here we go, Quinlan, finish him off. And that's it. That's it, folks. That's all she wrote. Zatu only has Psychic. It's over. You can paralyze me, I mean, you can confuse me, but we both still have our Confuse Berries. Now it's just a, it's a party of double teaming. I love it. Here we go. Here we go, we did it, we pulled it off. We lost one whale lord that took three years to grind up, but that's okay by me, because we ended up winning. It was a worthy sacrifice. We got a sheet of axe in the box anyway, a better water Pokemon. I am very drunk and tired after all this grinding. Let's finish this fucker off with a faint attack and a bite. Dream Team, double power, let's go. I'll confuse Ray. It'd be a shame if somebody, I don't know, had a fucking confuse berry, you stupid shit. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Was your last-ditch effort wasted because I have a person berry? That's a shame. Oh, did you just fucking lose? Get cucked. Mumkey wins. Mumkey fucking wins. Who cares if all the shit I wanted to use died? I'll use the backup team. Here we go. We won. Fuck both of you. Hell yeah. The mind badge, it's mine now. That's it folks, only one more gym and then we're going to the Elite Four. Next gym is water, which we, we have plenty of stuff to take care of water. As far as I'm concerned, we just won our ticket to the Elite Four. This was the last gym battle that I was worried about. Let's get the hell out of here, I'm done. We got a funeral to attend. All right, Alucitary. Well, I get, we got to see what the Whale Lord Loli looks like, and I really like it. I think it's cool as shit. Uh, I, I wasted hours grinding you up from, like, level 15. And, it, like, it, it was not worth it, I don't think. <laughs> because you were just death fodder. You didn't even get an attack off. You were just there to take psychic attacks. But I guess in the end, you served a purpose. And uh, we probably wouldn't have won without you. I don't fucking know. Uh, thanks for taking forever to grind up, you bastard. Goodbye. Okay. I think I earned a break. I'm done. I'll, I'll, I'll reconfigure the team later. I need to go to bed. Now I know what you're thinking. Monkey? I thought you said you were taking a break. How come you sound just as drunk as you were the previous episode? Well, funny story. As it turns out, it's the next day, 
And I got <laughs> I got drunk again. <laughs> now you're probably thinking, <laughs> Monkey, <laughs> did you really get drunk on both a Monday and a Tuesday night? What the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> Good question. And the answer is, <laughs> is that I, I, I got nothing better to do. Just to drink all day. Okay, we need one more guy for the team. Who is it gonna be? Uh, no. 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 Wait, so we're going up against the water, Jim. Who's good against water? No. 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 Nobody. I guess we'll go with Hail Zeon. Alright, speaking of the water, Jim. So, okay, he's got Love Disc. Fuck off. Wish Cast. Uh, that'll... It'll be annoying. Uh, let's see. Did we... Do we get magnet? Yeah, we probably get magnet. So wish cash, uh, we can't use electric, but that's okay. Easy, who gives a fuck? Easy, who gives a fuck? Uh, whatever, who cares? So really, like, just use, uh, strategy for this gym will be, just keep using magneton, and then on wish cash, I guess, use somebody else. Who fucking cares? It's fine. Mr. Florida, hey, welcome back. It's been a while. I mean to, like, evolve you and get you some better attacks. Like, somebody in the comments said I can get Giga Drain or something on some route. Uh, I don't remember where, so I'll go back around there real quick and find out where. Hey, yeah, so let's fly on over and see if we can find that Giga Drain. Uh, probably around here. Berries? No. What? Figgy berry? How about more like Niggy berry? It's a berry that gives you the power to steal platinum TVs. I shouldn't record this one. I'm drunk. Oh, ninja boy! Uh-oh, Naruto attacks! Shadow clone jutsu! Uh, coughing... I don't think it's this thing, because they... Th no, yeah, full heal. Because they said that it was... It was being held by some girl character. And I'm pretty sure it was around this route. So I guess I'll go just... For the first time in my life, I'm going to go around and talk to every girl that I see. And we'll see what happens. Uh... Water... Let's uh, see, we, we got Treasure Hunter. F fuck you, Hunter. And Abandoned Ship... God damn it. I don't want to go to that gay ass ship. I guess I'll go there next after I find whoever has this Giga Drain thing. Oh, what the hell? Why is this so low? There we go. I don't know how long that was fucked up. Maybe it's over here? Route 123, that sounds familiar. Is it you? Yeah, I got a grass. Hey, yeah, 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 yeah. TM19. That sounds good to me. Perfect. That that has to be what I'm looking for. Which is Giga Drain. Giga Drain, only 60 power, but that's fine. Let's go ahead and give that bad boy to Mr. Florida. Yeah, well. Yeah, I guess. It, it'd be nice to give Neoki XS a grass move as well, but. But Neoki XS is Ill 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 eligible for the next battle, the next gym. So, or I guess we'll give it to him. Um, absorb or nature power? Nature power is swift, which always hits. Absorb is just shitty and gay. So I guess our only grass attack has 5 PP. Yet another example of why grass Pokemon are so good. Uh, nothing else really worth teaching anybody. Unless somebody wants to learn Hyper Beam. Uh, everybody. Pretty much everybody. Okay, most of them. Oh, great. The one normal Pokemon doesn't want to learn Hyper Beam. Would have been nice. I guess now we fly to the pirate ship. And hopefully we don't need dive to find what we're looking for. Fly, you fool. Fly to do forward. We're going to go to the pirate ship and, f I guess, fight some people. Maybe catch a Pokemon. I don't know. Oh man, this is tough. Jump Key wants to learn Earthquake, even though he's not ground type, so it won't have a stab bonus, but it's way better than Ember. 
Even Ember, when it's super effective, isn't as good as Earthquake. Which I guess means I should get rid of Ember, even if that means Overheat is my only Fire-type move. Ugh. If I want to do Fire damage, I just either have to use Overheat, or I guess even super effective Ember would still do the same amount as Earthquake anyway, if not less so. Uh, so I get I don't want to lose amnesia because that might be useful at some point. So I guess Ember's got to go because Earthquake Egg is just better. It's just better. That's fine. Hey, there's the pirate ship. We made it. I hope we can find the water stone fast. I don't want to. I don't want to have to dive or something. Hey, we're on a pirate ship, which means we can catch a new Pokemon if we find a new Pokemon. Where the hell is the water stone? I, I should have looked it up. Um, uh, I guess we'll fight double battle. Oh. It, uh, I think that's our f first appearance of Machoke? A very strange. The head does not match the body whatsoever. It's very weird. It's like they took a Machoke lowly and then they threw the head of something else onto it. Ugh. It's, it's gross. I'd give that a 3 out of 10. What the fuck were they thinking with that one? That's disgusting. Surf's up, bitch, you gross ass lowly. Yeah, get fucked. Uh oh. Escape rope! I don't need a noose, I need a water stone. Oh god, do I have to dive to get it? I don't want to dive, I just want the stone. Please, I need it. I need it now. It's my money and I need it now. It's my money and I need it now! It's my money and I need it now! It's my money and I need it now! It's my money! And I need it now! It's my money, and I need it now! You raised me up so I could stand on my A boy was wandering far from home with his loyal Growlithe Growly. Okay. Hopefully we get it. Uh, well, this better be it. Fuck you! Storage key? Where the hell does that go to? What? What? Storage key? For what? I don't know. I'm too drunk to even care. Storage key? Um... Storage key... I guess I need dive? I should have looked this up. I wasted a bunch of time. <sighs> okay, I'll look it up. Waterstone requires dive. Brilliant. So I can't get Ludicolo until I beat the 8th gym. So fuck me, I guess. Fuck me. What's the other way to get it? Do I also have to dive? God damn it. Treasure hunter bullshit. D wait, did I? No, I got the ability to dive. Now that I've beaten the seventh gym, I just gotta find the TM for it. Where's the TM for dive? Where the hell's the TM for dive? Um, wait, it's in Moss Deep City? Where? Do I already have it? Did I fuck that up? From Steven in his house after defeating Team Magma? Okay. Uh, did I do that? I guess I'll fly to Steven's house. Steven's house. I'm guessing it'll have a sign out front. Maybe. No. Steven? No. Steven Universe, is that you? Don't make me call Pearl in here. Pearl's gonna say, Steven! Steven! What are you, what are you up to, Steven? 
Stop learning secrets about your mom, Steven. I don't give a shit. Where is Steven's house? Stop riding your lion to the movie theater, Steven. I'm Pearl. What the hell? Play games? No. Fuck you. What? Shut up. What? Whoa, where did they come from? I didn't know that they were here. Okay. Well, let's go heal up at the Pokemon Center. I guess we gotta fight Team Magma. What are they doing? They're trying to take over the museum or something? Are they up in here? Oh, at the science laboratory? Oh, do I have to do another big old... Oh, uh, God. I hope nobody dies in this battle. We've lost enough good men. We've lost enough. How many sacrifices do we have to make? Ball toy, that'll be easy. I can use a surf on that bitch. Sir, oh, I should have used fake out. That's fine. Surf's up, dude. Finish him off. Yeah, ball toys. Easy pickings. Mr. Florida, welcome back, buddy. You're doing it. You're already catching up to everybody else, even though... I think the next level cap is like 44 or something. Hey, let me through. Let me through. I'll beat you. I don't give a shit. Oh, shit. Fuck you. Oh, I should have healed up Mr. Florida before walking into this death trap. Well, that's fine. I guess I can just switch him out. Uh, uh, mm. We can probably take on a Zubat, even though flying attacks are super effective and we're at half health. That's fine. Oh, prevents flinching. Oh, sh yeah, fuck your air cutter. Finish him off with Surf. We need that water stone desperately. I need to see what Ludicolo looks like. We've been waiting since, like, episode one or two to see that shit. Don't worry, Steven, I'm coming to save ya. I'm a monkey the Great. Wait, the Great Steven, the, the champion of the region, is having trouble with Team Magma? Why do I have to step in to save the day? Why can't he just do it himself? Since he has like a level 50 Agron or whatever the hell. What's that thing called? Is it Agron? Yeah, I guess we'll go into battle. What? 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 What am I doing? Why am I confirming shit? What? Why can't I just use everybody? Fuck you. I guess I'll use these. Uh, I can only use three? What the hell kind of... Are we doing a double battle, I guess? Three, so six on six? What the hell? Was this in the other games? I've never seen this before. That's weird. That's weird to me, right? Why do I not remember this happening where I have to pick three and we have a double battle? Hopefully that they they both team up on Steven's Pokemon and leave little old Monkey's Pokemon all alone. And since I'm, I'm up against... Uh, my teammate is an AI, I don't care if his Pokemon die. So if I use something like Earthquake, it's like, eh, well, sorry, I guess you got fucked. But in this situation, I think it'd be better to use Rock Slide? Swagger, yeah, nice try, Mariana. Yeah, Jump Key's probably gonna be the slowest. Even though he's, you know, he's faster than Camerupt, because he's one level higher. Oh, that didn't do anything. Wow, that didn't do anything to anybody. I guess we flinched him. Okay, fuck it. We'll go with the earthquake then. I'm surprised that that, that did so little to everybody. Since when does Mighty Anna have an actual defense? I thought Mighty Anna had no defense. Fuck him up. Blow him up. Okay. Camera up's fucked though, right? Yeah, good. Good. I didn't even consider that his camera up might use... Earthquake as well, but I guess he didn't have the opportunity. <laughs> double Mighty Yenna. Oh, that's right. He's lowering our attack. So now we've been double intimidated. That's why our attacks are barely doing shit. Mm, so I guess it's, now this is, now it's the time to overheat, but no, it only attacks one thing, and I want to attack both. So I guess I go for Earthquake again. Oh, he, oh using that on me, huh? Okay, boost my attack, so now the Intimidates are gone, but I'm also confused, so if I hit myself, I'm fucked. Okay, good job, Matang, you finished off his Mighty Anna. 
So now they're down to four Pokemon, and we're still in pretty good shape. I don't see Jumpkey going anywhere. He leveled up pretty good. Pretty good. Let's just hope and pray. Ooh, if we don't hit ourselves in confusion, that Camerupt should die. Wow, that's a high-level Camerupt. Please hit him. Come on, buddy. Yeah. Yeah, is that Camerupt dead? We have our attack back to normal. Hell yeah, it's fucking dead. There you go. Jump key fucking wins. I don't give a shit about Matang. You can die. It's not mine. I don't care. Wow, we, we took out that Camerupt. No problem. Is it times four effective? Since he's rock and fire? I think so. Mmm, but Crobat is a different issue. But we got Agron now, buddy. Good luck beating Agron. And we'll use Rock Slide, because that's super effective against Crobat. <laughs> mean look. What, so now I'm trapped? That's fine. Jumpkey's doing just fine. Well, until you attack him. Uh, I hope we finish this soon, because Jumpkey is now trapped. And we probably will, because now they're down to, I think, their last two Pokemon. Yeah. This Rock Slide... Ooh, Rock Slide should do some real damage. I just realized Crobat doesn't have a lowly. It's just a normal Crobat. What the fuck is this shit? That's not what I paid for. We're getting gypped here, folks. Wow, that didn't do anything. That's not super effective. But we're stuck, so we gotta keep going. Why... Wow. What is that, the fourth Pokemon we've seen so far that has no change? It's just like the normal shit? What a... What a lazy ROM hack. Lazy fucking ROM hack. That Crobat is just a plain old boring Crobat. I wanted a lowly Crobat. I wanted to jerk off to that Crobat. That's not what we paid for. Thank God they're attacking Agron, because I don't want Jumpkey to die. Ah, oh, well. Speak of the devil and all that. Yeah, finish off Crobat, and I'll finish off Golbat, and we'll be free. Thank God. We did it. That non lowly Crobat is dead. Why does it tell me that Agron gained experience points? Like, I care about his AI gaining experience that doesn't actually affect it. Hey, we did it! We beat him! Now give me dive! Please give me dive! I think they'll probably throw me into a cutscene that'll end me up at Steven's house. And then he'll give me dive. And then I can finally go get that water stone that I've been craving. Oh, blah blah blah! You have to give you a thing at my house! I don't live in Rustboro City, I live here! Just give it to me here, you bitch! Fuck you! Wasting my time. Which one is his house? This one? No. Which one is his house? I don't know. Here? There's no signs? No, what the fuck? Super odd. What? Okay. Hey, maybe that'll help us catch things in all the water routes where we haven't caught anything yet. Maybe. I guess we'll see. Where the hell is Steven's house? Oh, there we go. Uh, you, you have museum displays in your house? You pretentious faggot. Oh, thank God I had to come all the way here to get dive. Heaven forbid you give that shit to me, like, I don't know. In the museum? Or really anywhere? Like, I mean, it's just a little CD. You didn't have to... You could've just had it in your pocket. Alright, are we gonna really teach Dive to Sheeterax and have him be a full-on HM slave? Are there any other options? Because I don't want anything to learn Dive. Oh. Sheeterax can't even learn it. Only Mr. Florida can. I guess that's fine. If I'm gonna have two water Pokemon on the team, I guess I'll have to divide up the four fucking water HMs that you have to do in this game. Bullshit. I have no choice. I guess I'm getting rid of nature power. Stupid. Why? Why on earth would they give us four water HMs in the same game? Absolute garbage. Let's go find that water stone and, and be through with this chore nightmare. Let's see, 
Yeah, it's in here. There we go. And we still haven't caught anything on this ship. Should I try to use my new rod? No, not this rod. Fuck this rod. We gotta equip the new rod. Where is it at? Oh, wait, no. Yeah, not the good rod. We want the super rod. Hell yeah. Is there any, even anything in here? Ooh, we gotta bite. Oh, fucking goddamn it. It always gets away when I'm drunk. Is my is my reception really that bad? Am I clicking way? Am I clicking that slow? Uh, how the fuck does this keep happening? I'm clicking it right when it says. Come on, dot 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 dot. Not even a nibble. Come on, a full episode of fishing, right? How the fuck? There's no way it got away. I hate this shit. God damn it. Oh my god, I'm losing my mind here. Wow. I, I honestly have no idea what the fuck is happening. I'm hitting it. I'm actually getting pissed. I'm, I'm genuinely getting angry at this fucking game. Because it's not registering when I hit the button. What the fuck? Now, why did my grandpa think that fishing was relaxing? This is bullshit. Grandpa, fuck you. From beyond the grave. Your hobby is gay and retarded, and it makes me mad. Okay, I've lost my fucking mind. I've I've clearly lost my fucking mind, because the fishing is not working. So I'm just gonna dive. I'm just gonna fucking dive. I don't understand. It's giving me a migraine. Yeah, let's fucking go back up. Okay, fuck you! Fuck you, Game Freak. Fuck you, Pokemon. Or is my... Just give me my Water Stone. What? Something's over here? Room Key 1. I don't want to do all this bullshit. I just want the Water Stone. There we go. Oh, god damn it. Fuck off. Okay, which item do we not care about? Ghost-type moves. I don't give a shit. Fuck you. Here... Hold this shit for now. Alright, Waterstone, let's end this shit. This miserable expedition to get you. Let's use you on Mr. Florida. We've been waiting over 30 episodes for this. Let's see what Lodi Colo looks like as a lowly. Mr. Florida is evolving. Dun, 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 dun. Ugh. Mm. I need a new drink. Hey, there we go. I think I think we've seen that before. It, it doesn't look new. It looks familiar. But it's great. It's a good loli. 7.5 out of 10, says Monkey. Great loli. Uh, okay. So we, now we have that. And evidently there's more stuff to do on this ship, so I guess we'll figure out the mystery. Okay, come on, fishing. You have to work. Please don't cuck me again. I just want a Pokemon. I just want to see what Pokemon are available when you fish. Come on. I feel like in that Sonic series of Game Grumps, when he's trying to fish for the Froggy and it never works, and it's like 18 episodes of Aaron and Hansen trying to fish and it never fucking works. I just don't understand. It's it's above my pay grade. I, I'm clearly too retarded to understand. Fuck! Fuck you! <laughs> Come on. Come on, Froggy. What are you- You're supposed to just hit the fucking A button when you see the bite, right? That's what I'm doing. Okay, what? What? There, there, this fucking bullshit! There's no way! There's no fucking way. I'm hitting it. What the fuck? What the hell is going on here? Door is locked. Room one, six. Room four. What the hell is going on? I don't have time for this bullshit. I don't give a fuck. I don't give a single fuck. What's this? Where's room one? There better be some goddamn good items here for all this bullshit. Okay. Okay, room key for it. I've never done this before, and I frankly don't really care. Rain dance. Hey, that might be good for my numerous water Pokemon. 
Who knows? Wh what? It's bright and shiny, but it's just trash? That's weird. Uh, I thought there was more in here, but I guess it's all just fucking trash. No surprise here. Where's room two? Which one of these is room two? Over here? You? Oh, yeah, this must be the one with the real prize. This better be like a goddamn Master Ball. Scanner? Oh, I'm supposed to give that to the other dude, right? Okay. I'm never, like I said, I've never done this. Come on, fishing. Don't fuck me here. Here we go. Oh, a bite. Nothing. Fucking nothing. Oh, my God. Am I drunk? Am I crazy? Am I losing my mind? Is this game retarded? All of the above, I say. Okay, okay, that's fucking it. Yo, sheep, come here. No, I'm not fucking okay. Here, here. Select button makes you fish. I'm trying to catch a Pokemon, and every time it says to you gotta bite, it doesn't work. So. What are you real? Uh, X. X. Oh my god. Yeah, let's see if you can fucking do it. I don't know if I'm drunk or if the game's retarded. Huh. It's pissing me off. See? What the fuck is did this? I, what the hell is this I bullshit? Do it? Did I do it? No. no. What the hell's going on? Since when is it impossible to fish in this bullshit? Is it different in this game? I don't fucking know. I've been fishing before. I fished for whale murn. It worked. Well, the X button works. Yeah, so what the hell? What's Why won't it let us catch something? Maybe it's different in this game. But I've done it before. Yeah? I don't know what's happening. It's Maybe, making uh... me angry. See, what uh, the fuck? Okay. <laughs> what the fuck? Uh... Right? It's not just me, right? Are you supposed to press A? I don't Shit. know. I don't fucking know. I just know that it's gay as hell. Let's see. It's more gay than a sheep well, over maybe... episodes one through oh, three. Well, I don't know about that. <laughs> <laughs> maybe, um... Maybe it's like a bug of this emulator, because it's like Moemon or whatever. <sighs> no, it's it's just this game is horseshit and gay and fuck it. And I'm not going to catch anything on this route. Or on this ship. So, fuck it. Yeah, I give up. Yeah, yeah, I think it's just a bug. I fucking give up. Alright. No, it's no fucking just skip bug, it. it's just a shitty game. Thank you. Okay, if, if we can f uh, fish for Pokemon, maybe we can surf for them too. But I think that the rod would give me a better result. Uh, maybe there's something underground, or in, under the, on, under the sea. Okay, give me a Pokemon. Come on, don't be shy, give me a Pokemon. I know you're here. Come out, come out. Nothing? Nobody down here? Okay. That's fine, I have enough water Pokemon as it is, I don't give a shit. I can't fish underwater. Fuck you. Fuck this whole game. Get me out of here. Let's go give him the scanner and see what it does. This is the gayest thing I've ever seen in my life. Fuck. I'm fucking done. Somebody in the comments, tell me what I'm doing wrong, because clearly... Clearly this thing is bullshit. You find something? Yeah. What? What's it say? What's the- How's it different? I've been fucking doing it the whole time! You're supposed to, so... I'm supposed to suck my own dick? I've been doing that all yeah, day! you're supposed to do that. What are you supposed to do? So, you're supposed to, um, fish, and then... Uh, the, yeah. The dots will appear, and it'll say, oh, bite, and then you press A, and then the dots appear again, <sighs> and then you have to wait for it to say, oh, bite again. You have to do it, like, three times before you actually... What?! ...ruin the fish. The wait fuck?! So, wait for the... Not even a nibble. That doesn't make any sense. I've caught shit before in this playthrough. Come on, bitch. Come on. Press A. Yeah, and then wait. I'm pressing it. Okay. Uh, How many fucking times? This better be a big old fish. Go. This better be the world's biggest goddamn fish. What's it gonna fucking be? God damn you. <laughs> Fuck you. What? I hate fishing. Grandpa, I hope you're burning in hell for having that shitty hobby. Fuck you. Giga drain that bitch. God damn it. What was I expecting? Kyogre? Fucking horse shit. Should've used fake out. Ugh! I hate fishing. Fuck everybody who likes to fish. 
Alright, here's your goddamn scanner. I hope it does something for you. Yeah. Can I deliver that to Captain Stern? Fuck you. What am I, you fucking little bitch? Stern better have uh, more than stern words for me about my masturbation habits this time. Where the hell did Captain Stern go? Oh, you! Hey, yeah, here's your scanner, buddy. A deep sea tooth or a deep sea scale? I don't understand the significance of either of those things, so I guess we look it up. Evolve clam pearl into hun tail. I did all that for nothing. All that for a fucking thing I don't give a shit about. Fuck you. I hate this game. You know what? A lot of people think Emerald's the best. I changed my mind. Too much water. Too much Team Aqua magma bullshit all at the same time. Captain Stern's a faggot. What a shitty game. Fuck you if you like it. Go kill yourself. I don't give a shit. I hope you have a bad day. I hope, you, I hope your uncle gets diagnosed with ass cancer. Alright, all we can do now is travel to the next town and do more Team Magma Aqua shit and then I guess uh, do the gym. Let's see what we can super rod, ultra rod out here. Uh, nothing. Why am I even fishing? I know it's gonna be tentacle. Oh, six times this time? Wow, okay. Where's my level 3000 Gyarados for six times? What the fuck? Holy shit! Wow, okay, that paid off in spades. Sharpedo level 35, you say? Don't mind if I do. That lowly, you know, there's nothing great about it, but goddamn. We can't fuck this up, boys. I want that Sharpedo. Oh, you better believe I want that Sharpedo. Who do we use? Hail Zeon to put him to sleep? He'll probably get killed. Uh, Kyle Ander to paralyze him? That's a better option, probably. I wish we had Sonic Boom or something. Oh my god. That would have been glorious for the, the gym battle. The last one that we just had. But luckily we, we did that without any real problems. Man, Sharpedo's great. I've, I've actually never used one, but I want to. That'd be cool, even though I already have two water Pokemon on the team. Hell yeah, Sharpedo, okay. Got him paralyzed. Did we confuse him? I guess so. Maybe he'll hit himself down into the yellow. That's what we need. And worst comes to worst, we can just throw the Master Ball at him, because I don't care. I don't really care. Alright, who has a weak attack? Um, We can hit him with Fake Out. That would work. Oh, uh, it, it probably won't do that much. Unless he hits himself right now, then we don't have to. Okay, well, he's paralyzed twice in a row. Let's go for fake out. And then he'll... He'll... Yeah, okay. Go for the ultra ball, buddy. Let's do it. I want to catch this boy. Um, Yeah, net ball. That sounds good. That sounds good in the hood. My brood. Catch him. Catch him. Who gets to be a goddamn Sharpedo? Hell yeah, we did it. We caught Sharpedo. Exciting. That's an exciting catch. I don't know what we would use him for, other than, like, maybe take him to the Elite Four if he has good stats. But I'm excited. I've never had this before. Let's see who gets to be Sharpedo. Uh, wow, okay. We'll talk about fate. We've got a comment from Ophelia Franco, a.k.a. Flamefeet, who says, I'm pretty sure you can catch a Sharpedo on Route 122. And Water Dark Moemon would be perfect for the next gym. Good luck, Monkey. That's clearly outdated. But wow, giving me advice on how to catch a Sharpedo... And you win it. And I have plenty of choices for your name. Do I want to go Ophelia, Franco, or Flamefeet? I am feeling Ophelia, even though this is a male. I think Ophelia is a cool-ass name. It's very Shakespearean. So, yeah. And this this might go on the team, maybe, if I want to have a bunch of water stuff. Welcome to the box, Ophelia the Sharpedo. What an exciting catch. Never had one before, but now we do. Let's see if we can find our way into this stupid... Oh, God, I... 
Another part of the game I hate is trying to figure out where I'm supposed to dive to get into this city. Uh, uh, underwater. That's a different route in my book. It just says underwater, right? So can I catch something new here? Relaine Canth. Uh, well, as far as I know, I'm in a different route, so I'm gonna catch this thing. I've never had one of these either. I think it's rock water. Um, dive? Should we use dive while we're already diving? How much deeper can he go? Hopefully this doesn't kill it, because, I mean, as far as I'm concerned, I'm on a different route. It said underwater. I'm catching this bitch. Yawn. Ew. Ew, 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 ew. Okay, we're going to switch out to... We're going to go to Kylander again, and we're going to paralyze you. And when I catch you, if it says you're on the same route as the other thing, I will release you. But what, what would it say? Is it going to say underwater, or is it going to say the name of the route? I don't know. Thunder wave him, and then I guess we'll throw a dive ball, because I don't have any other way of hurting you right now. I guess you can hurt yourself. Not a bad plan. <laughs> Kyle Andrews asleep. Oh, it didn't hurt himself at all. Let's go for another dive ball. Catching two, two kind of rare-ish water Pokemon today. We'll see if we can keep them both. Oh, fuck you. I don't want to waste my Master Ball on something I'll probably end up having to release. So go Ultra Ball! Come on. Oh, Fuck off! We'll go again. We got nothing else to do today. I can throw Ultra Balls all day, Verlank can't. Well, <laughs> maybe I don't want to. <sighs> go Ultra Ball. I need to get a new drink. I'm all out. I'm all out of drink. God damn you. God damn you. I, I don't want to have to fake you out again, but I guess I will if you're gonna be a bitch. If you really need to be lower on HP, I will fake you out. Go Nioki. Fake him out. I say, don't you know? You say you don't know. I say. Ultra Ball. Let's let's just get him. I'm tired of this battle. Oh, stay in the ball. Do I have to use my Master Ball on this shit? Because I will. Don't think I won't. I'm autistic and stupid enough to throw my Master Ball at you, you bitch. You bitch. You fucking bitch. Do you want me to use something else on you? What do you want? What other attacks would I have? No. You know what? Strength won't be very effective. Let's go for it. It's not stab and it's not very effective. Yeah, there we go. That's what I want to see. Rock Tomb, I don't care. This Relenketh is uh, putting up a pretty good fight. Maybe he should go on the team too. Let's just have a... Let's have a mono water type uh, run for the rest of this. I don't see why not. No Elite Four members have anything that's strong against water. We could do it. We could pull that off. Hey, finally, there we go. Let's get a nickname for the thing that maybe I'll have to release. Because I don't know what route it's on. And the winner is... Scahot. Scahot? He says, all right, Monkey, I want you to know what, I, I want to know what your balls feel like. I won't resist capture. Well, bullshit, you resisted the fuck out of that capture, you liar. Just walk up to me and touch your balls to my face and I'll be yours forever. Uh, yeah, I like the sentiment, but it wasn't true at all. This is the hardest catch I've had thus far. But hey, welcome to the box, Scat. Let's see, C-A-A-A. -A -A. I hope I can spell correctly when I'm drunk. That looks probably right. Okay, let's try to find our way into this town. This looks right to me. Okay, still underwater. Let's go take a look at Scat in the PC and see what route they say he's on. Hey, pseudo Police City. Hey, catching a Pokemon. What will be? Uh, nope, not catching a level 34 Magikarp. If only. Oh, I don't want to go to the gym yet. Can we even go in? No, the door is locked. That's right. Where's the Pokemon Center? I think it's over here. Underwater, that's a different place. It counts. It sure fucking counts. 
Okay, let's, um, I'm gonna do some research on these. I don't know much about them. Let's see how good Sharpedo and Relicanth are. Uh, Sharpedo looks pretty fast and pretty strong. Uh, special attack is lower than attack, which is unfortunate for a water dark Pokemon. And what's this other thing? Relanclith? Oh, wow, okay. So this guy, he has lower speed. Oh, and really low special attack. But he has super high defense. Not not their best special defense. So I think between the two of them, Sharpedo it will be better for my... For my purposes. So, yeah, let's keep that in mind. We don't want to use... I mean, we don't necessarily want to use him yet. What attacks does he have? Crunch. Crunch is pretty strong. Okay, I'm, I'm going to keep Sharpedo in mind. He Maybe we'll want to use him for this upcoming gym. Since, since they're all water, they won't be very effective against me. But at least with Crunch, I'll have a pretty strong move against them while resisting all of their bullshit. Yeah, Sharpedo might be useful. We'll see when we get to that point. Maybe my best strategy for the water gym is to bring in a bunch of water Pokemon, plus Kaolander. Now, I might just be retarded, which, uh, as, as this series has taught us, is often the case. But I've been spending this whole game thinking that the champion was Steven, the guy with the, the metal Pokemon, but no. Evidently in this game, it's this guy Wallace, who, like, he uses water Pokemon and shit. Which completely throws off my game. I so uh, he he in the original games he was a gym leader, and Steven I have to assume was the so so the eighth gym in this game is water, and then the champion is also water. Why? Why would they make that change? Like I get oh yeah, the Emerald it's 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 a different timeline than the original games is. But why would you get rid of Steven? He's an actual threat. I don't think Wallace is a threat. I don't give a fuck about his goddamn Whale Lord bullshit. So I don't know, that's, that's a disappointment. But I guess it's also exciting because it'll be easier to beat Wallace than it would have been to beat Steven. Anyway, real quick, I'm gonna reconfigure my team to uh, what I'm gonna actually use against the upcoming gym. Alright, Jumpkey, uh, you're out. I guess, I, I think I have to go through a bunch of horse shit with, with Team Aqua and Magma and Rayquaza and stuff. So maybe I shouldn't get rid of all the good ones. But I, I, I know for a fact I want to get in Sharpedo, so I'll, and I can't use Neoki anyway. Uh, so yeah, for now, let's get rid of Halzeon. And we'll grab Sharpedo, because I know I want to use him. Uh, looks like we're going to teach Ophelia Hyper Beam, because... If I recall, Ophelia has a high attack stat that does not get utilized, so I don't see why not. Hyper Beam is super fun, especially for something with a high speed and high attack stat. Uh, we can get rid of Scary Face, that's fine. I think there's some sort of cave around here that will lead me to... Or maybe I'm supposed to go on top of Mount Pyre again? Man, I have no idea. I need to look up a guide. Okay, I think I figured it out. I think I'm supposed to dive shortly south of this city, and then that'll lead me to the cave that I'm looking for. Don't know why they made it so ambiguous and hard to find, and when I was a kid without internet, I don't know how I figured this stupid shit out. Oh, thank god, there we go. Alright, let's let's hope we can put our Master Ball to good use, huh? Catch a level 70 Rayquaza, that'll be fun. That'll be super fair. Yeah, good luck, whoever the... Whoever I said the 8th gym was. Yeah, good luck again. Wait, no, I couldn't. Even if I caught Rayquaza, I use a level limit, so I couldn't use it anyway. So the, the way I'm playing has it built in that <laughs> you're fucked when it comes to that kind of stuff. Oh, you think you're so tough, Grunt, with your Puccina? Take on my mother 
fucking great white shark, bitch. Ophelia. Um, hyper beam attack? I don't see why not. This will this will surely kill a little Puccina. Blow him up. Yeah, <laughs> there we go. That's the Ophelia I know. Hell yeah. And then, yeah, it's, yeah, this must be it. Okay. We've got to almost be there. I've had enough. And hopefully we'll find something new. Ooh, Earthquake! Although, <laughs> we don't have any ground-type Pokemon, do we? It'd be cool if Sharpedo could learn that, although I don't know what he would use it against. Uh, okay, yeah, so Sharpedo could learn it. Maybe someday. Maybe, I think... Sharpedo, Ophelia has enough moves for now. I feel like we're almost there. Yeah, Kyogre. I don't have to fight you, do I? I don't have to fight Archie, do I? I've had enough fighting people. I probably do have to fight him if I just fought the other dude. Well, I guess not just, but a while ago I did. Oh, fuck! Fuck you, why do I never heal up before this shit? I never know when it's coming. Okay, three Pokemon. Mightyena, level 41 Mightyena. Okay, Ophelia, let's show them what you can do. Uh, well, Intimidate, that sucks. We... We still have... Well, we don't have Hyper Beam, that's good! Because I won't be tempted to use it if I can't. Go for a Surf. Surf's up, Mightyena, let's hope this does a little over half. Hey, perfect, perfect. Ophelia, you're doing just fine, I don't think Mightyena can hurt you. We'll defeat Mightyena and then switch out to somebody... With, oh, fuck you. That's good. Good, use your potions. I, I'm, I have a feeling I'll need them if the last battle like this was any indication. That episode actually just came out today on the day I'm recording this. So I, I gotta relive it through the comments of everybody. Everybody telling me how great I am at Pokemon. Oh, Ophelia, you can do it. Sharks are usually pretty smart, right? Yep, there we go. What's next? What's next? Uh... Archie? His name's Archie, right? Archie Brooks? Crobat? We can beat that. Not... well... Oh, Ophelia's confused. Let's switch out to... Kaolander, who unfortunately is a very low level compared to everybody else, but I think one Thunderbolt should do it. If we're still alive. Yeah, that didn't do shit. Nice try, Crobat. Go for the Thunderbolt! Oh, that's the best that you can do. That was his best attack. Um, I don't think this will finish him off, but I hope it does. I uh, close enough. Close enough. And now he's used his second potion. Good news for us. Because, uh, we all know his third thing is going to be the shittiest to fight. So we'll probably need some potions. Yeah, get fucked. What's your last Pokemon? Is it another Sharpedo? Do you have Sharpedo too? That'd be fun. Hey, what do you know? I called it. Oh, that sucks for you if I'm using Kaolander. Although, this is very scary. You're eight levels higher. Hmm. Let's see, what are you going to use, Surf? Kaolander cannot die. Kaolander cannot die. We're about to fight the water gym. Okay. Well, this will be practice. If we got to fight a strong water Pokemon, who do we use? We would use... Someone like, um, uh, uh, Sheeterax? Sheeterax, you can take on Sharpedo, surely. Surely you can. What's it gonna use? Oh, Screech? Oh. Oh, no. Protect to see what attack he's going for? What are you going for, Sharpedo? Another Screech? Taunt? Oh, shut the fuck up. Alright, let's fly. Oh, god damn it! Okay, so he has Screech, Taunt, and that shit. So what's his damaging move? If it's not physical, then his Screech was useless. And now we have two turns to not hit ourselves. And we do on the first turn. Alright, Sheeterax, let's get you out of there. We don't know what his damaging move is, but I'm guessing it'll either be Water or Dark. Neoki XS, let's give you a shot. Taunt again. That's fine. I'll take the taunt. We've got 
pretty much nothing. We've only got damaging moves. You wasted your turn. Let's fake him out and then hit him with strength. Wait, no. Rock Smash would be super effective. Not that it matters because strength is way stronger anyway. Go for it. Hit him. Ooh, rough skin. Does mine have that? I don't know. I'm convinced that his Sharpedo has no damaging moves. He's only been using all this status stuff. And stat stuff. Hit him. Finish him off. Finish him off. We don't need to hit ourselves. We can hit him and finish him off. And then, then nope. Nope. I thought elves were supposed to be smart. Taunt again? How many turns does taunt last for? Hit him. Come on. Oh, fuck you, Nioki. Oh. Oh, god damn it. Slash. His attack is slash. Get fucked. I'm using fucking Kalander. Slash. Who cares? I could, I could use anybody on my team. They don't care about slash. Yeah, nice try. Go ahead and confuse me. Doesn't matter. Yeah. Kalander, you're smart. Magnets are smart. You're like a computer. Just use that Thunderbolt. You can't even hit yourself. You have no hands. You're gonna smash a magnet against your own face? That wouldn't hurt. Yeah, you're done. Nice try with your slash attack. Bullshit. That's the best you can bring to the table. If that's the best you can bring to the table, you gotta eat outside, boy. Now what, do we get to catch Rayquaza? Is that what's happening now? Oh no, the thing that we, we planned did not work. Oh, we're idiots. Now, Mumkey, you have to go fight Rayquaza, I guess. Wait, so we have to climb, like, the Mirage Tower or something, don't we? Oh, well, there goes the rain. Oh, now it's an intense drought. Back and forth forever. Oh, uh, yep. Okay, well, two... Hello? Oh, look, it's Steven, the fake champion. The guy who I thought I'd have to fight, but it turns out he's just a motherfucking pussy. Too pussy. He's too busy pussyfooting around to be the champion these days. Now he just flies around. Uh, sucking his thumb all day, pretending he's cool, acting like he has a job. I must have done this out of order. I don't think you're supposed to go to Sutopolis before. But that's fine. Oh. Oh. There they are. Are they fighting down there? Yeah, they're the... See, that little patch of land does not make any sense. But I'm sure everybody and their mom has made that complaint about this retarded cutscene bullshit before. Like, what the hell is Groudon gonna do? He doesn't stand a chance against Kyogre in any sense of the word. Even if he wins, he's just trapped in the middle of the lake. What in the hell can he do? Cave of Origin, sounds new to me. Where's my Pokemon? <laughs> That's all I care about. I just want a new Pokemon. Yeah! Bring on the Zubat! Hell yeah! Yep, there he is! There he is! Mmm, can't wait. Spooky place. Oh, are you the gym leader? Wallace. Oh, he was one- oh, so yeah. So Wallace and Ruby and Sapphire is the gym leader, then he becomes the champion, and usurps the, the throne from, uh, Mr. <sighs> Steven Faggot. Not Steven Universe, he's Steven Steel Fag, as far as I'm concerned. And I really wanted to fight him with all- oh, no, wait, what did I do? What? Where could he be? Oh, he's probably- oh, what did I say? Did I say Mirage Tower? I don't know what that is. I think I should have said Sky Pillar. Oh, well, yeah. Thanks for waiting for me when you left. Oh! Okay, we gotta catch a Sableye, then. We haven't seen, uh... Well, that's a, that's a new thing in this cave. That's what I should be trying to say. Um, uh, what's not gonna kill it? It's... It's Ghost Dark, if I remember correctly. So I don't think Crunch would kill it, but then it would be dumb to use that, only to kill it. Uh, go for Surf. If it dies from one Surf, it's not strong enough to be on my team anyway. Well, hey, there you go. Oh no, no, the rough skin is gonna kill him! No! You idiot! You fucking idiot, no! Oh, <laughs> I didn't like him anyway. I thought he was ugly as hell. Oh, fuck you, Sableye, you stupid faggot. Hey, there we go. Finally, we can hopefully complete this shit. Sky Pillar, we can catch something here. Probably Rayquaza. 
<laughs> Probably just catch it for fun since we can't use it. Oh, uh, hey, Wallace, thanks for just ditching me back there, not, you know, showing me the way to go, being a decent human being, not being a douche faggot, you know, all those courteous things. Oh, if I don't catch Rayquaza in the Master Ball, that means I have to fight him. I don't really want to do that. Uh, well, I guess I don't have a choice. I guess I'm catching Golbat, and I have to somehow defeat level 70 Rayquaza? Really? Is that what I have to do without anything dying? That's not good. That's not good at all. Um, crunch? Is it crunch time? Okay. Mmm, that did quite a bit, Ophelia. What's up with your defense? Uh, none of these things can beat Rayquaza level 70? What the hell is this shit? Uh, um, hmm. Huh. I don't, I don't know what to do. Is, cause surely you fight him here. Cause this is how you catch him, right? I don't want to do that. Go Ultra Ball. Oh, come on, you fuck. You're not that important to pop out all the time. I I'll throw my Master Ball at you. I don't have anything else to catch with it. Well, like a Machoke in the, in the final little stretch in the... Victory Road, I'll catch a Machoke, who cares? It doesn't matter. Oh, fuck you. Come on. I'm worried enough about Rayquaza, I don't need to put up with your bullshit. Here, you'll get Thunder Waved. There you go. Maybe. Never mind. <sighs> My team can't beat a Golbat, how are we gonna beat Rayquaza? Hooray, we did it. We beat Golbat. Well, we caught it. Let's see who gets to be the name before we lose probably multiple things to Rayquaza. We got Magus the Outrageous who says, Should have used Max Elixir on Cheater Axe and surfed Camera Up. Well, yeah, no shit. No shit. That's the thing about hindsight, huh, buddy? Alright, Magus, welcome to the box. You won't be getting out. We probably won't be getting out of this... Stupid tower! We're g Sky Pillar is going to end us if I really do have to fight Rayquaza and he doesn't just fly off. Maybe, maybe we don't catch him. Maybe he just flies off to stop the battle and then I can come back to catch him later. I sure do hope. Fingers crossed. I don't need a bike to get up here, do I? I'm having flashbacks to having to use a bike to get past this shit. Oh! Uh, no good? Good? Right? Don't need a bike, do I? Please? Why would I come back here? Surely we don't have to fight it right now. Surely it's just like, yo, wake up! Clay doll. Well, would have been nice to catch you instead of... Golbat. Oh, buddy. No, oh, don't... Don't fight me. Come on. No, 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 no! I wanted to switch my party! Come on! Oh, I, wa I wanted to switch to Magneton first so I could paralyze it if we had to fight it. Uh, oh, thank God. Thank fucking God. Crisis averted. I was... Uh, that was... That was troublesome. To my brain. Now can we go finish off this storyline? Oh, thank goodness. I was so worried we'd have to fight a Rayquaza when we're half its level. Oh, no. Rayquaza is coming to stop the storyline. He's the real hero in all of this. He says, storylines? That shit's gay as hell. I'm coming, it's, uh, it's, uh, damn it, what's the name of the dragon? Falcor! Atreyu! Falcor! Yeah, you guys get it. You get, I don't need to show the storyline shit, you've played the game before. And the day was saved, thanks to Monkey, the hero. Uh, I guess us two supervillains, we're just gonna, like, hang out and not go to prison for all that shit we did. Oh, well. Oh, they didn't mean any harm. They tried to destroy the entire world in different ways, but still. Are we done here, then? What are we talking about? Oh, okay. I just had to talk to everybody. 
But yeah, thanks to you, there's the Quai's able to woke up. Oh, is that waterfall? Alright, I don't care about this shit. Let me fight the gym. Let's do what we've all been waiting for. Oh, it's open now? Oh, God. Okay, well. <laughs> Let's get every book. Let's see. The, the level limit is 44. So let's get everybody up to 42. And then we will start fighting our way. No, what I should say for this gym, we'll start testing the waters of the water gym. Aw, yeah. Catch em, catch em, All right, folks, we're ready to fight the final gym in this game, and here's the team of five that's gonna do it. I decided on Sheetorax, Mr. Florida, Ophelia, you know, three water Pokemon because they can resist water, and plus they all have other skills that they can use that will be either effective or super effective against the opponent. Then we have Kale Lander, probably the best bet for wiping out the gym, and to round up the team with a fifth, we have Hail Zeon, just because I love him, and why not bring him along? Now I know what you're thinking, Mumkey? Mumkey, why are they all level 44? I thought last episode you said you would train them up to 42, so then you can go, quote, test the waters, lay epic pun, of the gym by fighting all of the lackeys in the gym. And you'd be right. But then I remembered that in this gym, you don't have to fight any trainers. If you solve the ice puzzles and you walk on each square without bucking up, you can just go straight to the gym leader without fighting anybody. And I figured that's that's probably a better idea. Fighting the lackeys is dumb and gay. So yeah, now everybody's 44, which is the level limit. And we're going to go fight this gym right now. We're going to fight this gym right now. And I have a feeling we're going to do just fine. Once we get up to him, I'll do a quick little strategy talk. I actually haven't really planned a coherent strategy other than go out and win. Because really, uh, there's not really much to be scared of in this gym. So let's take a look. I love disc, that'll be easy. We'll destroy that with one Thunderbolt. Wish Cash, hmm. Now Wish Cash will be scary. He'll send out Wish Cash and try to use Earthquake, so I'll switch to Sheetorax. Sheetorax will dodge the Earthquake and then hit him with, I guess, a Fly or something of that nature. Uh, then he's going to try to... I don't know what he'll send out next, because he can send these out in any order, as I've learned. I just have to be wary of these Ice Attacks, but otherwise it's just Water and just Ice. So my water Pokemon will resist both of those, except for Ludicolo, who doesn't want to get hit by ice attacks, Mr. Florida. Uh, I mean, I, I know I know what the resistances are for the most part, and what to use and what not to use. And Love Disc is going to be easy peasy, Kale Ander squeezy. So let's do it. <sighs> Once and for all, the final gem of this game. Hopefully not the final episode, hopefully not the final battle. Let's go! Let me ask you, did you know that I'm a huge fucking faggot? I use water Pokemon so they can lube up my asshole. You would think that water doesn't make for very good lube, and you'd be right, but I can still stick a whole bunch of dicks in there. Here we go, boys and girls. Very French looking Juan, or maybe he's Hispanic if his name is Juan, I don't know. Uh, Love Disc, that's a new one. Just looks like a, a head with a with a hood on it. It looks like Trayvon Martin, moments before being attacked. Just hood up, uh, up to no good. Let's go for a Thunderbolt. Yeah, of course, Love Disc is faster than Kalander. Oh, of course, he gets a critical hit too. That's fine. We'll finish him up, finish him off with a Thunderbolt. That's all we need, just one Thunderbolt. Yeah, there you go, Love Disc. What a shitty Pokemon. Does anybody, first of all, does anybody like Love Disc? My first question. Second question, has anybody ever used a Love Disc in a meaningful way? I think not. Hey, Wish Cash, that's another new one. Uh, what's the what's the meme that all the normies are talking about? Cash me outside? Is this Wish Cash me outside? Yeah, that's a pretty good one. Am I the first to make that connection? <laughs> okay. Uh, Loli. Yeah, we need to review this Loli. Um... Six out of ten. <laughs> there you go. That's all you get. Uh, I like the whale hair. That's kind of cool. I wish a girl 
had blue whale hair, I'd probably probably give her the dick. She's gonna use Earthquake, so we're gonna switch to Sheetorax. Nice try, buddy. We can read you like a book. We can read you like the Triflers by Monkey Jones, featured at Lulu.com. Nice try. Now, he's ground, so would we want to use Surf? Is this going to be neutral effective or not very effective? Oh, shit! Uh, well, now he's using Amnesia to get his defense up. That's too bad, because another Surf would have killed him. But now we can bait him into using an item that he probably won't use now on Kingdra, which is the real issue here. This shouldn't do very much. No, 15. Okay, you're... Ah, oh, god damn it. Okay, I didn't want to be confused. But here we go. Use your potion. All right, now we get to use our hyper potions. So even if Sheetorax keeps getting hit and keeps hitting himself in confusion, we can always heal him up. And, uh, yep. Yep, that's how this one's going. <laughs> Not surprised. Mm, nope, not surprised. You can't be surprised anymore. Ooh, Rain Dance. That's just gonna help me. Although I'm gonna keep hitting myself in confusion. That's fine. Let's let's keep hitting ourselves in, yeah, until we snap out. Perfect. And now, when he hits us, we can use a potion if we want to. Hmm. Yeah, God, too many amnesias. Maybe I should switch to flying attacks, since they're physical. Alright. Alright, yeah, keep raining. Let's go to fly. Waste your turn on another amnesia, I don't even care. Or water pulse, that's fine. Hopefully this does a fair amount, since it's my strongest attack. Go! Ah, uh, well. Another fly is not going to finish him off, and now I'm probably confused. Let me see. Oh, who would have guessed? Who would have guessed this gym leader would confuse me every time? I would hit myself every time. His first move would be a critical hit. This guy is unbelievably lucky. It's almost like this AI character and the computer running the game are in cahoots. <laughs> Who would have thought? Let's go for a wing attack since it less of a chance of hitting herself. Yeah, there we go. Um, ooh, that looked like it was almost a crit. It did as much as Fly did. That's weird. Okay, Shitterax, he's going to heal up, and we're going to heal up. It's a double heal turn, but we'll still have another heal to do, so let's go for it. Heal that sucker up. Ooh, maybe I should heal up Kaylander, too. Oh, he didn't use his other... Huh. Okay, he didn't heal up, so now we're equal. I can't use any more potions right now. I guess finish him off with a wing attack, if you don't hit yourself. All right, interesting. Uh, I'm guessing he's saving his other Hyper Potion, or potions, I don't know how many he has. Probably for that goddamn Kingdra, whatever. Alright, Celio, hey, that's another new one. S nothing but new Pokemon so far. Uh, I like the white hair, of course, but I'm not super crazy about this design. Uh, it's got like that weird, you know, um, colon three little cat face, which I, I don't, is a seal a cat? I don't think, it's like, it's more like a dog, isn't it? Uh, but it, it's, it's a five out of ten, I don't care too much in either direction. You're gonna use an ice attack on me, which means I should use, let's see, this, it'll be neutral against you, neutral against you, so Ophelia is the way to go. I think. Because ice attacks and water attacks won't be very effective against Ophelia, but I can crunch you. Yeah, bring it on. That shouldn't do anything at all. Well, it did something, but not anything at all. Let's go for... new not Hyper Beam. Not yet. Let's go for Crunch. Maybe we can finish it off with a sick Hyper Beam. Oh, okay. It was probably exactly half, which means... Ah, oh, God. Oh, good, good, good. The rough skin got me over the hill a little bit, so now I can use the crunch to actually finish it off. Should be three down. Yep, three down, two to go. Nobody's dead on my team, and hopefully nobody dies, because for the Elite Four, I need as many options as possible. Crawdon, that's the fourth new one in a row, and this one is delightful. It's an automatic 7.5 out of 10. I like the spunky attitude, I like the... 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 Crab Claws kind of has like these closed fists and so she's ready to fucking pound ya, baby! I wanna get pounded by that loli, said Sai and Digi. And I like the purple eyes too. 
Reminds me of that anime that I haven't watched yet. What's it called? Um, Code Gay Ass, as everybody likes to call it. Because they have purple eye people in there. Okay, we're going to switch to Mr. Florida. Mr. Florida, it's your time to shine. Crawdont can't hurt you, I don't think. Taunt. Um, that's fine. I was going to use Fake Out anyway. Fake him out. And then we'll Giga Drain him to death. Easy. All right, Mr. Florida. Show him what you can do as a big old Mexican sombrero wearing, uh, I guess technically a wetback because you're half... <laughs> <laughs> Why? Why would they make the Mexican Pokemon water? They knew what they were doing. Those Japs knew what they were doing. Now we're down to the final bout. Kingdra versus my whole team. Wow, all five of them were new. That's pretty gnarly. Just goes to show how many water Pokemon are in this game when I've caught probably 60% of them. And then there's five new ones. Okay. Okay, I can't use another fake out. Giga Drain will be, I think, neutral effective because it's part dragon. How do we want to play this one, boys? Didn't really plan a whole lot for this, for this particular encounter. Um, it has Ice Beam, which will be neutral effective against Mr. Florida because he's part water. So it wouldn't hurt to Giga Drain. Oh, double team. Oh, you're one of those, huh? You're one of those, gonna keep using double teams, so then we're just fucked if we don't get you down fast enough. And that's fine. Uh, that didn't do very much. Oh good, no more double teams. Hopefully it stays that way. I'd rather have you hit me. And that didn't do very much either. And once I Giga Drain you, I'll get most of that health back. So maybe Mr. Florida can do it. Although he might not have enough PP. Yeah, keep doing your ice beams. You better hope you freeze me, because that's your best bet at this point. Nope. Nope. If only we had some sort of rough skin to do a little bit more, because I know this last Giga Drain won't be enough. It'll leave her with, like, one HP. Ah, rest. Okay. Arrested development. Oh, and he's got a bear to wake himself up? That son of a bitch. What a great... What a great uh, strategy. I don't know why you didn't just use a Hyper Potion. You wanted to do all these theatrics. Okay, Florida, you're all out of moves until I switch you back into Fake Out. So who else wants to fight a dragon? Hail Zeon? No? Okay. Ah, this one's rough. Um, go Hail Zeon, I guess. I guess. Let's see how much he does to you. Oh, double team. Well, I, I don't have a good feeling about hypnosis hitting now that you've double teamed twice. A dizzy punch might confuse you. That'd be good. Let's cross our fingers with the hypnosis. Oh, three double teams. No, no. Come on. Come on. Yeah. Hail motherfucking Zeon. I know who I'm hailing tonight. Three double teams and you get hit by hypnosis. Get fucked. Now hopefully when you're sleeping we can hit you. Nope. <laughs> we can't hit a sleeping target. God damn it, and he woke up immediately. Uh, confusion might be our best bet. If we can hit him with it. No, come on, hail Zeon. Do I go for... He's only going to last one more turn, so do I, do I go for Dizzy Punch again or do I go for Hypnosis? And I can't heal up because he hasn't used another item... I don't remember if... I don't think he did. Oh, it's a long shot. Oh, is I... No, Ice Beam isn't stabbed. That's not going to kill me. Ugh. Okay, Hail Zeon, you were a huge waste. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mr. Florida, we can always flinch him. We can always just keep switching back and forth and keep using Fake Out. That might be the strategy. That might be the ticket. Until we get frozen. Fake him out. I say... Oh! Oh, god damn it. He's dodging everything. I see the writing on the wall. I see what's going on here, boys. It was a, it was a good ride. There's no way. There's no way. We're, we're done. There's no fucking way. <sighs> There's no fucking way. Okay. 
I have to play not to protect Pokemon. I, I now have to shift gears and think, okay, I'm going to lose. I have to play to win no matter what. And with that being said, I want to switch to Kaolander to try to paralyze this fool. But that'll just set me up to get attacked twice, and Kaolander probably won't survive that. So I need to sacrifice somebody to get a free switch into Kaolander. And the best... The best man for the job, Hail Zeon, I'm sorry. You know, I gotta, I gotta play tough. You've been my favorite Pokemon for a while. I love you, I care about you. But you're gonna die either way. The whole team's gonna die, or you're gonna sacrifice yourself right now. I, I hate to say it, but it's true. This Kingdra is, is way too good. Hail Zeon, goodbye. It's been super fun. I'll miss you. But I, to be honest, you know, I think uh, you've, you've made it far enough. I don't think you were gonna be super fun in the Elite Four. Go Kaolander, let's hope and pray we can paralyze it. Hopefully that helps us with all this double team bullshit that's going on. Go, go. Oh, I should have put that electric move that never misses on Kaolander. Ah, oh, yikes. Okay. One more hit and Kaolander's dead, but you're paralyzed. <clears throat> that's rough, because I need Kaolander, but I gotta play to win. I gotta play to win. Sheeterax, Ice Beam will be neutral against you. Yeah. Yikes. He's paralyzed. He's paralyzed. I need him. I need him to use another potion so Sheeterax can hopefully finish him off with Thunderbolt. Maybe he'll use a full restore or full heal or something to get rid of that paralysis. Water Pulse won't do very much to me. Fly him. Fly him! Here we go. Ice Beam, yeah. That'll probably do over half of my remaining health. <sighs> okay, here comes the Ice Beam. How much are you gonna do? How much? Uh, of course. Of course, of course, of course, of course, of course. Yikes, yikes, yikes. Oh, I know he has another potion waiting in the wings. That's what's so frustrating. Man, I hope I have some good shit in the PC because all this stuff is gonna die. <laughs> it's all gonna die. They're all gonna die. <sighs> okay. If I switch to Florida, I don't know if he'll survive an ice beam attack. So maybe I should just go for another fly and say goodbye to Sheeterax. <sighs> I don't want to, but I also don't want to lose. Here we go. Let's bait him into using that final potion if he has one. Or get a crit? Nope. Ooh, Paralyze can't move. That's a blessing. There's that blessing. Here we go. Fly again. Paralyzed again. All right. Ah, come on. Okay, Sheeter X. Well, we got lucky and we got cursed. Oh. Oh, that's so shitty. Okay, Florida, we have to fake him out to flinch him. We have to keep getting lucky with him being paralyzed. <sighs> All out of Giga Drains. Go fake out. Nope, of course it misses. Of course it fucking misses. That's fine. Go for the surf. Oh, okay, Mr. Florida, you have the shittiest accuracy in the game. Oh, no, he can sleep? Ah, God, that is, that is shitty. But this time, he doesn't have a berry to wake up. I really wish he would use an item. But, ah, if he wakes up, Kaolander's dead, and so are we. That is so fucked. Don't wake up. Don't fucking wake up and kill Kaolander immediately. Oh, God damn it. Kaylander, don't miss. Don't miss. Ah, stay asleep, you son of a bitch. We got him. How's that? How much is that gonna do? Half? Less than half, probably? Fuck, 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 fuck. He's gonna wake up and kill Kaylander. I fucking know it. Yep. Yep, I knew it. I knew it. 
Florida, you're not going to miss again, are you, buddy? <laughs> you're not going to miss another freak out, are you? Yep, no, of course you are. Mr. Florida can't hit. That'd be ridiculous. Mr. Florida actually hitting the opponent? <laughs> That's unheard of. <laughs> Go for the serve. Go for the serve. No, let's get confused and hit ourselves. That'd be fine. Just get confused. Oh, good. God damn it! Florida, come on! You can't hit him with anything? Really? Is this the sixth fucking time you've missed? He's not doing any damage to you, but you can't fucking hit him. Oh, that didn't do shit. That didn't do shit. We need to... Oh, god damn it. I want to use a potion, like, really bad. Hmm. Okay. Well, you're asleep, I guess we'll... We have Hyper Beam waiting in the wings, folks. Hey. <laughs> Hyper Beam probably won't finish it off immediately, but, you know. Stay asleep. We'll get you down a little bit with uh, some... Ooh, Screech. Screech will lower its defense, and then Hyper Beam is a physical move, so that'll fuck him up. You can't heal up from a Screech, buddy, but I also can't hit you. I th uh, didn't even think of that. <clears throat> fuck you. Fuck you! God damn it. <sighs> if he wakes up, he can't kill Ophelia, right? Can't kill Ophelia. Can we hit him with a crunch? No, we can't hit him with anything. Fuck. God damn it. Like it matters. Like it fucking matters. He's already unhittable. Who cares if he gets his evasiveness up more? Go for Hyper Beam. Oh, we actually hit him. It's not going to kill him, I don't think, but maybe it'll trick him into using a potion if he gets low enough. Water pulse. And now we have to waste a turn charging back up. Ah, oh, god damn it. That did too much. Use another double team. No! No! <laughs> no! No, I refuse, sir! I refuse your offer! I refuse to take part in this! <laughs> yeah, we hit him! Critical hit. No! No! <laughs> Dive! No, he's sleeping again. Damn it. <laughs> Oh, we did it, folks. We won. We did it. <laughs> ah, hooray! What another fun Nuzlocke. <laughs> we can hit him. <laughs> yeah. Well. Well, I don't know what to do about this one, boys. It's been fun. Yeah, just keep double teaming. That's fine. <laughs> <sighs> yep. Yep, yeah, just keep wasting my time. We already know how this ends. So, I mean, yeah, just keep it up. Would have been nice if you used double teams when I had a, a good Pokemon out. Yep. Just get a crit and finish me off, please. No. <laughs> so long. An elongated death. Oh, you know, no mercy. Yeah. Well, folks, I think we all know how this one's ending. <laughs> There's no Pokemon League for us. After all this bullshit, all these episodes, all these catches, it ends at the 8th gym. Didn't think it'd be this one. I thought it'd be easy. I didn't think Kingdra would be so tough that I can beat my whole team. But Double Team is too good. Evasiveness is too good. Couldn't beat it. I'm, I'm just like, uh, just like the guy in Manchester by the Sea. I just, I can't beat it. <sighs> yep. Oh, good. Hanging on by a thread. Let's end this by hitting ourselves. That'd be, it would have been symbolic of my gameplay. Just fucking ending it by hitting myself. Okay. Mr. Florida, see ya. See ya, everybody. Ah, uh, Mumkey is out of usable Pokemon. Mumkey whited out. Whitewashing is offensive. How dare you? Uh, I tried my best. I, I thought that team had what it took. I don't know what else I, I would have done. 
You know, it's not like I needed Jokey or anybody who died before. Like, that, that was, that's the team I would have ended up taking in anyway. I just I didn't consider that all those double teams would have gone into effect so soon. I, sh I should have... I don't know, I, I was hoping they would use another potion so I could have healed up Magneton, but they, there's no use crying over spilled milk. That's it. You know, th thanks for tagging along on my adventure. Hopefully it wasn't too much of a drag. I was really looking forward to the Elite Four, but we didn't get that. We didn't get it this time. That's, what, the second Nuzlocke in a row. Now we we fall a bit short. Yeah, well, I'll see you guys next time.